don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on the channel. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. I love teaching. For me, it's all about that. And so working with Hochanda is fantastic because it gives me the perfect platform to reach out and work with uh, like-minded people and to be able to show um, some of the tricks that I've learned along the way. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray, on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away, we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. watching a show with me on Hochanda you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce and it's all very much mixed media so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. Good morning, how are you doing? Now, of course, the start of a brand new day. We don't know what wonders uh, we are gonna, what are gonna happen today, but uh, if it was wonders, uh, we are gonna not have this hour because we are starting the day with Pantar, which is beautiful products, beautiful mixed media and fabric paints and all of it will be very, very well explained by the fabulous, the one and only, uh, you know, uh, of course, Lou, who will be joining us via Skype in, in a couple, in, I believe, in a couple of seconds. Hello, Lou. There you are. There Hello. you are. How are you? Good morning, everyone. Are you good? How are you? I'm very well. I, I hope you are keeping warm as well. Oh, yeah. We've got snow here, but yeah, it's nice and warm, isn't it? A little bit too warm, I think. <laughs> Well, we are always, you know, what would be of us if we didn't complain about the weather? <laughs> <laughs> right, now, this, I believe this is just the, only the second outing as representing Pentart for you, is it? Isn't it? This, it is this time, but um, I started off at the very beginning with Pentart oh, when, when they were just finding themselves sort of thing on, on, a, on a chander. But yeah, I'm, I'm sort of in my element at the moment with fabrics and mediums and stuff or... I'm not even sleeping very much because I'm busy doing what stuff for this. It's, I love it. Love it. Aww. Well, it is fabulous. Now, this hour features a lot that I hadn't seen from Penta, which is a lot of fabric m mediums. Uh, can we use them for, of course, mixed media as well? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's just um, anything can be used for anything, really, because you think a canvas, uh, you know, all the materials can go on a canvas. The only difference is this is all wearable. 
washable um, and you iron it for 30 seconds or a few minutes and then it becomes washable and wearable so yeah you can transfer it over all of them i absolutely love this these fabric paints uh, are some of the best i've ever seen Fabulous. Now, um, it makes it really exciting, doesn't it, that having a medium that can go from something mixed media to something that you can wear. We are going to start with the delicate uh, now option or paints here. We have got two different options. We have got the top one, which is uh, white gold and gold. You can see them here, the colors. And uh, it's absolutely stunning. Let me open gold color because I open, look at that. Now, um, and then the second option, we have got the greenish silver and the greenish uh, uh, purplish uh, silver as well. It's a little bit of a mouthful. Now, uh, Lou, why would, how yeah. would we use these paints? Well, I tried these. I've used it on fabric. I've used it on paper. You can use it anywhere and it mixes with all the um, fabric paints and the silk paints. So you can use it with absolutely everything. But it gives a really delicate sort of shimmer on it. it oh, and it stays flexible so it won't crack if you're wearing it. And you can wash it as well. It's beautiful. It's like subtle, very subtle, lovely. Absolutely. And of course, the fact that it has got that beautiful luster, uh, then we can, of course, paint it into our fab, uh, you know, t-shirts or cushions or something like that. It's just made, oh, I was thinking quilting as well. Quilt, you know, you if make you have your own fabrics. Absolutely. Uh, 257 and uh, 577. That's the item number. Sorry, my numbers. Uh, 999 is your item number. Now, of course, Pentart is based in the beautiful uh, city of Budapest, which accounts for extended delivery. Uh, it will be ex uh, dispatched from the, uh, so through two weeks today, so not long, to 24th of February. Right, moving on to the next. Again, I believe you have got uh, two different options. You have got the option which features the uh, red, rose, and yellow, which is the tropical. And then you have got the ocean uh, here, which I believe is blue. You are getting the pink and the turquoise. If you were going for both options, you wouldn't have any repeat colors. And considering that it's 9.99, makes it really affordable as well to go for the full collection. Now, is this... Um, can we use our stencils then and then apply this spray onto our fabric? Yeah, I tried uh, both ways. I, pr I tried direct and it's, it gives you the most, the nozzle gives an, an amazing like circle, brilliant. You can also sponge it on, you can roller it on, you can mix it with your other paints and make it thicker. This actually is a really good way of darkening some of your fabric paints as well without making them too runny because sometimes too runny it'll go underneath the stencil or anything. But yeah, this is a really good way of mixing all those colours up. Absolutely. No, yeah, it's such a brilliant, I, you know, I'm a massive fan of sprays and I kind of think in having it in the fabric paint sort of way it may, will mean yeah. that, you know, you, all of those techniques, you can use them onto paper and then make something wearable or something like a quilt as well. 198502 is your item number. Now we have going to the fabric paint. Now this, it's, uh, now you have got again two options, uh, great, beautiful colors. Now, uh, we have got the apple green, mint, blueberry, and let me show you, uh, pistachio and lime. I absolutely adore this colorway. I just, I don't know why, but there's some, like usually I tend to go for reds, but this palette here is just, a delight. Uh, and then we have got the other option, which is the raspberry, the light blue, the purple, and the yellow. And then we have got the red. So you can see them here. They're all there. Now, um, Lou, how do we use uh, these paints? Well, um, I tried this with uh, rice paper. Um, and then I was able to transfer all the mediums I've used and the medium we get later on onto trans paper, on um, textile medium over the top of the rice paper and then made that into a fabric as well. So it, you, the mediums we've got on, don't just think about them being on fabric. You can put them on very fine papers as well. However, I did mix some paint with this onto a bag and it absolutely stood it's beautiful paint i'll show you some of the little examples later but the colors are lush they are the, indeed just, 
very clean and crisp, aren't they? The lovely colours. Absolutely. And now the second option, because it has got um, it has the yellow, the red, and the kind of blue tones in there. Uh, that's more of primary, so you can mix it up. I would imagine that you can blend them in as well. Oh yeah, I had so much fun with that. And when I was painting with them, and I was thinking, because a lot of a lot of fabric paints can be quite gloopy because they have to be so they don't spread. This wasn't. It was like oh. Oh, oh, next oh. minute I'm like threading away down. I thought, I can't believe how easy this is to use. So I'll show you some blending and some techniques, but it's very easy, very easy. Uh, I think when, we, uh, when we're displaying it, I think raspberry is included in this bundle and apple green is uh, in this bundle, which makes a lot of sense as well. So you have got the pastel tones here and the vibrant oh, colours in that one. £14.99 is your price. You're saving £5.254.694. It was an easy swap, actually. Uh, right, it's, it's early morning. I mean, the roads aren't <laughs> even on, right? We just fly. You know, I, you, you don't know that expression well it's a spanish expression you know like you know the roads are an, are not on that means that you know it's so early that the you know you cannot you know the, the roads are asleep i thought it was also english expression but i guess it's not uh, anyway <laughs> moving on from that well it, apparently the roads are not on for certain people because they're not you know coming to work anyway moving on uh, so we have got here the silk paint kits you have got three sets here we uh, well or you are getting three colors and you have got three different options but whichever option you are going to go for you are going to get the mixing white the magic salt crystals and the pipette pipette right so the options that we have got here is tropical with it has got the orange the yellow the sand and the um, mint then you have got the, the bolt which is a blue like green and coral and then finally and the golden sand which is olive you have got the gold and the terracotta now Lou how yeah. do we what what is a silk paint and what do we use the salts for well, this is, I had to go and made, there's a little silk scarf I made, and you know, you look at these colours, but they dry so, so soft. Um, it, it's like a really concentrated colour that's really quite, it's quite watery in a good sense, and it spreads and, and flows throughout the silk. And then what you can do is put the salt on top, and the salt as, absorbs some of the colour, so you get these patches and blooms and cauliflowers and then it's it's stunning and the pipettes you can use to sort of drop the colours down onto it or it's just wonderful and for that price it wow. is fabulous uh cauliflower yeah, just let it wind a little bit you just mentioned cauliflower yeah it's it's just a name that we give to when well, you give it to watercolor so you get gradation which is ah. like layer on layer and you get the edges that appear darker and you also get bits where they sort of split and they look like a cauliflower floret oh, i see yeah i see what you mean now right uh, not not proper cauliflowers uh, right that makes sense <laughs> four two seven two two three is your item number 11.99 is your prize remember it's a choice of the three colors but you are gonna get the silk a paint and of course the mixing white as well as the salts and the pipettes. 11.99 for uh, whichever option you go for. 423 223 is your item number. Now we have got a pick and mix. Now this is similar but different from the Delicata. This is a little bit more, has got a little bit more of a grit to it or more kind of, not grit, more pearl to it. Uh, now you have got a pick and mix which is any two and you have got here the four options which is the silver rose the silver rose uh, and then we have got the old silver which is that bl beautiful black and then we have the silver and the champagne uh, color here as well which is a really nice gold so whichever two you want now what's the difference between the glamour and the delicata they look quite similar but they're also different yeah, they are different because I, I made sure I needed I, I knew this one. The delicate, it's almost like it's been ground finer, so you haven't got as much visible sort of edges to it. So it's quite delicate. That you know, um, I know it says it in the name, but it actually means that as well. And then the glamour's got a bit more of um, a chunkier part. You can't see it that much, but it reflects the light because the particles are thicker. So it's got more like of a, a glitter. Yeah. Without the glitter. It's I know exactly new, it's what new, you mean. The yeah. Black. The black is absolutely. Yeah, I'm gonna open color. the black. I've never seen that before, 
and it's it's like a <gasps> it's like a black but without it being too harsh yeah. oh it's stunning it's like a galaxy, stunning, isn't stunning, it? This stunning. night and the, oh, look at that! Looking at the starry night, right? And remember, you choose whichever two you want for nine ninety nine, nine nine seven, eight eight six is your item number. And look at that! You can create layers of, of course, by using, for instance, the rose, and then of course the silver on top of it, and creating dry brushing if you wanted to. Love how it gives you that kind of all metal look as well. So remember, they are fabric paints, but you can use them as well on mixed media, which makes it even better then we have got the 3d deco pens now Lou how do we use them and how do they dry like right well I was using these and um, it's one of them that before you know it you've dotted everything <laughs> and they really is to you yeah you do if you stand still you have yeah. dot you um, it's one of those because it's a pen in the shape of a pen it's easy to use um, and you can draw and write with it and it is it is drawable with okay. i found that some of them they stutter a lot these don't because they're pretty big so they're, they're easier to hold colors are great the colors are true and they stay quite three-dimensional as well i did some really high bumps on mine and they didn't they didn't drop or fall sometimes they sink in the middle not these these stayed proud and oh, round nice. and you can make your own embellishments as well all right, yeah, proud and round, proud and round. <laughs> That's the. Oh, sorry, my words are not coming out in the right way. Uh, four six Sounds eight nice seven nine four is your item number. Nine ninety nine is your price. I know what it is. I only have had half a coffee, not two coffees that I usually have. That's what it is. Now I know. Uh, then we have got the primer and egg set. Now silk paint again. Uh, how do you we use them uh, differently? The silver and the black pearl. Well, these are contour pastes, so these come out a little bit like the dotty paints. But yeah. These cause like an edge that your silk paint can't travel past. Mm -hmm. And the primer is so that you can paint this onto the surface of your silk, <gasps> and it won't flood, it won't blend, it will stay like like a um, pure drawing or painting lines it won't allow it to blend so it's like a foundation it's a really clever little thing so some of it you might want to blend but if you draw a circle you can paint the primer in and it'll stay in a pure circle so Fabulous. it's really clever i've really and then of course can we wash it away or does it become a stiff or no not at all no there's no sniff stiffness with these and that's the one thing that when i was going through all of them i wanted to see will it become stiff and crack not it's so flexible and the medium you're coming up to, if you can get anything with anything, get this medium because oh, this just transforms everything. It, it's like um, it makes everything now got a new use with the next thing. So if you can with the silk paint as well, get this one because it's such a good tool to have with the paints. It's amazing stuff. Absolutely. Oh, thank you for that. I kind of really, that's, that makes a lot of sense to go for that. It's just 999, uh, 336, 474 is your item number. And then we have got the fabric medium as well and the retarder. Uh, now, um, I believe you use the medium, the, the fabric medium as a kind of also an, an element to use your velvet powders. It says on the, yeah. The, yeah. Okay. yeah, you can use it. I used it to thin down my paints. Um, to thicken up my other paint, which is like my sprays and my silk paints. So it thickens up one, it thins down the other. It makes an ombre, it's a glue, it's a gel and it's a medium. So you anything that you apply, you can apply a flock to it. So that's like the velvet, you can apply glitter. And it's, it's like a gel medium, but made for fabric. So gel medium would crack okay. normally when it's flexible. Um, to a point anyway and this does not it flexes round I mean it, you can literally bend it back on itself and it won't it'll even crease but it won't crack okay. so it's it's like a gel medium but for paint it I wouldn't be without that and the retarder keeps your paint open for longer so if you want to blend it allows you to keep the paints open longer Ah, I see. Uh, 208299 is your item number. 999 is your prize. Uh, Lou, if you want to get ready uh, for the yep. demonstrations, we will let you get, get ready. And of course, we are going to have a preview of the stencils as well. And now, this is a set of three. They are self adhesive, so it means that you kind of peel them up and you have attached them to the fabric. So you are getting a really nice, um, you know, kind of 
pressure, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, now, think about do what you love. I mean, I love that so, saying. Think about not only t-shirts and things like that, but you can use them almost like a silk screen printing because it's that sort of sensors that you can put it onto, uh, you know, say fabric and then do a cushion, do it onto MDF and then do it as a plaque, do it onto paper and maybe it's the background of a mixed media piece. It is a stencil, it's kind of those ones, I'm going to open it so you can see it because uh, it kind of molds itself. I mean, let's see it over here. It has, you know, if you come open it, it's kind of, let me show you, because it's one of those ones that you cannot see it. It's like a silk screen. Can you see it? It's not as traditional. It, it actually ha has a screen over it. So this is why there are floating elements into it. This is not a gap. Per se. So you, if you put texture paste, it will have a little texture of it and it wouldn't be as thick because it's kind of super thin. But it's designed especially for the fabric paint. So you can transfer those designs onto, I'm just, you know, I was doing so well. It took me to, uh, to knock or something. Uh, so you can see that it will kind of attach itself or bend around it if you want a cushion. So basically, it's silk screening or screen printing without having the frame. Uh, 11.99 is your price. You are saving, uh, sorry, you are <laughs> saving. It's brand new, it's new today. My brain is not engaged. 14967 is your item number. Uh, of course, uh, Pentat is based in Budapest, so you have got uh, the this match they will be from the 24th of February. I believe Lou is ready, so take it away, Lou. Hi. Oh, yeah, I was um, reading about them, and they've been chemists for 30 years, and hence they know the stuff about these products. Um, like I say, fabrics, I am a, adore fabrics, but this, I've never used anything quite like this, so it's beautiful. Anyway, this is a silk scarf I made, and it's the first layer, and I was too, too nice with it. Not enough. Um, wow, but it looks beautiful. It. it is beautiful, and the gold in it has got this wonderful, beautiful fleck through it, so you could just see yeah, it sparkling. And this, I did in the microwave, and it's so easy to do. I'll do a demo for you later. You just put it in for three minutes with okay. the colours, and it comes out wonderful like this. But I'll show you that when we get to that. Okay. These are the sprays that I did. I'll just turn that on because I'll show it you later. Um, these are the sprays that I used. And what I did was I sprayed really just willy-nilly all over. And I just squirted them on. I thought, right, what's going to happen? And they blend beautifully. Now, I just wanted to show you some of the materials I've used. These are the 3D pens and the outliners for silk. This is the black glamour. Yeah. And in here, we've got the delicates. So you can see... There's a slight difference between the two. One's heavier than the other. It's quite a finer one. So you can paint all of them together. The gel medium, or fabric medium, sorry, was used in the back to get this ombre. So you can see where the glamour's gone thinner and thinner. So that's using that. And then I did, sorry, this has got to be done. This is um, mop up, but when I spray water on it, now it'll start to sit through. This is what I'm going to show you what to do today. So this oh. is all the paint, the glamour, the delicate, the pens, using a pen. I've even stamped on here with the um, fabric paint. So this has got everything on it, absolutely everything. And it's on cotton medium and it's... Oh, wow, it's, it's not a scratchy not, at all, is it? No, 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 not at all. And to answer that question before, Paula, you can see how pretty big these are. Yeah, yeah, it can say, yeah, the pen, the 3D pen. And, yes, and the white, um, the white you can use from the silk to highlight as well. So they all work. Now, the blue, I didn't have a really dark blue. Let me just show you what I mean. I didn't have a really dark blue. And if you look, there's like lots of different blues. Well, that's because I used this and I used this with it so that all interacts with each other so you're using and, the and silk paints that with it, oh. absolutely all works together so 
don't just think that you've got one they all work together because as long as it's got the fabric part on it it'll work but this this is this is the best thing ever right i'm just going to move this over and show you how i did the bag it's so simple right the first thing you need to do is always have um something inside so sorry about that so i've got a bag here and in the inside i've got some cardboard now it's important to do that because if you don't anything you put on the front will transfer to through to the back so that this makes is, sense yeah yeah it protects it now i do apologize about my hands but the silk paints and the other paints they get under your nails and it looks a bit scruffy i'm sorry but they have scrubbed my hands anyway the fabric bag that I've got is just an ordinary toe. I've got this from Penhart as well. And I've just drawn out some patterns, some of my mindful noodles. And you can see it's great. The board in the back is great if you want to do patterns because you can do a compass and it sticks into the board. Anyway, you don't want to know that. I'm just going to do a quick blend just to show you how easy. So the thing I'm going to use is I'll get the yellows out that I want and the orange. So I'm going to use a fabric paint. I'm going to use a little bit of the spray with it as well in the middle. And I'll just show you how they interact so well. And a little bit of the fabric medium. So I keep it like that. My advice is only open a tiny bit and then just squeeze a little bit out, like you would a gel medium. I wouldn't use decant it or anything, because if you keep the silver foil on, it doesn't go all over the place. Now this is really thick, so it's not gonna run all over. That's another great thing. And this is quite runny, so you do need to sort of think, right, well, I need to thicken this one up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just spray a little bit, and, and it does spray quite, it does spray quite strongly as well and goes everywhere if you're not careful and then get a paintbrush yeah so i'm just going to put a little bit of the medium on look at this already yeah and i'm just going to paint this little bit here oh, i'm okay. going to put a little bit of the gel medium on i've just <laughs> wet my brush down not a lot because i want to to get the bristles working so i'm just adding a little bit of the spray color so you don't so you don't wait until it dries the primer no, nope. no, nope. you can mix it in it, you can put it down first, you can do all that first, or you can mix it in, you can put a layer over the top later on, it's entirely up to you. So what I'm going to do now is I've got the primer, I'm oh, sorry, not the primer, the fabric medium, I've got the gel paste, which is the paint, and I've also mm -hmm. got the spray, and I'm just going to mix the two together so that I've got a transition colour, and I'm just going to put that on there. So I'm just going to blob it on, and then I'm going to put pure colour on, and that's all. I, that's all you need to do because it looks messy, right? Now this is where it goes brilliant because uh -huh. that yeah it just good. allows you to go. It smooth. thickens it out and it makes it sure that it still is the colour is still vibrant and zesty and full of life. It doesn't bleed yeah. so that. I've got a colour now. You can see the oranges yeah. and the yellows together. So if I just keep scrubbing like that, and even though I've put the colour onto the fabric quite concentrated in blobs, it won't matter because I can just go straight in with the pure colour and then blend that in all the way. And it's it's just stunning because normally the paint drags when you're doing fabric, but this, it's so smooth. You can really tell that the chemists, seriously, because... Yeah. This is the co consistency of this is absolutely brilliant. Now I'm going to just add another colour now. So I'm thinking, yeah, I like that, but I want to add a little bit more, say, of a red. So I've got the silk paint, which you can use. I'll do a little bit and show you. Now it's not, I don't suppose it's meant for this, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. And I'm just going to get a tiny bit. Always keep the lids on these, always, because these are very runny, very, very runny. And they're made like that so that it does run. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit here and just show you now. So I'm just going to blend there. So this is the silk paint in red. Okay. And I'm just bringing that on. Now, normally, you put that on without any retarder or any uh, gel medium that would bleed because it's meant to but yeah. on here now look at this oh how it blends so beautifully 
creating that ombre. And it's not me doing that. That's that's the and I can put the gel on as well and get an even better blend. So there's a blend there. So that's with the silk paint. Now I just think if you put a little bit of the gel medium on the top, the trying to uh, fabric. I keep calling it gel medium, fabric medium. It actually it it to me it sort of seals it in. I can get the other paint, which is the fabric paint, and just show you. Again, I only have a little part open because it's just easier. It don't go anywhere. Whereas if the lid's really open, you can see difference now. Just going to put a little bit there, and yeah. then I think it's nice to see how it blends because if you don't, it's quite difficult to understand how it'll work on your fabric. You just think, well, to kind of do a just colour squares in with colours, yeah. kind of not blend, and you can see just how easy it is to get all these different colours in between the colours that you've got. So you've got thousands of combinations. Absolutely. And then again, keep cleaning your brush because what you're doing is you're sort of working the colour and mixing it into the, the colour you've got. A bit more gel, a bit more transfer or gel fabric medium. I'll get it right in the end. Um, <laughs> and then I think you've got two blends then slightly different but what i would do just to sort of mingle it all is maybe go back with the yellow and i'm using the yellow spray mist just ah. to go over it all and it it just tends to blend yeah. itself now i don't like that line so what you can do is that just blend it in mm. now that's absolutely be i love that but if i wanted now a little bit of glamour or a little bit of glitz on it this is where i could go in with my this is the glamour. Now you might have little bits on this, don't worry. Some some have got like little um, tiny bits of white on them. And all it is is the the air on it. It doesn't mean anything. It's you get little sort of um, air pockets yeah. trapped in here. So you've got little bits of white on your paint. Don't worry, it's nothing. So I'm now going to put on the glam. Sorry, that's this is the glamour. So I'm putting it where it's lightest, and I'm just going to show you how it now does not look gold gold yeah it blends in and it's really thick yeah it blends in with the color underneath so that's what i like about this is if you want to put a bit of sort of glamour and glitz on the top then you can do and even better yeah. look at that totally blends in so the transition from light to dark from red to orange and glitter that's absolutely gorgeous absolutely stunning um, can I just show you this? I've got to show you this. Oh, look at this. I'll only do a little bit to show you. But what what I wanted to say is this this colour, you see, that's what I mean. Can you see there's a little swirl of silver in there? Don't worry about it. It's nothing. I know some people think, oh, what's wrong with nothing wrong with your paint, honestly. But this is, right, my advice, tiny bit out. It's so strong. You don't need a lot. I've got the wrong brush. I would use a flat brush that's got a bit of, what well, I call it, a bit of pulp to it. So if it's got, it, it's a firmer brush than normal. And the reason for that is you can get a really straight line and I'm just going to go straight in, even wet, don't matter. Yeah. And then straight to that. And I can get a little bit of gel medium now and blend that out. I'll just get that line sorted first. Right, so you just pull the line down, really easy yeah. to use, gel medium. And, and that just... black, uh, it's amazing. I mean, we have, I think with the, with the Skype, we cannot appreciate how gorgeous it is here, hence I'm showing it now to camera, so you can see all that no. sparkle, as you were mentioning, Lou. I just wanted everybody to see the sparkle. And, and it's the fact that, though, you know, you're not just using this on fabric, because you think canvases that we use to draw and paint on their fabric absolutely you know people forget that when they say oh can you use it on fabric of course you can but this is if you want it wearable then this is what you do so as you can see now i've put the gel medium on and it's so simple i'm going to change brush so i've got a bigger brush now now normally that would be bleeding into that but there's no no danger of that and, and i can add a little bit of water as well so I wouldn't add too much, but I know that I can add a little bit and not worry. 
Whereas normally I'd be sort of thinking, no, 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 I can't use gold. Uh, I can't use water with this mm -hmm. because it'll just run everywhere. But no, I'll just do this little bit, smooth it out, and then you'll see. So the delicate has got less sort of particle, uh, smaller particles than this. So it doesn't have that, re you know, the light reflecting off it. But this looks like crushed shells, right? That's how smooth it is. And when it dries, it dries to this wonderful colour here. So sometimes when they dry, colours change. It doesn't change that much. It oh, just yes, I can see, yeah. But, but this is only a t tiny bit lighter, and that's only because I used a lot of gel medium. But I can paint on top of this. So if I wanted to use these pens, I could do I have a question, um, um, Lou. Yeah. Uh, if you use uh, the, the primer, would it be, uh, you can work it out with any of these paints? Yeah. And it yeah. doesn't, it doesn't be. It, does it behave then also as a protector? Yes. Okay. Yeah, perfect. absolutely. So the primer sort of blocks out the, you know, the the element of it bleeding, um, and it it behaves just like that. It sort of contains the paint. It's quite clever. But yeah, I, it says silk paint, but it doesn't really matter. You know, I, I've used it on everything, and um, it's worked on it all. Now, I just wanted to show you that the pens, yeah, yeah. I'm just using them as dots, but they're not going to sink now. They will stay like that. And if I wanted to, um, I could get, say, I don't know, the end of another paintbrush and just... Oh, yeah, absolutely. And yeah. I'll tell you what's really helpful. Underneath, I've got the cardboard. So it's allowing me to push in and pull out. But then, do you see this now? It's only got the gold here. It's only got a tiny bit of gold there, but it's enough to make it bright. And then we've got the flatness here, and then we've got the brightness here. But it's absolutely, absolutely stunning. I mean, I can put a silk primer on another colour and show you. But, um, oh, I've stuck that if down. You, but if that's you... basically how these look. I'm going to do some more colour mixing, but if you want to do some numbers... Yeah, I will do while you reset that. Uh, we will give some numbers as well. And now, first item that we had a look is delicate. Uh, that is the fabric pen. You have got two options, which is the white gold and the gold. And you can see them here. It's absolutely stunning. You remember, they are fabric pens that you can bring in. Now, this is like super fine pearlescent powder mixed in into that luscious paint. And then the other option we have got is the purplish silver and the greenish silver. So it's absolutely stunning. I'm going to open the greenish, which is more like an aqua, I would say, than a green. It's just, now, if you like to distress something and create like a, a, a patina effect or patina effect, that greenish silver is fabulous because it will give you that kind of metallic iridescent. So here we have got, I think it's the white gold, uh, or no, actually the gold, and, and then the uh, beautiful greenish silver. So you can actually dry brush it into mixed media elements. So you can use your stencils, create a background, then dry brush one layer, then dry brush another layer to create that kind of elements of different colors and bring it in. Right, if you want to go for this ones, uh, 275577 is your option. And remember, go for the silvery options or the gold options. Then we have got the spritzers uh, here, the fabric mist. You have got two different options as well. So tropical, which is the gorgeous hotter colors, or the ocean, which is the cooler tones. Now you can use them for the background. You can see the piece here has been spritzed a little bit of blues and aquas and things like these and yellows to kind of create those, those colors, those mix of rustic colors. So you can use them on to crackle paint as well. And then suddenly they become complete, like the yellow here. You know, the way that it has mixed a little bit with the blue, dry between layers, because these are fabric paints, which means that they do have, uh, they do have, can you see the, the ball bearing? So if they are dye, I believe they are, they have got pigment and dye as well. So it's going the mix of it. Once that you are, you set them with heat, they become permanent. Therefore, you have got that play around time where you can make it like dab a little bit of color, then dry it a little bit, then heat it to set it. So when you put the next layer, it's not gonna blend.
You know what I mean? It's, it's going to go stay permanent. 999 is your price. 198505 is your zero two is your item number numbers uh, right for fabric paints here we have got again two options we have got a pastel option here as you can see now these ones are more of like an acrylic consistency of paint uh, you know you can see it here when you make you can say this is water based therefore like an acrylic so there but once that you heat set them uh, I think it's a low heat then you kind of become permanent and you can wash it up to 40 degrees as it says you have got the raspberry blueberry mint and pistachio and limetta uh, which is the other option and this one the brighter one is light blue you are getting the purple you're getting the apple green as well as the light blue the yellow and red 14 pounds and 99 pence whichever option you go to for uh, remember you have got a five pound saving and you can mix them and much and create any color you want especially if you go for the option of the brides because you are getting yellow red and a blue in there two five four six nine four is your item number then we have, have uh, the silk paintings. Now, this is fascinating because you could see loose silk scarf. The fact that whatever option you are going to go, you are going to get the silk ma ma magic, the um, white mixed, mixing white as well as the pipettes means that you can create you know those kind of almost batik like into your silk. You can create those degradations, those beautiful, uh, you know, kind of agate like um, you know prints now the paint itself is much more liquid the consistency is much more liquidy than in the previous the fabric paint and of course that is kind of so the silk you can dab it in you could do uh, also with this paint you could do I believe tie dye in the silk because it's much more um, you know kind of runny if that's the word that's one of the things that you want to get into that sort of thing having sold means that you can create but take like elements you can you have uh, the white here which kind of gives it a little bit of opacity as well 11.99 is your price 427 223 is your item number remember everything will be dispatched from the 24th of february because pentart is based in the beautiful city well i heard that is a beautiful city i've never been to budapest uh, apparently my director has been uh, there and she is younger than this jumper is i just gonna mention and my producer as well this jumper is, has served me a while. Has been to Paris though, no jumper. Not to Budapest, but Paris. Anyway, moving on to glamorous fabric. Uh, glamorous fabric paint here. Uh, now it's a pick and, uh, pick and mix. You choose any two that you want. Uh, now you have the beautiful black that um, Lou was demonstrated with. You can see it here. I'm gonna open it again because look at that old silver. If you were looking at the delicate, uh, delicate uh, ones, you can see that this is slightly bigger luster. If you know where the particles are, definitely a little bit. Shall I bring it so you can see the difference? Because it's, it's a bit, let me grab it. Let me grab it down. Because if I look, the delicate is, can you see? This is delicate. And if I m m show you the gold, you can see, can you see slightly the difference that this is more like homogenous and then the uh, glamour has got a little bit of more crushed, so the size is a little bit bigger. It's just a little bit more like the tiniest, let's put it the right way, yeah, that's glamour. That's all I had. Uh, so they are very similar, yet they kind of offer a little bit of difference. Also, in this option, because it's a pick and mix, you could go for the colors that they are not in the other one, if you know what I mean. So for instance, I would go for the black definitely in this option, and maybe... Oh, ah, oh. oh. Nothing has happened. It's absolutely clean. John, if you are watching, your cancer is absolutely fine. 997, 997, 886 is your item number. 999 is a surprise. Oof. I'm a little bit, you know. A little. Anyway, three D uh, pens. We have got the decor pens here. Now these ones will stand nice and proud and round. And the fact that it has got, they have a, a, that fine nozzle means that you can precision color into it. Now they are fabric, so it means that you can kind of go around certain areas and create a, like a resist. So that and of course they will stand as as Lou was showing. You can spread it. You can do texture because they are designed to self level and 
also to create that three-dimensional. So if you want to add some dimensional to your fabric um, projects, 999 is the price. You are getting all three of the colors. So you are getting the gold, the green, and the purple. 468794 is your item number. Then uh, the primer and the uh, silk paint contour. So it's, so, yeah primer for silk painting and the silk paint contour. Now this it means that if you want to be more precise when you are silk painting, if you want to do a, say, a boutique kind of effect that is actually, um, you know, kind of specific with designs, you can use the contour because they are pen-like. So this one, for instance, uh, has that really fine nozzle there. You can see there. And, of, and that means that you could write. So for instance, if you have got a scarf and you can draw some flowers, you can do that with these and then let it dry. And then you can paint it with the silk paints um, as well in the show. Now the silk primer would mean that if, if when you paint with the paints, uh, if you, even if you don't want a, a fine line, they won't bleed. Uh, 999 is your price, 336474 is your item number. The fabric medium and the retarder. Now, this has been very busy, uh, and of course, it, this is what Lou was using. I think this is a really phenomenal product. 9.99 is your price. Now, why would we need a fabric medium? Well, we want to make first of all, uh, with a fabric medium means that you can use it, like um, the, for instance, the sprays. The sprays we want to spray them, but you also you want to use them as paint. How do we use them? Use them fabric medium to give them a little bit more body. It's kind of has it has this milky color, but it will dry completely transparent, and of course it won't be at all uh, you know scratchy or itchy. It's designed for fabric to make them long lasting. Also, you can put it through stencils and then use the velvet powder which means that you could use the velvet powder into your uh, t-shirts and things like that, or maybe jean ba jeans as well. 9.99 is your price. You are also getting the retarder, which means that it may brings in all the pay, pay you know, allows a slower drying so you can blend those color even better. 208.299 without of course, because sometimes we mix water-based products with water to make them a little bit more blendable. But what, what it does is dilutes not only the color, but it dilutes the medium, the acrylic kind of goes. And if you put out too much, what happens is that all the qualities of a fabric paint, they disappear because the water kind of breaks them down. Hence why you need to use a, um, a purposely made retarder so it maintains the structure of the acrylic. Right. That's how it is. There it is. It's all that much. Yeah, it's just, I really like this sort of kind of behind the scenes and all that stuff. Uh, right. And then we have got the stencils. Remember that these ones are uh, self adhesive stencils, but they are fabric stencils in the sort of more almost like a screen printing stencils. They have got a really the finest mesh in here. You can see, hence why there is floating elements. And what it does, it allows you to dab your paint. If you have, any of those silk screen or a screen printing. Oh, sorry. It's just that they are, no, they're gonna fall. It's not me, it's the stencils. Stay there, stay there, stay there. You can fall after we go off you, go off you. Anyway, you can see them all there, and I love that you are getting so much detail. You can use them, of course you can, for any other project. Because they are self-adhesive and they are very fine, you can wrap them around a glass jar, for instance. 11.99 is your price, 149.667 is your item number. Right, Lou, are you ready? I'm all ready, my love. All right, take it away. Well, I thought what I'd show you is using some of our stencils that we've got. Now, this is the one I've got from Pentart. This is a Stamperia one. So I'm just showing you how you can use what you've got as well. Now, I'm using the Glamour and I'm using um, Silver and, well, Glamour. It is Glamour, both are Glamours, but one's black and one's sort of silver. And what I'm doing is I'm putting it on a sponge. Now, when this dries, it dries like, honestly, it dries like foil. Look, wow. it, it's beautiful. Look at but that. I know, it's amazing and it's just so easy. So I'm just going to go, to go in. You just need to dab the paint up onto the surface, get a nice consistent set, not too thick. You can have the medium if you wish, but what you can do, which is brilliant, is I can go straight in now with a silver and blend so that I don't have to blend 
the paint off I onto see. the side I can blend it actually on the fabric which is a plus because normally that's you wouldn't be able to do that you'd have to blend really it's really quite a difficult little trick to do so I'm just don't need a lot I really don't need a lot and then when you take it off it's beautiful it's shiny you've got the silver and the black coming through and when it's because it's wet it is more difficult to see but this this I just can't get over to you how shiny it is wow and is that the delicata the silver or is it the glamour this is the glamour, glamour yeah the glamour. and this just you can actually rub this onto your paper don't waste this rub this onto your paper so if you've got a spare piece of paper you can actually i mean i don't think i think it's too dry now but no it'll work so if yeah. i just rub that on there to clean it if it had yeah. sort of made maybe a bit longer it's a bit quicker i'm just going to squirt it with water just to see this is what i like to do will it work will it work and then you know for your fabrics oh yeah it is but so clean it if you wish but i actually think because this is a fabric one it's very thin and it's good thin because it's really durable but it's so flexible you can put it around anything but yeah don't forget that sometimes these will harden them up as well so that is more or less touch dry it's dried it where you can work on it but not dry as in the sense that um you could go out it still would it's not bad though, but you can work on it. So I put two, two really nice little borders on there. And what I would do now is just emphasise that you can go as long as you want, extend it that way and that way. But I would just wanted to show you, I'll do a quick sort of blend of colours, just so you get the idea, because I still think um, it's difficult to understand how how amazing this stuff is. Now, also. What I want to show you is, I want you to go from, say, we've got like purple here. I wanted to just show you something that I was a bit shocked at. So put your paint like that. We can you see can, it here. That's from your liner. Yeah. So now what you can do is, that's your liner. And if you want, you can add your liner to the colour so you can get a line look. So, oh, I see all this mix and matches now i know it's not supposed to but this is how i sort of find my way through it so i put some gel medium down the trans fabric medium get that used to using it don't you one term yeah and then you think you're thinking really hard you know don't say that don't say that and you keep saying it so there i've got that now i've got a mix with that i've got a little bit of the the um i put a bit more on so you can see it looks a bit patchy at the moment but it won't so a little bit more there we go okay. and you can use that um although it, it it's a bit too sort of small in quantity to use it but you can use it for your silk screens that you've got because it's it's thick enough to squeeze you through so i've got a little bit there and i'm going to go in now with a bit of uh, I'm going to change up the colours now just so you get a feel of all of it. Can you see the white in the top? Don't be yes. worried about that. That's just where the colour sits. So I'm just going to add in. You're using glamour as well, as, aren't you, now? Yeah, I'm using glamour. And then I'm going to go into delicate in a second. So I'm just going to do this. Now, if you was doing this, you know, um, at home, you could sort of maybe think about masking off but i'm not too worried about that I, I quite like you know i go back later on with the edges and just use a fine brush but yeah. you know you don't want to see that so i've gone now with we've got a little bit of a mixed line but that i can blend out yeah. like that now i'm going to go to the delicate so the delicate in the pink is very oh light. yeah so, that's gorgeous so if you want, you can put the gel media, uh, the fabric medium on first, but it doesn't really matter because these just blend. So what I'm showing you is that you can mix everything that you've got. I had a question. I mean, I don't know if it would work. I mean, it's just completely random, you know, my questions. But if the th consistency of Delicata, I was thinking if you had the stamp, if you dab the, the Delicata paint onto a dab, uh, yeah. into a foam and then you 
apply it to the stamp. Could you stamp it? With? It's perfect for stamping with. Uh, it's perfect for that because it's got the right consistency. But yeah. you do need to do like I did with the sponge. So what you need to do is make sure that the stamp, um, the product is sort of on, on your mat, flat, yeah. and then you can stamp yeah. the surface into it then. So yeah, it's perfect for that. And then um, just think that if I wanted to go now to a flat colour, because I'm using all one colour. Now this looks strange, but don't forget it's different surfaces, different textures and different light. So it will look a bit odd, but when it dries, it doesn't, it, it really, it, it really does dry beautifully and, and sort of smooth. Now this is just the paint on its own. So I've gone from glamour, the delicate to the flat paint and I'm just going to put a little bit more on and I think it's really really important that people get to see that one product can be used lots of different ways and that you can use the other stuff don't forget your paints and stuff sorry going right over in front of you your paints if you use the trans uh, the gel medium other paints can then be made into fabric paints as well yes. so anything acrylic if you use that medium with it, it it makes it wearable and washable so that's another little trick as well so there we go and then if you wanted to right at the very end i'll just show you you can get the white the mixing white and i can just clean my, always clean your brushes because the glitter try and keep one pot for glitter and glamour and delicate and another pot of cleaning water for the for the non glitter me because it just makes everything glittery then and you might not want that right i'm just going to i thought i'd open this oh i have right very milky you do need to you really do need to blend this and and what you call it um stir it stir it so as you can see now the white is now making that a very light pink ah i see so I've gone through all the colours. Uh, I've done every, Lou, every medium. Yeah. We, we are so kind of enthralled by your demos that we forgot the time. We have got about a minute to go. Right. Do you want to do some numbers then? Okay. Well, you will be. You, well, the thing is, uh, Lou, we were going to see you at ten o'clock with, of course, Scott. Yeah. Uh, we will see you, uh, and we will leave you now. But thank you so much for joining yeah. us. I've loved it. Uh, you can see that you are carrying away with a gorgeous paint. Now I want to remind everybody to check out their baskets, especially for the fabric medium and the retard, the best uh, seller this hour. Now remember, you know what? how I would choose the paints? Well, I would go for my favorite color, whatever you want. So for instance, for me it would be the spray, the sprays and the, you know, a tropical option. And then I would go for delicata or glamorous and then create my own blender. But obviously put again, uh, the fabric medium and the retard to make sure that you expand the paints, you make them last longer and also protect them and make them fabric uh, so you can wash them time and time again, even for your cushions and things like that. Right, check out your baskets and we will keep entertaining you here at Hotana with a more professional face after the break. As Scott, he has had the proper coffee, not unlike me, uh, Scott and Tina after. Yeah, Scott had a proper coffee, unlike me this morning. Uh, so he's going to take you away for Ross Paper Craft One Day Special with Tina Barnett. And then we are introducing Ruth Foley and then attend Pentart again. Have you heard of Achanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Hachanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. 
Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the channel. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we are mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting and most of the designs have been created by myself. We also have a great little team of other artists, friends, who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda Shows. We can't wait to see you there. I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Morning, everybody. Lovely to have your company. Here we are. It is Wednesday morn. Bit, bit cold outside, isn't it? Uh, here at the Chandler Studios, myself, Scott Walsfold, with lovely Tina, everybody. Hello. Good morning. Hi, everyone. You get a lovely <laughs> Tina this morning. I do. Well, Who knows what you're going to get at 12 o'clock? <laughs> so let's, let's, let's start with that one. How are you? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. We're here. We are, yes. Bit cold outside, isn't it? Freezing, and mm, yeah. but never mind. No, never mind. What's, where, yeah. Wherever people are watching with us, hope you're nice, snug, and warm and cozy. Great to have your company as ever. Uh, the one day special uh, that you're looking at today, which is now, I love this. This is because mm. we're, I'm just getting into the crafting via my daughter, okay? Oh. Because we're, we're sort of setting her, and she's loving it and going for it. Yeah. And we luckily, just before lockdown kicked in, we set a little desk for her. So now she's got all her little bits and pieces in place, brilliant. which is brilliant, not yeah. doing it all over the kitchen table. <laughs> um, and I've started to realise how important 
storage is. Yeah, definitely. Because one, you know, everything's in its place. Yeah. And two, as you say, it's not spread all over your desk. <laughs> exactly. a, bit, a bit like my area here. <laughs> <laughs> that's the professional but, working area, yeah. that's okay. Um, but yeah, you, it's nice to have, because it, it, like a clear desk, it clears your mind and lets your yes. mind sort of like then, you know, get creative, doesn't yes. it? So, and, and, and also, yeah. on, the, on, the, on the sort of really important side, you know, story, it does protect whatever it is that is stored away. Absolutely. It's not just left somewhere where it's going to get damaged. And also, for, I've realised for pens and for brushes, yes. easy access when you're doing something and it's just there. She's Definitely. got some of the... Some of the areas, like we've got the paintbrush holders, yeah. etc. We've got some of those where it's Definitely. just it's there. Well, we've got different pens that we need to keep like vertical yep. or, or horizontal. So you know, we've got um, in the big bundle, you've got the you know the the ability to do both. But um, with the stamps, I was saying yesterday, when you have the big as bigger stamps and the bigger sheets, yeah. um, when they're sort of like stacked up as mine are at home like, you know, one in front of the other, standing you, yeah. on end, they tend to bend over. Right, okay. And then, you know, after time, that does bend your stance. So it's right. really nice to have a flat, keep them flat. surface right. just to keep them, you know, as they should be. I like, I, I, and it is important. It's like any tool, isn't it, that you're going yeah. to have. Is that the more you Definitely. look after it, of course, the longer you're going to be able to serve you and work with it. And this is perfect for those. You know, you can decorate and do exactly what you want, so it's colour coordinated, everything. You've got your areas, of course, there that you can label and put them on as well when you're drawing um, all your elements onto those, so you can have nice and easy access that they're there for you. But this is perfect way of keeping them all together, Definitely. you know. Certainly if you're just starting out, you yeah, know, as and well. Also, with the homeschooling, it's, it's great to have, like, to actually get this as a project to, to to do, you know, for your art lessons, and then you've got the storage afterwards. Yes. Fantastic. And, 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 you know, actually, like I say, not just for stamps, if you wanted it, just that mm. space where you know that, I mean, even some of those areas, if you want to keep them and store them while they're drying, you know, yeah, so it's definitely. not just all That's over the really table, good, they're not going to yeah, get anything else really on top good of them. Point. And if you've got some of those um, magnetic sheets, yeah. You can always adhere those to them and keep your dies there instead. Uh, it's yes. entirely up to you. Per perfect, perfect. Well, if you are, I mean, the lovely thing about this is uh, that's be because you're not just going to get the flat storage that you can see there, as we just talked about, but you're also going to be getting the pen storage, which is perfect. And again, good size holes in this one, so it's just sort of the up to your larger pens to work with. It is, yeah. A lot of our um, alcohol markers are, are quite um, like large in, in size, so you've got plenty of room to actually uh, pop those through those holes. Yes, absolutely brilliant. Um, I, I love that. I do, I don't know what else want to play Connect 4. I look at that and yes. I think there's certainly I want to play. Yeah, Janice did. Did she? Did she play? <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of playing anybody any game. I always seem to lose. But this is brilliant. So 48 markers you can keep there. And what's so nice, like you say, when you get a blank canvas with MDF, mm. you really can go to town so it can fit yeah. in exactly your style, your look, your colour that you yeah. want for that person or for anything like that, which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, not only are you going to be getting that to decorate, you've also got then the actual acetate uh, that comes with this as part of it. Now, there's 12 sheets uh, in total that you're going to be getting on here, which is absolutely phenomenal. The acetate, again, for those that are just starting out with this uh -huh. as well, just explain why is that a good bundle for that? For well, it's, it's fantastic because, um, I mean, the purpose for it in this set is to, it, you've got like um, a shinier side and then a rougher right. side. So if you adhere the rougher side, just using some glue to each of your um, little panels that come out, yeah. you can um, then switch, switch it over and then put another sheet on the other side. So okay. you've got the um, above and below of what uh, like okay. you, your stamps on. Right. Um, so that's fantastic. But if you don't want to use it in there, because you're going to use it for something else, then get your die cuts, run it through your die cut machine, make your stencils. Oh, uh, right, yes, of course. You know, you can use that, because it's a really nice weight. Right. So you'll be able to use that for your stencils as well. And I, I think I'm probably going to use some of mine for that. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah, I mean, it is great. So again, you can create your very own stencils if you're working with something. Personalise that for yourself. Absolutely brilliant. So what you've got here is a great bundle with a great, great saving. In fact, mm. £15 saving on this. So for all of this, is only £24.98. The item code you want to go, this is for the one-day special, is 963388. And again, you getting £15 saving. I do want you to remember the £15 saving. It will become clear why I want you to do that in a second. But that is one bundle that you can see there. But if you're looking at this and thinking, what else? What other goodies have you got there, Mr. Walsfold? Well, we've got this, which is the complete bundle, if you want to go for this. A whole collection. So you're going to be getting stamp, pen, brush and pencil storage. And you've got that desk organised there. I love that, with the little hours on there. Absolutely brilliant. And again, if you are just starting out and you want to make sure you've got all your 
storage taken care of in one complete bundle that you can then decorate to be exactly the same or really different or lots of individual projects. This is a really good saving and it also has the flexi available on that. Two payments and your first is just £22.98. This, this is a great bundle, I isn't it, if you're going to go for this? I can't believe how much you get in this for this yeah. price. I really can't. I mean, we didn't realise on, on the launch show that the L... Um, like compartment was actually with it with the bigger bundle oh, really? as well. We thought it was, you know, the two from the one day and then the, the two smaller ones for your pens and um, the brushes. Uh, I mean, so what a bonus! That is it's brilliant. Absolutely beautiful, and it's one of the, my favourites. And um, you know what we've bought this I time just as wanna, well. I'm just going to show it there so you can see because mm. these are really good, sizable compartments in there. They aren't really they? are. Yeah, definitely. And you can, you know, you can use it as the desk tidy as it is, or you can um, pop some different bits in there, like you know, maybe some keeping your dies in packs and popping them in there, and yes. you know, and things like that. Little yeah. notebooks, whatever you want to, you know, use it for. It is brilliant, and and this is great. I mean, this. This is the classic, isn't it? That with yeah. the, the, the sort of the, the stand that you can see again, all of your pencils can go into Definitely. there, or your, your brushes, even if you wanted to as well. That I know you've actually got the one the different sizes there, Definitely. but again, really nice and sturdy. Yeah. Uh, even if you collect test tubes, I remember this sort of that kind of look from science. Hey, hey, yeah, do you know all your test tubes all lined yeah. up together? Definitely. Don't do that. If you've got a Bunsen burner and a heat proof mat <laughs> home, you're either a science teacher or I don't know, just a bit <laughs> scary. Um, but if you want to go for the complete bundle, really good offer here 208. Eight seven four seven, uh, and you're getting all of that with that three pound saving that's on there, which is brilliant. And I can tell you here as well, you are over thirty percent of the stock already allocated on this. It is a great bundle, and if you just love your MDF, even on individual projects, they can be broken up and split oh, up and definitely. you know moved on. And also, you know, if you if you're asked, um, you know, you don't have enough space at home as well. Those smaller ones can easily be glued on top of the two oh, you know, yeah, that's storages true. as well. So, you know, you've got all of your storage, if you like, in one place. Perfect. Really, really good. Again, very flexible in everything you're going to be getting there. Phenomenal deal. 208747. Uh, now, we've got some, if you're just more, uh, rather than actually the arty storage, for example, and you're just looking for some projects, then we've got more for you on the show here, which I think you'll love. And a brilliant price. I love this. The fantastic, the, the beautiful paper crafts here with the heart basket. This, I think, is absolutely gorgeous. So I'll just turn that around so you can see the little love heart there. Got a lovely sort of quintessential English cottage feel about this, it isn't has, it? It has, doesn't it? I love how, um, you know, who, uh, I, I'm not sure what the lady's name is actually, but um, she's from Ross Papercrafts and she, um, you know, she's made some of these samples. And I love that. That was how I sort of like envisioned yeah. like something as well. Brilliant for Mother's Day, Father's That's Day. Love, yeah. You know, what a gift. Absolutely gorgeous. And you're Her right there, garden. Father's Day as well for yeah, that. You know, that yeah. kind of look, isn't it? You know, that Definitely. you can go with. And a really brilliant price. It's only 11 .99 and really solid as well. Very sturdy with the MDF. Really nicely cut. But just that little bit of the Hessian on the inside, a, a little plant that you might want in there from a shop. And then again, some of the tools to go with it. Or a little bottle even, you know, something. 848398. That's also got a £3 saving on that. Just 11 .99. 99. I think that is a great project there. Again, gives you all that free will to decorate that how you would like to. Uh, we've also got for you the flower basket. Again, maybe stay with that theme as a gift idea uh, to work with. If I just tilt this around, again, just 11 99 You do have the same sides that will go on. Uh, we've just shown you here another way of decorating, and you can use the side panels then if you wanted for another project. Uh, but again, rather than the love heart that we had earlier on, we've got that beautiful floral that you can see in the centre there, which is really, really pretty. And again, Again, really lovely idea again to do as a gift, isn't it? This, yeah, um, absolutely. So, yes, the, the, um, the larger panels are used for another project, as you say, and the panel that goes across the top as well. You could quite easily um, not use that and pop some ribbon or something. Oh, through yes, instead. that's true. So, you know, use, use the pieces as, as you want to. All of them you could use separately as well, yeah. Yeah, but I think it's a really good, and again, mm. another great price, 11 99 which is absolutely brilliant. You can see all the pieces there that you will be getting as part of that package. One eight six six double one. if you would like to uh, go for those. Now, not too far away, um, and it's your Easter kit that you can have here to work with. This is a great one. Maybe it's something to do with the family, maybe it's something to do with the kids uh, in that respect. You know, something, again, is a nice project that's themed to that part of the year. It's got a brilliant saving. This is down from 19 99 and 
and now it's only 11 99 It's brilliant because in here you've got so many kits to work with. You've got the rooster kit that you can see there. You've also got the chicken box and you've also got the lovely little rabbit garden. I think that, I mean, just the rabbit garden itself is a really lovely little project. It, yeah, definitely. And again, you can, you know, use the little rabbit in elsewhere if you wanted to. We did... Um, I think it was the launch hour I actually did a demo on this one. Oh, yeah. With the, with the rabbit. So um, we, I used it as a, like an Easter basket as yeah. well and, and popped the rabbit on a stick that you get in one of the, the little um, it, like uh, inspiration packs. Oh, right, yes. Um, but also um, with the other two, I used my papers on the rooster from when I was doing Graphic 45. Ah, so oh, that, lovely. yeah, that looked beautiful as well, using like your lovely papers on them. Yeah, and that's another great thing about the MDF, isn't it? With yeah, papers, eh? if you've got absolutely. your papers, absolutely really do anything. lend themselves, of course, the MDF project. Really good. I love that. What a lovely project to work with. You've got three projects in there, really, for just 11 99 because you've got that £8 saving. 040905 for those three rooster, chicken box, and you've also got the little rabbit garden which is lovely. Uh, also, we've got some other projects that you're not seeing. Now, this is going to be a winner. Who doesn't love a unicorn? How about a you? And uh, who doesn't love a unicorn? Who doesn't love cake? Put them together. Unicorn cake stands. <laughs> Hello. You had me at hello. Fourteen ninety five pounds saving. So you've got unicorns and you got cake and you got a fiver off. To that. We are all over that. Fourteen ninety nine. I love that. Three five nine double one two. Is it too too early for cake? I don't know. Um, of course, where there's a unicorn, there's a dinosaur. Where well, there is an our house. Um, five large. Hello. Things are nightmares. Five medium. And you've also got the scale stencil to work with, which is perfect for your Tyrannosaurus Rex and your Diplodopus. Now I think they're quite smooth, aren't they? Have you? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't around. I mean, I might look a bit old, but I don't know. But I go with it. I'd just put anything on a scale with a dinosaur, really. Um, this is brilliant. Five pounds saving. Nineteen ninety nine. One eight zero two zero seven. Love that. I love it. Do you know what I love about this? The show here. You never know what you're going to get. We've got no. unicorns. We've got cake. We've exactly. had dinosaurs. Yeah. We've got handbags and stilettos. I mean, <laughs> this is a definite come dime with me, isn't it, all together? <laughs> £3 saving, eleven ninety nine. Look at those cinder shoes. Yeah. The heel on that. I know. Ooh, I twist There's the a, ankle. a sample that I've done with the shoes, and I'm, I was really proud of it. I really liked it. <laughs> 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 so you have to show that one later. But, yeah, you could use them separately. I've used them together. Oh, look. Like, it's going to come up on the screen. I know. Yeah, I can't find the other one. There we go. There I don't want to put them on. So I've made that into a little um, notebook to go oh, that's on. brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, so it's really cute. And I, I just love them. You could use, you know, one of these shoes on, on the side of one of the handbags as well and decorate that up. Yeah. But, oh, I um, love them. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm going to use one of the handbags in one of the demos this hour. Um, a hard so... bar. Five six nine zero two eight. Again, you've got three pounds saving on there for you. Absolutely brilliant deal. Lots of projects uh, for that price, which is phenomenal. Oh, hello. Yay. Because well, you know, unicorns and dinosaurs and shoes and things aren't enough. Let's get dragons. Yes, dragons <laughs> next, everybody. Don't adjust your set. Dragons and flowers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Five pounds, nine ninety nine. These are a gorgeous idea. They really are. They they stand. You you know, pop the dragon next to the castle, and then you have like the little watering can with the flower. They stand up. You can then pop your photo in the back. Oh, using, that's brilliant. Yeah, using those little attachments there as well. Oh, it's so cute. That's I think so I've cute. got the dragon set up for this hour, so hopefully we'll get to that. Oh, good. Oh, good. I love a dragon. Oh, that, oh no, yeah, we did that one yesterday. That's gorgeous. Uh-huh. Yeah, so... Little picture of Derek in there. <laughs> Six, full, nine, full five. Full size. Full si <laughs> <laughs> You said that. <laughs> 695, 696. Honestly, you'll have your shins for that, you will. Um, that, oh, now, we've got <laughs> 40 cogs. This is brilliant. Now, if you do love your mechanical feel on your projects, this is a must have because you've got all of these. You've got all your sizes. You've got your really sort of solid. You've got your lighter ones with the sort of the spindles going through for that. This is a must have to anyone that works on the, uh, that sort of cogs and the mechanical kind of feel, isn't I it? I love it. Um, if I had a pound for every cog I've coloured in. <laughs> well, well there's no, honestly, yeah. <laughs> they are brilliant. I, I love them. Then. <laughs> Sorry. 
Yes, he let you right. If you did, eleven ninety nine five eight zero three three nine forty cogs. <laughs> you all right, Tina? Yeah. Uh, we've got a few. Oh, here we go. Uh, just to make sure we've covered everything, oh we've got a bag of inspiration. <laughs> Minimum of 50 pieces, including little gates. You've got your happy birthdays. You've got all your different shapes. You've got little windows, love hearts. And I'm carrying on, Tina. I'm carrying on <laughs> for you. Uh, we've got the oval. We've got all the sizes and all oh, the shapes. Okay. And a £15 saving on this one as well. Fourteen ninety nine three zero five nine one five. So would you be rich and if you have? <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't realise I was going to say a sentence like that first thing in the morning. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not even after nine o'clock in the morning, <laughs> let alone nine at night. Oh, right. Are so... you working with that today? <laughs> I'm no. I'm... No. Thank God. Probably safest. Um, I'm going to use the pen storage. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to use the pen storage. Get okay. with it, Tina. Get yeah, with very it. Very good. Well done. Right, so I've got from the um, inspiration pack, I've got some squares. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some texture paste through the stencils, which is my favourite stencils, like this. So, this is um, one of Vabs's. Stencils from Ooh, um, yep. All and Create. Brill, brill, brill. We love them. So the, just um, taking that off. I see that. See, this is why the inspiration bundle is fabulous, right? Because just, just to sort of have them there. Because it doesn't take much in some projects where just one of the MDF pieces in there that you can put in there, for example, all of that. You could just completely change, just add Definite. it on, can't you? Just to one yeah. element even just makes a difference to a project. Which it is really does. Brilliant. I'm just going to spray just a little bit of water on there so that. Because they've got the tiny little holes there, we don't want them to um, be all clogged up. So, there we go. So, we've got um, our paste here. I've got and the actual, I've got the whole bowl here <laughs> while you're about to heat. Right, yes, you so don't I'll get dry the bowl, and you can show you. You get everything in the bowl. <laughs> it's like home cooking. Oh, foggy bottom. Right. We've got so yeah, so I can go through a piece while you're just doing the uh, the yeah, drawing. Is that okay, um, can I just pop that down for a second? I'll just put that there. No, I don't look like the bloke from Master Chef even more so now. Mm. Not Greg. <laughs> Could be. I'm going to move on and try and be professional. <laughs> yes. Well, can I just give you quotes? Quotes of the day from my producer. That could, just in case you wasn't sure, buddy. This could be a plaque. <laughs> I'll just show you that. I'll wait for the close up. This could be a plaque, everybody, but also, so could this. You've got 50 chances, basically, to create plaques. You've got your uh, smaller parts, you've got your big squares that we're working with here. We've got, uh, I wouldn't mind, I've got a whole day of this, everybody, in my ear. This could be a heart. This could be a heart. And guess what this could be? Yeah, that's right, you a chair. Um, it could be anything at all you want, but you've got huge amounts, huge amounts of the elements, of course, that you can see that all come together. Um, and it is all about your inspiration. Does that look at her like a little award? <laughs> or, is it, or is it a, is it a Humpty Dumpty? Ah, like, uh, yes. Almost like, I, I'm not sure if I can say, the, the egg that fell off the wall. Yes. Yes. I know the Kinda one. Kind of like that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like that. Absolutely brilliant. Your picket fence elements. Yes. Uh, so, honestly, you've got 50 pieces in here for 14 99 That's a huge amount to work with. I uh, yeah. love it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the bowl to one side and uh, go back over to Tina. OK. <laughs> so, um, with those fences pieces as well, you could use those with your other sets and then have some of the fences 3D'd. You know? Oh, yes. Yes, that would work really well. So what I've got is um, I've dried that off and I'm now going to just add some black um, gesso just to give me a nice base on the MDF. When we, we work with MDF, though, uh -huh. is, is it important that we, we do coats? We were talking um, about this yesterday. It, it, I, I tend to use it as I feel like at the time, okay. you know. So if I've got um, something that I want to do that um, I'm going to be using lots of colour or maybe um, a medium that's going to be sort of wetter than I'd 
right, you know, right, you choose, yeah. then I would definitely gesso it. Um, because then it gives it a seal, but also that will then sink into the MDF rather than your, prod uh, your product you. that, you, you, you know, is more expensive, if you yes. like, you know. So um, definitely. But yesterday I did lots of stamping and inks, like, naturally. If I bring this one in. Oh, direct onto it. Yeah, so you can see on this one, we, you know, we went direct oh, with yes. the inks. So I love the natural look of yeah, it as well. Yeah, that is nice, isn't it? That is Definitely. lovely. And I suppose, again, uh, I can't remember who I was on the show with it a couple of weeks ago. We were talking about, of course, MDF's great if you want to yep. add in other fabrics like Hessian, for example, and all that. And they said, well, yeah. that's a good time sometimes to do a complete cover because obviously, if you want to get that solid colour across and you're using different materials, Absolutely. the gesso helps yeah. to yeah. make sure it's got a universal background to it regardless of the material definitely and it's sometimes if I'm doing a mixed media piece then what I would do is um, I would put my different elements on and then I would use gesso but I wouldn't be too careful with it oh, do you okay. know what I yeah, mean yeah. so then when you do add your color you get different tones as right. well right oh, I see so yeah just lovely have a play around and the inspiration pack is fantastic because you do have these little squares yeah in. you can practice and you know yeah, try that's different true. techniques that's true yeah so just a quick dry off of um, if you, so. if, if you think about if you're going to go for that sort of assortment uh, assortment pack, um, you know you've got 50 different pieces in there yeah. again, and you've got fi basically 50 different projects. You know, with regards to those, or they can be added onto a number of different projects. Maybe one or two. Again, don't forget you've got the famous plaques in there as well. You've got you've got the fences in there. You've got your love hearts in there. You've got there's a huge amount. You've even got some of those again with your happy birthday on there, for example. Little window. Imagine what you could put through the window as well there. Where, what scene that is looking onto? So you've got all your shapes, all your sizes, and you've got some of the text in there, and that 15 pound savings. So it's a real brilliant bundle to have. Just have it in your stash. Three zero five nine one five for that. Only fourteen. 99 is brilliant. Okay, so what we're going to do is I've got some of the Lindy's Gang um, magical powders and I'm just going to pop just some different colours on each of these blocks. So I'm trying to show as much as I can as far as using papers, using inks, paints, yes. you know, just to show you that you can really use exactly what you'd like um, on these. So we mix the colours up. We've got some lovely lime colours here and yellows. So you can use, you know, as much of the powder as, as you want, depending on the effect that you get. And that's, uh, quite, it's nice when you're doing the way you're doing it. You've actually got them all lined up together, but you can actually do a lot of projects all in one go here, can't you? Oh, gosh. They're all in, in, individual definitely, projects. Definitely, definitely. So let's add a little bit of blue as well. These got a lovely shimmer to them. So are these again, are you going to add water to these? Is this what I you do? Am. Oh, yeah. wow, yes. So because we've um, used the texture paste underneath, when I add the water, all these colours will seep oh, into lovely. all of the different textures. Ooh. So let's have a, a little blast with our water. So this is why I'm use, I use gesso as well, because I am using water. Right. I, yeah, of course, yeah. So look at this. I love the colour of this one. Look. That's vibrant, isn't so it? So just, let's give that a little blast on there with that bit. Yeah, so I just wanted something that's, you know, a little bit shiny and metallic, but yeah. also, you know, just to give it something different as far as the texture and um, colours are concerned. So a little bit more there and just let them through. That one you're just working on there, can you just hold it up to a little bit to camera one sort this of flat on so we can sort of see um, the, uh, yeah, that's it. And then we can, ah, that's it. So there yeah. so you can see the colours coming through. Lovely. Yeah. Ri again, that black background really sort of allows it does, them. It's like a firework it? at night. It that does, is lovely, isn't it? Yeah. So just, um, you know, reactivate them with the water as well. And also with these, you can um, go back in. Oh, once it's actually wet, wet on yeah. the surface already. That's right. And then you can add a little bit more if you want to. There we go. Lovely, lovely. Okay, that was the line. There. So again, I'm just going to do a little bit of drying. Okie dokie. Okie dokie.
I'll just give you, uh, we, don't forget, we saw one day special that we're looking at here where you've got all your stories. It's all fantastic MDF projects for you uh, that you can look at. We've also got your seven day save. It's just going to give us information, of course, just at the moment uh, while Tina's doing that. But I've not seen this yet. I love this. Really magical. This is your carriage and carousel. Again, really good price points here for two brilliant projects. Imagine those being decorated, maybe for someone's bedroom, a lovely gift idea. Uh, 876953. Look at that, £10 off. But this is great because you can really let your imagination go wild with these as well. And if again, you're working with some younger people in the household, something here, which again, which is absolutely fabulous. And who knows, of course, once you've done the decorating, you get tired of what you've done, you can always just give it a cover and over again and redecorate. Just 999 876 953. Three. Absolutely love that. Part of your seven day savers as well. So if you want to take advantage, please do so. Uh, thanks, Tina. Okay, so as you can see, they've all dried off and they're, you know, really beautiful. So I'm just going to pop those to one side okay. and then bring in um, the actual storage box. storage. Okay. Um, I would always put something together first before painting it. Right, okay. It is quite difficult, obviously, then, or tricky to get the paint onto the inside if yeah. you want to so you could paint these panels first right. just watch your hinges what i did is i used a spray gesso oh okay so once it was all assembled i just popped the spray gesso on okay so i'm going to go to a different stencil this time and i've got some champagne ice which is a deco Ooh. art luster that's sounding nice and oops i'm just going to add a little bit through the stencil but I mean, I know that we talked a lot about our own stories, but I mean, the, the, the fact of the matter is that these are still great to decorate and to give as gifts. If you know oh, someone that's so. into that, but yeah. you, like, you like the creative, but you're running out of shelf space yourself. Definitely. I think, um, you know, I, I love storage where I get to sort of put my own stamp onto it as well, yeah. you know? Yeah. So literally. It's, it, it li yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, it is nice to, to make up and you can... When you've, you've got it in your craft room as well, you've got like um, a theme, haven't you, sometimes, that you like to, uh, to use and a colour scheme. So, you know, you can, you can make these to fit in with your colour scheme. Yeah. And to be honest, if you wanted to, um, like a jewellery maker, I can see a jewellery maker use the one with the drawers. Oh, yeah. You know, and display your earrings and your pieces yeah, great on as idea. well. You know, great when, idea, you, yeah. when we do get to go to our um, fairs and everything again. You know, we. Um, oh, yes. I think they're a lovely display unit, and it's and it keeps keeps it neat, doesn't keeps it? Keeps it neat, yeah, it does. It does. So I'm just doing a little bit of um, stenciling on this. So and the nice about these, they're a good size. You know, you can get is it 48? We can actually hold in that uh, with all the pens, for example, for that storage. But the lovely thing about that is, you know, even if you've got, we had some um, images sent through from a lot of our viewers that were showing us pictures of their craft room. Oh, and, but wow, it's amazing yeah. how people have got some really lovely big shelves, big cabinets, etc. Some just sort of fold away again, shut the door on them if you need to, you know, when you've had enough of looking at them, moving on. But what's great about yeah. these is they could fit onto those shelves really nicely, fit it into the decor that you want. So you do that. And they're not, they're not taking up drawer space, you know, sometimes all your pens, etc. are just there. You've got to rattle through to sort of get them. It's great to have them all, all on display, which Definitely. is, I think they are brilliant for that. And the right they size are. to put on a shelf. They're fantastic. I think, uh, you know, you, you can just let your imagination go wild, really, with this. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going to take the squares that we did and add some um, gel medium on them. And then just arrange them on the top here and the sides. So we're build, just building up on the air. Yep. So for drying time for these, you know, you can, you're okay to put them straight on? Um, I, to be honest, I'm so used to doing, like, samples and having <laughs> to do them, you know, wet on wet, that, like, I tend to, yeah. Yeah. I tend to just pop them on there. But ideally, you know, let them dry. That would be great. Okay. Build them up as you want. Exactly. Initial them, personalise them. Um, exactly. Would you put your pens in colour order when they're in there, or yes. is it just... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm a little bit... Um, I freak out because in the um, hotel room, the cups are different. <laughs> so you have two cups, and they're different styles. <gasps> <laughs> does that upset you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay. 
We'll make sure that you've always got matching cups <laughs> in, the, uh, in, your, in your green room. I do like the... <laughs> don't, don't, don't go in the kitchen. She's such a diva. <laughs> Only blue coloured certain sweets. <laughs> oh, dear. You're just like Janice. <laughs> just don't take the blue ones. <laughs> yeah, so just different um, pieces. Oops, some of that one back. There, just like that. And then what we can do, they are still a little bit damp, but what we can do is we can take um, maybe a little bit of, we've got a liquid Ooh. here, which is a liquid um, silver metallic. Well, that's going to work nicely with the black background as well. It is, definitely. Uh, let me just see. I'll use the same one, that's fine. So I'm just going to take a little bit on here, and then you can then just brush around the sides. Oops. Uh, just on the edges. And yeah, just add a little bit of silver. Oh, that brings it like. together nicely, yeah. And it just, you know, and then along the front as well. Sorry, I can do that so you can see what I'm doing. Just to give that nice little metal look and along the edges just gives you know like a, a, a just different look doesn't it you yeah. know it brings it brings like the the tiles together with this yeah bringing those in together with yeah. the, the silver on it there we go so let's see i'm happy with that a little bit there Got a funky space kind of feel about it this. Is. Yeah, definitely. So you can, you know, just go for it really. Just do exactly what you want to. And then you've got your nice little shiny tiles. Those tiles could have anything on there yep. as well. A lot. Lovely. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much indeed, Tina. Loving welcome. that. Loving that. We'll give a quick recap and then we'll come back to you. What are we looking at next? Um, what would you like me to do? Would you like me to do a photo frame or would you like me to do what was the other one i've got the handbag oh um i'm waiting for the voice in my ear because <laughs> it may look like i have an opinion but i'm not allowed one i don't have one i'm gonna go i tell you what i'll come back to you okay <laughs> keep you on your toes we're liking that. Uh, very good morning if you are just uh, tuning in with us here on the, uh, the Hachanda studio, on the Hachanda platform, uh, with, of course, your brilliant one-day special. You just see working there, which is the storage part, which is a part of the three-part package that you're going to get for your one-day special. This will hold 48 of your marker pens uh, for that. Absolutely brilliant. You can decorate how you want. We've seen a sort of really dramatic look there, of course, uh, that's been working. You can see that with the silvers, but you're going to be getting 48 of your uh, marker pens storage. You're also going to be getting the beautiful um, frosted acetate. That's all in here as well. You're going to get all of your sheets of those that work brilliantly. Again, if you want to make your own stencils from that, you get sheets and sheets and sheets of that to here to work with, which is absolutely brilliant. Then, You've also got your, a, uh, your, your stamp storage, which is perfect. Now, we say stamp storage. We've actually got some of the acetate in there, for example. You might want to keep all your acetate together in there. Um, it could well be, we talked about for your jewellery, you want to keep your earrings, for example. Then so it's been talked about if you're there as a display unit, if you're there doing your shows, for example. It could be an area that you're using your trays to just put on there, your pieces that are drying whilst you're doing your work on your card or your paper stock, for example, or brilliant just to keep your stamps there, which is what it's originally set out for, all of those in place. It's a really good storage. Again, you can actually decorate you want. Now, that for a bundle of your three elements, 24.98. It comes with a £15 saving. That's 963-388. If you like that, but you really want to go to town with your stories and you want to go for the complete bundle, this is brilliant because this has got so much in. You're going to be getting what we just talked about, but on top of that, You've also got this, which I absolutely love this. You've got the fantastic desk organiser with little owls. It's a really lovely part of the project, actually, of this one. And again, I'm just trying to show you've got really quite large and deep segments in there that you can keep all, maybe more pens, maybe it's pads, maybe it's other elements, again, that you might work for your uh, crafting at hand nice and easy. You're also going to be getting your pencil and you're going to be getting your brush storage, which is absolutely brilliant to keep everything, again, just where you need it, on the side of the desk there, nice and easy, uh, again, to put together. But, 
lovely way of actually decorating them all so they work really nicely within your colour coordination that you're using in your area itself or lots of individual projects that you could be making here. Now all of that with your saving that you've already had there is now down to 45 96 for this one and it's flexi so you can actually have all of those elements for just 22 pounds 98 pence on your very first of your payments 208 747 right i love these as well i think it's gorgeous but a bit removed again from the storage side of things but this is more like projects gifts display present idea really love these ones and really great price points 11.99 first option we got for you here excuse me, on the basket, is the lovely little love heart that you can see. I think that is good. Cool. Imagine that in a shop, how much you'd be spending here with a flower in there, a plant in there, uh, maybe a little bottle of something, for example, or some nice chocolates on display, or your favourite sweets or anything like that to be put together. Um, that, I'm sure, would be a pretty penny if you'd buy that from the shop. This, 11 99 it's got a £3 saving on here, but again, you can decorate with you want, and you can put in there what you want. I think it's a great gift. Uh, 848 Three nine eight. That's for the love heart option that you can see. We have a second option, exactly the same, but this is with the flower, not with the love heart that you can see here. Uh, and this one again, we've done the decoration for you. We've removed the side panels, but you do get the side panels in it, like you've just seen with the love heart there. But just a different way of looking at that, and that also means that you would have those two sort of gate um, sections to use on another project if you wanted to. And that again is only it's still eleven ninety nine one eight six six double one really really nice projects to work on good size great sizes actually little pot plants in there absolutely brilliant now at easter i think this is great actually three projects that you got here to work on all for one price again of just 11 99 you're going to be getting the rooster good size on these by the way and you've got the little tray in there again that you can want you can have this out all the time actually keep your little eggs in there it just have to be for easter does it really so you can have all those just on the on the on the on the shelf or on the windowsill wherever you're going to keep you keep your eggs in the, not meant to keep your eggs in the fridge are you um, you're not supposed to keep chocolate in the fridge, no. no. Why did you move it onto chocolate? I was thinking eggs. I'm thinking normal eggs. Oh, normal eggs. Yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> it's... One trap mind. She has a one trap mind, everybody. <laughs> oh, we've lost her again. <laughs> I'm talking eggs. Uh, where do you keep on? I don't know if you need the window seal on this wind. Okay, here we go. This is probably the most weirdest question ever asked by a presenter here on agenda. Where do you keep your eggs? <laughs> studio, studio at achanda.com. Don't fight this. Go with it, everybody. Where do you keep your eggs? Um, you might want to keep them on this with your little rooster. You've also got your lovely little chick there as well. And you've also got the box here with the rabbit garden, which is perfect for keeping your eggs. See, I used to. I've got the little egg shelf in the fridge, but we don't use that. I've got another little shelf that's up on the side there, just next to the, not too far from the microwave, just not a little bit further from the hob. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't cook my scramble. I don't. No, no, no. Greg Wallace. Whisk. Um, I've got a lovely little shelf. There's a metal, a metallic shelf. I'm telling you where I store the eggs. I just realised. Zero four zero nine zero five. Just listen. That's what lockdown does for us, everybody. That's what it does. Um, where to keep your eggs? Sometimes I double stack. I get twelve and a twelve. I double stack. I like a lot of eggs. Uh, Eleven ninety nine for that. Still lost, Tina. Um, what are we looking at next? Oh yeah, let's go for uh, for this. There it comes. Yes, dragons and flowers. That moves me on to a much more sensible topic. Uh, dragons and flowers, nine ninety nine, five pounds saving, six nine five, six nine six. Honestly, whatever project it is you're looking, for, we have got something for everybody here. We've got magical. We've got the dinosaurs. We have got for you uh, the unicorns as well. We've got for you handbags and high heeled shoes. We've got dragons and flowers. And the lovely thing is, you can decorate as you would like to go for. I think that's the great thing about MDF projects. They really do allow you just to go with them. And these are all beautifully made, by the way. And the whole idea of what you're going to get from Ross Papercrafts on this, the whole counter is absolutely brilliant and a great, great name to go with. Nine nine to nine. Um, please do not disappoint my producer. She can't wait to know where you keep your eggs. Where do you keep your... Where do you... So, apart from chocolate eggs, because there are real eggs... <laughs> 
Can I tell you an honest, an honest, an honest story about okay. eggs? Okay. Okay. Just while you're, you're is you it don't know safe? what you. It is safe. Yeah, <laughs> it's safe. I was, uh, I was at somewhere, you, you go up to a counter and the people make your breakfast for you uh, as your eggs at the omelette station, yeah? And there was a lady uh, in front of me and when the chef broke the egg, she complained and said that had gone off and he said, no, it's not, they're all fresh eggs. She said, no, it's gone off, it's got a yellow bit in it. <laughs> he said, that's the yolk. She went, no, break another one. He said, I'll break them all, but they've all got the same. <laughs> I, I promise you, I promise you. When I stood behind, I, 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 all I could do was go, this is great material. This is great material. <laughs> Carry on. And she wasn't upset. She walked away from the omelette station. Yeah. When I got some toast. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think she'd seen a real egg being cracked before. Oh, dear. Anyway, I digress. This is the best thing It's I true. Think. It's true. Where to keep your eggs. You see? <laughs> don't... <laughs> <laughs> don't, uh, don't belittle the conversation, everybody. Uh, in or out the fridge? On a shelf? In a cupboard? Where do you do? That's a yolk. Or are you serious? <laughs> oh, 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 all white. All white. <laughs> Let's start cracking jokes oh, here. Oh, dear. I like it. Okay, well done, joke. Right. What are we so working on now? What did we, we decide? We have this gorgeous picture little um, dragon picture frame. And Love it. That's really, um, like, you know, great idea. It's because you've got the slot here. So when I pop it together, we're going to have the, the um, dragon at the side. Oh, sorry, just here. Like oh, okay, that, yeah. So that I can see the dragon at the side of my photo frame. But on the reverse, you've got um, like a U-shaped piece of MDF, and then you've got this like back plate. And then you put the U-shaped piece in, the back plate at the back, and then you can slip your photo. Can you see that? Yeah, just in there. Got you. So it's really, really good. So I'm going to use some metallic paints and also some stencils because we've got some little bricks sort of in here so I'm going to highlight the bricks but I also just want to put a couple more scattered around. I really like this kit. I just think the dragon and flower, I think certainly projects, like proper frames that you can decorate yourself but again, yeah. ch children's pictures in there, you know, when exactly. as a grown up because we, we, we've, all, we've all grown up with dragons and castles and, you know, fairy tales and magical and whether it's a frozen castle that you might be putting in there, for example, you know, exactly, or you've got the yeah. beautiful um, the floral designs that work with these. Um, I just think these are really, really lovely to better put together and create, really, aren't they? they I've got are. the little They're flower beautiful. set that goes with that that's put together. Here we get your watering can on the side for that one, which is lovely. So, again, little photograph. Uh, in there as well, that uh, which are a little lovely. I'm loving the sparkle around this as well. Yeah, I know Yay. the galaxy flakes that they were. Love it. I love it. Galaxy flakes. Do you know they were good sizes actually? They've got, okay, I think to, to, they look quite deceptive when you yeah. see them on the screen of everything all together. Yeah. But when you see them actually there when they're built, you know, there's a really nice size out on the side of the table. Definitely. And also, um, you know, the cake stand that we've got with the unicorn yeah, cake they stand. They are huge. Uh, I mean, it, it stands about this high. Oh, does it? Yeah, it's really, really oh. big. It's a lovely size. You'd be able to get lots of I don't of think we've got one on the set to show, which is a shame. Imagine the size of that with your cake on it. Yeah, definitely. Maybe with your eggs. So I'm going to just colour in some of these bricks. Obviously, at home, take your time. You can mask off if you're, you know, worried about going over the edges. Right. But I, um, I Hillary's been in touch, by the way. Yeah. Morning, Hilary. Thanks for being in touch with us as well. Thank you for uh, picking up the baton on the egg conversation. Um, Hilary keeps her eggs in um, which in in a fruit bowl. Oh, oh! See the surprise you caused. That sounds very off script, <laughs> but I love it. I love it. Why not? Where do you? Now, you know what my next question is. Where to keep your fruit? <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. But, uh, but thank you very much indeed. Join in, everyone. Join in. The fun you're missing, join in. Oh, Studio at achanda.com. <laughs> <laughs> this is going really well. It was going really well, and then I turned up. <laughs> I apologise. I apologise. Oh, dear. How else said I'd be more professional? Oh, Paula said apparently I was a more professional face. Yeah, well, she she had... hadn't had her coffee, had she? So. No, she hadn't had her coffee. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think she thought that it was Yanis coming up next. Oh, <laughs> no, but I, I, I really do love these. I just think the whole idea, the castles, the dragons, the florals you've got in here, but I, really, I, do, I just think these are great. <laughs>
Yeah, what, what lovely. Again, the nice thing about this, because you could, like you say, send this flat pack, decorate it. Yeah. Because it's only that one side element that's going to go into the side to hold it up, isn't it? But this is a lovely thing to do that with a photograph, pop that into a little bag and send that through the post to someone. The whole idea of memories at the moment and being together and... Yeah. I've, I've noticed on social media, people are sharing lots of those uh, things that come back. Do you remember this memory from a year ago or two years ago? And, Definitely, and photographs yeah. of when people were all together. I just think there's a lovely idea to be able to sort of create... I, I think so, you know. ...flat it and send it. Well, and also, we, we, you know, we tend not to sort of print off our photographs, do we? So it's really nice to, you know, be able to do that. Yeah, yeah. And then display them in something that you've created. Okay, so... Liking that. I'm liking that door. Awesome. Oh, by the way, just to let you know, Hillary's been back in touch. Oh. Thanks, Hillary. Thank and you. And where's her fruit? Question is, because the whole nation and the world was on waiting for this one. Yeah, I have to know. Well, Hillary does keep her eggs in a fruit bowl. Uh, and also kept in a fruit bowl is her fruit. It's a Super Bowl. <laughs> it's, it's got a bit of everything in there as well. Where do you keep your keys? Because I keep my <laughs> keys. My... <laughs> <laughs> I have got a bowl that I do put the keys in. <laughs> have you got one of them? No. <laughs> Answered quite quickly there. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. We've got, we've got more... <laughs> we've had a picture. Hang on. <laughs> and, uh, we've upgraded from Hillary's email. <laughs> this is Kim. Where do you keep your eggs, Kim? This picture says everything. In a Victorian oh, iron egg stand, of yay. course. Look at that. That is wicked. That is brilliant. <laughs> I'm loving that. Nicely stored. Oh, dear. Where'd you put that? On the, just in the kitchen <laughs> beside the hob. I keep mine next to the hob as well. Now, if you're wondering how we started this, we've got the fantastic collection where you can keep your eggs. This is where it all came from, by the way. There is method in my madness in here. Uh, but you get a kit of three here, where you can keep, because you're gonna get a lot of eggs in there. And by the way, these are not to scale, these are little chocolate eggs. I think you could, I think you could probably get, oh, hang on. I'm just nicking them from the, uh, the rabbit garden. How many could I get in here? I'd have no more room, Hillary, you'd be upset. I've got no room for fruit at the same time. Oh, don't, don't criticise the, the side. I'm putting my eggs up. So. Now, don't forget, in here, we have got little other elements as well. We've got, look, well, okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, that's six. Uh, if I took, oh, they've, they've been stuck down. You, uh, do you go for a medium or large egg? Well, look, you know, and you've got another tray as well. I mean, how many eggs are you going to have in one week? <laughs> I mean, I do get two. I, get, I do go for 24. Um... I do, yeah, I do like, I like my eggs. I get through quite, I know, it's not, I've been, hang on, everyone's having a little go, how many eggs they get through? So I, say, I get through, I get through quite a lot. There we are, gives you an idea. 11 .99. don't use your fruit bowl. <laughs> or your Victorian <laughs> steel egg stand. <laughs> use that, 040905. Um. Say no to you. <laughs> Right, so, yes, just happily... Back to castles, back to a bit of normality. <laughs> castles and dragons. Happily, um... Oh, my days. Colouring in the dragon here. Oh, dear. What so, would you call your dragon? Um, Dan. <laughs> Dan! <laughs> oh, you, and you thought about that, didn't you? You did go quiet for a second. Dan uh, the dragon. Yeah, yeah Dan the dragon. I can see dragon. where you went there. Or Dave. Dave. Dave the dragon. I've been thinking my little girl, I call her, I say, look at that, look at that sheep in the field over there. Do you know what her name is? No, Dave. Oh, it's oh, not oh. called Dave. And when it is, and we oh, walk oh. on and see a cow, look at that, guess what his name is? Oh, no, Dad. Dave. Uh, <laughs> eight years I've done that to her, no wonder she's upset with me. Poor girl. She's happy when I'm here. <laughs> nine, 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 if you want to go for Dan the dragon, and, I don't know, I'm going with the same theme, Freddy, Freddy the... Freddy the Flower. Oh, dear. Six, nine, five, six, nine, six. Okay. The thing about this is the ratio of dragon to castle, he's a big dragon. You'll feel protected. Yeah, definitely. You could, um, you could actually put somebody's name on, couldn't you, if you wanted to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just, these are from the, um, inspiration pack. 
Yes, the inspiration. 50 pieces of UMDF in the inspiration. Absolutely brilliant amounts. Okay. It's a whole bowl of MDF. Okay. You could keep your eggs as well. And also, in the um, owl like box, storage box, yeah. some of the MDF that is in like the, the edge of it, that's popped out. Um, and I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's popped out these little tiny, tiny pieces here. And I just thought that they were really cute to put sort of like on his head there, just as a 3D element. Ah. Uh, you know, like scales or something. Yeah, because the lovely thing about if you were to decorate your dragon, you know, because they can have that, the big, big chest, haven't they? You've got the different greens, you can have your sparkles on there as well, glittery exactly. for the wings. Exactly. So let's just pop those there. Dan, the dragon. Oops. A brilliant price again for all this. Nine ninety nine. And again, lovely theme as well. If you are working with uh, children on this and creating, letting them create as well. If yeah. they're homeschooling, looking for projects to work on, or any time really. You've got a little Great heart fun on elements. his belly. And then a couple of stars. Look here. And here. Like that. And then... We will slip these in together. Ah. There. There he is. That is perfect. So you put your photograph in there, your picture in there, um, and that can go on the side. But I think, like I say, on that, a great project that if you do want to, you can flat pack it, send it to someone with a photograph that's already in there. Maybe of the grandchildren, it might be in there. Could be the grandchild in there. Could be the whole family when they was all together again, because it has been a while for some people. But a lovely project that you can have. I think as well from a children's project, you know, that is perfect. You're also going to get with that, don't forget, you get the flour and the watering can, all of that. So you're getting all your projects for under £10. But really lovely, lovely, lovely projects work that you can decorate as you want. 695 696. Absolutely brilliant project. Thank you for that, Tina. Thank it was re really lovely, 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 lovely. Uh, there is the one day special, of course. Uh, and of course, in here, you're going to get three, all parts of it actually together 48 for your storage, uh, your big marker pens to go through. You can also then keep everything. And don't forget, at the top of the show, we were talking about your stamps. And, uh, and Tina was saying, you know, sometimes if they're stacked in file system kind of things and they start to sort of wilt over and all of those kind of things, you want to try and keep them nice and flat so you're going to get the best. Or maybe it's for your papers to go through. Maybe it's your projects as they're drying off as well. You want to keep them nice and safe in there. That will work nicely. But the great thing is, you can do your decoration so they work really really nicely together and you're also going to get your frosted acetate all of that as part of that bundle with 15 pounds off for 24 pounds and 98 pence 963 three double eight or you're going to get those three and you can extend on that as well and also then give uh, some stories for your pens for your brushes also plus you've also got your brilliant owl desk organizer which again really large compartments in there to keep so you can decorate them all the same and they work really nicely or lots of individual projects if you want to break them up two zero eight Seven four seven. First payment twenty two pounds ninety eight pence. Two payments of those. Tina, it, uh, honestly, I've had a great start to the day. <laughs> Thank you so much indeed. Um, we're back together again at twelve. Yes. Uh, do you know what we're working on then, or are we going to leave that as a surprise um, for me? Well, I've got a handbag. Oh um, right, yes, okay, the do, handbag so and the I shoes. Can do that, and also we're going to do the um, stamp storage box. Oh, perfect. Using dinosaurs. As perfect. Well. Oh, I love it. Uh, Tina, thank you so much thank indeed. You. Have, a, have a lovely break. Thank you very much indeed uh, for being with us uh, again. First thing for your one day special. We're back again at twelve with more projects. But don't go anywhere. Lovely Paula is just over there, and she's coming up right next. <laughs> Okay, everybody. Yes, so Paula's going to be there introducing Ruthfully, and that's coming up for you. Then we've also got Pentart coming up, and then, yep, we're going to let Leone loose, everybody. Be prepared. What a Wednesday.
Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town and it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand-drawn. That makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers. We have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix. We have dyes and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dollar Dimple Shows on Achanda and have some fun. Hello, how are you? 
Okay. Now we have got, we are introducing a brand new supplier here at Hochanda, and this is why Hochanda does so well to find those amazing companies uh, scattered around the country or the world sometimes. And our, well, uh, you know, I want to give a name check to our buyer who finds us many of them, uh, Caroline, who is absolutely a delight as well. And she works really hard as well as, as of course, Leah to find amazing suppliers like Ruthfully today. Ruth pa uh, Packham is uh, the creator of this amazing company that creates the most amazing, uh, you know, kind of needle felting uh, creatures and create creations. Now we have got Ruth on Skype. Hello, Ruth. Hello. Hi. Um, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Yeah, how are you? I'm uh, very well. Now, we uh, are you excited to be here at Hotenda? Yeah, it's very strange sitting in my house in Wales um, <laughs> talking to you. But yeah, no, it's great. It's great. It's, it's great to um, do something different. It is indeed. Now, can you tell us how you got into needle felting? Okay, so so my background is I'm an artist and um, I've been a printmaker for years. Um, I've always loved textiles. Um, and I um, I suppose I just, I was, I, I learned to wet felt, which is a whole other story. Um, I won't go into that now, but um, I was doing a show and um, somebody had some needle felted sheep and um, I, I ended up saying, oh, can I come and watch your workshop? Um, so I learned how to, well, I, I sort of watched her do her workshop, bought some needles and off I went. And um, so I've been doing it for yeah, quite a long time now, like 10 years wow. or so. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, before that I was a two dimensional artist. So yeah, I didn't know I had three dimensional sculptural skills, but yeah, it's, um, it's, it's an easy craft to learn and it's, um, fairly addictive so I just have to give a little health warning there well, to your, your, right. your viewers. Well that's great and of course the, the, now you are here and of course creating those kids and kind of everybody can enjoy the needle cult and uh, needle cult uh, Needle felting, not kelting, <laughs> if they want it. Now, we have got amazing kids, and I have to say, I well, I'm in love with two particular ones, especially the first one. I adore cats, and I adore this brooch making kit in here. Uh, now, how many brooches would we be able to make with this kit? Well, um, I include two brooch backs in the kit, um, which you attach to the back of the brooch. But there's there's enough wool to make more. So if you if you just source some more brooch backs from somewhere, but um, yeah, I kind of I, I, there's there's plenty for making two. So so it gives you a chance to um yeah so to make one and then then have your skills and make a better one the next time. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Now if I have never done a uh, felting before, needle felting, would I be able to do it perfectly just with the kit itself? Do I, do I need any extras? No, well, all you need is a pair of scissors, really. So, um, yeah, yeah, handy craft scissors. So, yeah, a pair of scissors. And um, I always say, um, very, there's a few tips, but, yeah, um, if you need glasses, wear glasses. I have to wear my glasses to do it. Um, and good lighting is always important. Okay, good. Um, but other than that, yeah, the instructions are there, and I'm actually going to show um, when it's time. I'm going to show you how to start off with the with the brooch, because as well in terms of um, learning a new craft, it's always good to start from the beginning. And so flat felt, flat needle felt is um, a good way to start. Absolutely, I love how detailed your instructions are, because it shows it kind of step by step exactly how to do it. I love how you are teaching us how to put the brooch without having to sew or have to use any glue whatsoever. With the needle felting, you can attach it. I think it's super oh, clever. Oh, no, it's amazing, amazing. One tool for all, yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely, right. With this item number, you have two options. One of them, of course, is the cat brooch, which you can finish two of them, and of course, you will have some left uh, 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 leftover uh, wool to to felt even more. And then the other one. I mean, I'm a cat fanatic, but this sheep is just something else. I adore it. You have got a lot a lot of texture. Is that a different yarn? Yeah, so, so when I need a felt, um, or when I make any felt actually, I only use um, fibres from the UK. Ah, um, so, and I like to mix the fibres up. So this fibre that you're, um, you're touching now is a blue face Leicester. Um, oh. I have actually a blue face Leicester sheet that I've made, that I, so I can show you if you like, so you can see what they actually look like. Yeah. So next time your, your viewers are passing somewhere, somewhere I'll show you. Oh, um, 
Look at that. It is. So, so, so it's a specific breed of sheep. They have very, very curly wool. Oh, um, I see. And what it means is with, with the sheep kit, it means that your, your needle felting underneath that doesn't need to be perfect. And so you can finish it off with some nice curls. And this is actually what a blue faced Leicester sheep looks like. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> They have a, they have like a Roman nose. Um, and, yes, um, I know the tart. Yes. Yeah, now I I know exactly which ones you mean. Now I can see. It. <laughs> and of course, it comes in with instructions as well, so you will have the photography in here as well as a step by step. Now, 19 pounds or 99 pence is your price. Now, I need to tell you about extended delivery. Uh, all the kids will be dispatched from the uh, from the 15th. However, the ship will be dispatched from the 17th. It's just a couple of more days to wait for. It. But she is definitely or he is definitely worth the wait. 369302 is your item number. Then. Tiny little tiny little owl. It's like they're so cute. They are the cutest thing ever. Look how tiny. Now, um, Ruth, how difficult? Because like I, I see that they are very small, but so I was, I'm worried that it would be a little bit difficult to make, or are they easy? Well, I, I kind of think you know I sort of see these as a beginner's kit, really, um, and they're some they're a bit of fun. Um, I would say I would personally say they were easy in 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 terms of speed because yes. needle felting is is something that takes a, a fair amount of time to do. But because these are so small, um, they're obviously quick to achieve. So you get that instant gratification. Well, not instant, but yeah. quick <laughs> gratification, which then inspires you to go on to make another one. So there's enough wool in the each each kit to make sort of four or five, maybe if you eke it out six. Um, as long as you don't go too big so um which gives you plenty of time to practice so i would say yeah i mean okay if your eyesight is challenged then they are quite fiddly but actually as a project i think they're fairly easy uh, well i think they are such adorable I, I just had an idea could you make them so they are pencil top toppers um, I'm not quite sure how you do that because you'd have to make it hollow. You can make you, what, you, what you can. There's several things you can do with them. You, obviously, you can thread through them, so then you can hang them onto key fobs. Oh, or, or, I see. Um, yeah. Oh, but or you can make you can make them into earrings. You can put them on necklaces yes, because you can obviously thread things through them. But in terms of pencil tops. Yeah, you'd have to you to get them to stay on would be quite tricky. Okay. Unless All you right, put, I see. You know, Right, if you want it's yours, well, you have got a three pounds saving, 16 pounds or 99 pence is your price, seven, four, seven, five, two, eight. And remember, you're saving those three pounds because we are welcoming Ruthfully to Hochand, a brand new supplier to start off today. Well, not quite. I mean, we were here at 7 a.m., so what am I saying about starting the day? Uh, right, we then have a cat. I mean, you know, if you know me, you know that I'm a little bit crazy about cats. And look at that. This thing is so cute. Look at that. So this one, of course, includes everything that you need except the scissors. You have uh, very detailed instructions. Again, fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Now, because this is a little bit more elaborate, you mentioned that all your kids are kind of beginners. But is it a little bit more complicated because it has got the legs? It it, it sort of yes. Yeah, it's, it's a kind of slight stage up, I suppose, because it has um, more parts. But. Yeah. Um, Again, you know, it's fairly simple. There's nothing too complicated. And it's, there's good photographs and the instructions to kind of guide you through. And I think with any of these things, if you follow the steps, and also you don't have to do them all in one go. You know, you can make the parts and then and then join them all together and do it, take your time. So, yeah, it's um, slightly more fiddly. I love uh -huh. that. And this is so cute. Uh, and also, this is, what's the ages that we can start, uh, you know, having our, you know, smaller people, smaller family members uh, doing needle felting? Is it a teenagers or something like that? Well, yeah, I sort of say um, over 10, but then again, it depends on the child. If you have a a child that is very good at concentrating because the needles are very sharp and it yeah. hurts if you stab yourself in the finger. Yeah, so, um, exactly. 
So, yeah, so we have to be to be careful about that. That's a mindful thing, everything. But of course, you have uh, the instructions as well here included. Absolutely delight, and I love that how comprehensive those instructions are. Now uh, we have with the same item number, we have uh, either the, the cat or uh, our producer's favorite, which is the cottage. I have to say, even the bicycle. This is Katie, my producer. She comes to work in a bicycle. This is her cottage. <laughs> look at the Little cat. cat in the window. <laughs> uh, uh, look, it's such a gorgeous, and I love the. It's so much detail in here, Ruth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, with with the cottage kit. I mean, it's it's interesting, isn't it? I've I've have got some other um, buildings to show you. I made um, I did a project once where I made an entire village. Oh, that would be so um, cool. We're including a bridge and some trees and a farm, and so um, I can show you some of the buildings I made. Here's a, here's a, like a row of cottages. Oh, that's so cute! Now, once uh, so we get enough yarn, uh, yarn in here or enough wool to make actually uh, that that cottage. But so, for instance, if I go in for two kits of those ones, could I make the second one a slightly different, or automatically is going to be a little bit different? Well, with, certainly with the cottage, um, I say very, you know, all through the instructions, especially when it comes on to the detail that, um, you know, the detail that you put on is entirely up to you because you're creating your own house. What I what I give you is a guide, so I give you ideas of things that you can add. Um, and today I'll show you how to do a few of those little details. But yeah, I mean, so so I mean, to have to start a new craft is always quite tricky, isn't it? Because actually, with needle felting, it's really easy to make just a lump, yeah, <laughs> um, a potato or something that doesn't look like anything. Um, so the kits just act as a guide to kind of give you a little bit of inspiration, which I hope then you can kind of move on and make different things. But yeah, certainly with the cottage, you can adapt it. It can Fabulous. be adapted. Yeah, so yeah. for instance, if somebody, uh, I mean, don't have a cat, I don't know why you should get a cat because they are fabulous creatures, but you could, instead of having a cat there, you could have something else. You could even have like the silhouette of, uh, of a person. Uh, I think it's brilliant. Uh, Ruth, while you get ready, uh, we'll let you get ready for your demonstration uh, next. Okay. All right, thank you, Ruth. Now, we will be rejoining you in a couple of minutes. Now, if I want everybody to choose whichever is their favorite, whether it's the cat that has the owls, very, very popular for the hours uh, now check out your baskets it, now if you wanted the cartridge or the cat is options but the same item number 499093 your price 15 pounds and 99 pence and it will be dispatched from Monday then we are going to, if you are inspired by needle and felting, you may want to invest into books. That literature, I mean, there is nothing, I was talking, like we, you know, there's nothing like a book that you can take to, the, to sit down in the conservatory or in the sofa, or even if you like baths, you can take it in and get it all the inspiration. Look at that. Things, ideas on the acorn brooch, for instance. Look, pumpkins, look at that. Look, and let's go off to the beginning. Look how it tells you also the instructions. Look at the eggs, and it's a seasonal one. So you go, in. oh, look at that. Now, this is perfect for, you know, like for the different projects. Oh, this is what I kind of was talking about. So you could, there are ways over here that instead of fingers, you could put pencils in there. Now, it's great for, uh, once you have made these projects, you know, for children is absolutely a delight, isn't it? Because they kind of, of course, the sharp needle means that you rather not have. Look, this shows you how to. So my idea wasn't that crazy after all. You could do these as well. You know, you can see it there. Yeah, see? It's there it is. Right, if you want to go for 20 cute projects with felt by Emma Herian, uh, your, pro your item number is 543787. 10.99 is your price, but look at that saving of four pounds. Check it out now and get a bargain there. And then we have, uh, have another book, again, oh, absolutely a stunner of a book. It's Needle Felting with Cute Birds. Uh, and look at that. Again, techniques and how to <gasps> oh, look at that, the butch ringer. And then look, the, the cockatiel. 
No, like, uh, well, I don't know if I pronounce it correctly. But, oh, look at that. The rosy lo face lovebird. Anyway, we have uh, all those little birds in here and I show you how to and templates as well. 9.99 is the pri uh, price, brand new today. Grab yours, 425-594 is your item number. Right, I believe Ruth is ready for her demo. So take it, uh, we are with you, Ruth. Hi, hi. <laughs> Okay, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to start, which is always a good thing when you're when you're learning a new craft because um, yeah, it's the most okay. important thing. So um, in the kit you will have a length of wool fiber. Is that the cat and option? The cat brooch. No, we're going to, we're going to yeah, we're going to make a cat brooch. Thank you. Yeah, fabulous. So I'm going to just show you how to start, and then I'm going to show you how to put some markings on and maybe some eyes because the detail is always a little bit fiddly. So, but with the wool fiber, what you have to do is you, you have to take um, the end fibers and pull. Okay, so then break it up a little bit. It's always a good, good idea to break the fibers up a bit before you start. Um, put my glasses on. Okay. <laughs> um, and then it's literally just a case of stabbing into the fiber. Now, in your cat brooch, you have a little template that kind of will yeah. kind of give you a little um, guide as yeah. to where to go with your with your shape. But if Ruth, you imagine when you're, yeah, I have quite a question. Uh, you are using like a cover, uh, a fabric cover over your a uh, block of felt, a uh, sponge. Uh, is that a, is there any any reason why you do that? Yeah, well, this is a really big block of sponge, so I can okay. show you how to do it. But um, obviously, anything that is stabbed repeatedly with a sharp object will break down. So okay. this is just a little bit of cotton muslin fabric put over your your, um, and it just prevents um, bits getting into your fibers into into your projects. Fabulous. But I mean, when sense. the when the foam when the foam block is new, you don't have that as an issue. All right. Yeah. Um, Okay, so back to it. So, so really, what you're doing is you're stabbing in in the shape of the actual um, of the of the face. So you're trying to. So if you imagine this is the chin. Yeah. Here. I can so see it. So you just use it, pushing pushing the needle in in the shape of your actual cat, and then you just add a little bit more. But what's really important, especially with fat felt, is you turn, you, is you lift it because uh, it sticks to the yeah. foam. And if you don't lift it. You'll end up with the with the foam just stuck on the Absolutely. bottom, and you won't Yeah, that makes to get sense. It off. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm just kind of if you see, I'm just stabbing in a in a kind of if I turn it round, I'm kind of doing it in a triangular motion. Yeah. So there's a point with needle felting; it looks quite shabby, but but you have to take a deep breath. Tell yourself it's all going to be okay and just keep on going. <laughs> um, and it gets there eventually. So keep lifting and turn, and you can turn it over as well. Absolutely. And step from the other side. And it is so, it's coming to go quite quickly, actually. Yeah, this is why it's a good idea to start with something like this as a project because it's yeah. a flat piece and it, and it is quicker. So I have a I have a guide with them. With flat pieces, that if um, it's got enough wool on it, it's not um, when you hold it up to the light and you can't see through it anymore. Oh, that's a good yeah, that's a good idea yeah. Because you don't want it to be raggedy and holy. Yeah. So um, so yeah, I could keep going with this, and and then when if I, I'll just quickly show you how you do the ears. So if you just put a little bit at the top, and again make a smaller triangle with your needle, yeah. and it and it joins together. Oh, so that would be one ear. Okay? Yeah. Obviously, there's not as much wool there, so I'd have to add a little bit more wool because it's, it's looking very thin. But what you want is it, it to end up a bit like this one. Yes. This one I made out. So that when you pull it, it doesn't, it doesn't kind of feel fragile or, or as though it's going to fall to pieces. Makes sense. So at a certain stage, it's a good idea to just get it and rub it between your hands like this, and that sort of adds the binds the fibres together a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Um, and also, um, I'm very, I'm very kind of, I like to defluff my things. But if you want a fluffy, a fluffy cat, that's fine. But I like to sort of trim off um, any excess fluff. Ah, I see. Yeah. 
just to make it nice and tidy. Yeah. So I'm just going to show you how you might want to put, so in the kit, the, uh, most of them have got some orange, some of this sort of orange gingery wool. So if you wanted to um, add some markings to your cat, to make it a stripy cat, for instance. Um, so I have some white wool here, so I'm just going to take a tiny, tiny piece. And then, so I'm going to add a little stripe on his head. So okay. you just lay it on top. Yep. And stab in the fibres. Oh, wow, yeah. Look at that. Oh. And now, I was thinking the shape is quite similar as well to a fox head. So if we wanted to create it into a fox head, we could do that, couldn't we? I'll show it a little bit. Absolutely. I mean, these things, you know, this, I'm, I'm, this is a guide. I mean, I, I love to teach, so um, I kind of develop these projects. This is it. This is cat brooches are something I've taught a lot of um, because it's just it's just they're simple and again simple shapes and I think once you've had a go and have a little bit of confidence it can be adapted to anything so what I did there I just turned it over and I'm just kind of anchoring those fibers at the back yeah and um, so don't worry too much about those but yes um, so you've got two little stripes Fab. Um, I could I could add more wool. They're not they're not the sort of um, they're not the um, they're not solid in, uh, probably enough. But yes, yeah, so I just want to get through this so I can show you all the different stages. So then I might want to add one at the side. So you, so you can just sort of play. Oh, yeah. So if we have got a specific, like for instance, if we have got a ginger cat, we could look at his markings and try to follow more or less the position of his full uh, yeah, markings. Yes, so, so one, of the, one of the things I do sometimes for people is they send me a photograph of their cat oh. and, I make, and I make a brooch based on their cat. I've done that a few times for people. So, so yeah, I mean, this is, this is obviously like a stylized kind of... Um, uh, um, cats and and it's not really based on anything but yeah I mean it's interesting because I have a cat and I've always lived with cats but yeah. I find cats one of the hardest things to make <laughs> in terms of real thing they, they yeah. just don't look like I don't know they've got quite pointy faces I think they that's do. what it is yeah and you, I, don't, and you don't you don't really think about it until you actually um <laughs> actually come to make one yeah. so but this is a fairly easy foolproof um yeah way of and it's, it's quite it's a, it's a very kind of i love it because it, you can see immediately it's a cat but it has got like an abstract look to it that is very artistic and i can see your graphic background coming through here yeah it's it's nice to have um yeah to make it stylized and, yeah. and then you can't, you can't go wrong then <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah you know, you can say it's meant to look like that. That's the most, that's important, you know, to have that kind of um, fallback plan. So I'm now I'm just going to do it an eye just to show you. Yes, please. So, so I'm sorry, it's like probably upside down for you, isn't it? But um, it's, fine, it's easier for me it. to do it this way because I'll probably get the eye on the ear otherwise. Um, so just a little bit of green. This cat's going to have green eyes. And so choose where it's going to go. So yeah. don't make them too close together. Yeah. Um, obviously, the eyes are the thing that gives it the character, which yeah. is. Um, so you, I've kind of. Would you draw it, them first with a little pencil or something like that to know where no, to, where to position no, them? I would never draw on the wall, but what okay. what what the good thing about needle felting? One of the good things about needle felting is if if you don't like it, you can just pull it out. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Sorry. so well, yeah. you know, if it's very embedded, you'd sort of hoik it out a little bit yeah. with the needle. So, 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 yeah, it's very forgiving. Oh, that's good um, to know. So, yeah, and if if you're unhappy with it, and I'm terrible when I'm doing workshops sometimes, if people have things on their creatures and they ask me what I think, and I'll just come and pull it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but, you know, it, it's, it's very forgiving in that respect, and you can't really go wrong. Um, I suppose I suppose the the one thing that you might um, which I can teach um, and hopefully my kits teach is that you're making a good quality piece of needle felt because it's very easy to actually needle felt something together really quickly, but but then it will fall to pieces and it will look raggedy. So what I encourage is things to be strong and um, and solid and 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 nice and even. And um, so there we go. We have one eye. So there's a kind of um, teardrop shape cat's eye. So 
um, don't be tempted to make it round. But also, always they kind of um, they sort of point downwards. So if you imagine this point here is where the nose starts. Um, so so um, I won't do the other one. I'll just show you how to outline it. If you maybe I'll outline it in white um, because it's a ginger cap. Just to show you how to do a little bit of fine detail. So if you want to do like a little outline around the eye. Yeah. So you can just take a small piece of the fiber. Right. And you see it's very fine. And I'm just going to anchor it. So I'm just going to stick it in in the top uh, corner of the yeah. eye. Yeah. So it's so it's fixed. Yeah. Because if you don't do that, it will just move. So and then it's just a case of very small stabs following the shape of the eye. What I might do with this is I might just bring it down to make the nose. Oh, that makes a lot of sense uh, as well, and you can see the uh, yeah how it's a si such a such a tiny so, but, detail, but it makes all the difference. So, so what I did is I cut that off, and then you have this cut end sticking out. So it's really important that you push that in, otherwise the wool will come out. And then I just take the small piece again, and I'm just going to put this around this part of the eye. So as you can see, I've made the eye go over the markings, which actually with wheel cats, is, it's, it does, they, they do look like that. So don't worry about, you know, if you've done markings, it's probably, it is a good idea to do the markings before you do the eyes. So the eyes can just go on top of whatever you've done. So I'm just gonna go across. Can you see that? I'm just yeah, going across it the way. And then say if there was another eye there, which there isn't, just a one-eyed cat, um, yeah. I'd just bring this up around the top of that so eye. So would you do both eyes first before doing the outline and the nose? Yeah, I just wanted to show you yeah, how perfect. to do it. Yeah, I, can, uh, yeah I, would, I would do both eyes. And, and again, it's I put, I put one in for you. But it's important to kind of get them in the right place. Yeah. So, following on from the one you've already got. Okay. So when you're doing these fine details, it's really a good idea not to start with too much wool fiber because you can't really see what you're doing if you've got too much fluff in front of you. Um, and, you and so s small pieces, so you just pull them out. So you, I'm holding it, I'm left-handed. <laughs> you're holding oh, it really yeah. tightly and pulling it with the other but um, just to get small pieces. Because if you're trying to knead a felt with this, obviously you're not gonna be able to see what you're doing. So, and with these small details as well, you can't go quickly. You have to kind of um, just take steady, steady measures with the stabs with the needle. Absolutely. Well, we were saying, well, um, or the voices in my ear were saying, oh, it's, it, we need to give it, give him a name or her a name, uh, because he looks absolutely adorable. So there we go, two eye cap, um, and then yeah. I give him, I give her. I think it's a ginger Tom. They usually Tom's, oh, right. aren't they? So, Thomas, Thomas. <laughs> so I'm just going to. Um, Put some black in its eye for a pupil. So again, a very for this a really really small amount. Um, and cat size, they tend to they can be lines. They don't tend to be round like our the, like our pupils. So I'm just going to anchor it at the top. So push it in. So I'm doing it in the middle of the eye, and then some it's gone straight through. Can you see that? It's gone straight I see. Through. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So. I'm just going to, um, so if I push it in too far, it will just disappear completely out the other side. So I'm just going to bring it down, bring the needle down in a line until I've got my end point. If you've got a little bit of fibre hanging off there that you don't want to push in. Fabulous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love that okay, how so quickly it's coming together and how you can see all that detail of the eye. Look at look at that. You can see there uh, the uh, pupils as well, right? And of course, uh, well, uh, well, we can can we give the details of the um, cat brooch, uh, and that way it means that can, of course Ruth can get ready for her next uh, demo. Now the cat brooch, you have got everything you need to create your two brooches. So you have got two back of the brooch as well. Uh, 
Uh, now you have got the instructions, you have got the sponge block as well, you have got the needles as well, so you can just do it onto it straight away. Now you have uh, you have as well the instructions, the template, and all those gorgeous uh, yarn, the fibers, the wool yarn fibers, so you can customize your cat. Now you will have some leftovers. You have as well some fibers that are kind of more stringy, if I may say the word. That is of course to make the whisper, uh, the whis whispers, whispers, yeah, whispers uh, of the cat as well. So you can make the cat's eye yellow if you wanted to, like uh, this one. I think this reminds me of Patchy, who used to, well, who is my neighbor at the old house, if it makes any sense. Uh, he used to come and has the perfect eye pants. That's the thing. You can customize it and make it into any color you want to have. So if you want something whimsical like blue, you can, or you can customize it like a ginger cut as well. Right, 369302 is your item number. 19 pounds and 99 pence for the uh, cat. Now, it adds an option. The same item number you can go for the ship in here and I love absolutely love the way that you have got there there's the special fibers the special wool fibers that they have been sourced here in the UK as well now with this one it's a fabulous decoration isn't it I, I love the tactileness of um, the sheep I think the texture is amazing this is one of my favorites just because the way that it looks is just absolutely uh, amazing in here now this could be, this is the sort of thing that I would have here beside my bed table. And now it sounds a little bit weird, but I would put my earrings, you know, on top of it. So because, you know how you, they are studs, so you could put them in there. So then they are kind of hidden there, but they are there. Anyway, 19 pounds and 99 pence is the price. Remember that everything in the show except the ship is uh, dispatched from the 15th of Jan uh, February. However, the ship is dispatched from the 17th of January. So it's all, uh, only a couple of days later. 19 pounds and 99 pence for either the ship or the cat brooches. 369-302 is your item number. Moving on to the owls, very, very popular. See, it's funny because when we were coming uh, through here, I was like kind of thinking, it's the cutest little thing. We are 20% of the stock already gone, three pounds saving, that's an introductory price. I always struggle with that introductory price uh, words. Uh, now you have here, uh, look at that, they are so, lovely and cute with the little eyes as well now you could make them into key rings you can make them into earrings you could make them oh i know the other thing you could make them is into um you know like a noof if you have the one day special for instance that is the owl the wood you could add them glue them on the top as well so they're kind of decorations uh uh, key rings yes i may mean uh, i did mention that uh and also uh, a bookmark that's a very good one from maddie from floor uh so that could be a really cool one i love that really really love that also i think is the one the sorts of animals that you could i i think would be really lovely to hide them somewhere so in different places so you when you open their cupboards you suddenly have the tiniest owl there i think they are absolutely fabulous uh 16 pounds and 99 pence is your price <gasps> oh i know as well you know, and uh, you know, on, uh, uh, on our mask, our face coverings that we have to wear. Uh, so it's, you know, some, so it would be nice to have them. Like I, I know it's very weird. And as as the nose, you know, it's not like a little loud. So everybody's like, what? Uh, seven four seven and five two eight is your item number. But this is the thing: they're whimsical, they are a little bit, they, and they are so beautifully tiny. And remember, instructions are included, and they come into that beautiful box. And you have got that three pounds saving as well today, so grab yours while you can. Uh, then we have got we have another case. You here you have uh, two options: the cottage or the black cat. Both uh, are fifteen pounds and ninety nine pounds, so it's really affordable. I'm going to stand here so you can see the cat in all its glory. Look at him! Isn't that he's just gorgeous? Now you can see the 
the personality as well. It's like, is he asking for food? Obviously, uh, always, they always like their food, don't they? Or you can go for the cottage. I adore the cottage. I think it's a really lovely, again, a keychain. Maybe it could be, or it could be the sort of thing that you have uh, right beside the table, right bed bedside table. It's just a decoration, a lovely element. I wonder if you can put inside it, stuff it with a little bit of, you know, the poopery or kind of things that is not, but I do wonder that anyway. Uh, it comes in that gorgeous tin as well. So, and you can customize it. So, for instance, if you are, uh, live in a lovely cottage, you could customize it and make it maybe a little bit different. You have got the instructions on how to make it, and you have got the needles, you have got the blog, you have got the uh, yarn. Uh, now, for instance, if you watch that Christmas movie that, you know, goes into a kind of a Christmas um, break and they swap houses and one of them goes to a little cottage, that could be, you could recreate that. There's lots of other movies in that feature as well. Uh, maybe you have got a holiday home and you have got, oh, I know. If you do, like, I mean, obviously not the minute it's not, but you know, if you have, if you rent your, um, your, cottage or something like that. That could be the key that you can to the people less so they don't take it away because that's quite substantial. Or if somebody always loses their key to their house, which we all know of people who do, that could be perfect keychain so they don't ever lose it. Uh, also, the other thing that could be um, as well, I could have, if you make it a little bit weighty, if you put something inside it that is a little bit more weighty, it could be the kind of thing that, um, again, when you are cooking or something like that, you could hold the um, the book the book opened. You know what I mean? So, so because sometimes it kind of the the, the doors. Anyway, uh, right. <laughs> That's, that's, I'm going to say what the director just said, our Joe just said, said, well, if you have got tiny doors, you can do it as a tiny door stopper. No, a window. You know what? When sometimes we windows, they close themselves and you want to keep a little bit of a breeze. By the way, my neighbor in front of him, I mean, I don't know what stuff he's made out, but he slept with the window open all night, last night. It was minus three or four. I mean, seriously? I mean... I don't know. I mean, I guess it during regular days, but today was freezing. 499093 is your item number. Sorry about that, but it's just, I was shocked. Uh, 15 pounds and 99 pence is your price for, remember, either the cat or the cottage. I was shocked this morning when I saw that he had the window open. Right. Anyway. Now, we have a needle felting book. Now, this one, you are getting 20 cube projects for by Emma Herrian. I absolutely adore this book. Uh, it has, of course, the materials. It runs through templates and how you can create. <gasps> Look at those two. That's so cute. I imagine that you had it, the owls and you could have them there sitting on top of it. Oh, look at the, oh, look at that. The eggs, the leaves, the, the festive bubbles. Uh, you have the, um, like, I love that. The f finger puppets, the primrose brooch. You have got some, oh, I like this one. Let me, well, I love the egg icon. This, oh. <gasps> That's what the, the house you can, the cottage as well, um, um, pin needle, you know, kind of a needle holder as well. Look at that, the pumpkin as well. Oh, look. Well, if you want yours, oh, look, a butterfly. And uh, let's show you the butterfly, absolute Adonis. You know, that should be Yanis the Adonis, but a blue butterfly. And then you can... Okay, so shall we make a rabbit? Look at that. So all that, of course, you have, oh, and the bumblebee. Look at that. That's Katie's favorite. 10.99 is your price. You're saving four pounds with this bag. Grab yours, the item number that you ha you need is 543787. Uh, Remember that four pounds saving, in, and it's brand new today, this bag. Now, we have, uh, we have also the cute words book in here now you know what i cannot choose a favorite but at 9.99 you could go for both of them couldn't you and you have here all again the process the templates how to create those gorgeous birds you have got all those those elements in the back of the book so you can see how instructional they are and then in the front you have got that inspiring beautiful uh for oh look at that look at that 
add the toucan, kind of, yes, I always get them wrong, toucan and a puffin. Toucan, you can. Uh, yeah, Eastern Rosella, what? The problem is my, my, my producer would say a word and then it just will. Uh, oh, look. Now, these would be really lovely in a house plan. If you put a wire as well, you can have them that sit in. But also, I'm thinking for a wedding, if you want to get the bride and the groom a lovely present, you could do them like this. Yes, uh, put the initial in each of the letter, the, and then have a, like a keychain or something like that. Yeah. That could work as well. So then, oh new keys you can print the number of the door that's a good idea from our director so you could put that as well you can fill that as well uh, four to five five nine four is your item number right ruth are you ready for the next demo i am i'm ready i'm busy watching you <laughs> <laughs> right take it away then okay so um the other thing because what i do with my owls i make endless owls i have a type set tray do you remember um so there's those little boxes and I have a whole collection that sit in the in the boxes, so you can start collecting them and make your own sort of um, parliament of owls. Yeah, sort of absolutely, owls. a parliament indeed. <laughs> and also, I think they're quite little uh, good things to sit on the top of a monitor to keep oh, you yes. company. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Just a little bit of a natural fibre to kind of counteract all the computer. Indeed. Yes. Um, okay. Anyway, so history uh, little ones I've made. So. The difference with this and the and the cat bridge is obviously you're making it three dimensional. So I'm just going to show you how you start off okay. with making something three dimensional. Of course, this can be transferred to many other different um, three dimensional projects. I mean, I have a really large owl I made. Wow! Just, so you can. This is something to aspire to. <laughs> yeah. But um, okay. So start off with a small amount again. It's important to start with a small amount and just stab into it. So with needle fat, it's really important to always stab directly down. And what I find is when I teach is people that are used to sewing, they tend to use their needle in a different way. But um, this, this, this works best if you just stab directly down because one of the two of the hazards from needle felting is um, stabbing yourself in the finger, oh. which really, really hurts. So, the, so, the good, so what I've done is I've stabbed it a few times, so it looks a bit like an owl pellet. Um, and then I'm going to add some more wool fibre. Okay. So again, I'm breaking up so it's a little bit smaller because you're only making a small thing. And I'm going to put it down there and I'm laying what I've already felted on top. And I'm just going to incorporate that. So the difference is when I was making the cat brooch, it just stays flat on the foam. This one, you need to move. If you don't move it, it will just needle felt flat, but I'm kind of moving it round, so I'm stabbing it from every angle. Um, and that encourages it to become three dimensional. Yeah. Do you get into a rhythm of uh, moving the fingers away from the uh, needle, uh, needle? Kind of, you just, it's a practice that it makes it perfect. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the hazard with making this small a small thing is that you actually do need to hold on to the wool fibre and so there's more chance of you stabbing your finger. So that was what I was going to say about the hazards are stabbing yeah. your finger. Um, Would you one use a, a thimble? Uh, the ones that are holding. You can, you can, you can buy all sorts of um, all sorts of bits and pieces yeah. um, to ha with needle fibre. You can buy leather finger guards, but my my biggest thing is when you're needle felting is just always look at where your needle is and as soon as you move your eyes away from your needle stop moving yeah. your hand right um, yeah because it's at that point yeah. you start i'm trying not to stab myself on air um, <laughs> but, um <laughs> yeah i am looking at what i'm doing so uh, again i'm kind of stabbing it from every angle it is small so as you can see it kind of comes i mean i am quite quick um but it comes together fairly quickly because it's small absolutely um but what what you re what's really important with every with any piece of needle felting is that it's nice and firm. I mean, what when, once you've had a go at this, you'll know. But um, it's easy to make something that's very squidgy, that I squidges. Say, yeah. But what you want and uh, and you can you've got your owls in front of you. They're actually really hard. Yeah. And it means that by because what what I've done is like the wool the needle has tiny little barbs on it, and what that does is when you stab into the wool fiber, it compacts and merges the um, fibres together like this, so it sort of tangles them. So the firmer it gets, the less gaps there are in between the fibres. Um, 
which means it, it will it is a, it's a more sort of integ it has a little bit more integrity to it. Of course, it can't just be it can't just be pulled apart. And also, it's very important that um, the thing you make is quite firm before you add anything else onto it, like a wing or an eye, because if if it's not, it completely loses its shape. Um, because you're well, I'll show you now. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how you get started again with a small amount it's quite tr tricky to hold so i've made a blob for now but i'm just going to go on to a, a more evolved blob um just for the sake of the, um the program so the, here's one um that i've made already as you can see i'm pushing quite hard and it's not completely squishing down yeah so it's nice nice and compacted that's very important okay so so the owls that i make have a little indentation Absolutely. in the top yeah to kind of give um ears so yeah. when you've got to this stage you've got your kind of um your sort of round oval by the way Ruth, we have got about nine minutes left into the show okay this is the bottom so to, for the top i'm just going to stab down to make that kind of indentation so there we go so it has a little kind of two little ears um and that just stops it being such a round shape. So then I'm just going to show you how to make the wings quickly and put an eye on. Fabulous. So when you're making two things that you want to be the same or four things, as with the legs, it's important just to take small pieces yeah. that are the same size. So you've got more of a chance of making two things the same. <laughs> um, and then again, what I do is I'm going to fold this in half and then I'm going to stab in a triangular motion. Okay. Yeah. So I my needle's going into a point and back down again. Perfect. And then I'm going to lift that up. And, then... and I'm holding onto the end of the fibre so I can slightly pull it as I'm doing it. What, why but is that? Why on... you need to pull them? Well, I'm not pulling it very tight, very hard, but it just it just stops this from kind of becoming ah, incorporated yes, yeah. in the rest of the fibre, and it means I can see what I'm doing. Yep. So lifting, so you can see I'm just basically now I'm pushing the fibres from one side to another. All right. So uh, uh, when it's when there's enough wool fibre there, what I'm going to do is I'll just trim with my scissors. Yeah. I'll trim off that excess. This one could do with a little bit more, but I'll just show you quickly how to attach because I want to show you how to put some detail on the cottage if I've got time. Um, oh. So then, when this is so when your when your wing is finished, you're just going to make sure you know which is the side, and you're just going to stab this into the body of the owl, which doesn't sound very nice, does it? <laughs> That's why I always do the eyes last. So it's yeah. not looking at me while I'm stabbing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, and then I'll, I'll push this in a bit more. And if you've got too much grey, what you can do is you can just take a little bit of brown and cover it uh, over. Ah, yes, that makes sense. So that it hides. Tidy it up. Yeah. It okay, it. so now go to this one. So this is this one's already got one eye. So oh. it's important that you put the eyes in the right, like the, yeah. like the cat roach, the one-eyed owl. So I just put the other eye on. So I've got one, so I know where to put the other one. Yeah. So again, I'm going to stab in a um, in a circular motion. So it's a good idea to get your borders secured with the wool, so yep. you know you're not you're not kind of bringing the eye around the side or. Okay, and that's fabulous. Um, How quick and easy! That's gorgeous. That is really, you know, I so love how the eyes suddenly become there. Yeah, they are just so quickly. Making two things the same is the hardest. Yeah. That's cause quite challenging, you know, when, but I always think symmetry is slightly overrated. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I'm with you with that. <laughs> and then again, as we did with the eyes of the, um, of the cat brooch, you know, you'll take, if you want to go around it with some black, yeah. you just um, anchor that in. And you just follow round the white, and it just finishes it off really nicely, Absolutely. and makes right. them look a little bit more intelligent. Ruth, we have got six minutes uh, till the end of the okay. show. Do you want to start um, with the yeah. the cottage? 
Uh, we'll, okay. While you get set for that, uh, we will remind everybody about the OWL kit that Ruth has been demonstrating. Uh, 747528 is the item number. £16.99 with that £3 saving. Grab yours by checking out your baskets. Absolutely gorgeous. A small company with a brand new supplier here at Rochanda. And of course, it's the needle felting that we are looking at. Absolutely gorgeous. Ruth, are you ready? I am. I'm just going to quickly show you. So I'm going to quickly show you two things because I want it, I want you to sort of be Excellent. encouraged and um, be able to do this on your own. So I'm quickly okay. show you how to add. So I've made a tiny little sheet here. Your sheet will be slightly larger than mine. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Um, but I'm just going to show you how to add the curls. So okay. with you should have a load of curls in the box. So you're just going to snip. I mean, I don't generally encourage cutting the wool fibres. But you're going to snip and then you're going to push the cut ends into your sheep. Yeah. And make it as raggedy or as... And that covers up what you've already done. Oh, I see, yeah. So, it could, so you get that really nice finish. And you can make it as big or as small, depending on what fibres you've got oh. in, the, in the box. Okay, so right. So here's a cottage. Sorry, I'm kind of moving fast. Yeah. So I've whitewashed one side. Um, the other side isn't whitewashed, so with that, i just show you quickly how to put layers. So you'll need to pull the wool fibre, so you've got a few... So the idea is that you do this in one go, rather than trying to whitewash, put the several Absolutely, layers of paint yeah. on. So, you, so you've got a few layers of wool, so, when you, okay. so you can't see through them. And you're going to lay them on top, yeah. and just stab them in to make your cottage white okay because they, they have to be white I mean obviously if you move on and try and want to make your own you can make your house whatever color you like here's one that I've done that was a stone cottage absolutely um, oh look at that I love that so you can um, you know you can improvise okay so then I would keep I'd keep stabbing that in but I also have made a roof to show you how to do the roof Okay. So again, like the cat brooch, you're making a flat piece yeah. with the with the grey that's in your kit, and yeah. you're just literally going to stab it in. Oh, I see. So you may create the the roof separate, and then you attach it into. Yeah, well, it kind of means that you get and get a nicer shape, so you can yeah. cover up all the. Yeah, absolutely. And then you can do a little bit of shape also that comes off the main cottage as well. Yeah, so you can kind of get it a bit more pointy yeah. and get some of these fibres in. Can you see what I'm yes, doing? Yes, yeah, I, I can see it, yeah. Perfectly. Um, okay, and then and then when you've got the roof on, you might feel, you might need to fill up here with the white fibre again, but you should have enough fibre in, um, yeah. in the box. Okay, so... On my good side, because the other side's not quite finished, I'll quickly show you how to do... I would do a door. Oh, that's fab. Yeah, a cottage without a door is a bit problematic. <laughs> like, yeah, like a, so, a tower. Yeah, is, is, okay. is there a need to do uh, the, like, the, the windows or the doors in a certain order? Or can we do it, everything, uh, it doesn't matter what order we do it in? Well, I, I think more importantly is kind of the scale. So whatever you do first, you have to make sure the scale okay, is sort of, of fairly, course, yeah. fairly in keeping with what you've done first. So if I do the door, um, I mean, I, on, the, on the one that you've got there, I think I did the door on the side. Okay. This one I'm putting on the yeah. front. Um, so I've just, again, it's, you really need such a tiny amount of wall fibre for doing this because you're doing such a small shape. So I'm, I've made the corner of my door. This is the top. This is like a little crofter's cottage. Ah, I see. <laughs> ah, yes, absolutely. Yeah. It could be full of beautiful, crafty things inside it. A little fisherman's cottage, yeah, full oh, of driftwood. That's lovely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah look at that. On some Scottish island yeah. somewhere. Right. Uh, okay. You know, Ruth, we have got less than a minute to go. Uh, thank you so much, Ruth. Uh, we would like to say oh, goodbye. You if you can turn around the camera so we can see uh, as well. But it's been an absolute pleasure to have you here in this hour. Uh, Ruth, uh, is, I, I hope you have enjoyed it. We definitely have enjoyed it. Yeah, it's got its flown by. I could do another hour. So. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Absolutely. I
No, and thank yeah. you so much, Ruth. Yeah. I hope that we see you very soon. And do check out your baskets. Uh, uh, they are fabulous options for all different sizes and, of course, uh, different images. Think about uh, having just that kind of mindful exercise of the needle felting. Uh, now, the only way to do it is check out your baskets. Also, check out the books as well. They are absolutely fabulous. Right, do stay tuned to our here at Hochenda. We have got plenty more coming up next. Maybe you want some pa fabric painting. Well, we have that just after the break with Pentart. Scott will tell you all about it. And of course, Louis will be joining him via Skype. But the needle felting do check out your baskets whether you want to create little tiny owls to hide around the house or bookmarks or earrings or you want to go for a cat brooch those amazing cases that you have everything you need except a pair of scissors so why not try a new craft today with it Pentart after the break with Scott and Lou. Then at 11, of course, is Wednesday. We are letting Leone Lewis with pink in designs. And then at 12, a rose paper craft. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Branche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves, for your jars, glasses, we have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and Crafting with La Blanche. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognize businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honored to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orange Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We pride ourselves with high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orland Create shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue 
who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals. And then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, Join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hello everybody, um, 10 o'clock, live from the studios of Achenda, nice to have your company with myself, Scott, taking you through, but always, oh, I love this, can we just cut to it straight away, there, there's lovely Lou, <laughs> that's love. morning Lou. <laughs> Sorry about that. D listen, don't, don't try and, uh, to pretend you're all, you know, professional and, and everything that goes with that. Because normally, whenever, whenever recently, Lou's been on Skype, obviously, um, because of uh, the situation we're all in. So it's lovely that Lou is on Skype. And whenever I do the normal introduction, I always see on the monitor, Lou's always having a little dance. And I can always see it. So it's so nice that you got to share that as well today. Lou, how lovely <laughs> to be with you this morning. Oh, it's lovely to be with you. I always enjoy shows together. So oh. we have a laugh as well, which is important. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, it's a great name of Penn's Heart, which is fantastic. Yes. I know you had a show earlier with Paula, and this is lovely. Now, it'd be great today to go through because what we've got a whole counter, if you're into your fabric painting, and I mean, when I say fabric, I mean pretty much everything. We've got stuff on here that will work for all your basic sort of um, fabrics, plus silk, plus with things uh, that we can work with leather, with faux leather, for example. Um, we got something for everybody here but it'd be great to have your expert knowledge as we go down the counter because yep. i i look at this and go where do you where do you start what will work with that how do i work with this how do i get the best out of these so is that okay if we if we go down to the counter together or you explain individually for us yeah um I'm, i can do a demo on each afterwards as well yes yeah, so no problem about that yeah that will be absolutely perfect. We love your knowledge. Okay, well, just let Lou set a camera up there, which is always great. And Lou Withers is, is one of, I mean, uh, her background is as an art teacher, and she'll probably talk a bit more. Just if you're watching for the first time with us at her chanda, all the, all the people that come through and, and do the demonstrations are absolutely experts in their field. So I'm really looking forward to explaining from, from Lou's point of view how you can get the most out of everything you're seeing on here. And if you've never worked with fabric before, maybe this is the start of something going forward. Just to let you know, uh, the Penn's Heart that you're going to see, the whole count obviously is everything you're seeing from Penn's Heart. Um, they're actually in Budapest. Um, so that means everything is on extended delivery for you. Uh, and it'll be with you from the 24th. We're looking at dispatch the 24th of February. So just want to let you know that from the very start of the show. But uh, yeah, very, very glamorous from lovely Budapest all the way to your door, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. So we'll work our way down and we'll start off with the first item we got here. And these are your beautiful, uh, delicate fabric paints. Now, actually, you've got two options available here. Uh, whichever option you go for, you're going to get two 50 mil jars. You can have the purplish silver and greenish silver. And start at the bottom. I, I went with the graphics. Camera just went with what was easy with the camera, really. Um, at the bottom, as you can see there, you have got those I just mentioned uh, from those, which is stunning. They're 9 9 to 9 if you'd like to go for those ones. And then as we work our way up, We've got the um, old and the white gold. I think we've got there. Dark gold and white gold. There we are. 275 577 999. So let's go straight now to Lou to sort of see what sort of effects we're going to get with here. And again, what fabrics we can work with these. Are these pretty much across the board, these ones, Lou? You can work on paper, fabric, card, leather, anything. Um... You can, all you have to do to set it is to iron it. So, yeah, absolutely anything. But don't forget, you know, it's not just fabric, it's paper as well. So these are absolutely stunning um, products. So the first thing is, I'd like to just show you a little bit of this. 
and I've mixed all the all the products from the show today on this. So right. we've got Glamour Delicate, we've got the flat colours, we've got the sprays, stencils, you name it. But just to break it down, let's have a look at the Delicate first. Now, Delicate is beautiful because what you can do is you can just sort of use it as a paint, and I'll show you it now, or you can use it through a stencil, but you need to sort of... Just think about how much sparkle do you want? Do you want a lot? I'll just quickly show you a little bit of this. So just get a paintbrush. Whatever you're using, fabric or anything like that, if you do have to wash it, wash it first because fabric does um, shrink. I'm not too worried about that. But always put something between the front and the back so that you've got a stopper. Right. You don't want it to leak through. Of course. Now, this paint is delicate as in the, the little particles in it are so so fine you get oh, more of nice. a shimmer so if i just put a little bit down here and i'm just going to get a little bit of water there so you can water it down you can paint straight you can do anything you want so if i just put a little bit down and then i'll use maybe a little bit of the gold what you can do is mix it together whilst it's on a surface so i've got the green and the gold together oh that's nice and then what you yeah you get a beautiful blend but then if i wanted to i could then get a stencil and now i'll do quite a, a a big stencil so you can actually see it so on the top i can just get a sponge and i can just dab a little bit in there you don't need a lot right it makes an amazing fabric stencil um a sort of embellishment oh yes so i'll just yeah. go a little bit here mix and match the colors it you know people think oh i can only use no mix them all get them all together because that's what it's about it's about mixing and matching so i've got that there i'm just going to take a little bit of the gold i tend to use the lid a little bit because it, you don't because i'm so messy <laughs> so i'm just going to put that on there and then I'll go back over it. So, is there any, is there any are there any rules, Lou, regarding using this? Uh, like you say, from the fabric that you use it. If I was to work with this on paper or cardstock, uh, yes. or is it again just is the same rules apply to whichever the surface? The, well, people forget that right? you can use products um, on on fabric because canvas is fabric. But if you're going to wear them, you need to set them, and that all we do to do that is to make sure that you can put it. You can do it in the oven, you can do it with an iron, and you can do it in a microwave. This tends to be better right. if you heat this on the back with an iron. It doesn't crunch or crack or anything like that. It's so flexible. And you can see that you've got a multitude of different ways of working with it. So just to show you this, that's what, the, what you can do. You can blend it out, and you can't just see the glimmer yet. But when that dries, it ends up absolutely stunning and it's really thick paint as well Love so it. you've not got the idea of it running under a stencil but i can now work on top of that if you want so i hope that's sort of shown you a little bit of that i'll carry on with the demos if you want to well so do you want to go to the next product yeah absolutely i was just going to show a little bit here we got some actually that's been put together on a bit yeah. of board that you can sort of see again but again that shimmer when it comes through when it dries uh, that you're going to get these colors that do come through they are absolutely Absolutely beautiful about these. They are stunning. Um, don't forget the options you got here. You can choose either ones you got the options for you. Whichever ones you're going to go for, two jars, 50 mil in each. Again, you should see, you don't need a lot of it to get an effect. You've got the purplish silver and greenish silver, and you've got the dark gold and white gold options. 9.99, 275, 577. And again, you can use these on your paper stock as well as the fabrics. They're not exclusive to working on fabrics with these. Okay, let's work our way down then. And now we've got our beautiful, these are gorgeous glamour fabric paints on these ones. Again, now these ones you can actually have as a pick and mix. So you can choose any two that you want to go for in here. And again, your price for those ones, again, are just $9.99. Um, $9.97, um, Lou, we've got the uh, the pick and mix available now, the glamour fabric paint. Any major, what's, what, what is the major difference? Apart from the colour in there, is there any other difference we're looking at here? But are these stronger colours? Yeah, what happens is, it's when you make um, paint, you have to grind down the elements and then you put a binder with it. Um, and this has been ground down more. 
and this has been left chunkier so that what happens is the light reflects so this has got more of a an essence of glitter but it's not glitter it's not glittery however this has got a shimmer that's got a sort of a, a glitter and you can these all work together so it's got style it, it looks like crushed crushed glitter it's really beautiful and i'll show you the same way yeah i can now get my paintbrush st still the same way and i can paint straight direct onto any surface paper mixed with all the others mixed with everything i want so i can paint like that i can get a sponge and again it's just exactly the same as before you're just building up lovely patterns and textures so you can see you've got like a, a white bit there yeah and that's where you can just see the chunkiness of it so it is a bit chunkier but it's absolutely beautiful and the art the colors just work so well together i've got i've got the one i've got the jar in the studio just about to show as well beautiful. so we can sort of see it as well but it's a re it is really rich you can see that there if i just yeah. hold there that is a really rich color isn't it absolutely beautiful absolutely you stunning this chunks can't you yeah you can see it's a little bit thicker yeah um the black in this is you've got to get the black it's absolutely out of this world the black in let, this. let me just oh, hang on let me get that one as well that honestly it's uh i think i've got that there for you i want to make sure that we get yeah. the quick question on this though i mean if i'm yeah. using this on items of clothing uh, what's can i wash the clothing on this one or is it just once it's on absolutely yeah when you've done it let it dry and then what you do is iron the back, the reverse. You iron it with a hot iron, a cotton setting, and you three minutes, and then it's done. You can wash it in a gentle wash. I won't put it in a boil. No. It wouldn't work then, but, you know, it's gentle. I mean, I'm going to show you with the stencil, with the black, hopefully, just how beautiful this black looks. If you want me to do it now, I can do it now. Yeah, yeah, please do. Yeah, just it looks gorgeous in the, in the actual jar. Yeah, it does. Um, is it okay if I bring the stencils in now? But yeah, absolutely. Whatever you, whatever you need, Lou, that's fine by us. Right. Well, I've got just a canvas bag here, um, and this is to show you the glamour, and, you, and I'm going to carry on using this, but I just wanted to show you how beautiful this works. Now, the stencils you've got are actually stencils, uh, self-adhesive stem stencils, and they're made for um, screen printing. So the very, very... You, you look at them and you think, "Wow, what is that?" They well, I was going to say, I've, I've never normally. seen, I've never Cause... seen this style before, actually. Um, yeah. So I, I wondered how different it is to work with. Yeah, well, there's a script. You see, normally that would be free, but there's actually a mesh in that, and that mesh is so fine it allows the paint to go through, but it doesn't allow it to sort of. Um, it's not like solid. It's very much made for fabric. Right. And it's called screen printing. Um, a lot of artists used to do it. David Hockney and people like that. Andy Warhol used to do it. And it's a way of getting the all the images through, but having what we call loose bits. So what do we mean by that? I mean, sometimes you couldn't have all these letters because they'd fall out. Right. So having this meshing allows you to have that. All you need to do... Now, I'm not great at this, so... I've used my palette knife. Please use something that you can use. You get a bit out there, and you put a little bit down like that. Okay. And you, it all goes back. It all goes back. Now, I don't think I've got enough on. Don't be tight like me. But you have to do it the length of the biggest word. Okay. And if you're good and you do it right, all you need to do is just pull down once, the self-adhesive should keep it beautifully flat. Oh, you see yeah. how much you see? Take that back. All oh, that comes off. You're not supposed to do this again, but I can't waste this paint because I love it. <laughs> then what you must do, you peel it off. Fingers crossed. I don't want you to see now. Wow. There we go. That must go in water straight away. If you can't put it in water, the, the little holes will be filled with paint and it will okay. spoil. Just so warm, I've just got it in my pot of water here. Just warm water? <laughs> that you don't add anything into it? Yeah, just... I just have a little bowl ready. Right. So that's that done. You know, and that's ready now. That's, that's done. Great. All I need to do that is let that air dry. But if I wanted to, 
I could get my paintbrush, and if I've missed little bits like that there, I just, that little bit there, this is the best bit. Right, you get a little bit of this, and all you do, touch it up. Right, okay, just go over. So you don't, you know, you can use it for your stencils, but now you don't know. So, yeah, so I love that. I that's think great, that, that's I lovely. I can write like that on fabric. I can imagine, I can imagine that anything, if you... anything, pillowcases, anything. I was going to say, imagine that if you were to actually use the four colours and get, like, a lovely rainbow of colours going down and uh, all at once. Uh, but that that's really lovely, that. Um, if you want to go for these ones, as you heard, they are uh, washable on a sort of, you know, a sort of a basic heat on there at 30 degrees or so, once you've actually ironed them down so they do set in there. But nine ninety nine. again, you don't just have to use this on your fabrics. They're great as well to work on all your paper crafting. 997 886 999. So pick and mix. So if you want to go for both those for under £20, you're going to get all four of those colours. It will be absolutely brilliant. 997 886. And we do also, as you had the details there, of the actual um, uh, stencils to work with as well. Uh, right, lovely. OK, even more ways of getting colours on here. Now, this is actually going to be your fabric mist spray. You're going to get two options. Of, uh, you've got the tropical that we're looking at there, really beautiful, really bright colours that you can see there with your tropical, with your sort of pinks and the yellows coming through and the reds, and then we've... Uh, what's, the other, what's the other name? Oh, Ocean, there it is, Scott, on the screen. Just a... Uh, uh, ocean or tropical? The ocean's in there. Nine ninety nine. But whichever one you go for, you are getting three, and each one of those are fifty mil. Again, nine ninety nine. One nine eight five zero two. Let's find out how we can work with these. Okay, so the fabric mist spray. Then, uh, Lou, what are the rules here? Well, these are like an ink. So they're very, very, the, the beautifully um, bright and, and vibrant. But they're also um, very intermixable with everything that you use. So they darken the other paints, they lighten them, and you can use them in a multitude of ways. You can just use them with your ordinary stencils. I've got the other damask stencil out, um, and I'm just pushing that down. This is a screen stencil, and again, what I would do if I was using this, you know, if I wanted to, I'd mask off this area. Right. So if you didn't want any fly, you would just... Go round the area. I'm not going to do it all now. It's boring. Um, so, <laughs> but you would mask all that off. Or even like a piece of copier. The, the sheet it comes with is even better because you can clean it off. Keep this. It's a really good. And you just clean that. You just put that there and it stops the spray. Because you will get spray right. because it wants to go like that. Now, these are really strong. So I'm just going to put Oh, that's yellow. a nice colour, isn't it? And I always mix them. You can hear the ball bearing, and I tend to go... I thought that was your wrist. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it. <laughs> and I'm just going to go... You see the spray there? Yeah. Sometimes there might be a blockage. I don't know what that feels like. And um, <laughs> it all the sprays, and then it might go skew with. So just knowing where, where your spray sort of lands is a good idea, right? Now, I'm just putting a bit more yellow. So, that looked a complete mess. But don't be fooled. I trust. Don't be fooled by it. Ooh. And then it looks... Oh, what is she doing? Yeah, I know. That's on the ocean, is it? That's the blues on the ocean ones. Exactly. Now, what you can do, if you want, is you can take another bag and do that. But I am just going to... Do this now you don't need to do this but i'm just taking the excess off because i don't you know I, I do want it bright but i don't want it sort of that vibrant right now normally you'd have a stencil your own stencils um like this so you'd get a different pattern i'm just showing you on these because these are wonderful it's not often we get these yeah oh lovely lovely now that is stunning. That is gorgeous. So you've got all these colours that you couldn't mix on their own. It'd be really hard. However, just to show you, that if you do, I'll pull it across here, if I wanted to mix, say, a best bulk colour, like a colour between this one, yellow, and this one, there's nothing to stop me mixing my own as well. Right. So right. you can mix all your own colours with it. It's like you've got the... What's it called? The, the, the pri uh, primaries. Yep. Now this, you, you, you could put on 
your sheet or even on your paper I certainly wouldn't waste it but I just wanted to show you how well they mix so that's the sprays I hope that helped that is absolutely brilliant. I was just looking at the little bottles themselves that they talk about these. But, uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic to be worth. Again, this one says it can be washed again once you've done this. Gently yep. on a 40 degree for, for that one, actually, if you want to go for those. Uh, but I love those. And, and, again, as you notice there from Lou, she's not using it. She's only using a couple of little squirts from each of the bottles there. But look at yep. the effect you got there across the board. In fact, in many ways, your biggest surface here, if you want to go for uh, both of these options, the tropical and the ocean, you have a lovely colour combination to work them put them all together again a little squirt from each one of those but just look at what the effects you can gain from it at uh, 9.99 you're getting three whichever one you're going to go for on those in whichever that price 198502 really you like that i think they're absolutely fantastic what a great easy way working with the stencils to get a really big results i think that's fantastic okay now we're going to come into the pen type this is your five of your 50 mil to work we've got some ideas again how you're going to be able to work with these actually onto your fabrics that you can sort of see uh, uh, this one's actually the glow these we don't have the glow in the dark but you get the idea of how the colors really are going to work beautifully on the fabrics for these ones now these ones you've got a whole choice to go from these when you've got the raspberry blueberry mint pistachio and uh, the limeta, light blue, red, sun yellow, and uh, apple, all of those different options. But you are getting five in each of those. $14.99. You've got a £5 saving on this particular bundle, so really good time to go for these ones if you want to make the most of these. The item codes you're going to need for whichever option on 254694. And again, your colours will be on the website for you to choose which one, again, uh, out of the two to go for. So let's go and have a look at them with Lou to see how we're going to be able to work with yeah. these. these. These look absolutely beautiful, Lou. Yeah, they are absolutely gorgeous. Just to show you, though, I uh, forgot to mention that if you've got here, like areas that are missed, you can put your stencil back on. Or a little trick is you could just get a wet paintbrush and bring the colours and let them blend a little bit more. So something that isn't as solid now is solid. Right. I see, so yeah. It's like colour by numbers. So that's that. Well, I love that. I'm going to make that into a nice bag. The paints are absolutely gorgeous because you can mix them with everything. So I'm going to get two colours. I'm just going to do something really simple. I'm going to draw um, perhaps a shape on my surface. You can do whatever you want. I tend to do just a, we'll do a just an ordinary shape just to show you how nicely you can paint and blend. I'm just going to do something round if I can get my paintbrush. Uh, <laughs> so I've got a circle there. And I'm just going to do, this is going to be a pattern, but I'll start it off with my um, colour first. Now, the fabric medium is a must. This is like um, an extend dot, not, not so much an extend, it extends the paint without making it weaker or any more dilute in the oh, I see. of colour. I see. Because so I was, I, we got this on the counter, I was going to ask about this, how this, the benefits of working with it. Am I am you okay to use it? Am yeah, I yeah, absolutely, Lou. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the details so, for these, again, by the way. There's a little uh, bit card in there, but you. The, beta, the bottom Just of the, the screen, sorry, no, I was going to say, the details for that that you're using uh, is there for the fabric retarder, all of that, and the medium, uh, 9 99 There they are, bottom of your screen, 208-299. It's what Lou is mixing with the fabric paints at the moment. Sorry, Lou. No, 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 it's fine. You need that. They need to know that. So I put it on the surface, which is great. Or what I can do is put some down and then just pull that over and you'll see how it extends the colour. So you get glazes. So rather than trying to go straight in with the pigment, you can sort of mix it in and then apply it. But you'll get a softer colour. So I'll just show you on this half here. So this is with that on there but I'll show you now the opposite way so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get oh my advice is leave the tops on um, because it, it one it helps and if there's no spillage with these but it just helps the paint I found there's less of problems because I'm always spilling stuff <laughs> if you leave it on plus it, it, it doesn't perform it, it it don't well I just think it keeps better so here there's nothing on here and now I'm just putting the paint on straight away now it's absolutely easy as pie to put on. It's got this absolutely beautiful consistency. Right. They've, been in the, they've been in the industry 40 years, and the background for pen art is 
chemicals, you know. Oh, really? So they really know what they're doing, and that's where their interest comes from, the chemicals. So they know what they're doing, absolutely right. know what they're doing. If if I want to now, I think this is personally, if you want a stronger colour, you need to put the colour down and then use the blender or the medium like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get, clean your brush, a bit of yellow, and I'm just going to blend. And I'll just show you how easy it is to blend. And when your brush feels like it's getting dry, you can only just put a little bit of the medium on, and it just helps it to sort of blend really right. easily. So blending on. And blending with and without so the surface you're blending in if you want to do oh, it yes nice that way now what i can do is i can wait and leave that to dry and then on the other side iron it for you know a minute or two at 40 to 30 40 degrees and that's set but i can you know keep adding because it's it's thick enough that it will hold yeah. you can also stencil on it so I can scratch into this now as well, which looks really good. So I've got yet another surface, <laughs> you know, and it, it reveals the underneath. Yes. So up to you. But no, paint, nice. Uh, again, beautiful. that idea, like you say, it's not going to weaken the colour in any way. So you still get that no. same saturation as you saw from straight from the pot. And uh, I was just, I mean, actually, uh, the consistency does look amazing. I was just looking at this one here. I've got the, the, the little lid. It's not taken off fully, just as Lou was talking about. But the consistency is really, I mean, absolutely incredible. Really, really lovely and smooth to work with, as you can see. It's going to go on an absolute treat. Uh, this is the apple green option uh, that's in there with one of the collections for you. So really, really, oh, look, look, I look like a real crafter now. Look, where am I going to put that? Oh, oh. You know, you know, right for the, floor the, 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 thing, the good thing about these, Scott, is that normally you'd be really feared to death of going, I'm going to go, I mean, I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm getting carried away as normal. Why change it? <laughs> I would never, ever in a million years do this. But because there's no bleed, I'm not worried about doing it because the consistency allows them to sit next to each other and not bleed at all. Yes, so, yeah. And that's that's down to really knowing your product because normally that is a no no. Wet right. and wet, no. 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 So I hope that's helped. Love it. Absolute really, really lovely. It's great explanation, Lou. Thank you. Your expertise on this is really, really valuable. Uh fourteen ninety nine, you got that five pounds savings. So rather than paying a penny off of twenty pounds right now, they're actually under fifteen. So grab those. It's a great opportunity. Two five four six nine four. Like I say, for your fabrics, again machine washable, but again for all your mediums to work with on this on your card or your paper stock, whatever it is. Lovely. Right. Now then, this is lovely. Again, now we've got, uh, now you're, I'm looking for your explanation on these because I can see we've got the, the salts in here. We've got the actual silk paint because silk, again, when we're working with this, uh, are the rules very different when we can, uh, this, this particular fabric that we're working with, our silk paint? Yeah, well, silk, um, you want paint to travel and you want it to blend. And it's actually the one I've got on the head. I'll take it off and show you. I did this this more, um, yesterday thinking I'd put lots too much colour on. And it's actually very, very subtle. And the reason for that is because you have, it has to be washed out. But this is a piece of silk. And all I did was screwed it, wet it, screwed it up, and then allowed all the colours to sort of blend. But these are those bright colours. But look how subtle they are. They, they look lovely. They're absolutely stunning. And you, you wash away a lot. I mean, I'm quite, I did this in the microwave. And one of the things you can do is when you apply the silk paint, you, you can just put it in the microwave with some water, on the top of a bowl with some water, three minutes, and it's set then instead wow. of ironing it. Wow. And then that's set. But I can build on it again if I want. I can use the paints and everything. But it's, it's a bit difficult to sort of show you when you, you know, you're doing it on teller. Yeah. But, um, it, it sort of moves very much like ink. And I'll just show you. You can use it on fabric. I'll just show it on here. So this little bit here, I can um, I can drop some on the other one and show you how to work it if you want to redo it. But I won't be able to show it you fixed. So here's the paint I used before. But there's nothing to stop you blending this in and creating 
a darker version. So because you, you're putting it on this, it's not as runny. But this is so strong, it's untrue. So um, if you're not if you're not working on the silk itself, I know that because in the bundles it comes with the salt as well as we've actually yeah. got the, uh, the the actual paint as well, the silk now. paint to go I'll with show that. You. Does this, do I need to use the salt for these if I'm using this on regular uh, material compared to if I'm working on predominantly silk? Well, salt, the salt is for an effect. And what that does is, is it sucks up all the paint and ink. So what you end up with is little patches. We call them blooms. And that, that sort of pulls all the little the paint away from areas so you get a bloom. All I've done now is I've got my silk scarf. And... Um, I just wet it like that. It's not properly, really thickly, sort of. And then it, it's sort of damp. And then I'm just going to arrange it like this. So I put it where I want it, like that. Yeah. This is how hard it gets. So now I'm going to get a paintbrush. You can use a pipette, whichever you want. Yeah, they come, the, they come my, with uh, the kit. I've here ready. And I'm just going to drop the colour on. And I'm, the pipette, you get more ink on. And this is all you do. And it's sort of... That's it. <laughs> and you let the colours move in. And it's as difficult as this. Can you see how dark you think you're doing? Yeah. And you're not. You're not. It's, it washes out after it's set. So don't be worried. And then you do that... You scrunch it. You don't have to scrunch it if you don't want, but you'll start to see the colours. So then you move. I, this is what I do. Normally, you know, you've got people, they, they, you get sort of different ways of doing it, but I wanted to show you these two. So I've got the green, which is very nice. The turquoise now, it's turned into turquoise. So I'm going to go in with a terracotta. You might find a bit of sediment in there. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. Okay. That just You just need to shake it up. So another paintbrush or a pipette, it's entirely up to you. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop the next colour. Now, if I don't have that water to begin with, what happens is there's, it doesn't allow it to spread evenly or oh, bloom I see. Yeah. like that. It makes it sort of stick you lose to the bleed small of it, yeah. areas. So now that again, what I can do now is add some more water. And then this, oh, look at this, look at this. This, <laughs> it doesn't look anything. It doesn't look anything, but this is on fire. This is called gold. And this is, oh, oh, it's, it's got, I don't know what it is, but it's like, I'll show it you on black. It, it dries, so the carrier dries clear, which is like the binder or anything. And all right. you're left with is the shimmer. So I'll just turn it over. And I'll put um, the finished product, I'll put it on social media later Great. so people can see. Thank you. Right? So I'll, it, it's very difficult for you to see that, isn't it? But it's absolutely... I'm trying to find a piece of black. Oh, I'll show you on here. So we've got this dark colour. If I just show it you, you get a real glisten. Shimmer from it. Yeah. So that... Just move it like that, leave it like that. And then you look at it, you think, yeah, I like those colours. It looks awful now. Leave it to dry a little bit. And then in the microwave, you have to leave it in the microwave like this, like a donut. Three minutes in the micro, and you'll end up with a work of art. You put it on a bowl like that, put some water in the bowl, obviously, because you're using a microwave, and then... Three minutes and you're done. So that's all you do with it. Choose the colours you want. Any, I, I absolutely love this because it's so random. You can't plan it. Right. Absolutely can't plan it. Uh, and it looks a mess. It's like one of those. Oh, what will it look like? What will it look like? So, hope that's helped. It, it, it has. The only question I still got on the, on the magic salt, Lou, because um, yeah. I was looking at the instructions on this, and it says um, place a large size salt crystals onto the wet silk. Let them um, contact for about 20 minutes, then remove the remaining yeah. salt crystals and then paint as usual. So would that be what you had done to that scarf at the very beginning of the process? Yeah. Well, 
what I would do now is, because we've got, these are, these are big salt crystals. And what I would do now is, I would, if I wanted to, I would I'd take this sort of, and drop them in. Oh, right. And well, 20 minutes later, what happens is that crystal will absorb the ink around it and it will just take the ink out like a sponge. So I you'll be see. left with like almost cauliflowers and Got you. absolutely beautiful patterns. You can We do it with watercolour as well, but these are big chunks. They are, you yes. These, reuse them, reuse them, reuse them. You have to leave them a good 20 minutes for the, rea for the reaction to happen. Right. And then you take the crystals off. Oh, we used to brush them off our watercolour, and that's when you fix it. Uh, but don't forget, all of it can be done on paper. Yes, of course. All of it. Of course. That's brilliant. Thank you. That That's a great explanation. Just give me the details oh. for that bundle, because it is a really good bundle you're going to go for. I need to tell you something else as well. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it, it, oh, sorry. Do you want to tell us Go on, please. Yeah. Right. You know, we have this reaction with the silk, and it's sort of a, it allows the paint to bleed through like that. Yeah. To stop that... We sort of put a foundation on it. And this primer, what this does is it stops that flow. So in, in, in effect, it makes this silk silk paint like the other paint. It doesn't allow it to blend out. It stops it. So if you don't want this reaction, you put the primer on first, and it sort of allows you to just paint within lines. Oh, and I it got keeps you. you lines. And these are the lines that you use, the silk paint contour and that means you can just contour something and you can just as you could it sort of makes a reservoir i'll just show you here it sort of makes a reservoir you can just see the black line it makes a reservoir for the paint to sort of stay within I got you that's good i tell you what then we'll just catch everybody up there with the details for those then lou yeah um, sure this is Go with the bundle to start with here we're looking at for your silk paint kits here. Now, you've got three options uh, that you can see here. I will say that whichever the options you're going to go for, you are going to get the elements here. So you're going to be getting the actual silk paint, you'll be getting the magic salt, and as you heard then Lou talk about, you're going to be getting two pipettes as well. So that's your bundle. What you're then choosing then are your options of your colours that you want to go for. You have got your tropical that you can work with. You've also got the beautiful bold that you can see right there, absolutely fabulous we've also got your golden sands which is absolutely stunning again really good price points of those uh, 427 22 11.99 so you're gonna be getting basically those three and then whichever color options you've chosen so you get a lot there for under 12 pounds really good perfect now Lou has also then talked about the primer again really good price point on these ones but if you want to be really sort of um, you control where your color goes when you're working with your seal as you saw then they create those borders for it well the primers perfect so you're actually going to get the area where you don't want it to color on and you can mark them off and create those reservoirs that you talked about there as well uh, that is going to be your three of your 20 milk uh, 20 mil of your silk paint contours there in black you're going to get pearl and you're going to get silver plus you're also going to get that 100 mil of the actual primer itself really good you can imagine what you can work with on your silks and have the control about that well worth 9.99 isn't it to have that control 336 474 is your item code there which is fabulous right let's move on to and there's a lot and this is a great honestly what a lovely show if you're just starting out working with your fabrics or you want to branch out into your fabrics but don't forget it's not exclusively for your fabrics it will work on your car and your paperwork as well here we have got your fabulous 3d deco pens and again if there's anything that Lou's not covered for you you want a little bit more information about how to get the best from something or you're having a trouble when you try to do some work on fabrics in the past we're here to help. Uh, do let us know. Studio at hachanda.com if you've got any questions for our fabulous Lou, of course, while she's on the show with us. So the 3D decor pens, uh, you're going to be getting three of those, and it's just 9 99 468 794 And you can see behind it, we've got some really lovely examples. And I'm assuming the great thing about these, Lou, is that we have real control again because they are a pen, but we're still getting all that wonderful yep. colour. 
Yeah, and you can use these as a paint as well. You can use them through your stencils. But yeah, you've got the control. And the nice thing about these is because they're in a pen form, they're easy to use. So because we know how to use pens and pencils, it's easy for us to use. But yeah, they've got a great consistency and you can make your own embellishments if you put them on a plastic surface and then let them dry. They pe you can peel them off and make your own embellishments oh, as well. Oh, right, great. So this, you know, the sheets that you get with your stencils. Yes. If you keep that, because it's got a really great surface, um, you should put your stencils back on. But I've got a spare. If you just put blobs on there and let them dry, you can just peel them off. So. so it, it. I love that. That is brilliant. So again, if you are looking to make those personalised, maybe it's a wording on there, maybe it's some elements in the middle of some of your designs on your florals or embellishments on whatever it is you're looking at, this is perfect again for you. 468-794-999 and that's for all three in that bundle. Really, really fabulous. Uh, also, very quickly, we, we talked about the um, the fabric medium here, uh, just that part of that bundle that was mentioned earlier on by Lou. Again, brilliant price point here. Nine ninety nine. That gives you a hundred mil of the actual fabric <coughs> medium that you can see here. Plus, you're also going to be getting a further eighty mil of your fabric retarder as well. Nine ninety nine. Uh, two zero eight two double nine. I'm interested in actually the retarder because how does this work when we're talking about actually? It says about fabric, but also on here leather paint and the difference in uh, what we're going to get with this. Well, it's it's really really good product because what it does is. It allows all the paints you've got to um, be open longer. And that means that you've got more time to use them because normally you've got a quick drying like with the, uh, the normal fabric paint. If you put this with it, it allows you to work for it with it a lot longer so it takes longer to dry. Right. The medium is absolutely stunning because if you put paint with this and mix it, then ordinary paint now becomes fabric Paint. Ah, okay. So, so the but acrylic then, paints that we'd have in our collection, literally, if we yeah. thought, oh, we'd like to work on fabric, but we don't have any of the yeah. actual fabric paints themselves, yeah. we just literally can mix it with our fabric yeah. medium, and that will then convert it, okay, say, to use on fabrics. Yeah, but you won't get the same effect as the glamour and the delicate because no. they're made for it. So to me, you know, it's not like you get that and you don't ever need anything else. No. This is a really good product for these, but it's also a good product if you've got the odd colour that you haven't got. Say you wanted a bright orange. If you've got an orange paint, you can actually use that with it as well. So I think it, it just extends what yeah. you've got at home as well. That's that's brilliant. Just gives you that little mix in between then, extends your, your colours yeah. options. You've got two zero eight two double nine 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 to nine. Really good tools of the trade to work with uh, for those ones. Do grab those again if uh, if if you're used to uh, if you normally want to work with your leather, for example. Um, fantastic now that extra drying time. Uh, right now we mentioned the stencils earlier. I think these are beautiful. Do what you love is the stencil that was used earlier on by Lou. We did that onto the canvas bag, uh, working with those fabric paints. And again, what a lovely simple way. Again, great way with your bags. That you might with personalise any of your decor, for example, really lovely. And these, regardless of the way of working with these, you know, but they are really lovely stencils in their own. These are beautiful, these ones. Do what you love, Rococo 1 and Rococo 2. Uh, a different style of stenciling to work with, as you've seen, but really good price. 11 99 really big size stencils also for that price. 149 Double six seven. Uh, right, and that is everything we got on the counter. Of course, you can find everything on the website when you look through Pentar and uh, or the show that's happening right now. But we've still got what we got uh, twelve to thirteen minutes or so, uh, yeah. Lou, um, to sort of carry on some uh, more in depth on our, on our demos. Thank you yeah. for all your all your explanations so far, Lou. It's been brilliant. Oh no, I mean I really enjoy just giving. It. Sometimes it's better than doing a project because you get to see each product, don't you? Yes. Here I've just got, this is now dry. This was using the glamour in the black through the stencil. Um, and again, it's really clean and crisp and it's beautiful. You, it's very difficult to get something so crisp as that. Yeah. Um, with, or, you know, you need the fabric paints and you need the, you know, the right equipment. Because on fabric, you've got a different texture. Here's the stencil used with... Um, all the sprays. I love that. And as I said, there's like little bits here that you've missed. Don't be, you know, don't worry about that because you can pick up a little bit of colour. I'll just show you what I mean. If I pick a little bit of colour up there, 
squirted everywhere that. Um, <laughs> and you can just drop it in. You don't need a lot, but what you do need to know is that it will bleed. So just be aware. Okay. But you can mix it with this, and then it, you'll get a glaze. So you can even paint with that. This is the fabric medium, so this gives it a sort of glaze. If I wanted to go over this and give it a glaze, I'd just give it a really fine mist over all of it. Um, a really thin layer, sorry. So that's what basically the stencils you can use them for. So I've been doing all sorts of stuff. And I did a bag, and I just wanted to show you what this looks like now. So I did a bag before. I'm just going to clean that up, because if I don't, I know I'm going to have up. I never... Who was that who say that, Scott? Have a whoopsie. Oh, done a whoopsie. <laughs> was it Frank? Um... Oh, oh, I Frank know. Some Skin others do have Frank them. Skinner. Oh. No, so, yes, yeah, some mums do have him. That's, that's it. it. Jessica, Skinner. his daughter, yeah. isn't it? That's, oh. yeah. Of an age, everybody, of yeah. an age. Oh, better. Right. Anyway, so, all, all the things that I've done here, of everything that's on the show I've used here, just to show you that you can really mix it all. I've used it to draw, to paint, to blend and everything and and this is a blend of all the products just to show you what i mean by this so i'm just brilliant. going to get out a tiny bit of the fabric medium and i'm just going to put it on the side that's why i only use use it in a lid like that because you can actually control it when you you just let it come out like that oh, it's a lot I see. Easier. yeah so, yeah and then i open the paint and because they're nice and thick it doesn't matter and i open these up and I just haven't read it, and I think, right, what colours do I want? So they, that one, that one. Sorry, Lou, to interrupt. Is that, is that the little yeah. 3D pens you've used there to make those like little jewels in the green and the... Yeah. yeah they, they look, I'll, they I'll, look and fab. And I'll show you that as well on the top. So I've got the glamour, the delicate, and the fabric paint. And all I'm going to do, it won't take me long, and I'll just show you how easy it is to use. And, sorry, I forgot about this, the pen. Now, these are all mixable, so they're not just used for one thing. If I wanted to, put the card inside where you, you, um, your product is, because you don't want it to run through. Now, I'm just putting a little bit there. It doesn't really matter. And then what I do is I go in with my paint and just I put a tiny bit of water. And it's that thick, you can sort of put your paintbrush in each pot and it doesn't um, contaminate which is really, really good because I'm terrible for that. So the glamour, when it dries, can you see that gilt? It's really, really, it's got like a silver sheen on it. You'll know straight away um, what it is because it's got that beautiful sort of silver. That's yeah. why it's called silvery black, silvery pink, but you can blend them. So now I'm going to go in with my fabric paint, ordinary flat, and just see how this then blends in. So that blends in with that. So uh, all these colours, because you've got all these that intermix, you now you've got a multitude of colours now. Yeah. Then you can use this. Well, that's the three D. Is that's that the three D pen? pen? Yeah. So you can use that as a paint as well. So if you want to, you've got the choice of all those colours all together and then when you let that dry I'll just put a little bit of medium there because I find that at the edges to blend. it's always better if you use a thinner brush and it's got more of a what we call like more bite to it so it's actually firmer if it's a soft bristle brush all you do is sort of flap about with it whereas this <laughs> sort of pushes you paint where you want it to go so I've done that done that blended that in now I can just I'll just fling them all over here. What I can do now is I can get while this is wet, I can get my paint pens and I can do some. I'm just thinking I'm really... just thinking Lou, while, while you're doing that as well, what's lovely about this, if people have wanted to do their own canvas or anything like that before, or again for home decor or for clothing again, they want to personalise or any I mean this really does like you say, and it's not like it's exclusive for fabrics you mentioned. This is great, like you say, on paper, no. on cardstock, uh, and, and all your different mediums in that respect, once it's sort of tailored and taken onto it. But it's, uh, what a great idea for people that maybe want to expand into their fabric work. 
you know what what else it's really good for? Um where's my pins on? Um shoes. 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 I'm gonna put a dark purple on this one. Shoes. Now I've got some boots uh, and they're a bit scuffed and I'm gonna get my pens on these and make them my own. Make them mine then. So I'm just using a of pink on this to contrast, but you can see how you can draw with it, you can do a line, you can do anything. But yeah, you can decorate your shoes, you can decorate handbags, anything you've got, shirts, you can write, you can do anything. So you can do a line like that, I can do a wiggle. So, but I can, if I just do it here, do a really big pearl. That's how big they'll be. Brilliant. And they settle out, they settle and they sort of round, so I don't need to interfere. Now, the self leveling, if I want to. Oh, you could build on top? Yeah. But you're great at icing cakes. self leveling cakes. now. So you can do that, and now you wouldn't have those pearls normally like that. If I wanted to, there's a little, um, I'm going to show you on here, there's a little trick where, um, I'll just move this into here. We've got this just about four and a half spray. minutes left, Lou, just to let you know, that's all. All right, no problem. This is using the sprays, and what I did was I just sprayed everything, like, willy-nilly. So you can use your pens now to create whatever you want. You, you, you can do little flowers, you can do anything. So I'm going to do some... And I'm just doing like brackets, like that. And all I'm going to do Sorry is about get the noise, the end by the way. <laughs> I just it was like a coconut shy. Knocked everything. I just knocked everything over. I was watching with intent and put my hand out, and uh, I did an absolute muppet muppet thing. Sorry, Lou. No, you did. I know. I, you know what so, I'm like. Yeah, you're wonderful. Oh. Oh, right. that tenor's on its way I've to you, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming in soon. I'm Good. hoping that we get out of this blooming thing soon. When are you, when, when are you so, coming in? Oh, hopefully at the end of the month. Right, great. I'm going to go and have a word with the uh, government. I've had enough of this. I want a tank to come down in. <laughs> a tank. So, yeah, on the roads with the weather, the you might need there. one. Yeah, well, this is it, isn't it? I've done a little rose there, and, and you can draw into it. So you can create all your own little roses and embellishment. And if you like folk art, you can do that. You can do really beautiful, like, little, I will show you here, flowers. If you just want to decorate something simple, you sort of go... But I love I love this. I mean, great, like you say, pencil case, T-shirts... If you are doing embellishments again to work on your trainers or shoes or anything else you want absolutely. to just uh, add your own little personal touch to, th these are absolutely brilliant tools to have and really colourful ways to work. This is, um, without being rude, if because I'm doing my mindful moonling at the moment, but if you find that you just want to sit and draw, this is the sort of thing that allows you to do it because it's not, based on your drawing skills it's doodling yeah and i think we all go we, we really enjoy doodling so yeah i think this is this is just a win-win and you can draw and paint that found me pin i found me pin and um, and if you do don't be tempted to cut that off because that's exact perfect nib that that nib is perfect you don't need to mess about with it i have you get people and if they do that oh it squirts all over right it's awful. It ruins your work. So I'm just going to draw with it. Well, she says, let me get it. I'm bunged up. Hang on. I'll be dead quick. So I just wanted to show you some different lines you can use. Come on. I'm using another one. I've had enough of that. Right, I'm using line. So if I wanted some different lines, I could do... Anything good squiggles, good squiggles. So you can make something really personal. I can write my name if I want. Oh, that's it's all blubbed everywhere. Oh, 
Oh, we thought we thought you'd gone very still there for a second, Lou. Oh, that's there brilliant. No, it's just you stand honestly. You stand no no chance against this. You will be hooked because you just <laughs> think, right? Well, what happens if I do that? What happens if I do that? What happens if I do that? Before you know it, two hours has passed. But don't forget, if I wanted to, I could drop my stilt paint on that, and it will blend out. And what it'll do is make that lettering just stand up. But you've got tons and tons oh, and tons of choices. Lou, you've you've given us. Effect. You have given us so much inspiration and explanation on how all of these work, which is absolutely fantastic. So, can I say thank you very much indeed uh, for that, uh, Lou. You've been an absolute help uh, going through. The, the pens, by the way, that, Len was, uh, that Lou was working with there. Who's Len? <laughs> that, uh, the pens that Lou was working with, not the pens that Len was working with. 999 468 794. Oh, she very quickly got the scarf there as well, just to finish off with them a little look. To, are you going to little unravel for us there, Lou? Well, what I'm going to do is, when it's dry, I've got 20 I'm going to seconds. It, I'll put it on social media. But yeah, um, quick, I'll just show you the colours. Love it. And you can see the gold coming through. But when that's dry, we will look out for this can... on social media. Lou, thank you. Thank L you, my love. A little rhyme there. Just for you. Lovely, Lou. Thank you so much indeed. And thank you very much, Steve, for being with us. We really hope that has helped. Good luck getting that in your basket. Ah, absolutely lovely lady. And another couple of lovely ladies coming up here. We've got Leonie that's going to be loose now with your pink ink. That's all coming up there with Paula. Then I'll be back with you with Tina as well with Ross Papercraft, the one day special. Hi, my name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We've brought them to a chander and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. So join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use, only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope we've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Hachanda. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, 
and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. I love teaching. For me, it's all about that. And so working with Hochanda is fantastic because it gives me the perfect platform to reach out and work with uh, like-minded people and to be able to show um, some of the tricks that I've learned along the way. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray, on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away, we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. watching a show with me on Hochanda you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce and it's all very much mixed media so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. Cheeky chops, I was just gonna check it's that part timer. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I would help. Um, okay, we have got hello and welcome. It's lovely to have your company. I'm so excited to be here. That's starting from the beginning. Um, I'm really excited because we've got a brand new collection from the Mighty Pink Ink, and they, as usual, are gorgeous. Good morning, ladies, if you're watching. It's um, I'm so excited because I've got the originals to show you as well when we get over there, which always makes me nervous because in my hands, and I've just looked at my desk and it's like, oh my gosh, yeah, my, my hands are clean, my desk. Mm -mm. Anyway what we have got five brand new collections um, as part of the pink ink range and as usual the designs are sensational i'm gonna hold up the stamp straight away for you because obviously these are way bigger than the packaging is actually showing you and it's the detail they're beautiful they're absolutely beautiful um of course with these it's as usual you know kathy's put so much work into these and they're absolutely exquisite the detail of each stamp you know there's so much goes into it you've got the borders you've got sentiments you've got what I love about these so you've got the day um, the the really filigree image but then you've got more um, more of your silhouette images so that allows you to create different looks and use different techniques with them as well absolutely stunning you can see how that is a more solid image now me being me I've forgotten what's what what I don't know names of flowers I should have I should have researched flowers so that is your luscious lilac which is absolutely fantastic the next one now this one is your fuchsia i do know fuchsias i'm rubbish i know this is your fuchsia and have a look at that look how big that stamp is i mean that is huge isn't that just incredible what I love about the fuchsia, obviously, it's that one's um, a falling fuchsia, but that one you see, see, that one's going that way. So you're mixing it up. Absolutely stunning, stunning. And I love all the little extras because they're perfect for pe uh, pattern building. Absolutely perfect. So that's your beautiful fuchsia. Um, the next one that we've got is your, I want to say foxglove. Oh! foxglove i'm really i don't look at names and again that is so, look how big that is 
Stunning, absolutely stunning. And what I love about this as well, you've got the solid butterfly, but then you can overlay it. You've got the solid um, snail, but then you can overlay with detail. But of course, you can use them as silhouettes. Each one, you've got sentiments. And again, you've got that beautiful, beautiful um, solid stamp as well. The detail of that is incredible. That is such a beautiful, they're all beautiful stamps. But the detail in the leaves, I mean, they're absolutely phenomenal. And they stamp beautifully. You know, you will get that detail that's on there. You'll absolutely get that um, when you actually stamp it. Isn't that stunning? Stunning. So that's your foxglove. I love foxgloves. I just think they're absolutely exquisite. Next one is your beautiful roses. I knew roses. Um, again, really big feature stamps. And with these, they can be just a feature stamp on a card. You could be using them for backgrounds. I mean, literally, you can use them for whatever you want. With this one, again, because you've got a lot of the little extras, you can use those for filler in us to make this bigger. Or, of course, you can use these as separate entities all together. And I haven't been reading your sentiments with this one. Friends are the flowers that never fade. Oh, um, I, I haven't even said hello to me. Miss P talking about friends that being our little flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Miss P is hello. in the corner. Hello. 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 She said hello. Um, <laughs> and then last but by no means least. And again, look at that. I love this one. Um, this is uh, your, how do you say it? Clematis. Clematis, of course it is. Um, and I love this because of that detail. I, I just, for me, that one will build up such a good background. Oh, it's so filigree. It's so exquisitely detailed. And these little extras are beautiful. So many extras. And let me read you the sentiments. The earth laughs in flowers. Indeed it does. Now, your options. So we've got five brand new releases. It is up to you how you go for this. You can go for them individually. So if you've got a favourite, you can go for them that way. Or you can go for a set of two. If you want a set of two, you are saving four pounds. It's up to you what you want to go for. So you can pick and mix, you can choose your favourites, one, three, three, four, uh, six, four, nine. Or, or you can go for the set of three. Now, a lot of people are going for set of three. Obviously, if you want the lot, set of three and then a set of two. That's how you shop, of course. Um, if you're going for the set of three, uh, with that one, you are saving. I thought you were saving more than three pounds. I thought you saved seven pounds on that one. Ah. Anyway, it's 46 pounds and 85 pounds. I'm sure it said that on my piece. Of course, the savings carried over and then an extra three pounds. So it is basically you are saving more than that three pounds. I think it's a seven pound saving there if you're going for your set of three. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. And we do have flexi on that. It's not showing it at the minute. Are you able to sort that out, Miss Shaw? Miss Charlotte is on it. Um, that will have flexi. So if you're going for your set of three, at least you can split your payments over two months. I have to show you the finished samples. The team, as ever, have been amazing. Uh, some beautiful finished samples. Um, this is Gail, and that's a gorgeous foxglove. I mean, how stunning is that? Just so exquisite. I mean, look at this one. This one's from Susan. Look at the detail of that. And do you know what? She's actually fussy cut that out as well. And it just gives it such depth. The colouring in there is absolutely exquisite. Let me show you something completely different, though. Because, and I love this, because obviously with your flowers, you can do whatever you want. That's by Sharon. And I love that, because it's got so much colour in the background, and yet those flowers absolutely stand out. That's your beautiful foxglove. Let me show you next your clematis. Now, this um, by Sheila. I adore this. When I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, that is incredible. Sheila, honestly, her, her cards are phenomenal. This one's beautiful. Starfish Craft, that's by Karen. And I love that because she's created a completely different look to that. She's created a different movement to that, the way she's coloured it in. I think that is really, really effective. And then one more from the Clematis for now. And that's from Karen as well. And that's not just the Clematis, it's everything. Isn't that fabulous? Because literally, it's that beautiful full background and then all the flowers, which I just think looks amazing. I mean, you could literally create a wallpaper with these. So you know what I mean? You could just get carried away. Look at this now. 
now we have got the beautiful fuchsias this one's by susan again and again beautiful coloring and using stencils in the background which absolutely work i love karen's coloring in again on that one i really she's got a thing for circles hasn't she i really like her coloring in because it's it just gives it a different look and entirely um, this is by gail and that is beautiful i really like how soft that is but then how she's used those extra stamps to build that fantastic uh, wreath there, which I, I really like. I think that looks absolutely exquisite. Now, next, we've got, look at that, the roses. How phenomenal is that? The colouring in on that is incredible. And this one's by Sheila. And if I open that up, have a look in here. Look. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Uh, the work that's gone into that wow that's fun fantastic isn't it the work that's gone into <gasps> this i mean look at that fussy cutting look at that fussy cutting i'll show you every page look at the fussy cutting on that that is ridiculous this must have taken you hours that is beautiful. So I'm not going to be demonstrating that in this hour. <laughs> <laughs> that is, Sheila, that is phenomenal. Uh, that must have taken you such a long time, but oh my gosh, that is a thing of beauty. Completely different again, and I love this. I think that is amazing from Gail. It's so atmospheric. She has cut out some of those beautiful roses, which I just adore. And I really love this one as well by Gail, uh, creating that wreath again, and that's using the extra stamps that, would, um, that are on there. And then just a couple more because we have to show the last one and look at that from sheila now i love that again sheila's uh, coloring in is really beautiful i mean she uses that wonderful watercolor technique in the background that really makes the image pop isn't that exquisite really really cool i love again using dark backgrounds from sharon that really again it's very atmospheric isn't it with that one and then last but by no means least from Susan. We have got more samples. We will be showing those later on. But of course, uh, we want to get down counter. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous? I love how she's hidden the beautiful fairy there and coloured it in exactly the same way. Absolutely lovely. The samples are amazing. I do. I love it in my head. It's like firework night. Ooh, ah. Oh. Oh, it's really nice. You carry on. It's lovely. Um, now, go for it. It is up to you what you're going to go for. They're all absolutely exquisite. They're very busy indeed. Um, please check your basket out. Remember the first one, it will have your flexi on there as well. In fact, it does, because Charlotte sorted it. Uh, £23 and £43 this month. You know exactly what you're paying next month. Um, obviously, no postage if you're part of a Chanda Freedom as well. 554-527 is your item number. Now, there are brand new ones. You may have seen these before, but you might not. And the lady Ladies thought these would go so well with the brand new florals. They just sit hand in hand. And I love these. I mean, this first one is one of my favourite favourites. Um, I mean, look at her. Oh, isn't she just beautiful? Again, the detail in that is just exquisite. Absolutely exquisite. And that is your friends always. Oh, aren't they lovely? Look at her little mouse. They're absolutely beautiful. That's your first one. What did you say then? I am the, I'm the mouse. <laughs> Me and Miss Peebo Power's little mouse. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a little mouse with a mighty roar at that one, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> don't be, don't be, don't be fooled. Um, next one <laughs> that we've got now, this is well cute. I think this is me and Miss P. Oh, yes, definitely. Aren't they cute? Yeah, the thistle hogs. Oh, little hogs. <laughs> well, little thistle hogs. These are absolutely adorable. The artwork is phenomenal. And as you, as you can see, you've got loads of little extras. Oh, I love them. And look, look at Bella. So, so cute. <laughs> The detail is just uh, oh, extremely gorgeous. And then, 
last but not least look at her look at the fairy i mean she is absolutely beautiful again i love uh, the dandelion clock i mean that's always magical anyway let me show you just a few finished samples from here oh look at this look at this how gorgeous is that from karen um exquisite stamping on an old book page and i just think that because it does look like a fairy tale you know if you've got a beautiful old um storybook that is going to look gorgeous you know rather than binning it if it's all fallen to pieces just repurpose it for that for your artwork and that just looks incredible i love this one that's by annette and that's on mdf that would make such a beautiful um, a beautiful gift, if you're selling as well. Stunning. And then me and Paula. <laughs> the lovely little thistle hogs. I love these. Look at them. I just think they're so ridiculously cute. Um, really, really sweet. And look at this. I have to show you the biography one. Because look at that. Isn't that cool? I know, that's so cool. That's your lovely little thistle hogs. Oh, there's so many gorgeous finished samples. I am putting them at the bottom, so when Miss P comes down the counter, she'll be showing you different ones. Bear with. Sorry, I'm wasting time sorting. And then, last one. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can hold this out properly, because this is well cute. Look at that. Isn't that just pretty? Oh, isn't it cute? And the gorgeous little uh, fairy, your fairy ballerina. I really like this one, though, doing her in silhouette. Because I wouldn't have thought that, but I think that looks so effective. And it changed the look of the stamp, I think, and makes her into a proper ballerina. And then I have to show you the last one, because I adore this. Hold on. There, look at that beautiful absolutely beautiful um now if you do want these do you know what this has just reminded me i was when um oh when katrina were on i put stuff in my basket and i forgot to check my basket I, i've literally only just remembered because i had some of the uh, the rings in my basket oh. good literally only just remembered and this is why if you don't check out within 10 minutes your basket gets emptied mm -hmm. because of people like me who forget who get waylaid forget and then it sits in the basket that's why you need to check out your baskets my fault um okay if you do want to get hold of these now um your payments now you can uh with this one you can go for all three of them well can we get these individually as well you can you can get them individually if there's one that you want to add to your collection but if you want to go for all three you are saving five pounds and sixty pence two payments 24 pounds and 13 pence eight five three five two six now do check out the website as ever we've got booking for darling and um, we've also got the beautiful paints at pink ink bringers which are just gorgeous i mean the colors are just beautiful um, and of course we do have uh, the ink pads as well the versacraft and the versacraft it's really nice having the versacraft on the show because obviously with the ladies you know stamping onto fabric first craft are the ones um if you want to be stamping onto fabric so please do have a little look um of course if you are getting anything today do have a little think about joining a chanda freedom because if you are part of a chanda freedom then it means you don't have to pay postage and packaging on anything if you have any questions email in um, if you've got some beautiful things that you've been creating uh, pink ink style it then we'd love to see photographs uh, studio at chanda.com right are we ready we've got that right look at this now these are the originals look at that isn't that just amazing amazing that's the first one i'm being ever so careful that's the first oh, oh that's the first one look at the second one look at this oh my goodness isn't that amazing isn't she good isn't she just so and you can see the paint she's used that can you see i don't know if you can see the shine of the paint she's used the paint that we've got on the show to create these i mean look at the colors that's the because you can see i don't know if you can see the shine of it i mean i can can i hold it up to the camera and see if you can see the shine because that paint that we've got on the show it's got that beautiful pearlescent sheen to it and that's exactly what's been used there and oh yeah you can can you see that sheen yeah, isn't that amazing? She's so good, isn't she? She's so good. I mean, 
the the talent is just ridiculous i am going to show you all of these i'm sorry if i'm making a bit of a pig's ear of it but that's me in it oh i'm making a pig's ear i don't like that expression particularly look at that again stunning absolutely stunning one more i bet this is an easier way see if kathy or mel had been here they'd have shown you this so easily wouldn't they they'd make look at that and again, those colours, the paints are the colours. So if you do love the colour, I mean, you can absolutely recreate the colours. <laughs> um, I don't know about the artwork, but you can absolutely recreate the colours. I tell you what, though, what you could do, I mean, you're buying the stamps. So you could recreate that beautiful colour in the background, stamp in a really light ink, and then colour in with the paints to get that kind of look. Isn't that fabulous? She is amazing. I am not going to spend my time um, popping all of those back. I will be very careful, ladies, if you're watching. I promise I will not destroy these. Hold on. Oh, gosh, they do trust me. I don't know why. I don't know why. We all said it. We all said it, ladies. Don't know why. <laughs> you tell you. Oh, it makes me so scared. And then look. And then look. Yeah, they sent me more. Look at this. Because, obviously, we're used to the ladies. When they, they come in, um, our Kathy and Mel, they always bring the book to show how things have, have um, evolved and how everything has come together. We've seen the original pieces of art. And then it's actually breaking it down, deciding the elements they want for the actual stamps, deciding how that looks like a, that looks like something I'd do, doesn't it? That looks like a little bit of a splodge. I didn't do it, just, but doesn't it look like a splodge? Um, but it's breaking it down, recreating it, and obviously, um, I wonder, I wonder if you're watching, ladies, what came first then? Did this come first, or did the, uh, the paintings come first? I wonder which way around. Um, but aren't they just amazing? Absolutely amazing. So this is kind of the study, if you will. So I presume this bit comes first, because this is a study of the plant, getting an idea, using the tracing paper, and she uses tracing paper um, to build it and then change it. So if there's a bit she's tweaking, like with this one, if there's a bit she's tweaking, she can layer it over with the tracing paper um, to tweak that. Absolutely fabulous. There's no sneaky peeks for what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that is wonderful and I love seeing the original artwork I love seeing how it's all evolved it's just so interesting and then obviously let's just play with stamps so what I wanted to do first is literally just show you how well they stamp out uh, before I start faffing about so uh, just to show you the, the quality of the stamp, the quality of the image. Um, of course you can use any card. We have got Bockingford watercolour cardstock. It's a super smooth um, watercolour cardstock, which is beautiful to work with. Uh, 300 GSM, so really, really gorgeous quality. And what I wanted to do is, I was going to not faff, but immediately want to start faffing. But I will just stamp in black. I'll try and not... I, I'm going to just stamp in black because then you can see the detail of it. I don't want to, I want to faff straight away, but, and you do, you, you want to play with them. This is such a big, impressive stamp. You know, I mean, it's got such impact. It's absolutely incredible. But the detail of this, I mean, imagine that stamped on fabric. It would look absolutely beautiful. Now, this is a kind of image. You know, if you're, you're stamping onto, um, and to tissue paper and put them on candles. You know, it's the kind of image that would really be ornate and um, wonderful on candles. It's just good for anything, essentially. It's a flower, so it's the whole collection of one of them that you'll go to time and time again. They're absolutely timeless. But have a look at that. I mean, really beautiful. The detail of the image. I love all these little extra swirls, the little buds. Um, I've pressed a bit hard on that one, I think. And look at, yeah, just stunning. So that's your beautiful rose. There's, if you wanted to, however, I mean, you can easily fussy cut those rose heads out. You know, so you... you 
yes, they're a detailed image, but it doesn't mean that you're, you're sort of um, limited to only stamping it. That it definitely isn't the way. You've got so many different elements that you can pull out of that image. Now, what I wanted to do, and I were doing this at home, I got carried away, really carried away, actually, because uh, I were playing with my happy planners. We have got a happy planner show um, on Friday, so please tune in for that. But I know happy planners are um, massive. Planners are massive. Um, and I think it's one of those things. It's decorating with other things, not just using your um, your stickers. And I thought these stamps, and I'll show you what they were doing. I thought these stamps are just exquisite for your planners. I mean, I was so pleased with that. I just thought it was, I got so carried away. I mean, it took me ages because I got so carried away because it is coloured in. And with that, I mean, look how it just spreads across the page absolutely adore it so i wanted to show you just how easy it is to create a gorgeous um fill for your page so i'm taking my pages out of course so i can uh stamp on them what did you say miss a gorgeous fill you fill the page a gorgeous filthy page yeah, that isn't what I said. <laughs> um, so, what I'm aiming to do is, and I want to use one of the other flowers that I haven't used yet. I want to use everything, truth be known. Um, but, so I've already used, what have I already used? I've already used the Luscious Lilac. I've already used the Classic Clematis. I have to use my Flourishing Fox Gloves. Because I love fox gloves. I always love fox gloves when I was a kid. They were one of those I just absolutely adore. Right, okay, so the beautiful fox glove. So I'm going to use the, the main image for this one. And with my other ones, I've had them sort of coming in from the side with these pages. And what I love about it, you're creating your, you know, your, your double page spread, if you will. So I'm creating a full layout. So what I want this one to do is come across my page like so. So I'm going to start now. I were doing, when I were doing this at home, my, my um, stamping platform was too small. I've got the really small one at home. But there's always ways and means. So doing it like this. Now, what I don't want to do is stamp on this bit because on that bit, um, I want to keep that clear only because um, I might want to put some writing on that. I must admit, once I'd done my pages, I then didn't want to write on them. And I've put the smallest little labels, uh, little stickers with my writing on because I just love the stamp so much. But I got, I managed to find stickers that fit with a colour palette. I mean, I love that. I love that you, in your will, in your sticker collection, you'll absolutely have some of the matches your colour palette. So I'm masking that side off because I don't want it to fall over that side, but I do want it to fill the page. So I'm going to have it coming down. Now, do I want it to fall off the bottom or not? No, I don't really. I think I want a nice clean bottom as well. So, I know, right? <laughs> Simple things. <laughs> Simple asks in life. <laughs> so, using my masking sheet, popping that along the bottom, that will keep, keep my bottom clear and it allows me to pop my stamp about there. Okay, now, the colours. Um, I'm going to stamp with, now I've got my Versacraft, but they're a bit, um, the colour on those, that green, it's a bit bright for what I want. I don't want it as, um, none of those ones are either. I don't want it quite as bright. So what I'm going to go for is the ink pad that I've got and put away, which is a bit silly. There you go, my bundled sage. This is definitely where your small ink pads come in because you can get into the detail or maybe if you're sponging the ink on. Of course, I'm doing no, neither of those things. I'm just going to go in. And I wanted it really quite light because if you're working on a planner, you might want to write over the top of these. You might want to. But it just it just keeps it um, quite delicate as well. So I'm just going in. I'm trying to just pick up the, the sort of greenery. I know I've gone on some of the florals, but it's not a big deal. Okay. So I think that's about right with that one. There we go. Um, just had a message. When are happy planners back on Friday? They've got Friday. They've got two. I can't remember the times, but I know I'm on twice on Friday. Oh, my page moved. That's annoying. 
bear with, bear with. Come here, you. That's it. Faff, faff, faff. That does feel like it was properly moved as well. Bear with, folks. I mean, it's not too much of a big deal because I'm happy with the green and I'm only going back in with a lilac or the purple. I know what I'll do. I'm making things harder for myself. I'm faffing, aren't I? Really faffing today. Sorry about that. There we go. Should have had that cut and ready and prepped. Okay, so hopefully... Oh, not too bad. Phew, we're pretty safe. Yay! She will look her. Um, and then we're going to go in with um, a couple of beautiful purples. I know Miss P had... Um, did you have brilliance the other day, Miss P? Yeah. She had brilliance on the show yeah. the other day, so do check those out. Um, they're brilliant. And these are fabulous because this one I can get right in there like so. Now, when you're doing a technique like this, don't be too worried about it being precise because this has got a lot of detail in it. So there's no way I'm only going to get the flowers. You know, it's just impossible. Of course, I'm going to get, going to get some of the leaf, but it's, it's okay. It doesn't matter. It's not that big a deal. So stamp that one now. Right, so I will only stamp one page, folks. I won't do two pages. And you, oh, that's because I'm stamping on that. And you can see I love that. And you can see it has moved slightly, but when I colour it in, I will fix that so it's not a problem. And then I'm going to go back in with another purple. Oh, that one feels a bit dry. That one might be one I re-ink. There we go. These are ancient. I've had these for such a long time, it's ridiculous. So some of them have definitely dried up. Yeah, I'm pulling ink off as, I put in, as opposed to putting ink on. So let's use a bit of blue. Wow, that hasn't dried up. There, this is a newer one. Let's pop a tiny bit of blue there as well. Like that. Oh, that's so beautiful. Isn't that just a beautiful image? Okay, so we've done that side. Let's move this over slightly. It's annoyed me that I've my ink pad moved, my stamp moved. It's funny, isn't it? I can be all brushed. I can go, oh, it doesn't matter. But inside, really, it's, it really annoyed me. <laughs> so all this, like, oh, it's fine. It's lies. It's really irritating me. Um, and now this side, I'm going to let it fall off the page because I want this side to flow into my next page. So on my next page, when I go on to here, I'd let it flow off this page so it carried on. Do you see what I mean? So I, I kind of like that. I kind of like that flow. And what I love about this, the stamps will absolutely, I mean, that'll be so easy to overlay those stamps because they just, they just work together beautifully, don't they? Okay, let's pop them on again and ink up. It's funny, really, because this isn't a, a particularly detailed demonstration, but it's still, it's a faffy one, isn't it? I do do that. I do tend to... It's because when I was at home doing this, I loved it that much. I thought, oh, I want to do that on telly because I really like that. And I, I forgot that when I was at home, I was sat there for hours... <laughs> you know, you forget, oh, yeah, that, that, I was there ages playing. It was lovely because I've moved my craft room, so I'm now sitting near a radiator, so now I'm even warm. Yeah, it was lovely. Radio on. I'd carried Dave upstairs with me, so he was sat by me as well, so it was just like, it was, it was proper nice. So it felt like I weren't sat there for hours really doing this, not the hours that you're having to watch me. Okay, so just going back in. I forgot to stamp in between, but that's okay. Let's have a little look, see what that looks like. Probably safer this way as well, because I won't have any chance of it moving this time. Beautiful. Oh, is that not just beautiful? So then, what I wanted to do with this, um, just now, as ever, that will have ink on it. So you know what we're doing. We're going to go back in with a piece of card because that's got ink on. There's absolutely no way we're wasting that ink. 
um, stick a bit of your Bockingford. Spritz, I've already spritzed that with water. I might spritz my page as well, just a bit, just to be on the safe side. And let's see if we can get a decent print. So I'm expecting the purple and the blue to be quite strong. Oh yeah, look at that watercolour print, which looks fabulous. And that again, cleaning your stamp, beautiful. So let's pop that to one side and pop that to one side. So then what I did with mine, um, bring that back in, get my paper and then get my pencils. So what I did with this, and this is what I love with these images, is how soft you can get the images. So take off your masking. I always love it when you take your masking off and you've got those beautiful sort of those clean panels. I really like that. And I love a clean panel that side and then a bit coming out. But I must admit, on the actual stamp, because you get loads of little extras, like the butterfly, for instance, like on something like this, your butterfly, you have to bring your butterfly on, don't you? So if you've got your little butterfly, let's see what colour I should use for him. Let's see if my verse of magical work in the blue. Mm, that might be, yeah, that'll do. So I've got my lovely, the lovely light blue. So I want him to come off the page like so. And then you've got, where have I just put my stamps? And then you've, where have I just put my, no, right there. <laughs> and then get your other butterfly change your colour up, make it a bit dark, oh, make it a bit darker, there we go, and look at this, see the detail on that, it's just exquisite, I can see a little Miss P, I can see a hog thistle in the corner of my eye, thistle, not a thistle, uh, thistle hog, a thistle hog, <laughs> I can see a thistle hog in the corner of my eye. And um, you've got all these little things as well. These little extras. I'm just faffing, Anna. Oh, I'm having oh. a lovely time. Yeah, but I'm having a lovely time. Yeah. See, all these little extras are proper cute. All these ones. Right, but, but, start colouring in then. Because if you use a lighter ink, <laughs> if you use a lighter ink, when you then bring your colour in, um, it'll just give you a really beautiful soft effect. So then now when I bring my, my actual pencils in and this is, you know, I was saying about although I smudged it, don't worry about it because now when I bring the colour in, all the, the, the bit that I doubled over, you know, where it, um, what am I trying to say, where I got the, the second impression, now I can hide it with the colour in. And I really like using the pencil crayons on this. It's nice on my book anyway, but it's nice with these images. Because it's soft, because you're, you're building it up gently um, and just increasing the, the colours, get a bit of depth in there. But it just gives you such a beautiful effect. I highly recommend, well, you can use anything, but it's just so nice using pencil crayons with these images. Because they've just such, there we go, see, look. Look at that. And then what I do like about this as well, if you bring in, because these are watercolour ones, so you can bring in a tiny bit of water just to really make that colour pop. And it's what I liked about this, like if you're bringing your, your stronger pencil, when you go over the top, it almost looks like you've done it. So it almost looks like you've actually drawn this. Do you know what I mean? So you can, I know I wish as well. But look, so with your pencil, nice and gentle, just go over those ed those lines. And again, it just makes it look like that were your artwork, which is quite fabulous, isn't it? You need to do a recap, don't you? I won't carry on colouring in, but as a full page, how beautiful is that going to be? I've got a lot of colouring in to do, haven't I? And I've got to do my other page. I won't make you watch that because I know it'll take 
ages uh, but it looks so beautiful when it's in your planner it looks absolutely amazing then that that's done exactly the same way um coloring it in and just taking the time and really really enjoying the process and you can see going over those lines just makes it look like your work um right then i will stop talking i will pass over to miss p um Hello. who will remind you what we've got on the show miss p thank you so much leonie for that wonderful demonstration now, uh, now, shall we go for one by one? We will go and show you. Now, I hope I have remembered correctly the names of the flowers. So let's hang our spray. Which one do you want to start with? Top left. Uh, well, let's go in for the rambling rose. That which, oh, sorry. I get when left my left, not your left. Sorry, I get confused. Uh, roses. Uh, roses are red and other things are blue and <laughs> but you have got here i love the large image uh, here that you have got of the rose i absolutely adore that this collection has got the solids as well to create that depth and contrast as well that, of, of it now this one in action look at that roses all right look at the glossiness as well onto some of them but that of course bl you know that kind of more opaque look at that creating a Wreath. It does not look at all like the original, does it? But that's the beauty of having this phenomenal stance. Having the large size means that you can fill in the card, but also adding the corners in there. Now, something that kind of coordinates, I adore this one, because it kind of creates like kind of that you know, vintage effect. It has got like a moodiness, a stamp, you know, with the no line coloring. I absolutely adore this sample. Right, moving on. So this is the rose. Remember that it's a pick and mix option that you have got on the screen. So you choose whichever two are your favorite. Right, so, or you can go for all uh, three and then you go for the two and then you get a complete collection, which is like that. Fox gloves, I like go for fox gloves. Uh, so the fox gloves we have got here. That's because I recognize the flower and I didn't know the name again you know my hand from top to bottom is eight inches so in no well just under so you can see exactly the height of the gorgeous fox gloves major image in there let me grab some samples because of course i went for the one that is the furthest away but look at how you can bring in the sentiments as well happiness blooms from within that's the sentiment included in this kit and look at that build those images if you want to you kind of ground it if you have got if you have the plant pot as well you have also these nails at the bottom and you can see them here they are that you have you have them here so you can stamp it in solid and then add it that detail with the overlay as well so you have those possibilities there as well as the butterfly right then we are going for the fuchsia uh, just just because they are layered that like this, so it kind of it's a little bit easier for me to grab them. So the fuchsia is that kind of I always call it the dangling flower because it, it does look like a dangling element in there, like it's gonna dance anytime. And do I have it the right way up? Uh, yes, that one I'll show you like this so you can see that the stance that is upside down in here. But how gorgeous is that detail? I love how Kathy draws those lines. It kind of are they stocks or are they just flourishes that embellish that image? Now then, this is the card that you can create with that phenomenally large stamp in there. This is the sort of thing that I think one can frame into a, you know, like for home decor, and it will be absolutely stunning in any home. Also, I love the kind of lovely difference in colors that you can achieve let your dreams blossom that's the sentiment that you are getting in the fuchsia then we are moving on to the uh oh this one which i forgot the name uh, no it's not clematis is the other one I, I know it lilac 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 yeah that's the one uh, finally my brain anyway why is it so difficult to remember the names of flowers i don't know 
doesn't it? It is. Born to Bloom. Uh, that, and I absolutely adore this. Again, such a large images mean that you can bring them into it, into the, uh, the small, the bigger cards. But don't be fooled. It will fit into the smaller cards as well. So if you want to go for uh, the beautiful lilac, you have got the details on the screen. But you can also do the sets of twos or the sets of three. And then we have the last one, which is the clematis. Clematis? I think it's clematis or clematis? Clematis. Uh, we have got a gardener in on the floor, so thank goodness for that because everybody else is can on the not on the floor in the floor in the floor. Oh, oh. <laughs> I always get confused uh, around here, basically. Anyway, uh, so <laughs> we have <laughs> sorry behind the cameras. Uh, it's a, it's a <laughs> and then uh, oh, there, oh sorry, I kind of when, when I put the wrong ones. Oh, these ones there. Sorry, I kind of showing the wrong sample because the box is there we have it that is the clematis there absolutely stunning right if you want to go for the stamps remember that you have got you can buy individuals then you can go for a pick and mix of two which has a four pound saving or if you go for a pick and mix of three uh, you then you have got a, another saving on top of that so you, in actual fact it's a seven pound saving so it makes sense to go for that on top of that you have got a flexi buy options which means that you can pay in interest free payments so it also opens a flexi basket so you can add in other elements like the amazing Versacraft ink and then you can flexi buy the payment of that as well. 23 pounds and 43 pence would be all you would be paying today if you are a freedom member for three sets of these gorgeous stamps. 554-527 is your item number. Remember that's for a set of three. There is different options for all budgets. Right, and then we are going to one of the returning favorite stamp sets here, which are absolutely delightful. This is, I believe this is a kind of the first time that they collaborated, or this is one of their uh, kind of collaboration with another artist. Uh, and you can see here, we, you have got, you have that whimsical element from um, the pink ink designs with that realism, but there is a slightly different touch from uh, Kathy's artwork. So you still have got a photopolymer large size stamps you still have got that all that versatility all those possibilities but you have another artist as well interpretation and i love how in and this uh, this beautiful the uh, friends always you have that kind of conversation going on so this is leone this is me basically uh you know and you can see them here how they come in so you don't have to think that you have to sum the whole thing to create a beautiful image and look at this set how gorgeous a little set of writing notes uh, but look at that absolutely stunning how glorious adding the, the kind of feathers and you know the wings there that's our friends always then we are going to the thistle hawks which absolutely, which they have sold out individually. We have sold out individually, Leone. No. Uh, so they are only available in the bundle. Uh, Fistle, Fistle hawks? I just think so. Do they exist, these creatures? I don't think so, darling. Oh. They've got, I think they're sort of more fairy landish. I think so, yeah, probably. I mean, I look at know. them. I, I mean, mean, there this... might be a thistle hawk. Uh, I don't know. Well, we are, if, if not, we're. We look. exist. Oh, no, they don't. They are created. Look at that. Oh. I mean, if there were little flying things like that, can you imagine? Oh. Everybody would want one, wouldn't they? They're just uh, yeah, amazing. either that or, you know, or the opposite. Anyway, uh, <laughs> right, so this is uh, Fistle Hawks. And then finally, we have got the Dandelion Fairy here, which is absolutely, Ballet uh, Fairy, which is absolutely stunning. I think this is more like uh, Leone. I think I definitely, that kind of. Uh, and you can see, and, and of course, you can see the little fairies. That probably is me, is the smallest one. So you could see there here. But absolutely lovely how they come off the Dandelion dandelion and I love I'm going to need to show you this sample of the dandelion so not don't just think that this is about fairies that that is that kind of imagination of course that's the major focus but with those beautiful flowers that create that magical kind of world within the flower world as well right if you want to go for the set of three stamps remember they are a5 uh, the fistle hog um, individually has sold out so the only way to get it is in the bundle now here you have got a saving of five pound 
pounds, 60 pence, 48 pounds, and 25 pence is your price. Uh, also, you have got a flexibility, so spread the cost in interest free payments. Makes a lot of sense to make it getting your crafty goodies, you know, much more affordable every month. Uh, by the way, do check out your baskets, otherwise, you might mess out. And like Leonie, don't be like Leonie or me, that, you know, put this in the basket, forget it, and when you go to check out, it has emptied itself and you have missed out. We don't like that, do we? Anyway, on the website, you can find those Bursa Craft ink pads, those amazing hot press, smooth watercolor bucking for cart. 20 sheets of that. Uh, it's, by the way, it's manufactured in the UK. St. Cuthbert's uh, Mill, uh, the bucking food cart is made. Uh, right, pink ink design, multi surface paint as well. You have got different options, maybe the cooler tones or maybe the hot ones. Uh, you have them there for you. If you want them, you can have them. And remember, Versa Craft inks are the ones that you're going to stamp onto the fabric and you can blend them. But once that you heat set them, they are washable. So they are such versatile. Things. Anyway, with that, are we ready? Oh, very we ready, are ready dear. So I'm take playing. It away. I'm playing. Okay. Right, I've got a little bit of Bockingford already cut up. Um, I'm using my oxides again just because um, of the colour palette, quite frankly. Um, and I'm just going to um, kind of, I am kind of obsessed with just picking up certain colours on this in this hour, I must admit. But it just, oh, they work so well. There's so many ways you can use these stamps, but. Um, I wanted to create a really beautiful soft background with them because I just think they they just layer wonderfully. Now let me see where I've yeah there if I put my ink. So I'm using um, my shaded lilac. I've also used my bundled sage, and then I'm going in with wilted violet. So just a little bit of wilted violet as well. So with the Buckingford, obviously really nice quality cardstock. It's smooth enough to, to stamp onto, but if you wet it, it's of course it's going to move. It's going to allow that that ink to move so I know I'm doing it in the stamping platform but that's absolutely fine it works so just going in now and stamping now I haven't got too much movement with that am I bothered not really but but I might do a little bit if I wet it a little bit more and you can see and I do I really like that that sort of bleed I just think it looks exquisite happy with that one I'm gonna let that do its thing and I'm gonna move the stamp again I love it because I've on your your um your mat because it's Distress Oxide, you can see it really well on the mat. Look beautiful on black. I now want to stamp it on black. Okay, so just moving this over like that. Oh, we've had a lovely email. This is from Fran. Good morning, lovely Fran. She said, oh, watching the show, but spoilt for choice. They're all so beautiful aren't they um okay well you're just gonna have to go for your favorite uh, my favorite definitely is a lilac i love this one it, um this one and i love the fox glove but that's just because i love fox gloves when i was a kid so it reminds me of being a kid um they're my two favorite favorites um mind you um the it's clematis isn't it yeah. that one's a fabulous one. one so they're my three favorite <laughs> So if you're going for threes, there'll be me three, definitely. But go for your ones that you look at. See, I look at them and know they're the ones I can use the most. Because like with this one, it is backgrounds. You know, it's, um, oh, there's so many different layers you can do with it. So it, it allows the, a lot of movement to it as well. And I think that's the same with the clematis. Um, with the foxglove, I just love foxgloves. So that's why they're my favourite. So, yeah. It's just choosing what the favourite, your favourite flower is. And of course, you've got all those little extras on them as well. So do check out all the little extra stamps because you've got, it might be like one of the sentiments that you think, oh, I love it for that sentiment as well as the, the actual feature stamp. So there's loads of little extras. So spritz the water on, stamping on, and you can see I've got much more movement there, which I love. I love this because it just allows you to create such an incredible background. Now, I want it to be a full background, so I'm spinning this round, and I'm going to go in this corner now as well, like so. Isn't that gorgeous? And as it dries, I love seeing how the colours have mixed and merged when it dries. It's just all, all lovely. 
Um, our pictures, we're, we're just having a few trouble trying to get those, but we will show them. Hopefully, if we don't get to show them in this hour, um, we will show them at 2 o'clock, but we are trying. But thank you for sending those in, but we are trying our best. Um, it's because when we have my shows, because I'm a fussy mare, uh, we have them in other studio. And this studio is a little bit more faffy. That's the truth of it. <laughs> um, and that's... That's a way of describing it. I mean, we use other words, but Faffy is the one that's um, televisable. <laughs> the other words, we get taken off air. So we don't use those. Okay, so again, layers, layers, layers. And then that one. And I'm using the two different colours on the actual uh, flo flower because it's when they merge together. They just look so good when they merge together. What I've loved about this as well, that that was where I overstamped, uh, but the first one is really, really, that's quite strong compared to the, the one that I've overstamped, and I love that. That layer is just exquisite. So, oh, look how pretty. Doesn't it just look amazing? Oh, it's such a good stamp. And then, oh, I've only got two and a half minutes. Where did the time go? And then, let me see, I will pop. I mean, I obviously haven't finished because I want to play, but what I would do is then take my sentiment, Born to Bloom. Let's go in there. The, uh, the cardstock is still wet, so that's okay. Oh, in fact, look at that, that's a dirty stamp dirty stamp but that, I quite like it when it's uh, stamped into wet card because it almost you know it, it imprints into the card what's it called when you do the imprinting into the card you, press? yeah that's what I'm trying to think beautiful letter press it does that don't it? you know when you've got really yeah. thick card and you press a bit oh, too yeah. heavy Let's see and yeah. obviously it's still a bit um, it's still a bit wet so the black ain't coming up but, but I like that I like how subtle it is I haven't finished I'm then going to go in if you want to highlight <laughs> you could then highlight some of the colours the other thing that you can do is obviously working around the edges where did I put my brown um, you can take if I just take my brown where have I put my pen and then with my water brush then just going in and starting to put some some little shadows in it oh. so you can create your beautiful shadow and this oh man that is just it works it absolutely works um i hope you've managed to choose which ones you want i hope you've managed to check those baskets out and i hope you'll be back with us at two o'clock i will carry on faffing about with this and pass over to you, Miss P. Well, thank you so much, Leone. Uh, uh, Leone of course, uh, Leone will be back at 2 with Alex. So stay tuned for that or keep me tuned at 2 o'clock. But don't forget to check out your baskets. Ping Ing is fabulously, splendidly British designs. And, of course, the artwork is exceptional. Design or hand-drawn by Cathy here in the UK. Manufactured the stamps in the UK. All that... You, you can be yours, but you need to check out your baskets if you want to grab a brand new collection of brand new stamps. Of course, it's gorgeous. You have got a pick and mix for three and the L, so you can get the clematis, the lilac, and fox gloves, which are Leona's favorite. And of course, from me, I'll see you in an hour's time. After the break, well, we have got another look at the one-day special from Ross Papercraft. And then at uh, one, Jelly Bean Crafts Inspirations. And at two, we are Latin Leone again. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and um, our acrylic paints are joining us. 
we've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hachanda. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and Crafting with La Blanche. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we are mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. We also have a great little team of other artists, friends, who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there. I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Good afternoon everybody, it is midday, lovely to have your company, how's your day going so far? I hope it's all going okay and, and you're well, but thank you for your company today. Uh, for myself uh, and also lovely Tina, I had the pleasure of working hello. with you again for another hour. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hello, very nice, good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> still... We've already started. Oh, no, you've only got to look at me and I'll start. Oh, well, none, none taken. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, just can't get the staff. Anyway, it, it is a really, really oh. fantastic opportunity if you love your MDF and if you love being creative, basically, um, for all sorts and gift ideas, occasions for you. And uh, this is your very last live show, an opportunity to go for the bundle we've got for you in this afternoon's show. Um, now, if you haven't seen in the shows yet, you're in for a treat. Maybe you've got a new space where you are doing your crafting for you or for somebody else. Um, but you 
want some of proper storage where you can actually store your pens, for example, absolutely fantastic. We've also got gift ideas which are absolutely brilliant for you. If you break these up individually, some lovely ideas, whether you're going to go for the collective uh, and spread them across or one big bundle. So, where shall we start? We start with the one-day special itself, which are three items that you can see right here. These are some of the decorated versions of them, um, but this is exactly how they're going to start off with you. So you're going to be getting... Your acetate that you've just seen there going through, we'll come to those on the, but perfect for making your own stencils. You've got stories for 48 of your marker pens that you can have here, which is absolutely brilliant. And then you've also got your stamp storage here, so you can keep all of those absolutely fantastic, keeping flat. But not just for your stamps, you can also use this as well for your papers if you wanted to, or maybe some of your projects that aren't quite dry yet, you can keep them in there, of course, so they don't get anything else sort of on top of them, get stuck or smudged or anything. Thing, and then you can bring them out and carry on working with as they are. This is a, this is a brilliant bundle, actually, when you think about really, storage and creativity yeah, all in one. Definitely. And the, where you keep the stands, so here, if you um, made this up and didn't necessarily put the sides in, yeah. this could be a storage area. Yes. And then you could use the shelves as like um, journal covers. Oh, all well, right. That's a brilliant. You know, idea, I mean, you've actually. got um, six of them there, so you've got three sets of journal covers if you wanted to. Yes. In fact, if I just take one of them out as well, you can mm. see the so size. You've got little of... tabs and everything. Ah, brilliant idea, absolutely fantastic that as well. Uh, and and in, for, in terms of MDF in general, mm -hmm. the rules for the mediums that this can take is it pretty much everything? Fine. Anything, if, or if you're ever worried then make sure that you gesso over first so really and truly you should gesso over right that's fine but I've done samples where I've used inks and um, stamped onto the um, MDF and I haven't gessoed so you, you know just go for it and I don't gesso if I'm gonna paper it as well right. oh, do you, you know no oh, you no, don't, no I just go for it I just put the paper over and that's it right right mm. absolutely Perfect. And I know we talked about the acetate. It does come as this bundle as well, but you mentioned that this is really fantastic, again, for making your own stencils, stencils with... Yeah, definitely. I really would go for this. I mean, also, you could um, use your alcohol inks on it, use it through the windows of, um, you know, like the, the lovely baskets we've got with the hearts and, and the flower on it. Yep. You could actually make them an acetate, like, through oh, there, okay. and it will shine through using your alcohol, alcohol inks and everything. Absolutely brilliant bundle. Now that is your one day special order and it has a £15 saving on it which is absolutely brilliant as well. So for all of that, £24.98. So when you think about that, in, in, in many ways what you're saving on it, it looks like you're pretty much getting the marker pen storage in there for nothing within regarding to that price. If we go for that one, that's 963 Three double eight. If you'd like to go for that. Now, I'm going to show you also. We've got the owl, the desk organizer. Show you this on its own, um, but I think this is fantastic. That and it's a really lovely project. You've got a lot of space now. I'll just tilt this so you can actually see the actual spaces that you're going to have there. Three large spaces and the actual owls. These are beautiful. You have a lot of fun. They with are these. They're beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And you can. Um, we've got on the show. I think it may be an end of um, call, but it, we've got other owls as well. So oh, you see. could add a few more owls to it if you want. To. But what I think is great about this one is, um, you know, if, if you are homeschooling while you're decorating your storage, yes. you could give that to, um, like, you know, one of your children to, to decorate their storage as well. So oh, yeah, it's something to be, do together. That's really nice, that one. Now, that's got a £3 saving on the actual storage there for you, so that takes it down to 11 946 is your item code for that as well. Now, your uh, brush and your pencil storage. We've also got that as a little mini bundle if you wanted to go for this. Again, £3 saving on his, and that means you're getting both for just 11.99 but these are perfect again they don't take up a lot of space but they've got a lot of storage within absolutely. them absolutely i mean and also if you don't have a lot of space if if you, you the footprint on your desk isn't that big you could get um one of like the um, one day specials you could glue that onto there or just stand it onto there yeah then you could have both of the smaller ones on top oh yeah you could or at the sides or anything like that so you know just like unit. that and then yeah, so you could build it up so that you've got like one sort of like space with all the storage in. Yeah, uh, yeah, you've got your stamps, you have your pens in there, pencils in there, brushes, the whole lot. Uh, so three pounds saving also on that bundle. So for both of those, just eleven mm. ninety nine. That's five two six. Three double nine. It's brilliant. Now, if you think I love all that, I like some of those individually. I like some of those collectively, like the whole lot. Uh, well, that's where you're going to get your biggest saving actually across all of those, which is absolutely phenomenal. So it's actually down to only forty-five ninety-six. That's for 
everything. That's all your savings that you've had from the bundle here, which was 15 on its own. You had another three here, etc., etc. All of that goes across, and then an additional three pounds saving on top of that. So actually, in total, it's a 24 pound saving <coughs> if you go for the entire bundle, and that also includes everything um, that you can see that you've got there. Two zero eight seven four seven forty five pounds and ninety six. It's also available on your flexi. Now, I've also you may see. In fact, if I just show you uh, here, we've got one of the storage here that you can see for your stamps. And you see on the top here, you've got this really lovely effect. It's on that mechanical kind of feel. Can you see that? There we go. And. Um Oh, there's the stamps coming out there. I won't tilt it too far forward. They'll be all over the place. Uh, but you can see I'm really loving this effect. Now, if you want to use your cogs, we've actually got a really brilliant bundle where we've got a whole lot of all your cogs. You've got your larger, sort of nicely filled out. You've got your sort of smaller also uh, that you can see uh, going through um, there with the sort of spindles and the little tiny ones that we've got. But in fact here, you've got a minimum, minimum of 40 cogs. A minimum of those for only 11.99. So if you think all of your projects are you better work with those, just one of those in a project can make a difference. 60% of your cogs has already been allocated. 580-339-1199. You like them, don't you, Tina? <laughs> yes. Um, where should we go next? Oh, ribbons. I'll tell you where we go. So we go to some ribbons, Tina. 60%. Oh, I don't think you've seen these yet, actually. We've actually got a lovely bundle on these. <laughs> For 11 99 everybody. 20 metres on each. Um, I do believe, and I'm not sure... Uh, I'm not sure about the colours. I think, I think it's what you see is what you get, um, I believe, here. Oh, yes, we are there. The ones light blue, silver, purple, gold. Uh, and you're red, so you've got here, I'm just, there we go, I'm rubbish at cards. Uh, you can imagine trying to hold the whole lot there. Oh, let's drape that beautifully over there. It's a little <laughs> casual look. 11.99, uh, 100 metres, so 20 metres of each of those that you can see. That is a really brilliant price. You've got an £8 saving on those, but absolutely fantastic for all your projects. If you just do a lot for whatever your projects are, with this, having that in your bundle, in, in your stash, great. 050999. Really good bundle. Like I say, I did get a chance to show that um, this morning, but that is a really, really good offer. 050999, 100 metres of your ribbon, five of those colours, 20 metres on each, which is brilliant. Uh, now, Oh, I love this. I've, I've had the theme tune of this in my head all morning. <laughs> da, 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 da. You know the one. Yeah. Um, it is a collection. I love this. Now, honestly, if your children, your grandchildren, or even you love, if you uh, love a stegosaurus, a dipolodopus, <laughs> a T-Rex, <laughs> trouble me ours. Um, <laughs> what's the other one? A triceratops. A pterodactyl, a little dipodopus, a big dipodopus. <laughs> uh, what are you laughing at? 1999. <laughs> uh, 180207. I love this. You get five big ones, five mediums. Oh, you're also going to get the stencil to add the scales on as well, which is brilliant. Now, I so uh, your um, stegosaurus. Definitely. That, yeah, here we go. I like the steg. I know, I know what a stegosaurus is. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, this one, I love that one. And uh, this one here that's uh, got dark glasses on. Do, do you think he saw us? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, no, no. Do you like that one? No? No, okay. Forget that one. Um, anyway, got the, all these. Honestly, kids are going to love these. Tina's just looked at me with that look of basically disapproving mother. Um, but these are great for projects for kids, aren't they? They you can put brilliant. the end-to-end uh, end -end sort of um, bookshelf areas as well, so you can have Definitely. your dinosaurs there. For I mean, I think it's a great... You can learn about them and, like, then make them up yourself, can't you? Do you know what I mean? It's, yes. It's fantastic for the children to do. They are. I mean, my, my nephew absolutely adores dinosaurs, so, right. you know, he'd, he'd love this. I, I, honestly, I, I think these are absolutely brilliant to have, and you're getting a lot in that bundle. 19.99. Honestly, if you know someone that has got every book about the dinosaurs, they love anything about the films of dinosaurs, or just love them, 
Go for it. Maybe this is a project just waiting to go. It's crying out for a home project, this one for your school, isn't it? This would be absolutely brilliant and so they can keep. And even when they, they want to change things, don't worry, you can just gesso over them and start again. 180207. Absolutely brilliant. I really love that mm. kit there with a five pound saving also. We've also got some added extras as well. They're also good for your storage where your happy hours actually. Absolutely brilliant, these ones. These are your sheets, of course, that are your magnetic. Well, I think it's the largest um, bundle I've seen of these. There are 24 sheets in total. And look at the saving, £28 saving. Now, normally, if you've got your magnetic sheets that you've been using to keep all your dyes in place, it's great, isn't it? It really does keep everything together in one place, works perfectly. Now, normally, you're looking at just under £50 to have this amount there for all that storage. But £28 off... Now, just 2099, 660965 as a happy hour deal. Really good deal, that. Do take advantage. That is phenomenal saving. Uh, we've also got, oh, I love, you've got to have this in your stash, surely. Um, it is, of course, your brilliant Crafty Devils. These are your 12 of your high performance. These are double sided with your red tape here. You've got sizes here of 12 mil. Uh, by five and nine mil by five. Again, look at this for you. Only for this hour, seventeen pounds reduced off of that now to twelve pounds ninety pence. One nine five six three four. Forty seven minutes left on those only. Um, of course. If you are looking to do something for Mother's Day, quite possibly, and you want it to last, you may be looking to work with your artificial flowers, for example. How about these? £10 off. You're going to get approximately 12 flowers in here, so it's under a tenner for just 9 99 Now, these are limited stock, by the way, so if you've got your eye on these, grab them quick. 933247. Brilliant, brilliant. Now, we've also got those brilliant picture frames. We were working with these at 8 o'clock show this morning. I love these. These are, apps. again, really good fun if you're thinking maybe for a project. But they are your little picture frames. So, again, you can put your pictures of the kids in there, the babies, the families in there, whatever it is. Uh, maybe it was a trip out to a theme park and the whole idea of being in there facing the castle with the dragon. Or maybe it's a floor. Remember those days when we could go out and do things. 9 99 5 are off, 6 9 5, 6 9 6. Don't be deceived by those. They're large projects, by the way way really large projects to be working on last one here on the stills we have got um, the stilettos and handbags that's my kind of Wednesday night out five of your handbags and you're going to get the pair of the stilettos beautiful detail and the filigree on those and that's a high heel isn't it be careful those on a paving slab 1199 569 from all Ross papercrafts Right, there was a lot to get through there. What's off a few calories? <laughs> we could still work off a few more, though. But uh, while we're doing that, so what are we looking at this afternoon, team? Right, so I'm going to do the stamp storage. And what I'm going to do is I've, I've added, um, you can see at the top, I've added some of the um, dinosaurs to this. So this is going, this is like for a theme, you know, for a, a child's room or something to store yes. what they yeah, want lovely. to do. Yeah, lovely. I love that. Um, and what I'm going to just show you is like a paint effect. So what I'm trying to um, get to is like a camouflage type effect okay where is he <laughs> <laughs> you, you fell for it I did. You, you, <laughs> you actually looked oh, oh i was doing so well oh, you were doing so well oh i love it i'm sorry i've been waiting for someone to fall for it but that's brilliant oh i was gonna wear my camouflage trousers this morning but i couldn't find them either sorry oh. go on Oh my gosh. But do you know my jaw actually hurts from laughing today? Oh, oh my word. Have you been doing other shows? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you've just gone straight on there with the media? Yeah, I'm using the uh, Le Blanche and it's the mixed media liquid acrylics. Ooh, that's a nice colour. It is, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Let me see if I can. Oh. Castany. Ooh. Yeah. You sold you sold that to me. <laughs> <laughs> Castini. Castini. Oh. Sounds like, you're, sounds like you're doing Morse code. And the answer. <laughs> oh, I really don't stand a chance. Do I? Oh. <laughs> got to laugh. We've got to laugh in these got times. To. We've got to laugh. You've got to. Oh, I've had so much fun. It's great. I love coming here. It's lovely to have, I tell you, it's lovely to have guests in the studio when we can. It's brilliant, Tina. It's lovely to have you with us, obviously. So, I'm just pouncing 
that just in sort of like little cloudy areas if you yes. like yep and then i'm going to go on to this one which is rubin root oh or rubin <laughs> rot sorry and again so, it's the same liquid so, acrylic so, <laughs> don't please don't so fluent <laughs> what is it my hearing what was it called again don't i don't know <laughs> Orange would have be been better, wouldn't it, if it's been called that? This is red I'm doing. Rusty, rusty red. <laughs> so. I love you, Tina. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. This is really selling my services, this. <laughs> <laughs> this but it's looking good, though. It's looking good. Yeah, so what I'm doing is like again pouncing through and then just making a cloudy effect again yeah. with the red and what I'm planning to do is to go back over with a, a different colour and I don't dry off in between because we want it to type of blend in yes so that's why we just keep it wet you know what, you've done a good job. We can't actually see the dinosaur anymore. That is ah. a really good camouflage. I'm not joking. <laughs> it's great. That it is the pterodactyl, isn't it? Yeah. That one, yeah. So, up size here as well. And what I love about this um, liquid acrylic is that it keeps its height. Okay. You know the, um, the this is a great idea from the from the gallery. Oh, okay, okay. I can take no credit, but I love this idea. Uh -huh. Okay, you know the magnetic sheets. Yes. That's part of the um, happy hour that we've got for you yes. okay, at the moment. Could you attach yes. those to you know where I'm going with this? Yes. Only, and make giant magnetic dinosaurs. Why not? That'd That's be fantastic. brilliant. And you know what else you could do as well? Just got that up my arm. Um, is... <laughs> Which colour? <laughs> Um, what else you could do is, with the magnetic sheets, you know you have the, the stamps and the dies that match? Yes. So you could stick the die sheet at the top, the, the acrylic, uh, the, sorry, the um, ac is it, was it acetate, wasn't it? Yes. Acetate underneath the got you. shelf, yep. and then you've got your stamps and your dies matching, and you know exactly where they ah, are. Ah, that's good. Yeah, that is good. Honestly, I tell you what, these are, there's, the, I think it is the largest bundle that we've had, because I've never felt magnetic sheets actually feel quite so heavy altogether. 24 sheets in here with 28 pounds off. Now this is only an offer for this hour. It is a happy hour deal. Uh, Atina's having a happy time. So join her. <laughs> 20 pounds and 99 pence. You're getting 24 sheets. But like I say, they're great for storage, obviously. But brilliant if you wanted to, to convert some of these into those larger sort of magic. Yeah. On the, on the fridge door, possibly. Who knows where it's going to go. Definitely. That's great, that. So now I'm adding in the green. You've gone for a simple colour. <laughs> I've not even read it. I'm just calling it, I'm just calling it green. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Okay. But you see, this for a, a child's room to have in there, to have just a bit of stories, whether yeah. they're not working with, with dyes for it, really, but just to have that That's box right. and they can decorate themselves, yeah. personalise it. Maybe they want to go down the mechanical route as well if they're exactly. into that, so you could use the cogs on top of here as you've done before. Maybe you want to make it again with the whole dinosaur thing. But the lovely thing is, the MDF will take anything, pretty much any medium, any papers that you're working with, and you completely change the look, and yet it's still got you that do. practicality you for do. the needs you need. That's brilliant. So just take your time. I mean, you might see areas that you want to, to change or add colour to, but leave also um, where you've got the thicker parts of the acrylic, because then that will cause a, a different tone and okay. also a lovely texture. Okay. So I'm putting that to one side, and I'm just quickly going to dry this off. Okay, while you're just doing that, is that okay? I just want to mention that we've actually got, obviously, the acetate that does come in the bundle for the one-day special, or if you're going to go for the complete collection, it does. Now, if you do want to go for these on their own, you can do, actually, here, but actually you're going to be getting here 20, an extra 20 if you want to go for, an extra 20, these are the A4 side. These are the frosted, by the way, the uh, frosted um, acetate sheets that you can, so hopefully, you sort of get the idea there, where you can sort of see that has got that sort of, uh, that frosted effect across those. Now, they do have a £10 
saving on these if you go for this. So it's only nine ninety nine right now, which is absolutely brilliant. When you get twenty sheets for that price, that is a real phenomenal saving. I know they're proving very very popular, so I want to draw your attention to that nine ninety nine seven four seven eight five four. Also from the complete collection on its own you can actually get the organizer which is the owl organizer on its own also a lot of interest in this obviously it comes as part of the complete collection but if you are looking to those individuals then this is a really great one this actually works into three compartments that you can see and you've got the two at the back you've got the longer one at the front uh, this has got three pounds saving on that individually 11.99 now if you go for the complete collection you're going to get that three pound that carries over plus you get extra savings as well with the complete collection but on its own 946632 is your item code for that just for 11.99 Right, How, was that good timing? Are we good there? Yeah, that's fine. So there we've got the, the top of the box. Now if you want to, you could take some of your waxes and just sort of like go around the edges just to make the, the edges pop. And if you obviously if you wanted to see the dinosaurs, then you could just go like a hint around just so that you can... What about See a little bit of um, glow-in-the-dark around the outline? Oh, that would be good, wouldn't it? Oh, like that. There. So just to give it like a little part there. So you can see that there's something there, but just a hint of... Yeah, yeah. And then just a little bit of wax around the edge. I'll tell you what, dinosaurs are great. I do love they them. Are, they're they're also brilliant in Game of Scrabble. And then we've got the one get, here. get a lot of points. Wouldn't you? Pterodactyl? You think about the letters in that. A dip and a dopus. Can you spell Triple it? Letter. You will like you got that game. Can you spell it? Yeah. Go on then. Which one do you want to spell? Um I think Dodo? No. <laughs> <laughs> Should we start there? <laughs> Pterodactyl. <laughs> Pterodactyl. Okay. I know what I know. I, if you know how, I, everyone's going to go. He's going to fall at the first hurdle because it starts with a silent P. <laughs> Look at me! Look at me like that for. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> That's going so well. I'll leave the rest with you. It starts with a silent P. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just for Tina to fix up that. Uh, we are with the one day special that we've got for you. Absolutely phenomenal bundle. If you want to go for the acetate, plus you've also got the storage for the 48 of your marker pens, plus you've also got your uh, trays in here, which you can use for all of your fabulous stamps. That is absolutely brilliant. You can yeah. go for the complete collection. That is phenomenal. We are talking ter a pterodactyl. If you want to go for the dinosaur collection, it's all there for you as well. You get five of the large, five of the medium as well that will work for this one, and you get to scale stencil with it which is brilliant so absolutely fantastic kit all of that one one eight oh two zero seven nineteen ninety nine love it okay Tim? yeah that's fine so um there we go so that's the finished thing um i did uh just sew this one first before i did the paint effects because otherwise my paints would sink in right oh okay. i see yep yep all right. I love the look of that. That is fantastic. Thank really, you. really cool kit, actually. So, I mean, the, the nice thing is about these to add on to them. Like, for example, we've got the owls. You've got the stencils. You, you know, with the um, dinosaurs. So we've got the cogs. I know you've done one here as well. If you have got some of those other accessories in MDF you worked with before, it doesn't take much of them to make a difference onto them. If I just tilt this one, this has got these beautiful keys that have been worked onto the onto the top there. Uh, again, so whatever it is, maybe you want to go floral with it. Maybe you want to go sort of pretty gardenscape, for example, you know. Uh, maybe you want to go magical. Maybe you want to go bright fluorescence. Um, if you want to think about sort of um, sort of childlike into a room, then what sort of colours you might be using. But really, the great thing about MDF is you can change the look of these just by changing them, whether maybe with your papers, for example. I think your papers go very, very pretty um, with those if you wanted to, with those sort of floral looks. But absolutely great ways of working with all of those as your kits. Uh, you don't forget your one-day special, your acetate, your tray, and, of course, your um, marker storage on this one. That has that £15 saving if you go for all of those together, which is brilliant. And don't forget, this is the final live hour of this particular offer that we've got for you. So please do take advantage. It, it is absolutely brilliant because, obviously... 
Well, we talk about uh, one-day specials with those and your live hours. Um, once those live hours offers have gone, of course, the price will go up. So you will be looking at to get all of that, £39.98 to go for all that. So that's when you really appreciate the saving that is available, uh, available for you during a genuine live hour show for that, which is absolutely brilliant. Now, the complete collection, as we talked about all those individual elements, there's a £15 saving here on your one-day special, a £3 saving also that's attached to the Owl um, Desk Tidy, of course. You've also got a £3 saving to go over with the pen and the brush. Now, all those savings, you don't lose them, they carry over, and then there's an additional £3 on top of all of that, so that brings your price right down and makes it available if you want to go for your Flexi for £22.98 as your first of those payments. So, a really great way to do that, which is phenomenal. Uh, 45 96 208747. Now, if you wanted to, you could also add, that, add, add more to that and split that, of course, across the whole of your payments and well, to really, really uh, stretch that out for you. Um, pop on on the hour if you're on its own, if you want to add that into it. Uh, so details for that at the bottom of your uh, screen. That would just be an additional £6 in, basically, if you are spreading the cost of all of those. Uh, really great way for storage. Great for the whole collection, but don't forget, you could, you could buy the whole collection, but if you wanted to still do them as a present and give them off individually, like the owls with that, that's where you're going to get your biggest saving on. You don't have to keep them as a big complete collection. Uh, right, the dinosaurs. Oh, I just think these are great. I think they're definitely, they were school projects, I know, for um, at uh, primary school, for my little ones. Everything we always have to learn about the dinosaurs. And I just think, what a great way to bring those to life. Well, don't, because that would be pretty scary. But bringing your dinosaurs back to life, you know, to give them that size, because they're big in scale. You get five of the large, you get, and they are big when you think about them as well, just to sort of see them in scale. You're getting five of the large, five of the medium, Working with the magnets, I think, would be a brilliant idea, like we talked about, but perfect if you're working with on a lovely project. Maybe some of the smaller ones can go in the folders on the front cover. They'll really sort of jazz that up as well. Maybe it's decoration for the bedroom. Maybe it's a dinosaur theme bedroom. Maybe there's doing a project on dinosaurs and they really want to go to town with that. It's a really great kit. It also has a £5 saving on right now for you. So it's now just 19 187 plus the stencil also that's there for you. That's all part of it. Now, I've also got some other projects away from your dinosaurs, thinking more like a gift or your florals. I love these. Your beautiful flower baskets. Uh, now, this is your flower one, as you can see. You've got the two lovely flowers at the end of the basket itself. 186611. Uh, they are absolutely fabulous for those to work with all the elements together. That's got a £3 saving on there. And uh, we've also got very, well, exactly the same design, but just a different element at the end. So rather than the um, flowers, you've got the love hearts. And these are great to package up a present, a gift idea. Could be for Mother's Day. Could actually be for Father's Day if you wanted to also. Um, but that is a lovely one. 848398. That's 1199. Loving the basket there. Um, but we've also got, if you're into the uh, Easter theme, or just want to keep a place, uh, uh, you know, separate for your eggs. Then how about this one? You get the big rooster, the big chicken, and you're also going to get the uh, rabbit garden that all comes in there, which is brilliant. That's got an £8 saving on that, 11 I've actually got one here. This is the Love Heart. But I just thought, well, this is a really lovely project, actually, like you can see here. But if you were to put, like, a little, maybe it's a um, homegrown flower or plant you might be putting in there, little, some chocolates homemade, for example. Uh, maybe it's little tea sets you might want to have in there, you know, different teams, what about some of the cheeses, whatever it is. Something in there as well, but that gives it a really lovely presentation and some of they can use afterwards, uh, maybe make it into a little uh, flower pot itself there. But that, 1199 gives us some idea. Love, I love the projects out here, I just think they're all really lovely and, and they really can make great gift ideas or just great they ways can. of presenting yeah. anything, isn't it? Definitely. I mean, uh, you know, the, um, the design team at... Uh, um, Ross Papercraft yeah. and sent some of those in and I think they're absolutely beautiful. And it's, it's um, surprising how different our projects are. Oh, yeah, yeah, you that's know? it. Yeah. So what I'm using now is I'm going to do um, a nice basket, but I'm going to do a steampunk themed oh, cool. basket, okay? So um, what I'm um, busy doing is just um, painting so, uh, the, the cogs, but what I want to do is make sure that I've covered both sides of them because oh, right. um, of the slats that are in oh, the so side here, yeah. yeah. Yes, so I, I want to make sure that they've got a nice coverage. 
I'll tell you what, this, this collection of all the cogs mm -hmm. is, is brilliant, actually, because there are, I mean, we, we, we've got a minimum of 40 cogs. Yeah. Um, which is which is brilliant. I mean, I'm just trying to hold what I can in there. But I mean, we've got oh, so many different sizes that they are absolutely brilliant. And just to go to some of the smaller ones, for example, and like you say, for steampunk, um, for all the different elements. But you know, certainly when you do through your front of your diaries or the books that you've been working on, you don't need many of these, do you? Really, in there for it to sort of stand out and to work with. They no. are. They're great. They're great, aren't they? And, and layering them up as well. I love to to layer them up. Right. Uh, yeah. They are, they are absolutely brilliant. If you want to, if you do work, work with them, uh, try and get for this one. 11 99 only, a minimum of 40, uh, 580 for just 11 99 But they make, they can make such a really, I love the way that they layer up, like you say. Yeah. And you get this whole sort of Willy Wonka mechanics that all come together. You do. Together and, and it, I mean, you can add different things to them. I know that Ross and um, Papercrafts, they do keys as well. So they um, sent me some keys uh, that I did on the actual, um, group sample yes. there of, um, yeah, of the, they're lovely. Uh, yeah, of the largest Very ornate. Set. Yeah, and I just, I, you can co tell, I mean, I mean, I love doing steampunk anyway, that's why i um, very sort of like um, close to the steampunk community because I do lots of the hats and everything for them and, you know, all different, um, all sorts of different things. So um, I do love the steampunk theme to them. It's a okay. good look, isn't it? It's very cool. It is, and, and more and more people are, uh, you know, are liking it and Going getting into it. it. Yeah. So I'm just going to give this a quick dry. Okay. Um, but uh, it's almost dry anyway, so it won't take two seconds. Okay. Quick last. I'll tell you what. Then I'll just give you a quick catch up because I know these have been really, really popular. Just you're not missing anything. It's just Tina's doing the uh, drying. Uh, we've got for the um, flowers uh, that you can see as well. So for all of these, now these are limited stock. Now I'm thinking about these. That basket that we just showed there with the love hearts, or even the floral one. Start putting together your foliage and your florals in there absolutely gorgeous to work with it 9.99 and you get a huge collection there's approximately 12 flowers in total that you can see um well, it, well i mean i say not oops i'll just put you off there there i think it's more bunches that is individual flower heads themselves there but it's got a 10 pound saving on that nine double three two four seven now it is only this deal for this hour for you to, to take advantage of uh, 9.99 and you've got just under half an hour left to get that one into your basket but they are limited stock uh, also, again, we've just been looking at the uh, the cogs, but again, we do have all the variable sizes from the small uh, to the large uh, that are in here for you. Uh, again, you've got a, a round about a minimum of uh, sort of 40 pieces uh, that you can like here. So again, that's your larger sort of size, some more then again, similar kind of look. But they've all got a different feel and a different look. Some are more filled in, some are more open to allow your different uh, maybe papers to come through or different colours to come through. But some of them, again, are a lot smaller and again, brilliant for building up and for laying but they're all beautifully cut by the way with some fabulous detail uh three pounds saving on here 11.99 if you want to go for the cogs a minimum of 40 in your bundle which is brilliant uh, right all okay. dried off yeah all Great. dry thank you so for that. then let's bring in um my basket now i have actually glued the sides but i haven't um, glued the front part on so that could actually come off as well and and be used you know oh, for yeah. something else if you wanted to um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the cogs to the actual fencing here so using some gel medium and this will dry clear as well so if any part is showing through then it won't be a problem i love the fact though with this you could like you're doing the steampunk and that, but if you really mm. want to make this into a beautiful country cottage kind of feel with that, Absolutely. with your picket fence that you've yeah. got in there, yeah. the flowers, I you've got your fake grass. You definitely. Want... I thought I'd do something um, a little bit different this time because we've we've got sort of, um, I did some fake grass before in a different one. Um, I think that was one of the shows yesterday. I think that was the first show yesterday on the oh. launch. Um, so, yeah, so it was... I've tried to sort of do as many different themes as I as I can yeah, yeah. Um, for each thing, just to sort of give you an idea, you know. And that's the lovely thing about it. I, I think you mentioned this before as well that you know, at the end of the day, even if you get tired, of, even if you do that and it lasts six months or it lasts a year, if you get tired of it, paint over. Absolutely. <laughs> reuse. Absolutely. So let's get these on. 
By the way, we've had a nice little email come through. Uh -huh. People have been enjoying the show, having a good laugh with you, oh, team, as well. Oh, that's really so good. So keeping people company in that respect. And <laughs> Fantastic. It's, uh, it, it, it's, it's very easy to not have a laugh at the moment, isn't it? So, it is, uh, definitely. We've got to take the opportunities where we can. Definitely. Even I, if it um... is at my expense, you know. <laughs> Oh, I just, uh, um, I must admit, we we are like a family that does like laugh all the time, you know? <laughs> That's good. So, um, That's good. I mean, my mum, she's just nuts. She really is. She's so funny. And <laughs> like my, my brother's like loopy. So it all, you know, <laughs> we're all the same. <laughs> Did you all get together for Christmas or was it uh, not allowed this year? From uh, not your allowed this no. year, no, no, sadly, but, you know, we will. Right, so I'm just going, sorry. No, no, going go on, no, it's fine. Please I'm just going to let on. that dry just a little okay, bit. Okay, yeah. And then I'm going to bring in this. Now, this is actually a faux leather cord, okay, and I wanted it to, to look, I want to make a sort of like a barbed wire-y type Oh, okay, effect. child friendly, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> should, we go, should we whack a dinosaur in there and tease them? <laughs> they didn't know that was us going to jump out of them in a minute. Oh my god! <laughs> nightmares! I tell you, you want to create nightmares for your kids, everybody. If lockdown wasn't bad enough, do this! <laughs> oh, dear. it was going so I wish, well. Uh... <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. It's a very different project. Oh, dear. <laughs> Mother's Day. <laughs> so, what yeah. I did was I got my liquid. Um, what's it called? It's called, <laughs> what's it called? <laughs> liquid metal. Lovely. By Pentart, and basically I just dragged it through, just turning and dragging it through, and it dries really quickly. But you can turn, you know your your cords or your ribbons or whatever you want to yeah. into the silver, do you see? Yeah, nice, that. Lovely. Nice. So let's just pop that to one side. So what I am going to do is bring this back in and I've got, actually, let me just get that back again, sorry. I've got these little pieces here and I wanted to just use them. These were the thick ties that came with it, um, but I want to actually use these to tie off some of the Oh, I see. The barbed actually, wire. Yeah, I got you, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, people are thinking, barbed wire, what is she thinking? No, of? listen, we... No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, absolutely. But, I mean, the, you know, we're all in for different things. This is what it's all about. Uh, <laughs> we're all like... Some people like roses and, and puppy dogs <laughs> and, um, and fantastical fairy tales. And... Um, you like pain and <laughs> cogs and barbed wire. <laughs> oh dear. So, I'm just going to... Is this, is this based on your garden fence at home? Oh my God, I <laughs> what you said then. <laughs> what did you, no, don't. don't no, ask, don't, don't, I can't, well. I can't. But, okay, just wondering where the inspiration came from. Can you see what I'm doing there? I think so, so. why did that through? Is it electrified or is it just going to go? <laughs> oh, electrified, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so tied that off and then just going around here. And to be honest, I don't want it to sort of like just look like it's sitting on the top of the fence. I want to pop it in and out. Sorry, let's try and get it so you can actually see what I'm doing. Yes. Just while you're tying that food, just um, with, with the kits themselves, whatever the kits are, do you add glue onto the elements when you actually put this together, or is it literally just once they're actually in position, they sort of hold, or would you glue as well? Um, the, the actual, the actual MDF kits, yeah. Ah, oh, right, okay. Um, this one actually is quite sturdy okay. with, without the glue, but I right. would always, you know, glue Bit really. Less security. Definitely, especially if you're giving it as a gift. The last thing you want is, you know, someone's no. um, barbed wire to fall apart well, on them, do they? Exactly. There's going to be nothing worse. <laughs> there. So we're nearly there. 
I'm liking this. I'm liking... I, I, I like difference. You know, some people would have gone... Uh -huh. Very light. Huh? Daisy chain. <laughs> Rainbow effects of tissue paper. Little leaves. Um. Pretty vines with a unicorn. <laughs> or barbed wire. I mean, they're all the same. <laughs> I, it's only because I've... Honestly, I've... It's only because I've never seen barbed wire created and used in a, in a crafting presentation. And, I, and I, I'm, I'm liking it. Well, now look, it's just like the industrial look. Yes, no, it's, it, it, and it, actually, with the cogs on there, it is definitely there. Yeah. Oh, dear. Let's just snip these in half. It's like a, it's like a Mother's Day treat for someone in the Adams family. Better than them. So I'm just going to thread these through. And you know, like these are the if, if you've studied barbed wire, then um, you're not like <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> not you, as closely as yourself. Well, no, when you get these little twists that are in it as well. <laughs> are we going? Oh, are you going to put a dinosaur in there? It's like a little cage dinosaur. <laughs> See, I think that looks quite authentic. Oh no, it, no, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> like that. Too yeah, well to do. Don't worry, the pain is nearly over. No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing a keep outside? A keep out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, well, this is it. You could put chocolates in and do a keep out <laughs> sign, can't you? Because that, that's what I'm actually putting in is chocolate. <laughs> oh, I like it. It's keep away from my chocolate. Yes. Keep out. There. No, that makes sense. There. See? So look, may, it actually spins around like it does oh, on barbed wire as well. Right, see? 360 degrees pain. <laughs> Love it. So then I've got a little bit more of the silver and then just brush, dry brush over. Ah, uh, yes. That, just, that really brings out the detail, that, that effect, doesn't it? Actually? It does, yeah. And it gives, it gives the look of um, metal, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, don't forget the cogs, a minimum of 40 of those variable different sizes and shapes, uh, just 11.99. But you can see how they really can make a difference to any project, really. Uh, 580339. And if you are into your steampunk, then we'll <laughs> must have actually for your stash to work with. Uh, you'll find a chance to use them and uh, have them there ready to go. 11.99, three pounds saving on those. Okay, nearly there. I'm just going to quickly go over this and just at the top, just like that. I've also got in a second, I've got another another set here to show to people that uh, you did earlier on in the 8 o'clock. You know the um, castle and flower? Mm. Ooh, ooh. And then there's my eggs, which are now security protected. Liking that. With me barbed wire. Oh, maybe awesome. Nice little, finish it off with a bit of hay in there, yeah. a bit of tissue paper. And what I'm going to put a keep out, like you said. I'm going to put a keep out. Yeah, you have some off. ribbon coming from there with keep out. Ribbon or barbed wire? But, oh, yeah, but maybe some more barbed wire. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Honestly, I, but, <laughs> I've seen, I haven't seen barbed wire being created in a night like that. But what a different feel and different looks. <laughs> We're absolutely brilliant. Those kits, the great thing is, it just shows, doesn't it, though? You can really, they are universal. You can convert them and change and look at them in completely how you want it to. Another project uh, with your MDF, by the way, that I want to share with you, and I absolutely love these because these are your frames. And again, these are perfect, perfect ways of just keeping some of the memories uh, to work with, which are lovely. Now, this, we've actually get, you get two of these. You're going to get the castle and the dragon uh, that you can see. So in here, there's your little frame area there. If I just tilt that back, so you can pop your picture actually in there. Maybe Princess Fiona. Well, she is a princess, I suppose. Really, yeah. yeah. Uh, there we go. And then you can put me as Shrek in there um, because you are getting both. So I love this because you've got the actual floral and you've got the uh, watering can that goes with it and you've got our Pete the Dragon uh, and we've got the castle again where you put the pictures. And, and actually they do slot together really easily. It's only one connection in there. So I was thinking, we said this earlier on, if there are some relatives again, so maybe it's aunts, uncles, mums, dads that you've not seen for a long time, for example, if you wanted to, you could actually have them, build them, create them, put the picture in there, flat pack it, send it to them so they've got a 
away then of actually putting maybe some pictures up of the family uh, that they've not had a chance to sort of share together. Nine ninety nine for these. Oh, we've had a picture sent through. Ah, just wanted to show. Who's this from? Oh, we've had it sent through earlier on. Um, just looking at the details uh, for who's made it. But I. Oh, this is from Dawn. Oh, is it Dawn? Yes. Is it? Yes. Oh, I love this. This yeah. is brilliant. Yeah, she let she um, in the break. Uh, she said that I could show it if I wanted to. Oh. So, I think it was such a worth like showing because it's one of the sets we'd had previously. We have had on the show before. Yeah. We? I remember this. Yeah, and um, she's she's obviously put the rolls there to hold pens, and then she's got the actual structure of the dinosaur that she can use elsewhere. That is brilliant. Isn't That's it a beautiful? really clever way of working yeah. with it, isn't it? Yeah. Actually. Yeah. But again, it just just show those. I think we uh, they might be on the website if you're looking for that little dinosaur. Have a little look. But projects like this, again, are so sweet and so lovely. Uh, thank you for sending yours through, Dawn, uh, that you can work with, again, to do that. For $9.99, uh, just so, so lovely. 695696, if you'd like to go for those. They're absolutely brilliant. Uh, leave this one side. Now, the one-day special. Uh, it's the final live show of the one day special, so please do take advantage of it with that price that while you see it there reduced. £15 saving on all of these at the moment, and that's going to give you the Ross Paper Crafts. It's the fantastic MDF um, stamp storage that you can see here that's got all of your trays that are there waiting to go for. It doesn't have to be for your stamps necessarily. It might be for, as we talked about, unfinished work that's not dried off yet. You might want to put your papers in there. You've got really good sizable areas to keep everything all together. Maybe just keep your acetate in, for example, because you do get your acetate. You get your frosted acetate, A4 in size. That comes with that as part of the bundle, plus your storage unit here, which will hold up to 48 of your pens altogether again, which is a great, great number, but a really lovely saving of £15 on that bundle. 963388, that's £24.98. Oh, now, let me just show you, we've also got, I think, do wear a bit of these, you know. I think it's the largest bundle of the magnetic sheets I think I've ever shown on the show before. So, 48, uh, uh, 24 sheets in total. Now, you will be looking at a price here of £48.99. Now, for the next 12 minutes... And the next 12 minutes only, this offer right now has been reduced by £28. That is a phenomenal, phenomenal saving here, which means now you're only paying £20.99. Uh, so absolutely brilliant. 660-965 if you would like to go for those. But like I say, time is running out on that. Just over 11 minutes remaining to get that as an offer. Great to back your projects. Or great to, of course, keep your dies in place. Uh, we've also got a couple of other little happy hours as well for you, as well, if you wanted to. If you want to go for your stencils, these are your layered stencils. These are lovely, Ooh, these as well. Actually, nice. the Tim Holtz is you pick and mix for your layered stencils, this one. You can go for any two that you want, and they come with a £4 saving on here. So it's only ten ninety nine two seven nine seven eight nine. You've got nine options in total. You'll find them all on the website. Well, that's quite a funky one. I'm liking that. Um, all of those uh, work beautifully with that £4 saving for you for your happy hour deal. And if you want something to stencil onto, you're maybe looking for some cards, well, we can do that for you also if you wanted to. This is A3. This is just soft white, but it's actually great for construction. It's 300 GSM. It's your watercolour card here. You've also got your 3mm backing board as well. So, in, fa in fact, you're getting 16 sheets in total. Uh, wow. Just see the saving on that. A third, okay, if you are, if this is something you've worked with this, uh, this um, car before, uh, this work with it, it's under a tenner right now. That's a £30 saving. You've got 10 minutes on that deal. 439413. That took me back, that one. That's a massive saving for this hour. Oh, nice little stash here. Look at this one. Your crafty stash bundle here. You've got your pony beads, your multicoloured dolly pegs. You've also got your multicoloured and your naturals in those. Uh, that's a £10 saving there, so it's now only £15.99. Perfect. Again, little additions to any project. 502351. Really, really good deals. Right then, we have got just about five minutes, Tina. Okay. Is that okay? What have you got? Yep. Your little handbag? I've got a handbag, yes. So what I've done is I've got some masking tape. And I am masking off just a, a little pattern here. And then I'm going to grab a brush and then I'm going to take, um, I take some orange colour. So I'm using That's Crafty paint. I'm going straight on to the MDF. 
I'm not too worried about the handle at the moment. Right. So. See, these are lovely um, projects as well, you know, just to have, uh, even if it's a back into a project, for example, with the handbag or the whole theme yeah. of fashion. Um, Definitely. It's, you know, it's, I think you can just do so much. Yeah. You know, with um, MDF, it's it's great, and you can make things that are useful to you. So this one is, you know, something that I'm going to make that will sit on um, my desk, right? Um, which will all become clear soon. And this bundle, because you get five handbags with this bundle, but you're also going to get in the pair of stilettos, also. Yes. They are. They are very much. A Cinderella stiletto as well, aren't they? they? Are, I mean, definitely. they are. You go into the board in definitely. those. Definitely. So again, I've I've made that for something for my desk as well. I, I so. love this. It's been made into a pad. Yes. It's absolutely brilliant. I love this. You've got your little pad with all your uh, papers on the inside there. But that, look at that. That is, that's a wow factor shoe. That. <laughs> that beats my slim back welly. I'm loving that. <laughs> okay, so. Stay. There we go. I'm going to just pop that to one side. And let that dry for a second and then I'm going to take one of the squares from the inspiration pack and I'm going Ooh. to do that in a yellow the inspiration pack by the way uh, that Tina's talking about is uh, huge it's whopping you've got a minimum a minimum of 50 pieces uh, that you can see in here and we've got all sorts so you've got all of you can make your little tags and badges in here as well you've got your extended longer in fact there's one of them in here you get the little sticks that are in there let me just show you here and can you see on on the side if i just pick one of these so you've got your little sticks you might want to put your little owls on um or whatever it is but you can turn them into little bookmarks uh, and play with them in that respect, which is brilliant, but you've got windows in here, you've actually got happy birthday logos that will work, you've got your triangles, your ovals, so really a fantastic array, different shapes like you say, ooh, different, what's, ooh, ovals, uh, it's all there, 14 99 you've got a 15 pound saving on that, 29 99 regular price, but a minimum of 50 pieces, 305915, just put that in the oven for 20 minutes at 180. And see what happens there. Okay, so I'm uh, we've got oh, just oh two sorry, minutes. I'm don't so we got sorry. just two minutes? No, yeah. don't you apologise at all. Okay, so I'm going to peel off this just to show oh. that, um, underneath, give it a nice little design, and then I've got one of these um, artist markers in the silver. So that I'm just going to quickly. It's going to be the quickest demo ever. That's right. We got one minute and fifteen. Oh, that's, that's let's all see right, if I so in the silver here, like that, grab my ruler, just going to put a line of gold, just to give it, to bring uh, the I silver see. in. Yep. Oops. And then across there, like that. Okay, so that's brought the silver in, then I'm going to take some gel medium, pop that onto the back of this square, like that, that's going to position there, and then I've got my block. Oh, I see. Keep our pads on there. There we go. That's that going to sit in the great. centre here. There. The, the most Ta -da. fashion set. <laughs> For your sticky pads, that is Absolutely. brilliant. Absolutely. And then you can add like different things on here, can't you? Clips and yeah, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, perfect. Tina, thank you. Thank I, I've you. thoroughly enjoyed the show oh, so together. Have I. It's been brilliant. Inspirational I've had all, a lovely all... couple of days. Oh, great, great, great. Listen, look forward to seeing you very, very, very soon. Yes, yes thank which you. Be absolutely brilliant. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the show. I'm sure you have as well. Always a pleasure to have Tina on the show, of course. We'll be back very, very soon with even more inspiration, of course, that you need with all of this. Don't forget that price for one day special up till six. Oh, what fun. Right, get ready. You're going to have a lovely hour coming up next. It's the Jenny Bean Crafts Inspirations Hour. Oh, they're all smiling and waving. Oh, hi, ladies. Uh, then Leone. Leone's going to be let loose there as well. And then we've got Paper Discovery.
you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town and it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand-drawn. That makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers. We have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix. We have dyes and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dollar Dimple Shows on Achanda and have some fun. morning but it's now it's afternoon it most definitely is afternoon it's one o'clock i believe yes it is uh so welcome if you are just joining us here at hochanda we have got an hour full of you know what 
the essentials of paper crafting all sorts of amazing cards and ribbon and embellishments which are exactly where we need to start and where, where we need to continue and also where experts and professionals we need to go back and back and back and replenish our stock well the, I'm not here alone I have not of course an expert as well we have got Karen here. hello there how, how are, are you? you how are you I'm how lovely you? thank you <laughs> I'm wonderful thank you very much yeah just watching the snow outside I've got here just in time yes in time <laughs> uh, fabulous yeah we are very glad that you're making in time and safe I don't think I'll be getting you. home but we'll still we'll be watching now Karen you have more you know you have worked tirelessly in the industry and you know and you're a crafter yourself so you know what we need as crafters to the foundation of it you've got to have a good good card stock a definite good card stock um, different card stock do different things um, not every card stock is suitable for every technique and it's it's having the correct card stock for the job absolutely it's like having the correct shoes for the weather absolutely Sandals in summer wind boots in yeah. winter it's that kind of thing you've got to have it on right we are going to start though not with card but ribbons <gasps> because ribbon is one of those embellishments that we use as well not only for creating things like the tree and kind of finishing our uh, projects but also to create you know it's kind of such a lovely thing to to just put across a card isn't it it certainly is it's a beautiful embellishment um and there's 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 lots and lots and lots of ribbon that yeah. we've got today but you can make things with it i've done some bows i've had cheryl help me she's made some absolute beautiful things with with the ribbon she's made brooches headbands um badges all sorts of things. All sorts and all sorts that you can make because you are getting 11 reels in total of the pink and red collection. I mean, it's lovely that you have to be able to make a lovely flower in here as well. Uh, now, if you want to go for uh, this bundle, how many meters are you getting in total? So you get between 25, the, the bigger ones yeah. are between 20. Uh, to the narrower ones are 50 yards, so it's between 20 and 50 yards. So, so they're not a five meter roll, they are at least 20 yard rolls. So if we say 20 yards and you are getting 11, uh, that's 220 yards. Hang on, Brent. No, 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 sorry. Uh, no, no, uh, you, yeah, yeah. Two, yeah, two, 220, yeah, 220, 200, at least. At two least. The at minimum least. you are getting is 220 yards, which actually roughly is about 200 meters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Roughly, I mean, Roughly. don't quote me on that. So that's a whole lot. I mean, that's 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 what Usain Bolt ran in the longer distance. Uh, he was his long, long distance. Eleven ninety nine is your price uh, for that. You are saving six pounds. Lovely different widths as well. Lovely yeah. different. Uh, I'm gonna not quite open, but you can see the organza, so you can see the different uh, sheer this, numbers. This organza, this satin, these three thicknesses of the satin purple. Um, they work out. So you're talking right, twelve pound for two hundred. So it's say two hundred meters, twelve pound. You're talking six pence a meter at the most. I shouldn't have yeah. to start to do it on that. I kind of regret it. You know. Anyways. Oh, don't worry about it. You take it off. It's got a bit of sellotape on. I was We'd... trying to be good, but I kind of <laughs> made a mess out Absolutely of it. Absolutely gorgeous. It <laughs> goes. It, it goes on and on and on and on. It's, it's a staple for you for your craft Absolutely. room. Absolutely. <laughs> Two five one five nine nine is your item number. Then we have got we have the dots and ginghams in here, so you can see them here. Now you are getting ten reels again, beautiful, different, useful patterns. Yes, so the cotton ones and then the grow grow grain. Uh, you've got grow, like the grow grain with you is your checked ones and then your satin ones is your spot ones, but all different colours and at least again let's be on the conservative side at least 20 yards on each one. I tend to I like wrapping things and I tend to put lots and lots of ribbon on wrapping things. Yeah, okay, I've used some glue to, underneath to fasten it, yeah. but they've got to they've got to destroy the package to get into it. Half oh. the time when I buy mom something, she doesn't unwrap it; she just leaves it with the package on awesome. because she likes it that much but I, lo <laughs> I love that idea I mean there is also so I try it with a hairband I kind of going in you think for, for children as well, you know, and that's that's cost pennies to make. Yeah. Because you've got you've you've got yeah another say two hundred two hundred meters at six pence a meter. You can't get ribbon at six pence a meter, can you? And then I love that you know it's like a little. She's thing. done some. Cheryl's done all these. There's a little lamb bag there as well, the yellow one. Oh, no. 
She's done absolutely just just making them up with a bit of needle and cotton. But you know, if you are doing things like brooches or costume jewellery, think how far that that's going to go. How many are you going to make from that? Absolutely. Children's hairbands, children's. Absolutely. Yes, just keep going and going and going. Absolutely. Right, eleven ninety nine is your price. Nine one zero nine seven one is your item number. Moving on to the next bundle that we have now, and again, embellishment is part of the foundation. Uh, we have, well, look, you were shocked at the price. Gavin's dropped a right clanger with this one, I'll be totally, totally honest. Originally, when we spoke, he was putting 15 on, but he sent 30 in, and obviously now he's, going, he's, he's having to stand by the 30 packets. You're going to get 3,000 gems wow. for 9.99, all self-adhesive. Uh, there will be assorted size, sizes and, and colours, however, uh, there will not be any duplicates at all. Our Cheryl's put me together a couple of little cards just using gemstones so even if you do you know for the children or anything else like that but it, it's the finishing touches on your cards it's the finishing touches on your gifts it's that little bit of bling and 3,000 of them for 9.99. What I love about this kit is the fact that you are getting a different uh, kind of like pearl, so dome, then you're getting faceted yes. uh, yes. as well. And the other thing I love is that you are getting AV coating for clear one, so Aurora Borealis, that one can move. Um, uh, you, let me show you. I mean, yeah, the contents may vary a little bit, but you can see in the, here that they will all be. Well, they will all be. There'll not be any duplicates, so you'll not get. To, you, you'll not end up with five of yeah, one. You end absolutely. up with one of each one. Um, you've got gemstones. You've got the pearls. You'll have AB coating on some of them. Have AB yeah. coating. Some of them will. I, I've seen that the. the, the the amount that he has and a lot of them have got AB oh, coating yes. but we can't guarantee that what he's going to okay. do is is going to go through 30 boxes and pick one each oh, but yes. no duplicates absolutely already a quarter of the stock has gone remember you have got a five pound saving you're just paying 9.99 for 30 packs in total and um, that means you say three thousand three thousand wow uh five two four uh, three four two so is the item number and answer. that's 300 for a pound Wow. Yeah, so that's three no, for no, a penny. That would be uh, roughly about four pence a penny. Uh, four, three for a penny. I, 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 three or four for me. a penny. I, did you just love me, lost the, me. The less than pennies. <laughs> less than pennies, and that's why you're. We, we have some sparkle for less than pennies. Well, you know that's. Less. That's the one. That's Absolutely. The one. Then we have a. We have here the shimmer. Uh, this is champagne. Ooh, champagne. It's I very very that. nice. So it's double-sided, coated. So it has a, a, a coating on the outs on both sides. So I, I have found out from from Gavin that um, pearl card is also is sprayed with a mica or a, a pearl finishing, and it's sprayed on both sides. It's very very it's very thick. It's 350 gsm. Um, we have tried it through electron, you know, the electric yes. cutting machines, and it didn't fare very well through there. I will be totally honest. It oh. was it was a little bit too thick with this, with the coating on both oh, sides. Yeah. We found it was sticking, yeah. but it's three fifty. Those have been made with uh, normal um, um, the dies. What uh -huh. do you call them? Thin dies. Thin dies, yeah. And so it does cut through your die cutting machines, but if you, you can try it through your electro electric machine, electronic machines, but not guaranteeing, I, I won't stand here and say that it's going to go yeah, through everything. I thought, but, I thought that had been cut with uh, electronic discs. No, that's been cut with a die. Oh, a very, a, very intricate die. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, 9.99 is your price. You are getting in here 80 sheets of 350 GSM, so perfect for your construction. 623-760 is your item number. Saving £10, which makes it better than half price because you are just paying 9.99. So fabulous price, fabulous savings. So make sure that you kind of check out your baskets. Now, the gems are f approaching 50% of the stock. If you wanted to go the, for the gems, please, do check out your baskets approaching 50% uh, of the stock. Now, then we have 
craft card. How do you, we use craft card? Craft cards are what you call a basic. It didn't used to be. It yeah. used to be, you used to think, oh, it's brown paper. Um, but it's become, in, in the crafting industry, it's become a basic. You can ink onto it. You can stamp onto it. You can eat emboss onto it. You can make a construction with it. It sticks it sticks things it makes your cards very rustic there's lots of weddings going off these days where they're using craft card as a basis for for the weddings because it becomes that rustic countryside feel but it's just a staple basic we all need a bit of craft card in if there's that kind of uh, mixture that you can't make just put a bit of craft card with it and it usually yeah. goes with everything absolutely i love i love these ones a kind of absolutely gorgeous beautiful so, much. so you can die cut it as well it die cuts yes definitely i've uh, there has been die cuts uh, i've been using uh, the jelly bean cardstock i've got a paper rose later this afternoon and i've used the jelly bean cardstock for that but that's white embossing absolutely um. beautiful um oxides Oh, look at this one. I love this. is my one of my favorite combinations. Craft card, gold, and black. Mm -hmm. So on that one, yeah, this, uh, it's uh, done with a sticky, you know, sticky die cut and then gold leaf put onto it, but not real gold leaf, just metal leaf. Absolutely gorgeous. I love, I'm obsessed with gold leaf at the minute. I have Absolutely been always. Absolutely amazing, yeah. yeah. Living I had to put that one on because Janice made that live on TV one day. So oh, okay. that's now one of our staples. Mini minimalism. It's one of our staples that we keep in our, in our, uh, our stash of, of samples. But it's the same card slot. She just made it live during one of the happy hours. Classy as she is. She uh, right. is. Nine ninety nine is your price. You're saving seven pounds. You are getting a hundred sheets in total, two hundred and eighty five just them. So perfect weight construction uh, for your cards and boxes. Five two three seven eight four is your item number. Now we were talking about this because there are different types of gold and the producer put it such a good way. This is like real royal gold rather than you know, fool's gold. Yes, yes, it's very, 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 very rich. It's a very thick, sturdy card. It's 350 G GSM. And while I've been, I've, I've obviously made boxes with it. Um, die cutting, you will struggle. If you've got a, a deep blade, it will go through. But unfortunately, it is... Unless if you've got an intricate die, it cut letters out, but if it's an intricate die, you're going to have to work at it to get it through your die cutting. I'm not saying it's not going to, but it's so thick, so sturdy. But looking at it, I was thinking on the, the uh, perhaps popping it onto, you know, when you're making chocolate boxes, putting yes. it onto the inside because the coating on it is such one that it reminds me of chocolate boxes. Yeah. Uh, right, nine ninety nine is your price. You are saving seven pounds. Zero five eight eight three five is your item number. Uh, the gems now are now limited stock. Now, well, so it now means that if you want them in media dispatch, please do check out your baskets. You are getting 30 packs, so you are getting 3,000 of them for 9.99. If you want yours, please do check out your baskets to get them. 90% of the stock has already sold. This is what you are going to get if you check out your baskets right now. 524342 is your item number. Remember that if you put them in your baskets about 10 minutes when we started the show, when we saw them, you know, check them out because they're going to refresh themselves. Uh, the basket will refresh themselves. Right, we have and we have got um, here some more pearlescent card, but it's two different shades, isn't yes, it? Yes, these are uh, an ice gold and an ice silver in there. So you've got one with a hint of uh, gold and one with a hint of silver. Absolutely beautiful. 300 GSM, both double-sided. Uh, weddings, invitations, also you can colour onto them. I've got somewhere I've been doing some colouring. We can show that a li little bit later on if we get round to it. Um, but it will take ink and it will stamp. If your um, printer takes it, then they will print on as well. And you can hot foil on them through a, a laser printer. Oh, wow. You can hot foil them through the normal standard going through, you know, with, with your diet, with your cutting machines. But if you, if it can go through your laser printer, you can hot foil it through a laminating machine Fabulous. as well. Uh, right, back in stock, grab yours. You have got a massive saving, way better than half price. You're saving 20 pounds and 50 pence. Just spending 14 pounds and 49 pence. 753687 is your item number. Then, what 
one of those essentials that every crafter needs is a, a super smooth card now 240 gsm and you are getting 150 sheets in total a hundred uh, 240 gsm what do we use them for well um, um it's it's obviously super smooth it does everything that super smooth does it takes all the mediums that it does it's just a lightweight i find that it's great for you know when i'm making journals or books ah, yes, the Be, yes yeah. it's 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 a little bit more flexible than a than an heavier weight one yeah. the heavier weight one can crack sometimes Absolutely. but it, it gives a lot of flex but yes. also it's with it being um 240 gsm it's easier to die cut absolutely so if you okay. coloring them if you're spraying them coloring them and then die cutting your colored cardstock it's just uh, you, you, with it being just that slight less Absolutely. weight it's easier to go through your die cutting machines Fabulous. Uh, again better than half price because you are saving 13 pounds just paying 11.99 uh, i will grab a, a, a pack of those ones because having those different weights does definitely improve your crafting three four five and nine two two i mean that's an opinion obviously they improve the crafting but you know what i mean to have them by the way what it adds a sparkle to your cards is that gem uh, pack well that is has now sold out technically sell out but we do have got so we have got more on extended delivery that however uh, it's just what wait one more day but you still get that five pound saving and you're still getting 30 packs so that means three thousand uh, gems uh self adhesive gems five two four and uh, three four two they are still selling super fast so grab yours by checking out your basket then we have Gorgeous. Now, this is when I think jelly, jelly bean crafts. I really think of this because it's just such a clever concept. Can you talk us through it, Karen? It's a printed cardstock. It has it printed, so it's a, it's a, it can vary between a super smooth and a textured. I think the one that you've got, the green, is a, a, from what I can see, is a super smooth one. Uh, occasionally, it'll pop a textured one, but it has them. It has them color coordinatedly printed in different designs, which to me means that you don't get bored. You're never going to be bored with it because the colors are all the same because they're printed within the same batch, so you've no color variations. However, you've got different patterns to colour it. Single sided with the pattern on top. So if you do run out of um, clear card, uh, plain card stock, turn it over, ink on the other side. But the combinations go together and the patterns, it means you can add more, um, I would say more focal features to your card stock. They all mix together and you just a, a great colour, lovely, beautiful green. Absolutely. I think this is the sort of, uh, uh, what I love about having a pack like this, it's like, yes, yeah, some of, so, some, some crafters love to be creative with colorways, but sometimes we just want a quick and easy card and having the colorways. Also, I'm saying that uh, for um, having all these different patterns, you can make so much for Christmas as well. Yes. Again, yes. better than half price. You are saving 15 pounds, 14 pounds, and 40 pence is all you are paying. 132238 is your item number. Oh, look, look at a little cap for me. That's a little, you know, as well, huh? I didn't even see it until now. It's, it's gorgeous, clever. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I saw as Cheryl made that one and I saw the photograph and I thought it was going to be a big size one where I'd be able to wear it. But when I picked it up today, it's just a, a very, very tiny one, but absolutely gorgeous. So it's, it's the cardstock is able to, you're able to do construction with it. You're able to die cut it. You're able to put it through your electronic machines. As, it's... as you will with the red, I would imagine. Yes, yes, absolutely. yes. So here you have got the same configuration, just in right, red. I love that it's more of a coral red, right? Yes, yes. It's uh, it, it's it's not a, a a real red, 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 but it is red. If you look at it from a distance, yeah. it's red, but it's got a white. It's got a white core as well. But it goes well with the with the white and the pink and, the, and a tonal red. Yeah. You, you know, an even on your spotted yeah. ones, it's like an old strawberry red. It's like a, you know, like a watermelon red. Uh, is a picnic blanket red? You know, is, or it, yes, you yes. Know, yes. The picnic hamper, that kind of felt. You know, that's. Oh, does they so great, You mean like yeah. the gingham when you used to get in a picnic hamper, that kind of bread, definitely. And don't forget you've got the, the ribbons that it'll go with as well. We've got all your, all your ribbons that'll colour match with them as well. 
Be my Valentine. Be my Valentine. <laughs> I was going to say, be my Valentine. <laughs> be my Valentine. Uh, 14 pounds and 40 pence is your price. You are saving 15 pounds. 6 to 5, 245 is your item number. Now, we have got lots more as well on the on the, on the show, but we have uh, white cards here. Now, this one, I believe, is their make texture card. It's kind of a mixed media, isn't it? It's very, very mixed media. Um, Gavin's named it the Do It All card because it gave me some to try. And I've not completely exhausted it, uh, exhausted everything with it, but I've thrown water at it, I've thrown sprays at it, I've wet it, dried it, wet it, dried it, inked on it, ghosted on it. There's, there's not a lot I haven't done. I haven't done any gesso on it, but if we if we get to it today, we can try the gesso today. We're willing to try anything with it. I'm, I'm not afraid of trying anything live because I do believe that it'll take everything. All right, that is 275 just and you're getting 100 sheets in total. Uh, A36131 is your item number. 14 pounds and 49 pence is your price. You're saving 10 pounds and 50 pence. Uh, it's not a monthly mega deal, but so it means that you better get it quick because uh, it's not like we have got masses of stock and left of that. And then we have as well the A4 Teal 300 GSM 100 sheets in total still being one of the most popular crafting colors actually uh, again better than half price because it's a big saving of 15 pounds you're saving uh, you're paying 11.99 pence right and we also have a half um, where the smooth high white stamping card 250 GSM you're saving eight pounds 12.99 is your price now Karen what's the difference between these and the super smooth apart aside from the GSM GSM is 10 uh, the this the stamping card is 10 GSM yeah. higher it is not as smooth as the super smooth oh, card it's got a, it, it is smooth but there it's is not just like as it's yeah. not like satin yes yeah it, it's nice and smooth but you can still feel that there's a texture so if you're wanting to uh, if you're stamping um, very very fine yeah. things the tooth will, will keep on to it yeah. but it's not a super smooth there is just a slight it is smooth yeah. But not super smooth. It's a stamping card, which means you'd be able to do all these stamping projects with it. Absolutely. Right. So, what are you going to show us? Well, first of all, I thought I'd go through the textured card. I've actually, this is a book that I made over a year ago. And I made this live on TV yeah. over a year ago. Yeah, well, yeah, and I've kept it. So, you can imagine everything I've got in my house, can't you? Well, you told me about where you're keeping the bath. So <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely, definitely. So, this is the textured card stock. They do it all cardstock so first of all all I did was stamp on it then I've used uh, blending pens alcohol markers I've painted it with oxides pencils I've done heat embossing I've heat embossed and just washed it and then I've ghosted with oxides so I've done the oxide blending and then ghosted around the outside with water and then that's just normal blending, okay. then ghosting with a stencil, putting a stencil on it, just mopping up, uh, oxide, doing oxides and then putting Versafine through a stencil. So it even takes the nice Versafine, but it's still got that nice texture. Splashing, I've sprayed onto it straight, I've sprayed on through a stencil and then turned it over and mopped up. So that's quite a good mirror image from there. And then I've used some white texture paste and then put the pigment powders on, you know, the explosion pigment oh, wow. powders. I've done a texture gel, so that's like a clear gel, the same. This has got glitter paint on, that's the is ink glitter paint. I've done it through a stencil just with a brush with normal distress inks. Yeah, and that shows a lot the texture of it. It does, yes, yes. I says, can you, because Am I all right there, yeah? Yeah, because that for me is like, it has got, it has such a phenomenal texture it's it's absolutely astounding yeah it's, it's astounding gorgeous. it gives you that luxury feel it's and it's hard yeah. it, it still stays it keeps its stability uh, I've just done distress inks I've sprayed through the stencil and then just blotted it off pigment powders brushes things like that and then I did a shaving foam then the shaving foam that I used that I mixed up I put yeah. was, Put it through a stencil and you can see how that's done this is just a st um it's not a, it's just a stencil i mean oh. my last stencil um dry embossed and then we've done embossing folders and we've done a 2d one 
and then put ink on the other side of it to let to press it done the same with the 3d one but if you can see really really closely it's not damaged the cardstock it's not torn the cardstock and that's the 3d embossing embossing folder and i've still got loads to do i haven't done any paints or gessos or anything else like that i've got the same with the super smooth but i'll go through that in a little bit if you want Perfect, yeah. what would you like me to show you oh well what i will say a katie voice in my ear what shall we do the gold card oh yes i love that i love that because it has that sort of look 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 at that look, oof. Let's look at that. The it has got, it has that richness of gold. Also, I kind of imagine that because it's foil, I would imagine that alcohol inks would kind of work as well on top of it. Uh, alcohol inks on the gold, yes, but if you put the alcohol blender on, yeah, it takes it away. Ooh. So you can get a muted feeling with the alcohol blender. Oh, I love that. I absolutely love that. Right, of course, if you want the gold card, uh, you, are, you are getting 40 sheets in total for 9 uh, and you're saving £7. All right, 0588435 is your item number. There you have it. All of those 40 sheets of beautiful 350 GSM, you are going to get it there. 0588835 is your item number. Right. Oh, look at that. So, what are we going to make? Well, well first what of are all, you going to make? First of all, I'll just score a card all right, in yes. half for you. And yeah. I'll use my... Yeah, Teflon tool. Yeah, or... my Teflon tool to do it. Okay. I'm using just a metal one. And I've found it and I've, I've measured that if I turn it over to the inches yep. and on the six inch, but just go one eighth of an inch to the left, that near enough gives you a half fold. And I've got a, a larger ball tool, which I've gone down first of all, and then I'm going to go down with a smaller one. Don't forget, this is 350 GSM. It's it's got a, a night. It's like a. It's, it's, oh, it is like yeah. a plasticky coating on the back. It, uh, I wouldn't say satin. it was plastic. It's a satin, satin. but it's not a. It's it, it's not a stamping card Which on the back means, or anything. But, but it's, it's actually really cool. That you said for chocolates, or yes. it could be for brownies, or it could be for uh, little bath bombs, or something like Any, this, anything that, that needs more. to keep that doesn't. That, so so the, there's no oil going to seep through it or anything like that. That. So then I will just score that over and I want to just show you the scoring. I'll score on both sides. If you saw, I did score it both sides and I'm just burnishing both sides. But oh, that, glorious. when you straighten it out, any foil will do that because that's where I've broken all yes. the all the fibres. Um, you, ne you, you can't break the fibres on top because it's a coating on yeah. top. But when you've got that down there like that... Oh. It's absolutely amazing. But that's gorgeous. If you want, we can make a box. Yes, a little that would box be if you want. Absolutely. Uh, we'll turn it over to the centimetres. We're not doing any measurements. I mean, just to make it clarify, you have got chocolates to put inside the box, though, haven't you? No, sorry. Oh. Disappointment. No, nope, I've not got chocolates to put inside that's the all box. Right. I think I always carry with me a pack of chocolates. Well, you're a chocoholic, aren't you? Yeah. I actually have waiting for me, a uh, you know, I have got chocolate, I have got bowlers, which are like, you know, ch Oops. bowls of chocolate with, anyway, brownies as well. <laughs> oh, I've been offered a brownie, yeah. yeah. Yeah, don't go too, ru don't rush too much. <laughs> so you can see here what I've done, yeah. I've actually gone over it. What I would do is turn it over, use your Teflon tool and just yeah. rub. If you rub the other side of it, it usually oh, straightens yeah. it out. Excellent. And then you can just gently rub away with a Teflon tool. You can't beat a Teflon tool with your cardstock, but that's taken most of it away. Nice and gently, just rubbing out the crease. But take your time when you're doing it. Don't forget you've got to go through 350 GSM. Did you want a full box, Paula, or did you want just part of box? Uh, a half a box now look see what you've what i've done there that's because i'm pressing far yeah. too heavy okay, yeah. yeah don't press would it heavy help if we are using a teflon tool or we'll know. do a teflon tool at the back of the teflon oh, tool yeah. right no 
That doesn't do that, does it? It's too thick. It's too thick for this one. It's board. too thick. Oh, and what yeah. I had done is I'd put the little one yeah. in rather than the big one. Yeah, well, so, yeah. I mean, that's obviously, what I it depends know. which embossing t uh, tool you have, or yeah. also the embossing uh, board, because I have some that have got a wider aperture or got wider groove. Yes, yes. So, you can put a big. Uh, so nice and yeah, steady. It's not like scoring a card. It's a heavyweight cardstock. Yeah. It's 350 GSM. So what I will do, instead of making a box, let's do a little interior. Let's change this to an interior Ooh. to go inside a box, shall we? Excusing the mistake that I made, I'm double scoring it because it's, it's 350 GSM. Yeah. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn it the other way around. And when I'm doing anything that's got a box on, I'll see a long end and a short end. And what I would do is I would cut into there and make the strength on the corners of the long end. So rather than going, we, what we tend to do, if it's square, I'd cut there, 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 going round in a circle. But because it's not square, I want the strength on the on the length yeah. on the the long end. And we're going to hide this. You're not going to see this by the time I've done. And then, and we're, we're not scoring it outwards. We're going to score it inwards. I see. Because it's the inside that we are It's the inside creating. that we're going to put the cakes in. <gasps> cupcakes. Uh, the inside for cupcakes. And... Uh, or if you've got, if you're doing uh, wedding, you know, wedding boxes or anything else yeah. for, for weddings. Now I'm scoring it now before yeah. I do any yeah. cutting. Right. If try popping it like that, you're going to find that it's not going to, okay, yeah. it's not going to so fit. Yeah. So you'll just okay. need to trim a little bit off. Absolutely. Don't stick it with glue. Do it with uh, red liner tape uh -huh. uh, you'll need a strong tape to do it and look here we go look okay. paula got rid of it yeah you got rid of it yeah nobody will know i Ev don't know every, they are watching every handed every handed uh, but that's and the, thing, the wrong yeah. the wrong part even if you like i was thinking even if you messed up the box you could always take it, uh, trim it down and use it for matching and layering that's the beauty of paper crafting and crafting in general. There's always ways round to it. Oh, and wrap it in ribbon. Absolutely. By the time they've opened it up, they don't, the, the person doesn't realise that there's a mistake on it yeah, anyway. Absolutely, they are devouring the chocolate. They're devouring anyway. whatever you put into it, yeah. Yeah, they're devouring whatever you put into it. I'm not going to overdo it with the tape because we could be here forever popping it on. I'm just doing it for speed okay. and there we go we have a uh, red liner tape as seven day savers you want to have a look for them on the website uh, you have got the savings as the one oh uh, yeah Walter strong red liner tape with the collection so you are getting uh, the three mil the six mil nine mil 12 mil rolls and of course the one that you are using is it nine or 12 this mil? is a 12 yeah, mil, 12 mil. I wanted it to cover quite a quite a lot. Uh, you are getting twelve uh, reels in total. Would I imagine that's three or yeah, something? Three, I don't I don't know. Just check out how much are you getting of each reel, uh, each size. Twelve ninety nine. Oh, sixty meters in total. Twelve reels, uh, but we don't know how how many of each uh, with ten ninety nine the price into. But the, the things. So what I'm doing is I'm not making it as a box with the um, the outside, uh, you know, with the, the folds going over on the outside. I'm bringing them inside for the simple reason is now you've got <gasps> a tray. That is good. And if I do a spritzing of water, let's have a look. We have got some water here, Paula. Yeah, uh, if I spritz a little bit of water Ooh. into it, you can see that it's going to. It's, yeah, it's not. So, it's not soaking into it or anything. Yeah. It's virtually going to be waterproof. And uh, you put cakes and buns in that, and then you make another one just round the outside. Yeah. You've got a nice little tray. Absolutely. Pop it into the Absolutely side. Gorgeous. Just to just to make it fit. What I would do is. 
uh, make two exactly the same, but take about three mil off two sides, yeah. and one will fit into before the other you score before it. you score it. Fabulous, yeah. yeah. Right, if you, uh, well, Karen, well, Karen resets for her next demo. Let's have a reminder of what we have here from you, for you uh, from Jenny Crabbins. Uh, first of all, we are going to start with the ribbon here. We have the pink and purple collection. You are getting 11 reels in total. Let's, I'm going to open it. I'm going to go for it. Uh, because I'm going to go and show that gorgeous organza ribbon. Now, it is absolutely stunning. That gorgeous deep, it's a, like a hochanda pink, isn't it? It's just that beautiful fuchsia pink. Then you have the, you know, baby kind of pink. This one is a little bit more of a blush pink. This one more of a, a baby pink. And then you have proper red, rich reds. I love that. It's this Marlowe or a kind of a, you know, Malbec or something like that, like that sort of well, uh, look at that. Goes really well with my jumper. Uh, and then you have the mauve, the gorgeous kind of, you know, like, oh, I don't know which one it would be this color. It's like kind of almost blackberry, but kind of, I know it's not, blackberry is a little bit uh, darker. Anyway, we have uh, 11 reels in total from different widths, different th for thicknesses, however, 11 reels in total, a minimum of 20 yards in each. Uh, you have a saving of six pounds, 11.99 is your price, 251.599 is your item number. So we put them here as well on top, there we have, there it is. Right, we have then uh, the next b bundle that we have is the beautiful gingham and the to uh, polka dots. You can see them here. Now you have different widths as well. So there is two of the po uh, gingham that are a little bit thinner and the wider ones at the bottom of it. Now all of it, all those 10 reels for eleven ninety nine, as assorted uh, colors and assorted widths. But look at that. I love how you can mix and match with other, per you know, other cards and then create a beautiful kind of you know bow or flower I love the way I oh know this one is from the previous one I love that one it's so cute look at that right I wanted to ask them my producer said oh she's like show the tree show the tree uh, right here you have now this is inspiration these are not the, the right kind of, obviously you have got satin ribbon here, but imagine what you could do. This is a polystyrene, um, you know, tree cone. And then of course you can add all those leaves in here, all that detail there. 11.99 is your price. You are saving eight pounds. 910.971 is your item number. Moving on to the gems, incredibly busy for this. It has now sold out once. If you do not want to miss, well, you can check out your baskets now. Uh, will be extended delivery. Just wait for one extra day, but you will get all of the 30 packs. Now, it is a source. The contest may vary, you are, but you are going to get 30 packs for just 9.99. Now, if you know, even people like me that you know, I I don't like, I don't put too much sparkle in my cards. However, the one thing I always kind of like to have is a variety of gems just even if it's just to put a little bit in between you know kind of accentuate the die cut and the fact that for instance in this one you can see this is black uh, gems you know that has a very very elegant look we are already a quarter of the extended gone uh, now that means that if you want yours I wouldn't uh, you know wait too long now when you get gems at this price is when you kind of think, I can put loads in it. I can really go for it. They are self-adhesive. However, if you can use them onto fabric, if you use a uh, fabric adhesive as well, and that's, so that could be for Katie and for Karen, and it could be for Kieran, and it could be for Ken as well. Uh, Ken. Uh, which is Katie's granddad, apparently. Uh, 524 uh, 342 is your item number. 999 is your price. You're saving five pounds. If you have got other names uh, with K, do us, let us know. Uh, you know, studio at hotchanta.com. Anyway, we have Catherine. Yeah, if, of course, Catherine does as well like that. Uh, I was going to, well, there's a lot. There's other. Chris, uh, Chris, there you are. Kirsty. Uh, also, um, Christina, yeah, absolutely, there is a lot of them. Right, so you have now, the next bundle we are looking at is champagne. 
is double-sided, you ha have 350 GSM. So it is a really thick card, uh, perfect for construction. Now, certain dies will die cut beautifully with it. Obviously, the more intricate, it will depend on your die cutting machine and the, and the blades as well. 999 means that it's half price. Two so is double-sided. 623760 is your item number. Then the craft cards, I adore it. Yeah, lots of crafters adore it because you can stamp on two with white. You you can stamp and emboss as well with different colors. It's double-sided in the sense that you are getting a warmer tone and a kind of a, you know, I call it a little slightly a softer side. It means that you can stamp on the both of them. It's 285 GSM, so construction weight as well. 9.99 is your price. Uh, you're saving seven pounds. And look at that gorgeous. I love that. Uh, 523.7A4 is your item number. Then we have got, we have the gorgeous gold card that, that Karen has been using. Uh, now they say you are getting 40 sheets in total, 350 GSM. Now you are saving seven pounds. That's a basic saving for 350 GSM card. Uh, you are, and you are only paying 9.99 for it. 058835 is your item number. Right, then we have uh, the gorgeous ice gold and ice silver. Uh, so it's very hard to see sometimes in the camera, but there, the, the, you can see the slight difference. It's definitely more visible in real life than in the camera, but uh, there it is. Uh, you have a 20 pounds and 50 pence saving, 14 pounds and 49 pence. Uh, 753687 is your item number. Then super smooth. This is a card that you can stamp. Always super popular. Uh, in here you are getting 150 sheets in total. 240 GSM. Perfect for die cutting. Perfect for your construction as well. But more importantly, like Karen was saying, is the inside of your pages, you know, it gives you a little bit more ex flexibility than going for 300 GSM. And of course, that saving, that amazing 13 pound saving, means that you get it better than half price. 11.99 is your price. 345.92 is your item number. Then we are going into the pattern colors. Now, these are well, pattern colors because uh, you can see in here that you have different patterns. Now, you are going to get a couple of, uh, you know, patterns like it's paper, 190, but GSM, but most of it is 300 GSM. It's towards the car, it's really construction, uh, construction weight. Now, that means that you will be able to create cars from scratch and knowing that the color coordinates perfectly. As I mentioned, Christmas cards are done as a thing for those masculine makes as well. H having a weight that is construction means that you are going to be able to create uh, gift boxes as well. Uh, 14 pounds and 40 pence means that is half price or better than half price because you are saving 15 pounds. 132 238 is your item number. Now, talking about Christmas, what goes with green in Christmas? Well, it is red, and we have got that pattern as well there. Right, so we have a, a pattern. Oh, <laughs> for once, I was too tall. You know, never happened that before in my life. No. Not that much too tall. So anyway, uh, six to five, two four five is your item number. Fourteen pounds and forty pence is your price. You're saving fifteen pounds, better than half price. And then uh, finally, we have. Oh no, no. Finally, we have got a couple more. Uh, we have got the beautiful teal. Gorgeous, a smooth card as well. 300 GSM. Look at how beautiful that look with. Uh, it does look with uh, with the black. 11.99 is your price. You're saving 15 pounds. Way better than half price. Isn't it that amazing prices in this hour? And it's A4, but that doesn't mean that you, with a little bit of clever construction, you can create. This is like a, a drum, isn't it? It looks like a drum, uh, but it could be like a, a cake uh, box. And so 312704 is your item number. And then we have the stamping card. Now this stamping card is 250. Uh, you have there here a little bit, you know, like it, it's, it's not as satin as the super smooth, uh, but 12.99 means that you have got a, a fabulous price as well there. Uh, eight pounds saving, 580149 is your item number. Now on the website, you can find everything else uh, that we have been looking at. Make sure that you check out your baskets. Very busy show, we already sold out of the gems ones. Remember, they are back in the stock. 
Uh, but look at those five star reviews as well of those beautiful spots and stripes scarf collections as well. Remember also we have got the do it all uh, texture card and the seven day savers as well. So we have also in that we have got the red liner tape as well as matte black card. Right and that texture card that we were talking about. Now is this fabulous? I really love the feel of it. Yes. With watercolours, does it work? Yes, it does work with watercolours. You, um, it, it spreads beautifully. The one thing that I did find is once it has, you have dried it off, it doesn't, the colour doesn't run. Absolutely. Yeah. So it makes it permanent. Yeah. Not permanent, but it makes it more steadfast yeah. as soon as it's dried. Yeah. While it's still wet, you can keep spreading it and spreading it. But Absolutely. when it's, once it's dried, I found that I couldn't go back in yeah, and ghost as as readily as Absolutely. when I was working with it. So yeah, it's one of those that you're going to have to do with the job. Absolutely. All in one and go. Yeah, right, so. uh, now, Karen, what are you? So we've, I've been asked to use the green, and Ooh. what I thought I'd do is I've uh, I've cut down a piece of the, the green spotted, and I've cut it from to, to 29 centimetres. Okay, yeah. So I've made it an even yeah. an even one. I'm going to do a pizza box okay. that's going to be an A6 one. So if you cut it down just to, you don't have to do any more mm. measurements apart from cut it down Ooh. to 29. We don't want 290, 29.7. Yeah, I, I know, yeah. Um, and and then we know half of 29, so I've scored two centimetres all the way round. Um, I've done it while I've been waiting to, for, for speed. And then halfway between 29, so I know that these are two centimetres. Halfway between 29 is 14 and a half. And I need another rim of two centimetres around that. So 14 and a half with two centimetres, you go one centimetre one yeah. way, one centimetre the other way. So I've scored at 13 and a half and 15 and a half. Yeah. That would then, I've done all the cutting that I need to do, so you don't want to, to watch me do that. Sorry, I'm just bobbing that there. And then I'm going to fold that one down and I'm going to fold that one backwards and forwards. You want to flap it off. Okay. So what happens then is that, and we'll, we'll get yeah. these glued. Oh, of course. I'm going to leave these two to start with. Absolutely. Now, we are very busy on the, uh, you know, we have a QS on the phone, so please do check if you have got access to the internet, hochenda.com would be the easiest and fastest way to check out your baskets. So I'm just bobbing, gluing, and doing half a box. Obviously, I would take a lot more time with this at home. And... And let's see if it might not stick until I hold okay, it. Yeah. It takes a couple of seconds to stick. Absolutely. Well, about th about 15 seconds for it yeah. for the uh, the awkward archer glue to to stick. And then we're going to get that one in. Yeah. I would you'd, at at home you'd stand there and you'd wait for it to to stick or you'd pin it. So you can see here if while I'm holding this, if you can see I've glued the two corners at the outside and the other two corners and these I haven't. Now I've made this my top so this bit wants to go into there however right. if I pop it in you will see that it's not going to fit exactly. Yeah. You can see there. So the part that's going to go bend in I'm going to chop a little bit out of. All right. And that will make it and we'll chop that little bit out of. I'll show you once I've done it. She says, trying to get her arms around it. So the bits that I'm folding in, I've had a little bit chopped out of just there. And if I turn it to the side, you'll be able to see what I'm... There, that's better, isn't it? A little bit of glue on those. Yeah, uh, we are approaching 50% of the stock of the beautiful green card collection with the spots and the stripes, which is what you are currently using. Mm -hmm. Scores absolutely, gloriously, beautifully. So we're just sticking one and then we're going to stick the other. We have cut a bit of gold out Ooh, yeah. and we've cut some of the spots out and I'll show you how things go together. And we're going to do some ribbons. I better pop the top on this glue so that I don't dry it out. Okay. She says, there yeah, we go. It's always, 
Do you find it that, uh, you know, when you are on live on TV, like, to put it back, it's even more difficult? <laughs> yes, life, yes, yeah? yes. So we've got a top there that goes to and fro. This little bit will always stick around the outside, but you can see there, by doing those measurements, you've now got that, which will take an A6 card and envelope, so you could make... Uh, that's me A6 on there. You could do a, a little card set. Oh, that would be lovely. Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to get some ribbon on it and sh show you how I mess with ribbon. Oh, yes. Yeah, I've got some glue sticks. Let's you turn this on. You have about five minutes. About five there. minutes. Not a problem. So you get that much. Don't worry how much you use. So what I'm going to do is I start off going above the top. I'll then tie it underneath and twist it a little bit don't worry about that underneath there making sure that my spots go to the top and then i'll put one underneath there and then i'll pop one underneath there and don't worry because i'm going to bring that we'll have that to the top left hand corner bring it here i'm going to knot that now okay i'm going to put a knot in it but I'm not worried, I'm not being, I'm not having to worry about how much. Mind your fingers on the glue gun, Karen. Yeah. <laughs> Going to do a nice little bow. Yeah. Like that. And I'm not, I'm, I'm leaving that as it is. So we're going to cut that off at an angle. This bit I'm now going to pop under here. Tie that in a knot. There we go. Oh, that's... Take that Absolutely. one under. I'm only doing this really, really quickly. So we'll cut that into two. And we'll do the same under there. We'll put them one under. Tie it into a knot. And twist it round. And then where do we want another one under there? So I've now done, done that. Yeah. Yep. That's that yeah. part done. It's easily to pop her. Yeah. Oh look! Yeah, that goes around like that. To cut yeah. them, cut them at angles. And the greens are so gorgeous. Oh, it's gorgeous! Greens. Absolutely gorgeous. The whole, all the colours and the quality of it is amazing. So now what I'm going to do is, so this is the gold that I cut. Yeah. I'm going to. Put that one there. Yeah. So we'll stick that one down there with a little bit of glue, she says. Work, work. Oh, work, yeah, work, yeah. work. Yeah. There we oh, go. Oh, there it is. Nice once, blob. Once you get one in, get a nice blob. Don't forget, I'm rushing this. Yeah. So that's going to go there. We've cut one with the green. And that's, you see how it's, how beautiful it's cut. Yeah. How that bit's cut into it. We've just mm -hmm. bobbed that to there. How long we got? Uh, we have uh, under three minutes. Under three minutes. Yeah, so cool. Enough, actually, to be precise. Cool. We'll do the flower as well. So I've cut a flower out. Just one of my standard, standard. Yeah, uh, yeah the, the rolly up. Yeah, flowers. the rolly up one. Yeah. I don't know what's the technical word. A spiral um, flower. A spiral flower. A spiral yeah. Flower. And show you that even though the, it will crease, it'll be creases into it. But don't worry, get it into your, yeah. your tool. Absolutely. Can you see my tongue coming out now to see it? Oh, I did. No, <laughs> I was not there. your thing. <laughs> oh, right, if you want your greens, spots and stripes, there and we, we go. have the collection there, uh, details on the screen, better than half price. We're saving £15, just paying £14.40. Right, so you put the quilling tool in. Yeah, I put the quilling tool in to start it off. And yes, I can see that it's creasing. It's cardstock, it will crease. Yeah. But when I've finished, I'll take that out now. And don't forget, you can shape these. Absolutely. They'll all be shaped. And then I'm going to let it go. Yeah. See if that glue will stick back in there. Yeah. Pop that in there. Yeah. That will give me that one. Yeah. I'm just going to hold that. I've got a couple. I've got a, a, different, a different one here. And then all I'm going to do is just straighten this round. And then I start adding my roses yeah. i would let this dry obviously i need another one i've got two 
stick some glue on there. Oh, look at that, isn't just gorgeous. And that's very much like all the bits that you've got there. And then if I show you a red ribbon, a red one, I've got a red one here. That's the same card oh, stock. Yeah. Yeah. And all I'm going to do then is twirl it back so it will open up as long as you warm it. We are approaching limited stock in the uh, green uh, collection. If you want yours, please do check out your baskets. Remember, you have got you have that 15 pounds saving there, which is means that it's better than half price because you are paying less than what you are saving. 14 pounds and 40 pounds is the price for a hundred sheets in total. It's just on the screen for uh, it's absolutely the red good. one's not going to go there, but I that's, actually like that's, it. That's a um, what 10 minute gift wrapped up absolutely. when you're running at last minute, but absolutely. you do take more time to do it. But look where the, the more ribbon you put on, the more luxurious it looks. Absolutely. The cardstock, absolutely perfect, goes, yes, goes a treat. Right, uh, you know, at home, do check out your baskets because you will grab bargains at uh, well, a beautiful quality card. After the break, more inspiration. And Karen, you will be back at nine. I'm back at five. At five? Well, five good. with paper, paper rolls, five and nine today. Right. Uh, after the break, we are letting Leone lose with a pink ink brand new collection. Then at, four, at three, a paper discovery with a vintage high street, and then four, the happy puzzle comes. Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on a chanda. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves with high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products.
Make sure you don't miss the Orange Create shows on Hachanta. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque, and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals, and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Welcome, it's marvellous to have your company. This is the second hour and the brand new stamps from Pink Ink. And as ever, they're amazing. Um, I love it when we get to show you the originals because it's just mind-blowing. Um, absolutely fantastic artwork as, as ever. Um, now, it's not just me, of course, our Alex is in the corner. Whoop, whoop. There she is. Um, <laughs> so our Alex will be giving you a refresh after first demonstration. But let's show you the stamps. I am going to show you the actual stamps because they're way bigger than on the packaging um, and they are absolutely exquisite now all the stamps are available individual so if you did want to go from individual you have got that option but obviously we have got different options for you, you can go for two or you can go for a set of three so there's loads of different ways that you can purchase them um, the bundles have of course got the discounts and um, the set of three has got a seven pound seven because the other seven is rolled over so definitely the way to shop now first of all I, lo I love them all. Um, I love them because the delicacy of this is amazing. I mean, that is so um, wispy. Do you know what I mean? Oh, is that actually going out? Because I can see that. Oof, oof, we're having little... Uh, that looks like my head sometimes. Um, that was one of our cameras having a little bit of a turn. Um, so you can see now the detail. Um, so what you've got, you've got all these beautiful little extras, which are amazing. You've got the sentiment there as well. I love that you've got a solid stamp. So it gives you variations to build up your images. Absolutely stunning. Now, what you've got with this one, of course, um, is a big stamp. I mean, these are big stamps so please make sure um, you, you remember that because when you're working with them they are absolutely stunning now this one is your um, your classic clematis I always forget the name of your clematis that is your classic clematis that's your first one absolutely stunning the next one the fox gloves oh I love the fox gloves I mean that is again such a big stamp whether you're using these as backgrounds whether you're using these as a feature and um, the fox glove has been the most popular yay that's one of my favorites again I do love the solid images I like the fact that you get a solid in the butterfly but then you've got the ability to overlay same with mr. snail there um, just again stunning the detail when you get home these home and you see the detail now this one I must admit favorite favorite um, absolutely love this this is your lilac and it's just the movement of it I think that will cover a page wonderfully you know it can be quite um it could be all over the shop as well can this one again you've got extras so you've got a really nice border in that that board you'll use for all the other ones you've got your solid stamps so they'll create more impact on that one absolutely stunning so that one is your beautiful lilac um, and it is about the detail uh, you won't really rec you won't appreciate the detail till you get them home and stamp them if I'm honest I mean they're so filigree and ridiculously stunning this is the rose and the rose is just exquisite again a huge stamp there you've got with the extras you've got your open roses but then you've got those solid stamps you can create a beautiful um, or, um, uh, wreath with 
avoid that one. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word. Uh, you've got sentiments on them all as well. And I haven't been reading out the sentiments, but you do get sentiments on every single one of them. Last but by no means least is the wonderful fuchsia. And the fuchsia, you can see the fuchsias hanging down there. I mean, fuchsias are just gorgeous, aren't they? And this, again, so realistic, so, so um, elegant. And you've got all the little extras. Um, and, of course, your wonderful little sentiments. And you've got some really nice doodly stamps on them as well. So these are wonderful for backgrounds. Right, I need to show you finished samples because the finished samples from the team are amazing. Like this. This has been sent in. A lovely book. And I just think on just stamps, out on your um, your brown card looks amazing. I mean, that is literally just stamped with black, bit of white gel pen, and they just look so pretty. Don't they look beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. And see, yeah, that's that beautiful border that you get as well, which is a really nice border stamp. I mean, the extras are wonderful. Then that's the way the butterfly works and the little snail. See, that's your little snail. So that's how they work. And then they're extras that uh, you're not going to get them. Absolutely stunning. Let me show you some more. I mean, look at this. There's so many variations. There's so many different ways of using them. And, of course, the team are so good because the team have created so many different looks. I mean, they just look at that. Beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. I will have to show you this one again. I did show you this in the last hour, but it's just mind-blowing what she's done with this. Because, look at this. So this one's by Sheila. I mean, the front looks amazing. So much colour. You know, the way she's coloured this in is wonderful. Watch this. Wow, look at all that fussy cutting. I mean, seriously, she has spent hours creating that. Look at that, the fussy cutting that's in this is just ridiculous, but it looks amazing. I mean, that is just exquisite. Look at that one. The cutting on that. And I love that she's put the stakes so it means the flowers can wrap around the stakes. Attention to detail is phenomenal on that. I just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful book. Um, whether you are using these for um, for your card making, maybe you're going to be framing these, maybe you are going to be making them into books. I mean, there's so many ways to use them. And the thing is, with something like this, um, they're easy. Because the stamps do so much of the work, because they look so effective. I mean, look at how many variations. Look at that. That looks like a printed page, doesn't it? Absolutely amazing. I mean, that is ridiculous how she's coloured that in. It's just striking, absolutely striking. OK, if you do want these, you've got options. Um, so if you want to go from individual, you can do that, of course. Um, however, what we've got on the screen at the moment, you're picking three. Now, it is up to you, so you can pick your favourites. You know, pick the ones that are, are your personal favourite. Or you can look at them and say, yeah, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. So they just inspire you. If you're going for that one, now, the saving that you'll get on the picking two is carried over. And then an extra £3 saving is added. So you're actually saving um, £7 pounds I do believe on that pick and mix price if you're going for three and you've got your flex it so you can spread the payment so you're not paying the whole thing at once and your first payment would have been for the flexi um Bear with it is, it is, it is. £23 and 42 pence. That's your first one. So that's all you need to pay if you're going for your first flexi and going for all three. 554-527 is your item number. Now, that's your first way of going from. Or you can pick any two. If you want to pick two, um, then again, the choice is yours. If you want all of them, get three and pick two. You know, buy them like that because that's your best deal. And you get a flexi on this one. You're saving £4 on there. Remember, that four is carried forward. Uh, that seven is carried forward if you're going for the, the more... Um the set of three. Now, £31.90 is your price. 133649 is your item number. So, as I said, if you are going for all five, you go for your three and then you get your two. That's how you're going to go for that. And then, of course, you will get £11 saving there and you will be able to get that flexi basket. 133649, however, if you are going for two. Um, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I mean, pink ink always, always bring us sensational stamps and they 
are just up there. Um, and what I love about them, they'll mix and match. Now, they'll mix and match beautifully with so many pink ink stamps already in the range. But they put these on the show because they go so well with these stamps as well. I mean, literally, they, they just work together. I have to play with these in this hour. Um, absolutely stunning. I mean, look at her. This is your best friends. I just, a friends forever. Love that. Absolutely love that stamp. She is beautiful. The most beautiful fairy. And I love that she's got a little mouse. And then you've got all those extras. So you've got a little snail in there. You've got the fungi. Fungi. You've got lovely, lovely little ferns. Now, 50% of the stock has gone on her on her own. Remember, you can get them individual. If you did want her individual, she's there. Sat at the bottom of your screen. Um, the next one, and these are ridiculously cute. I mean, their faces are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And these are your um, thistle... See, I wanted to say... Thistle hogs. I want to call them thistle pigs then. <laughs> uh, but they are your thistle hogs. Now, we did sell out of these on their own earlier. Um, so the only way of getting these now is in that fantastic bundle. You've got loads of extras. And I'll I love that because if you're saving all these, if you're collecting all these, you've got so many gorgeous little extra things. And the little keys, have you seen that? They're keys with wings. Oh, it's just so magical, so magical. They're absolutely gorgeous. It is a little bit like that, that wizard. Um, and then the next one that you've got, stunning. Um, this is just beautiful. And this one isn't the friends always. This one is, I can't... There we go. So this is your dandelion ballet. Um, you've got the beautiful ballet dancer, which she's got wings, so she could be a fairy. Um, you've got the wonderful uh, dandelion clock. I mean, this is such a beautiful stamp set as well. Just the detail. Let me show you some of the samples that the team have done. I mean, just have a look at her. Now, over 50% of the stock has gone of our beautiful dandelion ballet. Um, I mean, look at that. Look at the wings. Amazing, absolutely amazing. There's so many different things that you can do with this. I love that. Look at that. And this is your friends always at the minute. I'm going to throw, show you all the samples. Absolutely stunning. Um, beautiful, beautiful detail. I look, this. You can tell it's my favourite, this one. Look at her. It's the work that the team have done. They are so good, so good. There's your thistle hogs. Look at your little thistle hogs. They're beautiful. They're so ridiculously cute. And then let me show you some of the dandelions because look at that. Now with that, when you look at that, that hasn't got the fairy out, the fairy, the ballerina on it all. That is just the dandelion clocks. I love that though because I just think with the dandelions, it's one of those that you'll use over and over and over again, aren't they? There's just such an easy one to use. I mean, have a look at that. Gorgeous. Now, if you do want the dandelion on its own, you have got that option. However, the best way of going for these is definitely the whole collection. You're getting 27 stamps in total. You're saving £5.60, um, just £48.25, pounds, or two payments, £24.13. Pounds, and, and they are just divine. Now, three quarters of the stock has gone of this. So if you do want this, please check your basket out. Remember, your lovely little thistle hogs um, has sold out on its own. So the only way of getting it is in that bundle, 853-526. Now, we've also got on the show, and we did chat about these earlier, um, the beautiful ink pads. Now, your first ones, these are brilliant because um, they've been going for years and years and years. However, the reason they're still going is because you can use them on your cardstock and everything, but they're perfect for using on your fabric. And obviously, with the Pink Ink Girls, they had to have something that's good for fabric. Brilliant for backgrounds, brilliant for direct stamping. When you heat set them, they are permanent. On fabric, you can wash them, which is amazing. That always just, it's staggering. Um, really nice bright colours as well. Now, you've got all six of these for £13.99. 668968 is your item number. And the paints, the paints are gorgeous. Multi-surface paints. I mean, the sheen on these is just exquisite. If I just give that a little twist so you can see that sheen. Beautiful, aren't they? Now, that's on wood, pure wood. It's not had, you know, any coating on it, pure wood. Um, the last one, that has been painted black with um, the paint over the top to give you the shimmer because you can see... 
Can you see? It's got that gorgeous shimmer to it. So it's just a clear, but it's got the glitter in it. So you have got your gorgeous Atlantic blue. You've then got the soft mulberry, which is stunning. The aubergine is amazing. And then the sparkle star. That aubergine, look at that colour. Oh, man, that's rich. £16.99. That's your first set. They are uh, multimedia, but they'll go on fabric again. And I know this is why the ladies chose these, because they go so well on fabric. Now, the second set, again, this one is a glittery one, so it's a clear, but then you get that wonderful glittery finish. So you can see the beautiful gold shimmer that you've got going on there. You've then got that beautiful spiced pumpkin which is just gorgeous. Uh, the next one, I love this because it's a really bright red, which is just gorgeous. And that is your fire shimmer. Hold on a minute. I can't quite read that one. Uh, strawberry fire shimmer. And then last but not least, you've got a hot pink, uh, which is wonderful. I went that way. Um, now then, £60.99 is your price. 128716 is your item number. And business on those. Um, please check your baskets out. Have a look at the website though. You'll be able to see all the beautiful stamps and you'll be able to see all the different configurations that we've got as well with those stamps. So if you are going, it means it's up to you. It's up to you if you go for singles, it's up to you if you go for um, for your multis, uh, the choice is yours. So have a little look, have a look, a look at the different deals that we've got for you. Um, if you have any questions, email in studio at chanda.com. We will try and show those photos that we got in from the two o'clock hour because I know we weren't able to show them earlier. So we will try and show them. Um, so if you do want to get your photos in, uh, hopefully it will all be working now when we can get to show them. Right, okay, I'm ready. I didn't roll these back up because I know I was showing them again in this hour I've made sure my surface is clean look at these the originals I mean isn't that just beautiful and uh, they're saying in the first hour um, Kathy's actually used the paints that are on the show and you can tell because they've got that amazing shimmer can you see the shimmer so the background and that shimmer has done, been done with the paints. That is just amazing. absolutely exquisite, exquisite. Um, so that's your clematis. I'm going to test myself now. The rose. Look at your rose. I mean, obviously, this isn't your stamp size. Um, look at that. Can you imagine having a stamp that size? Look at that. Isn't that just amazing? Oh, won't that make gorgeous washi to um, thingy as well? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now, those, um, so the second option, you know your three A5 stamp sets, the one with the, um, the Friends Forever, that is limited stock. So if you do want that one, please check your baskets out because it's limited stock. That isn't what I'm showing you now. Um, it's the other ones, <laughs> uh, but not the ones I'm showing you now. These are the, the brand, brand new ones. Hold on, let me turn that the right way around. Look at that. Stunning, absolutely stunning. That's your fuchsia. And I love that. Again, the colours, the colours, these are the paints on the show. So if you're loving those rich colours and the sheen that it's got, you can see the sheen. If you're loving that, the paints that we've got will give you that. So that finish, you can achieve that finish with these. Remember, these are all Kathy's original artwork for the flowers that we've got on today's show, which is just exquisite. And look at this. Yeah, that's my favorite. I love, I love lilac anyway. I adore lilac, but look at that. It's such a good stamp. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. She's so good. She's so, I love seeing this. I love seeing the original artwork. See, I'm tidying up as I go along this time. I love seeing the original, oh, I'm nearly tidying up as I'm going along. I love seeing the original artwork because it is so inspiring and it's just, oh, it's just breathtaking. When you look at these and think, oh my gosh, she's painted these. She's so clever. She's so artistic. Stunning. And it's stunning. Um, and that is basically where the stamps have been um, are based on. That's your, your imagery that they've come from. Isn't that incredible? Okay, shall we get crafting? Because... Let's get crafting. Let's roll our sleeves up and go for it. So we have got some Bockingford sh uh, card on the show. Where have I put my Bockingford? Um, if you do want your Bockingford, it's a beautiful um, 
uh, cardstock. It is a watercolour cardstock, so you've got that wonderful quality to it. Uh, but it's a lovely smooth cardstock as well. So it does mean when you're doing different techniques, I'm trying to find mine, um, when you're doing different techniques, it's at the area. Um, it's absolutely perfect. So it allows you to really play, does the Bockingford. So what we're going to do, first of all, let's get a gorgeous wash background on it. So something similar. And so what you've just seen, but of course we're doing, well, we're doing it a lot different because it's me. Uh, so I'll use some of the beautiful paints that we've got. So I'm just going to use a tiny, tiny bit. I mean, these are strong paints. You do not need a lot. So I'm using there the wonderful hot pink, which is gorgeous. And then I'm going to use a little bit of that beautiful orange. When you get your little, these bits, keep them because they look great on your mixed media project. So I'll keep all of those. Some pop. There we go. Beautiful. So popping that there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to wet this through because I know then I can get some real movement with the paint. And then I'm going to get a nice brush and start layering my paint up. So I've got a nice wet brush and I'm just going to go in and bring the paint in. Then I don't need to be precise. I don't need to be perfect. I've got a little bit of movement going on there anyway because of the cardstock. So it's just going to give it a really nice wash. That pink's lovely in it. And mixing in with orange, you get like a... Um, like a really nice soft peachy tone which is just exquisite now i've gone for um a full color wash on there you don't need to it looks quite nice sometimes if you only go for you know um a little bit in the center so you're not going for a full color wash uh, but the choice is yours you do whatever you fancy do whatever you fancy and let's get a bit darker like that which is lovely okay now I am going to blast this dry. Blast it dry because then when I stamp over the top of it, it'll be set, it'll be sealed. Do you know what? I'm not working on it. I'm, not. I'm now wondering if this is a Bockingford. I don't think it is, you know. I thought I had some in my um, moustache, but I don't seem to have. And unfortunately, I haven't got it for me to pinch from. Okay, so giving it a blast dry. And what I love about this, this paint, if you go on direct, it's really strong. You know, you'll get a really intense finish. But when you do it like this, you'll get such a beautiful wash, but you still get, and I wonder if you can see this, because you still get some of that shimmer. Because it's got the gorgeous shimmer in it, you're still getting some of that shimmer. You can see that. And it's lovely because it's subtle yet really, really effective. Um, stunning, stunning paint. And you can use it because you can use it on fabric and everything. It allows you to do all sorts with it. OK, so let's play with the stamps now. Now, with this, I decided um, I wanted something quite... I'll go for... Shall I go for the rose? Let's go for the rose. Oh, decisions, decisions. This is the thing where you've got all these stamps. I mean, you've got so much choice with these, and they are just exquisite, but just nice and easy. I want to, in this hour, I've already stamped embossing white, so I want to show you stamped on white. I want to stamp on black cardstock as well with them. So just play around with the different surfaces. Okay, so what I'm doing, your beautiful Versa Craft Ink. So I'm going to go with, move my paper trimmer, Leona. Um, use your Versa Craft. So I'm going to go with the green, first of all. And I am, I am fiddling like I did in the first hour, just because... With these, I really like that. If I'm not stamping in black or brown or just a one tone, then I really like messing about with the, the inks. And the Versacraft, because of little ink pads, you can, you know, you can be quite specific where you're inking up. I mean, I will overlay. I know I'm going to end up overlaying a few of the colours, but I'm not bothered about that. That's fine, because I am going to be colouring in anyway. You might want to, and I might do it with this, actually. I might do second generation. I'm going to do um, purple flowers, purple roses, rather than pink. I might change, I might regret that, because now I'm thinking of the paint that I've got to mix with it. But it's okay. Okay, so I'm going in there. There is some little buds. So I'm looking for little buds like that. Now, what I've decided to do, I'm going to go in second generation on this one. So I'm going to take that out. I'm going to bring another piece in. 
So my first piece will be first generation. I'm going to... No, I won't spritz this one yet. So that's going to be first generation. So it'll be nice and strong. I mean, those colours are beautiful. They're really vibrant. You can also get them to move. So the lovely thing with the ink... Oh, dirty... Um, dirty doodle. Dirty doodle. You don't want that, do you? See, you can see that ink moving which is just beautiful. And I, I've gone off on my tangent. I am to forget I've got that other ink on my thing, but it'll be fine. See, look at that. Uh, there are cues on the phone, it's me and my tangents. Um, if you do want to, to get ahead of those cues, you can always give us a ring and place your order like that. See, I love that because it gives you a really soft wash. Don't be too specific, like when you're moving the ink, just sort of be really loose. Do it with your loose brush. And then it'll give you that really nice sort of watercolour effect. So you can colour it in just like that, you know, if you wanted to. I feel like I shouldn't be leaving that one now. Um, but easy to colour in. That's my second generation. So my second generation is what I want on this one because I want it lighter. So, why didn't I? Okay, now, you know those three A5 ones? I've, oh, they've actually sold out. Oh, I should have used these before the demonstration, shouldn't I? Because I want to use that. Is, it, uh, is this one available on its own? Okay. That's my friends forever. Um, and that is available on its own. The, te the, the three of them have technically sold out. That means they're in baskets. You need to check your baskets out. Remember, if you don't check your baskets out, um, we do refresh that basket after 10 minutes. So please check your baskets out. Now, because the ink has dried on there, what I'm going to do, um, spritzing on here, this will refresh that ink. <laughs> Why I didn't, just butt it up to the side. Why I make life? It's like, oh, let's make life a little bit harder for yourself. Oh, what a good idea, live TV. Let's do that. So, look how <laughs> cheeky chat to myself. Look how um, lighter it is. So, if you don't want it as intense, because these are quite strong colours, so if you don't want it as intense, use a second generation. Then your second generation will just knock those colours back. So, now, let's have a little play with colouring. And I just, with something like this, I mean, there are loads and loads of techniques, but I think just a beautiful beautiful background like that and then just playing with colour looks fabulous now obviously with your ink pads you can colour in with them as well so if I go onto my mat I'm just gonna get my paintbrush now what I'm doing is I'm bringing quite a lot of water into part of the ink uh, the other bit of the ink I'm leaving quite, um, um, I'm not mixing with water. So this means this is really, really watery. So I was chatting about going in with a loose brush. I'm doing that now. Now the thing is when you go in with a really loose brush and not try to fill in the whole space, it looks really, it looks like a proper watercolour. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's not going to give you that really strong look it's just really really nice to color in like this because it is loose and quite um you just see what, how it evolves essentially so you do all your gorgeous leaves of course I, i'm aiming not to finish it but then i get carried away and end up finishing it so so don't overthink this don't don't try and color in really perfect be nice and just allow it to flow a little bit so you've got the beautiful green. Now, to create depth and to get shadows, you've got in that collection, you've got um, a really nice dark, that's the one, isn't it? You've got, what's it called? Midnight. So it's a really nice dark sort of purpley blue. And that one's wonderful for creating shadows. It's funny, actually, because I've gone and used uh, purple on there, that would also be great for the... Um, the actual roses but for creating shadows so again i'm doing the same thing i've mixed my um i've mixed it i'm really watery but then just allowing that to drag in like so if you've got too much water on your brush take that and then there and this creates i'm going really lightly in but this creates a really nice shadow. So it's using the green and then the midnight. I'm only doing a little touch of it. I'm not going all over, 
but it just creates a bit of variation as well in the color palette so it's not you don't want it a solid green you want to be able to to mix up your colors and then you've got you know then it it looks a bit more natural because if it's just a solid color because no leaves are just solid colors are they then it is lovely as that one that um, midnight for creating shadows so i carry on doing that what i do love as well because we've stamped really nice and lightly it means if you want to drag your ink in now you can actually drag your ink in and this i was saying this in the first hour now it'll look like you've actually um painted this and i do like that because you, it looks like especially bring a bit of that midnight in take a bit of the water off but a little bit of that midnight as well and that midnight will give you see if i just bring that in get a nice fine brush and look the midnight brings a really nice um shade in him so doesn't that look cool i must admit I, i've absolutely adored coloring these in they just you just get lost in it and that with the purple see now because it's a loose brush and it doesn't look too um specific now it starts to look like you have actually painted it which is just exquisite there we go i'll stop playing because i'm i'm going i go into play mode which is see look at that see um all i'm doing now is copying i love it because you're just filling in and this is the thing anybody anyone can do this because you just need a good brush get a good fine brush that's all you need and just bringing in that colour, which looks ace. Okay, let's bring some more colour on. So we've got the beautiful paints. Now, the one we haven't got, and I really wanted to use, I've got a gold and a blue, but we haven't got those on the, the thing. Um, do you know what? Well, you look at that. I'm going to nick, because I haven't got the aubergine, so I'm just going to nick a little bit of aubergine. So you look at that while I steal a little bit of the aubergine. Oh, just have a little look at that. Oh, how marvellous. Oh, how long can you watch that? There we go. I'll pop it back. Off I go again. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Just look at it. Oh, how much longer? <laughs> okay, now the paints. Obviously, we use the paints for the background, but the paints, of course, they're great for painting with, funnily enough. I'm doing exactly the same. So I'm creating, some of it I've really watered down, so I've got a good wash. The rest of it I'm leaving as a big blob of paint. So I know from that I've got really a really light paint and then a really intense paint. So just bringing this on, now I've not actually used this, so I don't know how intense it is. Pretty intense. Um, so bringing this in now, the loose brush again. So a nice loose brush, not worrying about completely filling all of this in. Maybe leaving some spaces that aren't filled in because they work really good as highlights. And that what I do love about this, I can still see a little bit of the ink underneath it. So as you're doing it, you can still see a bit of depth to that. Um, bringing from the, the bit of paint that I haven't mixed with water if you pick a bit of that up that'll give you and i'm i mean the tiniest bit you can't even see that on my brush it's that teeny tiny but look how intense it is these are rich paints i mean those colors are strong um so you do not need much of these and these are the kind of things they'll last for ages because you need the teeniest tiniest amount i mean i'm literally being careful i'm being almost scared to dip me me brush in and because my brush can you see my brush has got that teeny tiny almost like a hook on the end of it where i've obviously misused it and not uh, not not cleaned it but yes me misusing my brushes how rude how rude Let's see so just now mixing that I'm taking the excess off my brush mixing that color how gorgeous does that look and leaving some of the spaces so leaving some of these the lighter elements and just start building it up the your, your paint it's got that beautiful shimmer in it but um you can really water it down and when you water it down you'll still get a bit of shimmer in it as well but it allows you because um because it is such a real um an intense paint it really does allow you to create some depth in this
easy as well. I mean, literally just going around where the, the petals overlap, so that would be your stronger, the stronger colour. That's where you want to add your depth. Look how that starts coming on. I mean, I know this takes a while but that's the beauty of it you want it to take a while this is i mean uh, ask our alex alex love coloring in this is what you're doing you're you're coloring in it is so mindful it is so um it's so nice just losing yourself coloring these in and creating something absolutely gorgeous which um i oh, love these so once you've got your beautiful image, again, that midnight, that ink pad, that's good for your flowers as well. Because you can just bring a bit of that midnight in. If I just bring a little bit of that in now, get a bit of water and just move that out. And that midnight really works with this because it just gives you, look at the depth of that. I mean, I've only literally, I've done like one tiny little petal, but this is the lovely thing about it. You can just layer, layer, layer. You do need decent cardstock. It has to be able to handle it to get your bucking through because that will be able to handle all the gorgeous layers. So you can do all your beautiful layers. I'm not gonna finish it because obviously I'll be here all day but i will put the beautiful sentiment on it so i've got the sentiment and let me just oh i can demo my my the lady my little fairy oh i love that one and i'm it will like yeah i have to demo that with this so we've got one of our gorgeous stamps i'm going to use the midnight again now i'm using the midnight again because it works with it you know because i've used it in there it totally works and i'm going to stamp it i want it because it's going to be nice and dark so i want to stamp it just over the actual flowers like that see doesn't oh doesn't that look gorgeous imagine when that's all colored in how beautiful that's going to look. Oh, see, this is the thing. You never have time to demonstrate it properly on telly. Because, well, you do. But, I mean, you don't have time to colour it all in. It is just beautiful. Please check your baskets out. Right, I will get ready for another demonstration. Try not to faff as much in the next one. Uh, but please check your baskets out. Our lovely Alex is ready and waiting to remind you what we got. Lovely stuff. Right, hello, Yay. good afternoon. I'm so jealous. I just want to get colouring myself. I, 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 we often joke, actually, because I say to you, when I'm up here, I, of an evening, I'm just colouring away, <laughs> just colouring away. Uh, I did post them on my Facebook, actually, so have a look. Anywho, let's look at these. I want to actually have a look at the packaging because I always compliment um, Kathy and Mel for their packaging because it's just absolutely stunning and it gives you such wonderful inspiration. So as you can see, you've got your, yeah, there's different ways of buying it. Obviously, you can either choose your pick and mix any three or choose your pick and mix any two. And they do have those savings that carry over. If you go for all five, you save the £11. So let's have a little look because you've got your clematis, clematis, you say tomato, I say tomato. Um, you've got your fabulous fuchsias in here. Uh, I just love fuchsias because the colours are so vivid. You can see you've got your luscious lilac. You've also got your, here it is, your flourishing foxglove. I love the names. Uh, flamboyant fuchsia. Love it. And then, then at the top here, if we may, um, coming up here a little bit. Here we go. Coming into these because you've got your fabulous rambling rose. Don't forget, everybody, Valentine's Day soon. I'm just saying I'm very textbook. Rose is gratefully received. And then you've also got your clematis clematis. How do you pronounce it? I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. Potatoes. All right. Let's have, now what I want to do is <laughs> show you the actual stamps like Leonie did earlier. Um, I mean, these are focal points, aren't they? They are just absolutely gorgeous. Now you can get any of these stamps individually for $17.99, uh, but oh, oh sorry, $17.95. What's a few pence between friends? But anyway, <laughs> um, but they're beautiful. I'm going to read out the sentiments. So we've got um, the earth laughs in flowers. Again, that's a beautiful one, isn't it? That's stunning. Right then, so you don't want to look at the uh, just blank piece of paper that's dirty. Uh, then you've also got the next one. This is your rambling rose. Again, what a focal point. Uh, friends of flowers that never fade. Isn't that a stunning one? And then you can see you've got your solids as well as your big focal point stamp. Nice. And then the next one that we've got, let's bring this in. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love, I love the artwork. It's absolutely stunning. 
Okay, so I'm going to have to turn this one to the side. But again, look at all the workers. Little snails, little snails, little snails. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, this one has been is in the lead, actually. So this is Happiness Blooms From Within. That's a gorgeous sentiment. Like that. Did you know that snails are born with their shells on? Little oh. tiny soft shells. And then it, as they grow, I think all the little like ringy bits. Oh, how cute. I'm pretty sure I'm right. However, if I'm wrong, tell me off. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> right, next one. Uh, this one, beautiful. This is the fuchsias. And you've got let your dreams blossom. So really inspirational, beautiful, beautiful words. And then the last one that we've got, let's bring this in. I believe this is our fabulous lilac. Born to bloom. Yes. That's very positive. I love that. I love the little border it's got there as well. Right, let's see some samples, shall we? Because the design team are a dream. They are just amazing. So let's have a look here. Look at that. I love that sort of really, really fabulous background that you've got going on. I think that is absolutely stunning. Who's that by? That one is by Sharon. And then we've got this one. Now, this has been actually cut out and then layered up. How cool is that? Just that little bit of dimension there. But again, look how beautifully coloured this is. This one is by Susan. And then let's do one more of these because this one's got the snails on it. Oh, so adorable. Loving this. And then th this is cute, actually, because you've got the solids and then there's a little bit of um, beautiful embossing in the gold. They're all really, really classy. Oh, I have to show a few more. Wait, just a few more. Just a few more. Just a few more because the design team is amazing. This one... Um, Starfish Crafts. Oh, Karen, Karen, there you are. That's absolutely stunning there. Again, all those solids. The composition is exquisite. I must show just one of each if that's okay. Let your dreams blossom here. This one is by Sheila. Again, the colouring is amazing. Oh, this one's been layered up. Look at these roses. Oh, my word. That is Gail. That is by Gail. Oh, look at that. Can you see this? So layered up. Beautiful. And then the last one here with our fabulous fox gloves. Uh, this one is by Karen. Stunning. Right then, remember, you've got different ways that you can buy them. You can either buy them individually or you can buy them the pick and mix of the three or the pick and mix of the two. Pick and mix of the three is at the side of the screen. Pick and mix of the two is at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go for all five, like that, <laughs> then you get, because the savings from the pick and mix and two and savings from the pick and mix and three carry over, so you'll get that £11 saving in total. Uh, right then, so just choose whichever one, but as you know, as crafters, we like it all, don't we? All right, yes. moving along. Yes, Leone says, yes. gorgeous stuff. Uh, now, I believe we've had sellouts on this next particular one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what did you? Oh, you want to go to Leone? I'm so sorry. I'm just getting carried away. Uh -huh. Right then, uh, have a look on the website. No, no, no. Have a look on the website for everything else because I know we're running out of time, actually. Here it is. Sorry. I'm just getting <laughs> totally carried away. Um, there you go. There are the ones I was talking about. Um, the thistle hogs, they have gone, but you can still get the other two individually. Uh, don't forget you can get your Bockingford five-star review so that everybody loves the Bockingford. Everybody raves about it. Ink pads and the fabulous paints. Right then, without further ado, I'm going to hand back to you, Miss Leone. Thank you. Sorry, I'm not there. I'm, I'm rummaging for car stock. I'm here. <laughs> OK, right, I'll do... I'm going to do quick um, little just techniques because because I like that. Right, this one, I've stamped and embossed in white, first of all. Um, I haven't tried this with these, but I thought, oh, these these stamps will be beautiful with that resist technique when you stamp in white. So what I wanted to do, first of all, now just wetting that through so I know I've got movement. Let's bring some of the paints in. So I'm just going to bring... Oh, now your beautiful dandelion ballet. If you do want that one, you've only got one of that one left. Please, you know what I'm going to say. Check your baskets out. Um, don't miss out on those. They are absolutely exquisite. Exquisite. OK, so um, I'm going to... Now, I'm not going to be, again, I'm not going to be too precise or anything. Let's just get that colour going into there. And I love this because your white embossing powder is going to resist that paint and give you that incredible, let me get more water, give you that incredible look. And I love it when you do this. I love it when you, um, when they absolutely, when they move, you know, when the, the paint just moves. So I'm just using those beautiful paints. I've got hot pink 
first of all, which is just gorgeous. Oh, I love it. I adore it. Yeah, when it starts shifting out, I just like look at it moving. Oh, I love that. And you can, it does, it does dance. I mean, you can with this as well. Um, you can obviously then go in a little bit heavier when it's when it's not as watery. Go in a bit heavier to get the 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 colour more intense if you want to. But I just love that. Now imagine this stamped onto um, onto parchment, or you know if you. I tell you what I was thinking of doing: shrink plastic. You've that many things to do with these stamps. That's a Shrink plastic. <laughs> Little one from the, the corner there. Shrink plastic. Look at that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift a little bit of water out of here because I've gone a bit too much with water. What I like, though, right, so this has got obviously blue from something else. I quite like this because if you use your rice paper, when you pull it out, can you see the blue going back in? And it, it's a really, I mean, realistically, it's probably something you want to avoid, but it looks good. Because before you know it, you've actually created a really cool background with dirty rice paper. Honestly, it's a way forward. But colouring that in and then you can go back in with the pink and make it a little bit stronger. Oh, love that. I hope it looks as good on, I haven't looked up yet, but... Just don't I never look up. I never look up in these shows, you know, I get really ignorant. I just forget, forget to look up. I might bring a little bit of that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Now that is that fire, is it called firecracker? That is such a good colour. And I'm using, again, I am using the teeniest, tiniest bit of this paint. You do not need much paint. That is strong. And it just goes such a long way. And they blend beautiful. Yeah, it is just lush. And if you go out the lines like that, all you want to do, spritz it. You spritz it, it moves, it looks like you were meant to do that. Look at that, it moves, it's beautiful. And the rest of it, you see, is held in those gorgeous embossed lines. So you're not going to completely ruin it. It just, it's one of those, um, I love that technique. It's one of those techniques that just looks good for always, however you do it. Then again, the green, I've put way too much paint out, which I really don't like. The green, you use your ink pad. There we go. Dandelion Ballet, technically gone. If you did want that, that has technically gone. My Friends Forever is still holding on, in it? It's, uh, okay. So whoever wants that, please check your baskets out. My Friends Forever's okay, though, isn't it? Yes, I'm still all right with Friends Forever. See, look at it. I love it. It's just moving. Just stunning. So just doing a little bit of that, and then I will stop playing with this one because I have literally gone into play mode. Oh, that just makes me happy. Watching that colour move is just exquisite. And this is using the ink pad. Now, just following that that leaf. Oh, that's a bud. If you're not sure what you're colouring in, because sometimes when you're looking at it like this, it can be a little bit difficult. Just look at your packaging, and uh, you'll be able to see which bits what from the packaging. The, and it is, like our Alex said, the packaging is always exquisite from Pink Ink. They do beautiful. Uh, the artwork is gorgeous. And... Um, and yeah, it's so inspirational, this packaging. I'm looking for my really blue bit to pull the ink up, but then to actually put ink down. Now, oh, look, 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 a flower. I missed that one. See, this has only taken a few minutes, and yet it looks exquisite. Something like that. And you could use this for anything. I mean, any card, but not just cards. I mean, that would be lovely in an art journal. I'm just putting a bit more pink. I wasn't going to do a full thing. This is me just getting carried away because it's just so nice. And that is such a lovely image. Oh, adore that. Absolutely adore that. I will stop, but oh, that makes me so happy. I think the thing is, we being in white embossing, it just looks so delicate and elegant, you know? And it's only, I don't know if you can see, at the minute on my screen, it just looks like blobs of colour. Oh, that's better.
<laughs> then you can see the actual uh, <laughs> then you can see the actual emboss lines looks brilliant in real life please trust me um okay next so get yourself some black cardstock or or because um I didn't bring in a big piece of black. I'm actually going to use a really nice purple. Okay. Now, I've got on my uh, stamp pad, um, whatever that is, um, acrylic mount, I've got the um, my favourite favourite, which is the lilac. That's your lilac. Okay. Now, we've still got paint on my mat there. So, if I take my brayer, brayer that paint, Obviously, the old paint you put on your cardstock so you don't waste anything. Pick up with your... I hope this works just as effective on the, the this cardstock, on this colour. Because the thing is with the paints, they work on darker cardstock. No, it's not as effective. I am going to get black. Because it looks so good on black cardstock. It's just amazing. So let's go in with... So that's that beautiful red. I think I'm a bit, I'm a bit skinny with my paint and all. You need a bit more paint. So pop a bit out. Get rid of my excess so I'm not wasting it. And then bring the card. It's that's why I, I do them so I can use them for backgrounds and they look lush. So. Going in with my stamp now. If you are using your stamps with these paints, you need to be dead careful because you do need to clean them because it is an acrylic, so it will dry on your paint on your stamp. Look how brilliant that is! Isn't that just gorgeous? Honestly, the beautiful. So, just stamping like that. Okay, and it's dead important to clean them properly. I mean, look how good that looks. Can you see? Oh, isn't that good on black? That was the other one I did on black. Oh, look at the colours. That's the paints again. Don't they look good? Absolutely beautiful. To clean it, you need to clean it properly. Otherwise, it dries and it'll just... Um, it'll dry into the stamp. So I spritz it with water. I just get my cloth, you know me, I get my cloth and I scrub it. And I am doing this because whilst it's wet, whilst my paint's wet, um, I'm going to be able to clean it off. And you can see, can you see, that comes off. And I tell you what, my my kitchen um, towels, the stuff I use, because they're, they're harder than using uh, baby wipes or anything like that, it really does scrub the stamp for you, so it really helps clean it, which is lovely. And it's got what, love? And you don't get the suds. And also, they don't contain plastic. <laughs> So not going to sit in the ocean forever. Um, so just cleaning that off as well. Right. Now, what I did want to do is I have to use my friends forever because this is so beautiful. And I wanted to show you just how well this works with all your other stamps. That, that white one. I'll put a picture of that on the thing because I don't know if it looks as good on telly as it did on the other one. So, this is my beautiful Friends Forever. And I'll get my cardstock, which I do need to cut. In fact, I'm going to leave it big. Oh, shall I? Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Think, think, think. Ba, ba, ba. Okay. So, this isn't Buckingford, sadly. Right. Okay. So... What I'm doing, first of all, oh, she's so beautiful. She's beautiful. So I'm using her first now. The wonderful thing is this will work so well with the brand new stamps. I mean, they go. They just go. So she's going to go there. I mean, this would work... Um, it as a, you know, a bigger, it definitely, you know, you could do this on a huge, huge piece. But just... Inking it up. So I'll use the black in your ink pads in the VersaCraft. Oh, I've only got two minutes. The time. Quick, 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 quick. I might not do it all. Quick, 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 quick. 
Right, OK. I hope I've inked it up properly, because if I haven't, it's tough. So let's hope the mice has got both ears, because I want to show you how well they go. Look at it. Oh, it's so beautiful. So that's my first layer. Now, thankfully, isn't it sweet? It's just so sweet. Thankfully, I have got the little mask. I've already done this quick. <laughs> Only a minute and a half. This is the one as I've been meaning to do throughout, but I wanted to play. I wanted to play with the white embossing because it just looks amazing. I want to... <laughs> right, OK. <laughs> I want to do this. I want to do that. OK. Now, we haven't got many left. OK. That's that. And now... And now... Ah! Right, I haven't got much time, so it's going to be the lilac again. But, but, this is the thing. This will work so well with that. Okay, I won't faff about with all my colours. I'll just go in with blue. Because I've only got 45 seconds. Ah! Inking really quickly. Oh, I want to put purple in this as well, but I can't because I haven't got time. Bit of purple too. Ah. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. <laughs> and then look, look, look. Obviously, you build it up, you do all your layers, and then you take your mask off. Don't rip your mask. <laughs> and then you take your mask off, and look how well it would work. Because um, then colour in and, oh, beautiful. Uh, please check your baskets out. <laughs> Ladies, thank you ever so much. Your stamps are amazing. Um, don't miss out on these. Thanks, Alex. Whoop, whoop. Thank you. See you after the break. <laughs> We have got coming up Paper Discovery Vintage High Street. Oh, I want to see what that's about. Yes, at 4pm, I am with the Happy Puzzle Company and I am going to be playing games. And then it's Paper Rose. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the Craftbox shows on Hochanda. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers. And we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. 
and the rest is history really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. I love teaching. For me, it's all about that. And so working with Hochanda is fantastic because it gives me the perfect platform to reach out and work with uh, like-minded people and to be able to show um, some of the tricks that I've learned along the way. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray, on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away, we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. watching a show with me on Hochanda you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce and it's all very much mixed media so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. Well, hello everybody. Warm welcome. So we've got a fantastic hour ahead with paper discovery and the most beautiful dies and clever dies as well. I think as paper crafters, we get excited when we discover uh, a new way, a new platform or canvas really to embellish. And that's what we've got here. Uh, a really innovative die. This is your bench die. And then we've got different ways to adorn that. But I am not alone. We are joined by the wonderful Lou uh, via Skype. Hey, Lou, how are you? Hello, Yanis. How are you? Do you know what? It's nice to have... I'm very well, thank you. Uh, nice to have a peek <laughs> into your craft room. How neat are you? Uh, That's ridiculous. Actually, yeah, this is actually my studio. So I've got Ooh. a studio. Um, a, it's about a five-minute walk from home. So I could manage that in the snow. You are winning at life. So you get to escape the madness, <laughs> go to the studio, hang out, do a bit of crafting. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no look. kids, no dog here. It's lovely. It looks amazing, though. It looks really nice. I like your studio. Um, OK, so I was saying we've got something a bit different here, Lou. Um, talk to us a little bit about the die, because this is kind of the foundation, and then we've got different um, options. But first, I'll hold up. By the way, the price you're seeing here is not just for this. It's for this whole bundle that you're seeing here. But we'll break through. So this is your bench die. So tell me a little bit about this, Lou. Yeah, so as you said, it's a new card shape, or let's say it's new. It's one that we've for years been trying to create as card makers, usually by scoring and folding and measuring everything ourselves. Yeah. Uh, we've now given you the dice to do that really easily. So it perfect. is a three-dimensional card base yeah. that folds completely flat. Oh, so perfect. to pop it into an envelope, it's easy. Um, I love it because we're not only giving you the card base, we're also giving you lots of embellishments just in that set alone. And then we've got loads and loads of other embellishments. As you can see, instructions as well. Well, yeah, we're just looking at it. How good is your internet? It's instant tour. You've got to see that instantly there, Lou. Uh, you've definitely got <laughs> fibre. Uh, OK, so just looking here and you're seeing how, how easy it is to construct. And you touched on a really important point because as card makers, as paper crafters, in the past, trying to achieve this same look, it, it takes a while. There's a lot of measuring uh, and scoring through. The dies do all the work for you. And you get an awful lot of dies in that one set. But here's the thing. You're not just getting this one set. That is your foundation. Now, with the item number you're seeing here, this is your haberdashery. 
So different item numbers for different dawners. And let me show you what I mean by that is we've got dies and sets to bring life to your benchmark at your platform. So having a look here, you've got the stamps and dies. So some in there are slightly different to the dies. Obviously, you have got coordinating as well uh, going through. So beautiful. Beautiful haberdashery stamps. I mean, great stamp set and also wonderful dice. And if I just lift up and show you, that is just because I think it's a good indication of the size of dies that you're getting here. 28 dies, but they're not piddly little dies. These are great size dies. I love the buttons in there too. You've got the uh, mannequin forms in there. Uh, all of these included in the set. So when you think about it, let me just show you for your first flexi payment of 2249. Look at all the dies that you were getting. That is just ridiculous. And then on top of that, you're getting 31 stamps. You are saving seven pounds. That is one way to uh, buy this bundle. We've got different item numbers for different options. So that's your haberdashery. Now, if you do want to get the stamps and dies by themselves, you can do that. And we'll just uh, put the details uh, at the bottom of your screens, actually. $25.98, your price. Lou, I've got to ask, how have you found playing with this set? Have you enjoyed it? Oh, I love it. I just wish I had more time because um, when you've got, we've got three themes here. Yeah. So we've got the cake, sorry, four themes. We've got the cake shop, the haberdashery. We've got the tool shed or the t DIY shop. Mm -hmm. um, and what's the one I've missed? The florist as yes. well. So to be able to build on all of those. And of course, with this um, bench card mechanism, you're also going to be able to make things like um, other rooms, other scenes that you want to create. Uh, you don't have to use them just with these dies. That's clever because effectively it's a really innovative card blank so a different way and the fact that you said it, it folds flat too i think is one is going to be a go-to if you want to create sort of a statement piece so that was your haberdashery now we've got a different item number this is your tea room you're still getting the base so that's your foundation uh, with the bench card mechanism and then you get all the goodies of the tea room and this is something as as a theme I think we all have friends and occasions where this would be fitting. So thinking of you, birthdays. I know we can't get out for afternoon teas at the moment. So if you're oh, just missing someone and catching up over a cuppa, what a lovely bundle to go for. So those are your stamps. And let me just show you the dies. Obviously, in keeping with the theme, love the bunting at the bottom. We've got bunting. We've got tiered cakes going through. Uh, obviously, we've got mugs of tea bit of coffee, if maybe for a coffee. So all of that uh, going in, that's your, that's your die set and your stamp set. And of course, you are getting the benchmarks. So if I just show them all, uh, let me just show you them all together. So those are all your dice that you are getting for that price. And of course, the stamps. Now, stamps-wise here, we are getting 33. Uh, stamps in the collection. $22.49 if you do want to take advantage of the flexi payments. Saving £7, 6.88513. Lou, with regard to tea rooms, is that kind of a theme you think quite popular in the crafting world? Absolutely, definitely. I think afternoon tea has sort of almost come back in fashion, hasn't yeah. it, in the last few years. Um, certainly, I had afternoon tea for my wedding rather than a full three course, four course meal. Oh, that's nice. Um, it, yeah, it was lovely. Um, certainly spring, summer coming up. Hopefully this spring and summer we'll have more afternoon teas yeah. going on. But I've seen a lot lately of um, companies delivering afternoon tea now as we can't get oh, out and have it instead. Shout. So, um, But yeah, as, as far as like birthday cards, anniversary cards, all of these go, even get well soon and thank you, mm -hmm. a cup of tea, um, a, a pot, all of the extra additional pieces you've got in that set, they all work really well, don't they? They cross so many different occasions. Lou, I, I, I shamed myself going for afternoon tea. Uh, it was before lockdown. It was the summer just before lockdown. We got one of these, uh, a, a gift to go out for an afternoon tea to a swanky hotel. Mm -hmm. And they bring these beautiful little sandwiches, but they're all small and, and the uh, cakes. Now, they kept on coming up asking if we wanted more. And I did. <laughs> I said, I'll have some more, I'll have some more. Well, I thought I was very, very greedy. But the thing is, you, it's unlimited. You can carry on getting them. They bring it up as much as, as much as you like. So I kind of felt it was my personal mission to get maximum value out of the experience. And, and I, I think you get it. such a variety, don't you, with you afternoon do. tea. You get so many little pieces. You need to try every single one. I love it. I love it. Uh, okay, we've got to move on because there's more. We're going to go to the flower shop now. Uh, 
So we're still getting the benchmark, so that beautiful uh, foundation. Sorry, I said benchmark. It's the bench card, I should say. But it's set in the benchmark for dice. Uh, so <laughs> there we go. So you've got the benchmark, which is the, your kinetic movement dice, well, movement dice, say, mechanism that allows you to create the scene, and then you can fold it down. So by that, we're also getting the dice and the stamps. You are getting, uh, within the flower shop, some beautiful images. I mean, these are stamps, Lou, that I would imagine you would use just independently as well. Absolutely. In fact, right at the very beginning, I noticed the cards that we were seeing, the inspiration there mm -hmm. that was on the screen. We saw some really beautiful cards just using these stamps. Yeah. I mean, I love the welly boot with the um, yes. with the plants coming out of the top. That's cute. Um, you've got some beautiful ones here. So, for example, the rose at the bottom, uh -huh. that can easily be built up, layered up into a big cluster of flowers, which yeah. is actually part of a card that you might see this hour if we get round to it, um, if not certainly the next hour. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, beautiful. So with the dies, we have a number of them. A handful of them will overlay your stamps. Yeah. So you can cut those out once you've stamped and coloured in. But then we have lots of unique ones as well that you're right. going to use completely separately from the stamps. So it's really giving you a lot of versatility lots of different combinations as well so even Perfect. more for your money look I'm just conscious if anyone has uh, tuned in and didn't see the start of the show where we had uh, we showed a few finished inspirations do you have any complete cards just to show the the bench card uh, and maybe uh, decorate up. Do you have any in front of you now? Easy, easy at hand? Oh, I Just don't, I'm afraid. I think okay. I've sent all the photos in to you. Oh, to, no, that's okay. Uh, don't worry. Photos. We can show that video uh, later on. Yeah, only, I just wanted to show people um, just the actual bench card, what it looks like. But we've got a video, so we will show that. I'll uh, make that hour. first demonstration. Perfect. Okay, we'll do that. Great. Okay, so that's your florist, uh, florist shop. Now we're going to move on. Our last option for you. So DIY, you get the idea now. You're going to get the bench die, so that bench mechanism, and then you're going to get the stamps and also the dies to go with this theme. Really good, and I am not going to fall into the trap here of saying good for the guys because I know so many uh, ladies, women, that are fantastic and love their DIY. Look, Catherine, Janice, they love their DIY. So um, I'm not going to fall into that, but if you do know somebody who's hard to make a card for, and they're not into their pretty, pretty flowers, the tea rooms. They want something that's a little bit different. This is a good set to go for. Guy or girl, just anybody who likes to tinker in the shed, uh, maybe in the garage here, so we've got all the tools. Handy man, but could be a handy woman. In there, wet paint, all the tools in there. And I'll show you the dies as well. Here we go. So, Lou, would you say adding something like this, even if it's not your cup of tea, it's good to have because there are always the occasion where you're making a card for somebody who this is more fitting for. Absolutely. Um, we don't make cards just for ourselves, do we? Yeah. And I think we soon learn that as card makers. We need a full range of different embellishments and papers and everything. This one's brilliant because, as you said, it does cover all genres, all ages. But it's also going to work for things like new home cards because, of course, people do lots of painting and decorating at that time. Yeah. Um, it could be maybe someone who's a mechanic, so you've got lots of tools in there that you can throw in for that. Lots of different um, career choices that this would work for as well as... Yeah obviously your, your hobbies very true i'm just showing you if you do go for this option the amount of dies that are going to be sent to you uh 44.97 your price but you have got access to flexi payments 22.49 i think the only way to really appreciate how good these sets are is when lou starts having a play you're really going to get an idea of the amount of resources you have to hand uh, now last but certainly not least we got some papers and you're getting a couple of stencils in there as well i really like these stencils so Create backgrounds, but equally, uh, I think, versatile because you can uh, use them for your borders in there as well. So lovely stencils. Just having a look at those. Nice, intricate stencils. And then the paper pad. Should we have a picky flicky through these and have a little look? So with the paper pad, uh, Lou, designed fantastically for, obviously, the sets we have in mind today. Yes, so they work really well as scenery for your bench card. Um, I'll work with a lot of these today in the demonstrations. So you've got all of the four themes, but then you've also got backing papers that coordinate. So you don't have to build a scene, of course. You could just create a beautiful card in a different shape with these. Um, but you've got a lot of elements you can snip out as yeah, well. So, nice. um, I'm, I mean, I've just used this paper pad for virtually all of my demonstrations because I love it. And it just works so well. And the colours are beautiful. This is, I mean, going for the sets, this paper pad, 
fantastic. So if you are going for any of the sets, it's well worth considering. $23.97 your price there. Uh, okay, now, just a couple of uh, items to show you before we go to demonstration. Lou, do you need to get set up for demonstration? I'm as set up as I can be. Okay, great. We're going to get to you in one second, Lou, I promise. Uh, we're just going to show you the haberdashery stamp and dies. If you just want to go for the haberdashery stamp and dies, $25.98 your price there. 28 dies, 31 stamps in total, uh, 056971. We've got the tea room. Again, you can go for this individually if you want. When I say individually, you're going for the pair. So uh, you're getting the dies and stamps, 22 dies, 33 stamps, 2598 your price, 728849 your item number. Uh, now we're moving on to the flower shop. Dies and stamp combo, $25.98 your price. Your item number there is 522995. And then last but certainly not least, we have the DIY stamp and die set. Details on your screen, again, 2598-962-730, item number. Okay, so we've seen everything on the show. I think it's about time we have some fun. Lou, what have you got for us? Okay, so let me start with this bench card. Um, yeah. I'm just going to move my machine. I've got my big machine in today because it is a large die, so okay. try and move that out of the way as much so as do possible. We need, do we um, need an A4 machine to, to use this? You, uh, let me try and think, did I use my smaller one? I think you probably do or extended plates. Okay. So if you've got A5, you may just need the slightly longer plates, yeah. okay. but the that width will be fine. Yeah. Okay. okay, so this is the main part of your bench card. Okay, mm -hmm. that's going to create the main section. Yes. You've then got two other dies included in this set. So you've got one that looks... I can't tell. It's like a, a very fat T there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you've got this one, yeah. and then you have another panel. Now, you'll be able to recognize the ones you need because everything else is quite decorative. So you have like a door, you have um, a bicycle and things like that. So these are all your additional pieces. So we can pop those pieces to the side and just start with these three, okay. first of all. So what I've done already is I've cut, just from white cardstock, these three dies. Yeah. So I've got... My strip there with the two score lines on the end. Okay. I've got my flat T shape. I need another word for that. Okay. Um, and I, then I've got my long panel. Now, the long panel does have, as you can see, because I've folded yeah. it, score lines in it. So yeah. some of these bars on the die actually score for you. Found, this um, is really clever because... Sorry, there we go. Uh, yeah, because Luke, you, we've had an idea for the, um, the fat T shape. It looks like a podium. You know, like at the Olympics, sorry? a podium po oh, at the podium, Olympics. Podium, yes, yeah? yes, exactly. So there we go, mm -hmm. a podium. I'll use that rather than a fat T shape like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lovely, thank you. Or actually, a perfume bottle lid. Oh, I just you. saw. Either, either or. <laughs> so with this, you've got the score lines now. You'll want to score it, um, Valley and Mountain. You've got the instructions, as we saw earlier, on the reverse of the packet anyway. Mm -hmm. But you want to concertina fold the two ends, and it should stand like so, with the two, what I call the wings, closest to you. This will help you to make that bench card. But there's lots of other ways you can do it. So within this hour, I'm going to be showing you different ways of putting this together and the next hour as well. I'm not actually going to do the traditional card at all. So I'm giving you lots of different um, inspiration with it. Okay. So once you've got those cut, what I've then gone in and done is I've taken, if I show you the full sheet, the 12 by 12 sheet of paper, Mm -hmm. I've taken this, and you'll notice this isn't quite 12 by 6 inches, the die, which is what the paper would be, or half the paper. But very cleverly, the score lines do line uh, up with yes. the design. Very well so designed. So if you want to, it, it, it really is. They've thought of everything. Yeah. If you were to do this, you still have additional extras on the edge of your paper that you can snip away, or you can layer up on another project, whatever it may be. Perfect. So you can cut directly from the paper, obviously, trim it down to fit mm -hmm. through your machine. Yeah. And that's what I've done here. Now, this also helps to stabilize your card. So the, the paper is, I'm just checking, 210 GSM. So, so you point. could use that as a card base on its own. Yes. But yeah. um, I definitely prefer to just mat it onto another piece of cardstock to make it extra strong. Okay. So I'm going to do that. I folded both score lines. Really lovely score lines as well. I didn't even need a scoring tool. Great. And I'm just going to, I'm going to glue down these wings. I call the wings and I'm going to glue just the bottom section here of 
the middle panel. I'm leaving this free for a reason, and you'll see in a moment. I want to tuck something down behind it right. now, a bit of extra glue there. So just press that down. But before the glue dries, just make sure that all the score lines are still there. Mm -hmm. There we go. So I've got a nice stable piece. Now the next, I'll pop that to the side. The next piece to work with is, uh, let's work with this one. So this panel here. This is really simple, just a rectangle with two score lines on. That's built to sit inside here. So what I would suggest is that you cut that from the other half of that paper okay. in the same place, because if you're going to do this card, you're going to cover up that table. All right, yeah. So cut that bench from the, the other half of the paper as such, because they are echoes of each other. You've then got that table and it's raised up, it's brought forward as well, nice. so creating dimension for yeah, you. Like so what you'll do is glue the pattern piece to the plain piece, and I'll just do that quickly. I'm just using a wet glue. Yeah. Um, you can use double-sided tape as well, doesn't matter. Pop that on there, and then a little bit of glue just to the two edges here. Mm -hmm. And that can sit quite nicely. Now, the beauty of this is once this is in, your card is still going to be able to fold flat. Okay, so clever design. I'm just going to yeah, clever design to the really to clever. That. Just to line this up, I'm just going to bring this over. Oops, one side and the other. Mm -hmm. Pinch that together in there. So because it's a wet glue, what I'd do is I'd take a paper clip and I'd just pop it in there and in there in the bottom just to um, hold that while yeah. I'm working with everything else. Great tip. So, so far you can see we've got, I'll hold that so you can see down there, we've got a dimensional card already and yeah. it will still all fold flat for you. Yeah. So if I just do that for you, you yeah. can see, I won't squeeze it too much, my glue's all still drying, but that okay. will fold flat. So the next section would be this part. Mm -hmm. So it would be our podium. Yeah. If you're doing a traditional bench card, what you would do is cut this from your chosen paper. Mm -hmm. We'd glue the two wings on the side to the front of the card, here and here. Yeah. And that front piece would sit, and it would sit on what you've just created in there. That's like a little uh, okay. plinth for it to sit yes, on. Yeah. So then we've got like a box card. And like if you wanted bench, to yeah. fold your card, you'd then you'd leave this piece empty or not glued. You'd just simply lift that up and then you could fold everything. Perfect. Um, I'm going to do it differently. So that's okay. one way, and you'll see lots of the inspiration. That's how it's done. Yeah. What I've done is I've cut that from a grey cardstock. Mm -hmm. I'm going to decorate it. So um, I could I could put it on my white cardstock. I'm not yeah. going to worry about that because this isn't a stable piece that's holding everything up. So one mm -hmm. layer will be absolutely fine. Um, what I need to take though is one of the stamp sets, and I love this brickwork yeah. design. I mean, there's so much it's to really play fun. with there. If you think about it, in all the sets, you've got an awful lot to choose from. Absolutely, there is an awful lot. I'm just trying to find, so I strategically placed all of my craft items so I could find them mm -hmm. <laughs> and then lose most of them. Um, so just on, on a grey cardstock, I'm going to stamp this black ink. Now I'll do it once, and you can repeat this stamp as well. There and then I'm just going, as I said, I'm going to repeat it as well. Okay. So I will just take a piece of cardstock underneath here so I don't get black ink on my mat. Very tidy, Lou. Good, like your style. Oh, I'm so tidy. It's, this is why I needed a studio because at home I get a little bit um, restless if I've got a really messy craft area. <laughs> And um, obviously it's at home, yeah. I, I don't like it. So at least here I can close the door on any mess. Yeah. Um, so I missed a little piece there. Yeah. That's absolutely fine. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm just very quickly, while I'm here, I'm just going to wipe this clean because otherwise I'll forget about it and have to come back to it later. So this part, to make this card a little bit different, what I'm going to do is I have stamped the underneath already as well. Okay. I'm going to slot this down in between the two layers that we just did. Now, of course, you can uh, do that yeah, before yeah. you glue everything together, but I wanted to show you that bench Clever. card, um, how it works. So that will act uh, as a roof for our shop. Oh, that's clever. And the reason I wanted to do a roof yeah. was because I'm going to bring in an additional extra, and that's some lights. Uh. Um, 
I just think if you're doing uh, certainly a card for um, a young boy, perhaps yeah. something like this that they can touch and feel and play with is going to be really make it really extra special. Just so these are going to go underneath that, my. Lou, just seeing that there before you close the roof, if you wanted to leave it there and have that as like a shop signage, so to put it could be I don't know Darren's DIY shed or something. You can put yeah, just leaving that up, and you can use that as a sign Absolutely. if you wanted as well. Definitely you could, and you've got a lot of signage on here as well on the stamp set that you could use if you wanted to. So, um, mm. yeah, you've got lots and lots of options. Now, this I've got a little bit too much, so mm. these are actually blue lights. I'm just going to okay. snip these down very slightly, and with any LED lights, you can cut the wires. Oh. Um, I'm hoping this is going to work. <laughs> I'm sure you can. And then... Yes, they still work, so you can trim them down to size. So I've just cut a few lights off there. And I'm just going to fold these a few times just so they'll fit inside or just inside this little alcove that we've built yeah. here. And I did, unfortunately, the only problem with not being at home is that I did forget something. Okay. I left my hot glue gun at home. Oh, don't worry. But I know it's never mind. It's one of those things. I'll work around it because I do have red liner tape, which okay. is kind of the next best thing. Yeah. So I'm I'm going to just for now as a temporary fix, I'm going to pop some red liner tape over these on okay. the, the we'll call it the roof, shall yeah. we? Yeah. Um and then what I'll do is when I'm home, I'll glue that and I'll take some photos of it. So I would usually use a hot glue to secure all of this down. So who would you so what, just, who would you making this kind of card for? Who in your life do you reckon would appreciate this? I think so. I have a great uncle, and he has a workshop in his garage, ah. and I actually. This would suit him very, very well. Yeah. Really well, actually. As soon as I saw it, I thought, oh, they, they, they've actually um, they've based it on him. <laughs> so just a little bit of red liner tape on the back. So I can now tuck the back, the battery pack here, round to the back of the card. Yeah. If I can get the get the back off of it anyway. Come on. There we go. It's just lifting up. And I can place this around the back. Now with the lights and everything, it may be that you'd want to make this then three dimensional rather than having it so that it folds flat and maybe put it in a box yeah. or a nice gift bag or something. We're all crafters, we can do that. Yeah. Um, so just fold that back down. If I turn my lights on so we can see the effect, hopefully. Obviously we can't have it so I can't stand it up and show you because you won't be able to see, but we've yeah, got the lights in there. That's very clever, Lou. That's really clever. Just, just, need my, just need my hot glue to secure that properly. But uh, that's not quite finished yet. What I am going to do as well, mm -hmm. in fact, looking at it like that, I'm almost seeing a lot of people have got these um, garden sheds, man caves and things yeah, where yeah. they've actually made a bar in, out of them. That's right. Um, totally makes sense. A garden bar. bar or, yeah. Looks a bit like one of those, doesn't it? I like it? the blue lights as well. I think they're quite snazzy. Yeah, I didn't have any clear ones, but I thought actually the blue works. It does work. So you space them out nicely, glue them on properly, and everything. You can secure those a little bit better than red liner tape. Mm -hmm. uh, the last thing is wet, wet paint. I love this stamp. I don't know what it is about it, but um, I just think it's really clever. So I'll just stamp that for you and show you how well this works. On to yellow, and then we do also have a die that will cut that out. So it's just my stamping block. I'll take okay. my folding one this time. I would imagine these are fun sets to do because you're building up a scene. They're real scene builders. Yeah, they they are really good fun. I've had I've had a lot of fun doing it actually. And as you, you'll see through the demonstrations, I've actually had more fun finding out different ways of using them mm. than I did using them in the way they're intended to be. So um, even more fun. <laughs> Get imaginative. Yeah, there's something so satisfying as a crafter discovering a different way to use, say, a stamp, a stamp or die set. Yes, absolutely. So uh, I'm sure everyone else will be looking at them and thinking they could do other things with them as well. Um, these are really lovely as well for people maybe uh, whose professions at the moment have had to close just for a little while uh, to send them a card to say, you know, thinking of you. Um, you could you could make your own. I don't. Know, you could make it into a hairdresser's or barber shop. You could make it into a beautician's. It's entirely up to you. It really depends what other embellishments you have at home as well, because of course. Uh, we've got the tools, the haberdashery and everything, uh, but there are others out there. Um, I'm just thinking, it's not this one. I need 
the dye that's in here. Now in here you have a lot as well. Now I could oh, really, yeah. I could spend hours decorating this, and of course we want to get through as many demonstrations as possible. Yeah. And there's um, a lot in there with the dyes. There is a lot. You've even got cogs. You've got those uh, sort of almost pegboards that you put all your, hang all your tools on, mm -hmm. things like that. And I know a lot of crafters have these pegboards in their craft room. Yeah. So yeah, looking sure. at, yeah, looking at this set, we've got things like we've got some pliers. Maybe if it's a jewelry maker, um, we've got paint brushes as well. Things like that that actually a lot of crafters would use. So maybe you need to make a, a craft, crafter's bedroom or crafter's well, room. Rather, nice with the paint. There's so much, you know, you're saying about discovering different ways to use it. So say with the paintbrush and using the bench uh, mechanism, so your card blank, if somebody was moving into a new home and they were going to be doing it up, you could uh, set the scene? Yes, that would be perfect, wouldn't it? That would be really, really good. So, um, and you could make this so it looks like their home, as it is maybe. Yeah. And then another one at Christmas where it's all done. Mm -hmm. So really, really sort of personalise it. Nice. Um, so there I've got my, my wet paint signs. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this together so it won't fold. But because I've got my lights in there and everything, I decided I would put this into it. I would make a box for it anyway. Nice. So if you're going to make it so it doesn't fold, I've got the little wet paint signs and I'm going to crisscross these. So one on here and then one on the other side as well. And just need to add the glue. I've got a little bit of excess glue. I had to unblock it just before, and I think I've unblocked it too much now. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of spilling out everywhere. Okay. But never mind. No. Okay, so there's one, and then we need another one just coming across, and this will help to secure it. Glue on the ends. Like it. it looks like the hazard signs you put on. It does, bedroom. isn't it? <laughs> yeah, wet paint. And you could say anything across there, couldn't you? But, yeah, just fold that down. So that would be the roof there, the lights are underneath, and then, of course, underneath you've got Beautiful. your... Beautiful. I was going to call it. it a bar then. Luke, it does remind me of one. Do you know what? I really like that. I love it. Uh, okay, Luke, what really we're going to do is just show you some, because uh, I know you, you sent in some lovely pictures so of uh, some finished samples. We're going to take a look at that just for anyone who didn't see it earlier on, and then we will continue the fun. Enjoy. this set it's something different it's all courtesy of your bench mechanism so you are getting your bench mechanism die and now that's part of the bundle for all the sets we have if you just wanted to go for the dies and stamps uh, as a duo of all the sets you can do that but the bigger bundle I just want to put this as crafters value for money when you consider now this is the first set this is a haberdashery look at the amount of dies that you are getting I mean typically if you were to get a die set, that many dice. And remember, you've got the stamps in there as well. Uh, 33 stamps, is that 31? Sorry, apologies, 31 in this one. So 31 stamps, 52 dies in total for 22.49 as your first flexi payment. Obviously, that's your flexi payment, uh, 22.49. So you pay 22.49 now, and then the same in four weeks' time. Or 44.97, your price. When you look, and I've got a lot of respect for Lou as a crafter, and she really does see things from the crafty perspective. And what she was doing was breaking down. So we've got our, our mechanism, our movement. I keep saying movement. It's not really a movement die, but it gives you the mechanism. So the valleys, the folds, the score lines, everything. So that's your outside shape. Then you've also got this die here, and that we kind of described, oh, we described as a podium. So we've got that one in there as well, and that allows you to create the form. But then let's look at all of the embellishment dies included in the mix. So you've got topiary, you've got beautiful ornate bike, uh, more topiary down there. That looks like a signage. 
So if you want to put a little sign outside, there's windows, there's more embossed detail in there. You've got um, lots and lots of elements in this one set. And then on top of that, you go to the haberdashery. So now we really go to town. So if you wanted to create your own haberdashery, all of these elements are dies, and of course the corresponding stamps. Forty-four ninety-seven is your price. You can split that in half. Eight six five one nine nine your item number. Okay. So what would go nicely with a haberdashery? We've got another option for you. To, we're taking you. It's like the best of the high street. Imagine a day out. Nip into the hab haberdashery, go, go to a, a beautiful little village, you nip into a wonderful boutique haberdashery, then you head to afternoon tea. It's nice. Maddie, are you a fan of afternoon tea? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Floor manager Man Maddie loves an afternoon tea. Uh, <laughs> I, like, I can see you having afternoon tea. So look, you've got all these beautiful cakes. There's wonderful delicate china in there. Uh, all these elements. And sweet. This is nice. Love that. Premium quality as well. The best cakes in town. Tea time. So all of the sweeties. Uh, and then you've also, so you are getting 46 dies in total. And then you've got the uh, coordinating stamps too. So $22.49 at your price there. 688 513 your item number. Now, I do want to uh, just make this clear. What you're getting is a mixture. So if I just put the dies, oh, one's dropped. If I just put the dies next to the uh, stamps, so some will overlay and some are just independent. So you've got some of your dies that will work with your stamps and some of them just standalone dies. Okay, so they're not all uh, designed. Oh, my dies are dropping. That was the bunting. Okay, uh, $44.97 your price there. There is a flexi payment option. 688-513, your item number. Now we're going to move on to the flower shop. Awful lot. I like this set. So anyone, the thing is, I say anyone, everyone likes flowers. But then if you know somebody who's got green fingers and you wanted to make them a card, you're not making them an ordinary card. You're making this beautiful bench card. So that bench could be a bench you'd find in a shed, in a greenhouse, bottom of the garden, in the garage. So you've got these wonderful dies, and then you've got the uh, coordinating stamps too. So we're having a look at all of those elements. And of course, you have the bench mechanism in the mix. Let me just show you all the dies that we're getting in this set. I like. I know um, that Lou did point out uh, about the, uh, the Wellington boot, which is a nice little touch. So you're getting all of those dies. And you're also getting uh, the stamps in there as well. Uh, item number for this option is 563407. Finally, which we have been looking at, we are venturing in to, it, it's that little recluse. It could be a shed. It could be a, a little cave, a work cave in there as well. So we've got wet paint. There's pliers, there's bolts, there's little um, signage as well. Handyman, but there is nothing to say. This couldn't be great for a handy woman. Tool shop. Oh, the open sign's really good. And you see how a lot of the elements will mix and match because that open sign would work nicely with actually any of the, the, any of the other options there. The florist shop, the haberdashery, uh, the tea room. So you get all those elements, the pin board uh, in there too. 969164, your item number. Uh, just finally, I want to share with you, we've got a paper pad that is designed to work with all the sets we've seen. So if you have invested in these sets and you want to build up your scene, this is a great, pay uh, this is a great option. You are getting the two uh, stencils, which is a bit of a bonus. You're saving three pounds. Now just have a look at this. I think, just looking down, it's 200, uh, 210 GSM, the paper weight in there. So we're having a look. See, so there's your flower shop. Got background papers as well for your matting and layering. There's the DIY. And then the haberdashery. So you're building up the scene and something, if I just pop this down for a second, bear with me, because Lou showed you this and I thought it, it was quite effective. The way it's designed, if you have a look, so with the papers, you're not losing anything. So with the actual design, the die, it will work to fit that out. There we go. All right, so uh, if you do want to pop that into your basket, $23.97 is your price. Your item number is 316209. Now, if you do want to get the bench card die by itself, we have got that option. Let me just show you. So this is the die set. Oh, you see, there's a die set for your bench card die. You can buy this by itself, just create that uh, movement. It's something that Lou said as crafters, if you want to recreate this, it's measuring, it's scoring, it's time. 
Why spend that time when you can die and you can do it in minutes? Lou, we're going to have a play with it. Absolutely. So I've got now this time, I'm going to go with the florist shop or flower shop. Um, I've already cut out my base there, but I'm going to cut that once more from the paper just to show you because last time I already had this cut out. So I'm just okay. going to show you how it works. Um, yeah. You don't need to fold that. I've just scored that for my own. I don't know, really. I was playing. Mm -hmm. um, but you'll see the lines, the section of the paper, they work perfectly or fit perfectly with the lines on the die. So just line these up so that those lines are in the center and then I'd suggest just taping this down. So I'm going to run this through my machine which is a large machine so it's like an A4 base. Yeah. Um, you don't need any different settings to your usual cutting setting because that will do the cutting and the scoring for you all at the same time. So just run through. It's a funny angle for me to be cutting out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm used to cutting on the other side of me. Okay. There we go. Just release my tape gently because I don't want to peel anything off of the beautiful papers. So you'll get two of these cuts out of each 12 by 12 paper, yeah. which is really good. Lovely. There we go. So there's a little bit of excess there. You're not wasting much at all. We've got a plant there. If we really wanted to, we could fussy cut that out. But otherwise, yeah. uh, you're not losing anything in the design. Now, as I said, the score lines are all done for you. So that's very good. Fit. You're not using a tool on there, um, bone creasing tool? No, absolutely. Just just my fingers, that's all. Um, so I'm going to just glue these down again, just as I did with the tool card. Now, again, for this, I'm not going to do the traditional bench fold card. Um, because you've got the instructions on the back, you'll be able to recreate that at home. So this is just giving you some extra inspiration. So when you receive yours at home, you'll you'll be able to watch back and see different ways of using it as I like well, that. rather Perfect. than just yeah, getting the most out of your the set. Sorry. Getting the most out of your uh, sets of dies. Exactly. Yeah, definitely. We definitely like to have more than one way of using everything, don't we? So, I mean, that on its own is really pretty, isn't it? Even if you were to just have that almost as a gatefold card, mm. um, it's a really lovely set. Now, for this, I've got my extra two pieces I could have used and I could have created that bench fold where this would have sat in there. But I thought, do you know what, actually, it's uh -huh. a shame to cover up all of those floral pieces. If yeah. you did want to do this, what I'd suggest is cutting this die from that second piece of paper that's on that sheet so you could fill back in all of this detail nice. when you cover it over. But okay. I'm going to pop them to the side and I'm going to bring in something different. So this is just a piece of acetate. Oh, interesting. And I, yeah, just a little bit different. I've yeah. trimmed it to the same height as the card. Um, and what I did is I sat it, I, I held it like that. I actually got my son to hold it like this, but you could quite easily just go onto your mat and measure yeah. um, how long it is. He's a good helping and then hand. Cut this. Yeah, he's brilliant What's while his he's name? supposed to be learning at school. Oliver. Well, everyone needs an he'll Oliver do... in the house while we're crafting then. Oh, absolutely, definitely. Um, he'll do anything to get out of school work <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> Um, so I just made this ever so slightly longer by barely a centimetre and then I also added an extra centimetre onto each end and scored those so I've got little folds at each end. So really this will just tuck over the wings like oh. so and I've got a very slight, if I hold that up I'm going to glue it, but if I hold it up I've got a very slight dome yeah. at the front so it looks as if we're looking in a window into the flower shop. Lovely. Now I'm going to secure just one end of this. That's very because, imaginative, um, Lou. Like, That's really clever. I, I love to create cards that um, build up scenes, so yes. these are perfect for me anyway. But certainly finding different ways and different shapes, mm. um, it's all part of the fun. But if I can then pass that on to you so you haven't got to think it through, okay. um, makes things much quicker for you. Well, we so coming that. back to my red line tape, there. I'm going to get that static everywhere, I'm sure. I'm just going to pop that onto one end. I'm only going to put this onto one end. I'm not going to place it onto the other end. So that's secure. So I could pop this, I'd flatten it out this way into a car, uh, an envelope, sorry. And that's mm -hmm. quite a generic size envelope. In fact, if I just measure that for you, that would be a that would be a five by seven envelope. Mm. So probably one that most people will have around at home anyway. Uh, but then when the recipient gets it, all they need to do is just tuck that wing 
over there. So you could put a little note to say, you know, attach here or something. Um, but by keeping this one unglued, that way you can still fold it flat. Um, okay. It might be worth actually putting a little bit of Velcro on the back. Yeah, so that can idea. be released um, and just give them a little bit of a clue as to how to put it together. So mm -hmm. I've got my flower shop there, the base of it. Nice. So now we need to decorate it. Um, it's, it's quite different. I can't hold it up straight for you to show you. Um, okay. But one thing I've got here is some, um, what's the word? It's like a dawning or the can can canopy. Yeah, any of those so yeah. this can go either onto the front here but I quite like it I quite liked it in there now it does have a little tab so what you can do is two things you can either cut two of these and join them onto each other and make a longer one to come across the front which would be really nice yeah. um, or otherwise you can attach this to the side of your bench fold card just one side and then if you do want to make this so that it folds flat um, as the traditional bench fold card, you still can because one end will be unglued. So I'm just going to snip mine off. Right. And before I glue it on, I'm going to add two of these. Now, this is just where I've cut a pale pink version of this and I've trimmed out, out two sections. Uh, and this is just going to make a nice, quick and easy uh, two tone canopy rather than just the one solid colour. So I've bought in a pink. I'm choosing colours for this that I can see in the papers. So it all matches and ties in. There we go, just a wet glue. And you've got a score line on this as well that runs through the middle. So as long as they are glued, and I think they're not going to move, I'm going to fold that score line up a little bit. Okay, nice. Oh, just so then doing, I can apply... Like, oh, sorry. Go on. Sorry. I was just say, uh, we had a question in from Jane just to answer. So Jane was asking with regard to the paper pad, how many of the designs are we getting? So there's six designs and you're getting four of each. So uh, you're getting six designs there, four of each. Yes, so that will be four scenes in the, within the six designs. You've got four scenes mm -hmm. um, that are full 12 by 12. And then um, your other two designs are half each background for yeah. each of the scenes if that makes sense so i'm just going to lift that up so i've glued down great. half lift that up so i've got a little canopy in there love that lou really like that it's really it starts coming to life doesn't yeah. it I've, i just had so, so much fun preparing these mm -hmm. so the next thing i've done is i've already cut some pieces i've got myself a sign because i thought yeah. actually if this is a, a flower shop i need to have a sign on the front window so i've got a sign that i will pop around there mm. um i've got a bicycle now nice. the bicycle i cut this from gray cardstock okay. i then cut it from a teal um and then i took a black pen and if i just turn that Ooh. over that's what i ended up with so, so the teal i yeah, it really is so simple. So it's three different colours, but really uh, two pieces of cardstock. So the teal is obviously just the frame. I just snipped everything away and glued that over the top of the silver. And then the black, I went around the handles, the seat and the tyres and things. Uh, you could go even further and do a little wicker basket with some brown or craft cardstock as well. Mm. Um, that's going to sit nicely outside the shop. Now, the beauty of this set as well is that you do have included with the bench fold card die set, you have things like um, a door and you have a window. Now, I know our demonstrations would be very long if I started doing all of these elements yeah. as well. Uh, but that's certainly something you can start working on is building up the outside as well as the inside. It would look really nice. Now, because I'm working on acetate, I am going to use a little bit of my red line tape to glue my bicycle down. Mm -hmm. This is the strongest glue. Yeah. One and a little bit on the basket. Sorry, I have to remember that I need to need to work a little bit higher up so you can see me with them. And then I have that really pretty uh, black, I say a black, I cut it from black cardstock, but um, really pretty sign, shop sign that I can use as well. Yeah. I haven't even touched on the stamps yet. This is just using the dies and the papers. So the bike, the bike is going to sit there. Um, I'm going to put, I've got, a, ah, I've got a watering can, I love the watering can, uh, I'm going to use, I'm going to have to use my red line tape again, pop that across here, 
So now we're just working on embellishing and you can have so much fun with this. You can really, really build it up mm -hmm. and you can spend hours doing it yeah. um, to create different layers. When I put my sign on, which I'll show you in just a moment, if I can get the backing off of this oh. red line tape, it's one of those things. There we go. Oops, drop you on there. You're almost in the right place anyway. You wanted to go there. there we meant to be yeah it knew where to go <laughs> so then i've got this is actually a stamp um from the stamp set i'll try and hold that away from the light there so it's not too shiny for you um it says botanical studio florist which is a really pretty name you can color this in as well but i like it just as a, a stamp there this would look amazing if you stamped onto something like mirror card and had a silver sign for the shop um there's lots of different ways but it's actually cut out using an outline die from the uh florists or flower shop um set yeah. as well but, but to create even more match, dimension and layers I'm... i would imagine you can mix and match a lot of the sets lee yes absolutely you really can there's lots certainly certainly lots of signs that you can bring in from one to another and um, they really work well together i would i would be building these up and buying as many sets as i my well, budget can stretch to for me i think what really makes it is the bench mechanism die so if I was to go for this set, I wouldn't yeah. want to just go for the two pairs, uh, the pair rather. I would want to get the bigger bundle uh, and get that mechanism. Because looking at that there is such a beautiful card to make. Yeah, and you know all the different themes that you can make with this, all the different styles. In fact, if you watch, uh, I think it's, is it seven o'clock that I've got mm. my next show? Um, I hope it's seven o'clock. I think that's what I've got written down. Um, yeah. If you're... If you watch that show, I've actually got um, a completely different way, an easel card using this same bench Ooh. fold set. So nice. uh, just yet another, oh, I, actually, I'm going to do something different with this, another way of using it. So I need to watch that at 7 p.m. Nice. Uh, I'm going to pop this this sign. I've handwritten the word flowers on here with oh. a white pen, but you can do this. Um, so within the stamp set, so I just bring the stamp set up. There is a florist's name there, yeah. and that fits perfectly within this um, sign here. So you can stamp this onto white and pop that in if you wanted Perfect. to. Um, I've got a little bit of glue just on the bar there, and I'm going to bring this in and attach it inside of here. Just tucking my fingers inside the acetate there. Okay. So that is actually hanging in the air. So that oh. will, of course, stand up all by itself. No, this looks so um, good. But they're, they're really clever, aren't they? Such clever cards. Yeah, I think that is so effective. And all the little touches and details that you're able to add. The thing with Paper Discovery, they give you so many elements to play with. And as crafters, we appreciate that. So there's so many uh, elements we can draw from. Now, Lou, we've got about three minutes left. If there's anything else you'd like to show us before the end of this show. Um, yes. Shall I show you one of the stencils? Is that yeah, a very, nice very quick demonstration yeah, for you? Yeah, that would be lovely to see. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, I will grab one of those. I'll be as quick as I can. Okay. Because these are absolutely beautiful. Um, and I haven't been able to do as much as I wanted to with these. Um, really stunning. Now, the other stencil I am going to be using um, in one of my demonstrations in the next hour. So right. I won't, I'll use this one instead, just so we get to see both. Let's just take um, a couple of colours very, very quickly. Uh, pinks and purples, for no reason. Mm -hmm. And let's just do a very quick bit of blending, just so you can see. Now, this is a stencil that I'm going to blend through, but of course, um, well, actually, if you come to the next hour, you'll see another way of using these. So you can use your texture paste through them as well, if you want to. You can use these with um, your embossing uh, not embossing mat that's what the word I'm looking for the rubber mat you run it through your embossing machine so just I'm going to do a bit of two-tone stenciling here so there's a purple right. I'm not taping this down I probably okay. should do that very quickly very just so neat. I don't do that. you're a very neat crafter Lou it always impressed me every time we work together how neat you are I try I really try <laughs> not always though my husband will say differently <laughs> So there we go, just okay. blending through the colours. Yeah. 
now i would usually if i was going to do this in in a piece of card stuff like this and really want to avoid the edges because it's a finished project i would tape all the way around the edges to make sure that i don't catch anything let me just finish off this corner and then we'll lift that up so you can see it there we go oh yeah there. isn't that just beautiful it's That's so nice. so pretty the background's great i can see that you can also extend that if you did want to extend it would extend nicely but equally if you just want to oh, take easily, a yes yeah a strip you can make some beautiful borders or frames as well yeah you really up. can you can use it an awful lot so uh, this is going to work really well with all of your sh insides of your shops and things yeah we like that <laughs> lou thank you so much time's beaten us i'm afraid but you're going to be back at seven and you're saying you've got something a little yes. bit different at seven what are you going to be showing us uh, so um, I'm going to do an easel card using that bench fold card and okay. then um, I've actually got some more embossing with one of the stencils as well so I can okay. show you that too. I'm looking forward to that. Lou, thank you so much. I always enjoy working with you. Take care. I've got to ask, did you get much snow where you are? A lot. We've actually got oh. a snow plough outside now. I can hear it beeping. <laughs> wow. I mean, you a serious yeah. amount of snow. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're not, lot, you, yes. your uh, studio is only a short walk from your house. Stay safe and we'll be back with you at seven. Thank you so much, Lou. And you. Thank you very much. Bye. Snowplow. Wow. Uh, okay. So uh, thank you so much for joining us this hour. We did have four different sets to choose from. Uh, there's different ways to buy this. Now, let me just explain really quickly. So with all the sets, you can either get the bench mechanisms, so this large uh, die set. And actually, it's worth seeing how many dies you get with that. So let me just pick that up. So you're getting 24 dies in just this one set. Look at the amount of dies that you have there. That's your bench mechanism. Now, for me, if it was, if I was going for the set, I would want that because I haven't got anything like that in my stash. And then you're also uh, getting the set. So it can be the bench with uh, the here the haberdashery or all the other ones. Uh, so we've got the flower shop, the tea room, and the DIY. So those are your four options. Equally. If you've got a similar die to the bench uh, and you just want to go for the sets individually, you can as well. But for me, seven pounds saving, it's all about that big bundle. So just decide whichever one works for you. Thank you so much for joining us this e uh, evening, uh, today I should say. Uh, but we will be back this evening with another hour at seven uh, for Paper Discovery. So tune in then. I love this next hour. Please, please stick around. Uh, it's fast become my favorite game to play in the world. Uh, we've got the Happy Puzzle Company. After that, uh, Paper Rose and then Sensational Slowing One Day Special. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase, and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving and other forms of passementry. 
I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows here on Hojanda. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognize businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honored to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. We also have a great little team of other artists, friends, who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda Shows. We can't wait to see you there. I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Hello, good afternoon. I'm so excited because I get to play games. I get paid to do this and I get to play games. Um, now, the lovely Gavin is here in the studio. Hello, Gavin. Hello, Alex. How are you? Hello, Hachanda World. How are you all doing today? Not been here for a few days. Yes. Hope you're not all too cold. Yeah, I know. Pretty freezing out there. Freezing. What I'm going to do first off, because you were saying this earlier, if you haven't yet seen any of these fabulous games, obviously we're going to talk you through them. However, if you already have the Genius Square, Go get it now. Go get it now, and because we're going to play in a minute, and then you can play along. That's what we want, isn't it, Gavin? Absolutely, because we get so many messages yeah. from Hachanda viewers telling us that whenever I'm on, they play against me to see if they <laughs> can beat me and whoever's presenting at the time. Amazing. So that's what we want to see. So I'm giving you literally a couple of minutes to go and get it wherever it is. It might already be out because you're playing it all the time because a lot of people do do that. So while you're getting that, um, Gavin, just in case anybody hasn't met you before, tell us a bit about yourself and the Happy Puzzle Company. In the unlikely event that you've just arrived on planet Earth and you've <laughs> never watched us on Hachanda before, I'm Gavin, I'm from the Happy Puzzle Company and I've been running the Happy Puzzle Company now for nearly 29 years. We do all sorts of puzzles and games which are sold all over the world, 33 different countries and our puzzles and games have won awards absolutely everywhere. Marvellous. Now, right then, what we're going to do is show you the website because it's not just the Genius Square, we've got the Genius Star. Look at this. Uh, we've got now, there's an, everybody's fine. Um, there's an illusion. There's an illusion game which I've not seen before. Do check out the reviews. There are so many fabulous testimonies on the website. Uh, so there's a fabulous game. Look at these five star reviews. So do get ahead if you're looking for, I mean, in lockdown, what better thing to do? Not only that, but a lot of these games lend themselves to being played over Zoom or yeah. Skype. So you can have one part of the game and someone else can have another part of the game and you can play just as if you were sitting opposite each other. I love that idea. What a great idea. Now, we're going to start with the genius square now i do just want to say that this here this is 
basically has been scaled up for television purposes, just so that you can see. <coughs> this is the size that you'll get of our lovely ones. Uh, you're going to get, so we, do we get two? So one you do, you player. get two sets inside there so that you can play opposite somebody. Yep. And you can multiply that up so you can have four sets, three sets, five sets, 150,000 sets. In fact, there are online tournaments of this that I've seen wow. going on now as well. Wow, it's amazing. I love that. Obviously, full instructions are going to be in there. You've got your two boards. So what, what do we get in this kit then? So let me tell you the back story. Sure, that's, first of all, that's it's cool. a wonderful story. So the Genius Square was invented originally by an Algerian mathematician whose name is Salim Burgish, and he's very proud of what he's done. Uh -huh. And he originally sent us our game about three years ago and suggested to us that we might want to produce it. Now, he'd sent it to all of the big toys and games companies across the world, and they'd all rejected him. And although the game was as good as he said it was, it wasn't quite perfect, and we had to nurture it a little okay. bit and get it to where we needed it to be. And then it launched just over two years ago. Right. And worldwide, we have sold 300 155,000 copies. Cool. It is the current uh, game of the year in Australia. Amazing. It's game of the year in Spain. Uh, it's got the second highest rating ever given to a game by the Good Toy Guide in the UK. And this is a big week because on Friday, yeah. we will find out whether it has won game of the year in the United States. Oh, come on, Genius Square. I know, that's <laughs> going to that's gonna be a seriously big deal for us. So everyone's talking about this game. If yep. you haven't got this game and you want to own one game to last you for the rest of your life, this is the game to own. It is stunningly beautifully made. Yep. The pieces are made out of wood. The board, of course, is a plastic board, but the pieces themselves are beautiful painted wood mm -hmm. and they will last you forever until you wear the game out, Absolutely. which is quite likely because yeah. there are 62,208 possible ways of playing the game. So I'm now going to explain to wow. you yes, how we do this. So inside the game, and remember what Alex said, that we're using a much bigger version to make it easier for everybody to see. You've got seven dice, and on those dice, you will find all of the coordinates that appear on the board. So if you look down one side, we've got A to F, and if you look across the top, you'll see one to six. So when we roll the dice, they will come up with one of the 62,208 possible combinations. Oh, Let's do that say. now. Let's clear the board as well. If you want to clear your board, Alex, just there. And you'll see these round pieces. These are called blockers. And what we're going to do is we are going to block off the coordinates that we have thrown. So let's clear this completely and let's see what we've got. And I'll call them out so that Alex can hear as well. So we have B3 and we have E3 and we have E6 and we have C5 and we have F1 and F2 and F3. So we've got a little clump there uh, in the middle. Now, we've got these nine pentomino pieces over here as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to race against each other to see who could be the first person, the first player, to actually complete the grid with all of the pieces in place. And it is guaranteed to always work. Whatever you do, whatever coordinates you throw, it will always work. And that's why it's going to take you a long time to play, because the chances of you throwing the same game twice are one, are one in 62,208. So it's going to last you a long time. Are you ready? Yes. So we're going to play. Now, this shouldn't take us more than 30 seconds to a minute. So let's see how we go. If you're ready, five, four, three, two, one, go. Now, Alex is at an advantage because she doesn't have to talk at the same time as doing this. Uh, but I do have to, and I can't do it very well. There are certain pieces that people like to put in place first of all, but everybody plays it in a different way. So the question is, have I managed to do this already? Yes, I have. Oh, no. I've done. There you go. <laughs> and it's as simple as that. And the first thing you want to do when you finish playing is you want to play a game, which is what we're going to do now. <laughs> so again, if you've got your genius square with you, make sure you take all the pieces out. And we're going to throw some more coordinates here. Let's give these a really good roll here and roll them down here and let's see what we've got. Okay, we've got F1, that's come up again, and A3, and F3's come up again, and F6 this time, and B6, and C3, and E4. So we've got those there. Are you ready to see if you can uh, get your exacted revenge on me? Yes. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go. 
Now, this one's a little bit of a gift here because that is an obvious place for that one to go. But you have to keep your eyes and ears open on what you do. Not really your ears. You need to keep your ears open to listen to me waffling away while we do this. But as I said to you before, this has got, had the most amazing reviews, this game. And if there's one game you buy in the rest of your life, oh, look, I've done it. Then this is the game to this is the game to buy. Uh, now look, to be fair to Alex, <laughs> I, I have played a few more times than Alex has. Alex is now the only presenter who actually doesn't own one of these, um, but that will change oh, after right. today. So, uh, with apologies for the fact that somehow you've not you've ended up without one, but the others you are more practice. You try playing against Yanis. I can't beat Yanis, but I don't like to meet to uh, admit to that. He's like Yanis's head has gone. Yes, I can beat him. I love that. He's also quite competitive. Yeah. So, Must. this is the Genius Square. It yeah. is the most magnificent game. It's suitable for ages six to adult, and that does mean to adults. And yeah. one of the beautiful things about this is that you are playing on an equal level, no matter what your age is. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, so I'm still going. <laughs> parents against children, children against children, grandparents against grandchildren yeah. is by far the most popular one in lockdown. And of course, if you've both got a set, uh, you only need to have one in front of you, one person rolls the dice, and as you can see we've been doing here, yeah. we can play together, and it's absolutely brilliant. We're going to play one more game? Go on then. One more game. <laughs> okay, let's take the pieces out here. <laughs> and I sincerely hope that if there's anybody left of your viewers that yeah. doesn't own one of these, that they do get one now. By the way, worth mentioning that if okay. you go onto the Hotchanda website, yes, definitely. oh my goodness me, Every single review yeah. is a five-star review. What your lovely, lovely viewers are, oh, there you are, look at this. I mean, just look at this. I can't read them from here, but you should might I, be able I to read, read them. I I Go can. ahead, yes. Right, brilliant game, looking forward to more. A brilliant game, great for spatial awareness. Uh, bought for my grandchildren as part of their Christmas present. They loved the challenge. Brilliant game, thoroughly enjoyed by grandchildren and their parents. Um, I purchased the puzzle as a gift, which was happily received. Unsure um, how the recipient is getting on with it, but I can definitely say it was good value for money. And you're absolutely right, because 16.99 for endless hours hours of fun absolutely is years of fun is incredible absolutely yeah. this game will last you forever it's a must game we're gonna have one we're gonna have one okay. more game now okay. we're gonna have let's one more game just it. now okay i'm gonna roll those dice again okay let's see if we can avoid all those f's coming up oh, no, no, it's, uh, we've got two more of them again but different ones anyway we've got okay. f1 and f4 this f1 time I wonder why so many f's are coming up here uh e1 and c5 uh what else have we got a1 and e3 uh, and the last one, which I have not found, is B3. There you go. B3. Let me know when you're ready. <sighs> ready, Alex? Go. Time for revenge? Go. Okay. Excellent. Okay. I did once have somebody come up to me at a, yeah. a, a trade show yeah. uh, and tell me they weren't leaving until uh, they managed to beat me. And they did manage to beat me in the end, but it had to result to me having a paper bag over my head <laughs> while I was playing. So. <laughs> ah, oh, wait, 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 I've done it! Come on! And that was <laughs> genuine. That was that, that, there was no that wasn't. I mean, okay, I was talking at the same time, but that was genuine. Now look at that. And what is the feeling like when you've won a game? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So that is the genius square. I love it. Thank you. I'm having so much fun. Right, sixteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Five four nine six five two is your item number. Now we've got a lovely little video to show you about the genius square. So let's take a look. <laughs> So we've got the Genius Star now. The Genius Star is the follow-up to the Genius Square. Cool. Now, this has come about yeah. because so many people love what they're doing with the Genius Square. Uh -huh. They wanted something which was harder. 
Oh. So the difference with this one here is, first and foremost, uh, that we're not dealing with coordinates. I'm going to take these apart. Here we've got the numbers on the star, and I don't know whether you can see these clearly. I might have to lift it up. Can you, the camera moves in, can you actually see where the numbers are? On there. Oh, we're just coming in. Can I, let me just lift it up here. Just do it from the front. I'm just thinking maybe if you move in there, maybe you can see the numbers on there. While they're just doing the cameras, just to let you know at home that um, it's extended delivery. I meant to say that from the 17th of February, but that's soon actually. It's only a week. It is worth it. Let me tell you. Right. So here are the numbers. There you are. Now you can see the numbers on the on the board there like yep. that. Okay. So you can see them there and that. And the beauty of this one. Yes. This one has 165,000. 1,888 different possible games Who to play. Um, it's actually not that difficult, Is the maths, it not? Right. because it's based on the different numbers that appear on yeah. each of the dice, and then you multiply them through okay. to get the uh, uh, to, to get the maths right. But that's that's basically how it works. Okay. Now, why is this harder? Right. Well, the reason why this is harder is because the shapes are not as obvious where they go. Um, there's obviously more spaces in there as well because the genius square has got 36 spaces. This has got 48 spaces, mm. and there is a beautifully delicious twist Ooh. that comes with this as well. So the principle is the same. Same. Yeah. We've got our seven dice, but unlike in the genius square, here only four of the dice are regular square dice, and you've got three that are octagonal dice. Okay. So that makes it much more complex. Yeah. And we've got our blockers here. This time the blockers are a little bit different. Okay. This time the blockers are triangles, white triangles with black stars ah. uh, in the middle there. Yep. Yeah. And there is a beautiful twist, right. because once you've rolled your dice, yeah. when you've put the, position, the, uh, the, the blockers into position, you've then got to make a decision. Now, okay. have a look at these two pieces here. Now, yes, you do have two pieces that are the same, because these are half hexagons. And those half hexagons go together, if you like, yep. you don't have to, to make a complete hexagon. Mm -hmm. But if I turn them over the other side, you will see that they make a golden star. Now, on roughly 54% of the challenges, it is possible to complete the challenge with the golden star in one, in one whole piece. Right. However, you've got to make a judgment call oh. as to whether or not you want to risk going for a double win by having the star intact, uh -huh. or whether you want to do it the easier way and just do it face up like that, and you can split them and put them wherever you want to. Right. Now, the beauty of this is that there is a specific website, which unsurprisingly is www.geniusstar.com, yeah. uh, where you can put in your coordinates, and it will tell you whether or not it is possible um, to actually do it with the That's star clever. complete. So okay. for the sake of easiness, because this does take significantly longer right. to do, it's nothing like as easy as the genius square, so this will stretch you further. So let's have a go. Have you got your set in front of you there? Uh, yeah, hopefully I've got, because there's some of the pieces... Absolutely. You should only up. have two of the blue pieces, otherwise everything should be yeah, uh, one piece, which looks great from here. Let's yep. roll the dice and let's block off these coordinates. So we have got here the number okay. five. Number five. Uh, number ten. Number 19. 19? Yep. Number 16. 19, 16. Uh, 32. Yep. 22. Oh, 32, 22, sorry. And the bonus ball <laughs> is number 47. So that's what it looks like there. I'm hoping the overhead camera can pick up on that. Yeah, that's what we've got, got there. Let's just change that angle there slightly. OK, and now we've got the pieces here, and we're going to race to try and get these pieces in. There's 11 of these, not like Everything about it is more difficult. So let's see if we can do it, first of all, okay. uh, without having the, uh, the golden star intact. You ready? Oh, I want to do it. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've had an email from Pat saying how competitive I am. Sorry. You think? <laughs> you think? All right, are we ready? Yeah. Am Let's I go. Okay. Okay. Go. Now the thing is that when you look at this visually, it's much more complex. So you don't necessarily instantly see things in the same way as you would do when you're looking at the square, and that makes it hard. You've got to stay really, really focused in what you're doing, and as you'll see, it does take significantly longer. And if you get stuck with one or two pieces, it can be what would we'll define as being uber. But uber, oh. uber, uber, oh, frustrating, which is exactly the position that I've got myself oh. into here. 
Look at no, that. No. Look how close it? I was. Have you done it? No, uh, no. I have not done it yet. No. Okay. Oh, no. You twist this one around here, perhaps. <laughs> so I put that round in, in <laughs> this direction here. Yes. Let's possibly move this one up to here. You can see very clearly that this is much more complicated. And oh. there you go. Oh, I have well managed to do it. Oh, that was Now, tough. I can tell I like you that, that there is, you never know what you're going to get, yeah. okay? Yeah. This is like going blind into a tin of Quality Street. Ooh, you lovely. just don't know what you're going to get. And yeah. some of these are fiendishly difficult. They yeah. all have a solution, but I have had puzzles which have taken me 20 minutes to solve. So we got lucky there. What we don't know, of course, is whether or not I could have done it with the Golden Star intact. Mm -hmm. We would have gone to the website in order to be able to have a look at it. But that is the Genius Star. So it's the follow-up game. Now, because it's harder, yeah. it is for a slightly older age group. So this is suitable for ages eight to adults. The principle's the same. You're getting two of everything you need yeah. inside. So again, you can play it over Skype, over Zoom. Absolutely superb, brilliant, wonderful, amazing game. I love it, right. I really like this one. Eight, I like the challenge. 1899. Item number is 836370. Uh, right, we've got another fabulous video to show you. We've got six minute cues on the phone lines. Your fastest way to order is online at hachanda.com. You can see how much fun we're having. You are going to love all of these games. Right, let's take a look. now up to seven minute queues on the phone lines uh, if, please go to the website if you want any of these games remember the games are going to be shipped from the 17th of February but not long to wait at all right then so I've not seen this one either Gavin do, do you know what this whole thing is completely brilliant because right? there is now uh, a junior version of this oh, that's cute. so this is be genius and this is the version which is suitable for ages three to eight I shall show you that on here. You can see it on the overhead as well. Okay. And the best thing about this is that it's not a competitive version. This is all about building self-confidence. There are actually relatively few games out there that help young children to develop their spatial awareness skills with, alongside their thinking skills and their logical deduction skills. The principle is the same. Uh -huh. You've got the board and you've got the pieces, but these are much, much bigger, much chunkier pieces as well. Mm -hmm. So if you look at these, for example, if I hold that alongside one of the Genius Star pieces, you can see just how much bigger yeah. these are as well. And they are so beautifully built uh, out of wood. Now, Principles the same, remember non-competitive, and it's much more straightforward because we're dealing with younger children here. So all we're using is the numbers from one to six, mm -hmm. and they're color coded. So on each of the dice, you've got the color of the die, and then you've got the numbers from one to six going around the outside. So what we're gonna do here, and there's, uh, am I missing one of them? No, I've got them all, that's fine. So we've got six blockers here, and the seventh one is our queen bee. Yeah, the, uh, that. Queen, the queen bee goes in the middle. There, she's in charge of the hive there. And we're gonna roll these dice and these are what we're gonna use the worker bees to block out. So we've got uh, a green number one and we've got a yellow number three and we've got a red number four and we've got a purple number four and we have got uh, an orange number four, the, the, the number four there. Uh, and finally, oh, look at that. We've got a blue number four, lots of fours that we threw there. Uh, so this is also going to help children, uh, not just with things like pattern recognition, but colour recognition and yeah, number recognition yeah. and so on and so forth. Now, we're both going to have a go at this, not competitively. Through, okay, but yeah, I'm going to say to you, this, this, this is for three to eight year olds. Okay, yeah, so, okay, so let's yeah. have a look and see. Yeah, there's much mirth and laughter in here 
there about what might happen now. <laughs> But we shall see. And literally, they clock into place so beautifully. Uh, they lock in, which means that they're not going to fall off, uh, whatever you're doing. And the way these pieces have been put together is specifically to give lots of possibilities so that it's much more straightforward for younger children to do. And that one goes in there. And we'll put this one in here like that, and this one in here like that. There'll be Did lots it? of different ways of doing each one. Congratulations, you beat me at a three-year-old <laughs> game. Okay. There you are. And that's what it looks like. And again, you've, this one's got um, over 40,000 possible combinations. Wow. Uh, because you've got six numbers on each of the dice, yep. and so the math is simply six times six times six times six times six times six. Right. Whatever that comes to. Don't ask me. There you go. <laughs> so that is Be Genius. So if you've got a younger member of the family and you want to build their confidence in what they're doing, develop their spatial awareness, and develop their thinking skills as well, then this is Be Genius. And it has already won a major award in Ooh. the UK as well. It won the uh, Toy of the Year at the Independent toy awards in the UK last year so good so yes, yes. the awards they keep coming in there this you is are. good <laughs> this is good uh, 16 pounds and 99 pence again such reasonable prices item number is 092492 again are, are we still queuing eight and a half minutes now on the phone lines obviously we'll endeavor to get to you as soon as possible but it's far easier and quicker if you do check out on the website right another little video let's take a look game we're going to look at is the illusion cubes um, they're really cool when you look at them and this is quite a new game this is brand new these have only been out now for about eight weeks right. and we have done something here that has never been done before okay this is a kit which allows you to create your own optical illusions and it's very very clever because it's not what you think it's going to be oh. now before I show you and demonstrate this to you I do want to say one thing yeah I have um, made these magnetic myself you could do the same if you wanted to do them on the fridge or something like that they don't come magnetic okay. I just went down to my local craft shop and bought something which is uh, self-adhesive magnetic tape and right. I just stuck these to the back here now let's just explain to you what you're getting first of all so so these aren't the illusion cubes and inside your set you're going to get 24 oh there you are let's throw them around the studio 24 of the illusion cubes now you have to see these to believe these because they look as though they're going to be actual cubes mm. and they are not what they are actually are layered chevrons built on top of each other which yeah. creates mm. the effect and they then have an optical illusion effect with them. So literally, when I'm holding it like that, it looks like I'm holding a cube. But if I turn it around on the side, you can see how the layers are simply put together. Yeah. And the most important thing here is that the illusion effect comes out of having the overlap so that you get that effect of, okay. of things coming together. And that's why they're layered in this way, so that you can see that some of the colours are at lower points yeah. than other ones. And what that means, it means you can take two pieces like this, for example, and you can put them together in this way. I hope you can see this sort yeah. of fairly clearly. Yeah. And you, uh, I've done that really badly. Let's just to try and do that like right, a normal human back. being. Right. Yeah. Anyway, I like that. So you can sort of start to see the illusion effect that comes up, mm. particularly when I do it properly like that. Okay. So just to be able to show, uh, show these a little bit more easily here, what I've done here is I've taken some of the designs just to show them on the board. And you should be able to see the effect that you're getting literally by just taking a couple of them here and just overlapping them in this way, you can start building uh, the effect that you've got here. And actually, 
It's as simple as that. Uh -huh. But you can do your own creations and you can have multiple sets together. So let's have a look and see some of the things which you can build from within this single pack. Now, it's important that you start off with something simple. Yeah. So if you look at the very easy patterns, they're just using small numbers and you create your own illusions like that. And then as you go through, they get more and more complicated and all of these are possible just with the one set that you've got uh, and you can see that they get more and more mm. complicated uh, more and more dynamic by the way this one here this one 6.9 this is my favorite one is it? and explain to you i don't know whether you're familiar with the artwork of escher at I've all seen it, yeah. so uh, escher has these wonderful things called penrose staircases and those are the staircases that basically go up and up and up and up and you're forever walking up them now you can't do those with these cubes because okay. that that is a a two-dimensional illusion however mm. we've come pretty close and this was an example here and if you look carefully at this one here this is challenge number 6.9 and your eyes will start paying, uh, playing tricks on you because yeah. you'll see the staircase going off in different directions every time you look at it. The whole thing changes around and you can actually build that. And again as we go through just some amazing shapes that are simply impossible and yet they, they look like they're real and you're making yeah. those for yourself. So the endless possibilities that you have here don't obviously mean that you have to stop after you've done the 120 challenges that are inside here. Uh -huh. The idea is that you then start creating your own optical illusions. So these have wonderful applications, uh, not just actually from a craft point of view, uh, because we know that we've got um, some of our customers who started yeah. creating uh, patterns for quilting and, yeah. and, and stuff right. like that, um, but actually to feed the inquisitive nature of children who want to understand how shapes work uh, and how optical illusions work. Optical illusions go right back to the ancient Greeks. Uh, and they've developed over time, but they've never lost their basic principles. Yeah. And it's something which plays tricks on the human brain mm -hmm. and gives us really exciting possibilities. I like that. Do you know the stairs? You know the stairs one? Do you know that reminds me of Labyrinth? Do you remember the film Labyrinth? And the yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Other films available. Now, I do <laughs> need to tell you that we've got 14 minute cues on the phone lines. Good that gosh. is how busy we are. I what have right? I done? Yeah. <laughs> the world alike that's what you've done um, do it online yeah yeah do please go to the website Can someone phone my mother and tell us to stop ordering <laughs> brilliant uh, 16.99 then this one's really cool uh 664 here is the website just so you can see a reminder of all the ones that we've got on there we've got the genius square we've got the genius star yeah there you go <laughs> I see five stars everywhere. Indeed. It's like I've been hit over the head by the overhead camera. I'm seeing stars all over the place. <laughs> oh, brilliant stuff. Yep, yeah, so as I said, 16.99. Item number is 664699. Uh, do we have a video for this one? Yes, we do. And this is completely different to anything you've ever seen before. So if you want something a little bit different, particularly if your children and grandchildren are looking for something that is something they've never seen before, this is definitely something to go for. They are the illusion cubes. Now we're going to see a game called Hit the Hat. I am intrigued. Uh, obviously, it looks like we're going to be hitting some hats, but um, this one, Molly, Molly's seen this before. 
Uh, oh, apparently Paula got very aggressive, Molly's saying to me, when she played this. I mean, I'm not going to comment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she's watching right now as well. Right, OK. How right. does this work? This is Hit the Hat. This is a lovely game. Uh, this is suitable for ages four to adult. And again, it's a real family game. Yeah. And again, the logic behind this is so beautiful. So what we've got here in front of me, I hope you can see all of these here. There are 36 different hats. And each of the hats has three properties okay. so it has a type of hat so we've got top hats and we've got sun hats and we've got baseball caps and there are two surrounding colors which will either be pink or they'll be green and then we've got three different patterns no six different patterns that are on there you can see one two three four five and the other one, which, oh, here we are, six, maybe, possibly. Anyway, they all appear on these dice here. And what happens is, when we roll these three dice, one which deals uh, just with the outside colour, right. one which deals with the type of hat, and one which deals with the pattern. And when we roll these, the combination that comes up will be unique to one of the 36 hats. Right. Now, we can play with up to four players, and what we have here is our little hitters here. They're cute. So they're cute, and they're colour-coded as well. So we take our hitter, and basically what these do is they've got suckers on the end, so they allow us to identify the hat that we want and to stop anybody else from beating us. All we do when we see the one we want is we... Hit the hat, okay? <laughs> Hit the hat, and we've got it there like that, and that tells us what our winning hat is. So, the aim of the game is very simple. You roll the dice, whatever comes up, all you have to do is find the one hat that matches what's come up, mm -hmm. and then you have to be the first two. Hit the hat. Simple as that. Right. Okay, so now, we've only got one set of dice here, so I'm going to... I don't know how we're going to be able to see it so that you can I see can, what we're I doing. Can look in the you look on, You look on there. So let's roll what you've got here, and then viewers at home... You too can look and see if you can identify the hat that we've got here, uh, which I thought I'd actually seen just now, but oh, I can see it. It's here. It's that one. There you uh. go. You see, let's look at this here. Look at this cat, uh, hat here. So we've got, we can see it's the sun hat, which appears on there. Uh, we can see it's going to have the green border, which it does there. And there is our matching pattern as well. So let's have one more go with this just to demonstrate the point. Right, I'm directing from the floor. Webster, I want to close upon these dice. I couldn't see them. Here we go. <laughs> there are the dice. Cutting, cutting. Okay, you see those there? Oh, we rolled something quite similar this time, but it's a different one. There it is. There oh. is the hat that we want. So <laughs> it is a high-speed game. Very good for developing visual perception skills and yep. also for speed of thought. Be able to think quickly under pressure. Yep. Lovely game. That is Hit the Hat. I love it. It's like swatting a fly as well, actually. That's cool. Uh, 1699 is your item number. Got another little video. Here we go. $16.99. Again, there's, a, there's not one game I don't like that we've played so far. 292994 is the item number. Right, the next one, 30 Q. This is the proudest moment of my career, oh. this game. Now, I'm going to give you the backstory to this. <laughs> okay, go. Yeah. So, there is a gentleman who puzzlers will know all over the world. His yeah. name is Ivan Moscovich. Okay. He is now 94 years old. Oh. He is the survivor of multiple concentration camps. Oh. He is an absolute legend uh, in the uh, toy and games industry. Mm -hmm. um, and he's developed over 100 puzzles and games which people routinely buy off the shelves. He is also a world-renowned artist uh -huh. uh, and a mathematician. He's the author of over 60 books. And uh, I do happen to know, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, that his daughter, Hilla, is watching from the Netherlands oh, uh, today to Hello. actually Good see this. To you. And in fact, last year, 
this game which we did together, which is 30 cubes, yeah. <clears throat> when he had his tribute evening in Chicago, there were 600 people from the toy industry across the world there, and he asked for this game to be on everybody's table oh, for, us to, uh, for us to play. So it's an amazing thing for me. And basically, at the age of 91, three years ago, he came to me, we've been friends for years, and he said, Gavin, while I still can, do you not think it's a good idea for us to actually design a game together? Mm -hmm. And 30 cubed is what came out of that. Now, it is based on an, uh, an old mathematical principle called the 30 cube principle. Right. And I'm going to explain how it works. So it will not surprise you to find out that 30 cubed contains 30 cubes. <laughs> These are our 30 cubes. Let's empty them out there like so. And what you'll notice about them is that each of them has six sides, because they're cubes, obviously, uh, and they have the same six base colours in them. So every one has got a purple side, a blue side, a green side, Ooh. a yellow side, a red side, and a black side. But you'll yep. also notice <laughs> that they've got these partial lines in them. And some of them are going to be the beginning or the end of a line, and some of them will be the middle of the line. And yep. that is critical. You'll also notice, by the way, they've all got a letter on them, and on every side will be the same letter. And that is to help you when you're looking looking at the solutions afterwards. And what we have is a series of puzzles, an endless series of puzzles, which include puzzles for younger children as well, and yep. the most difficult ones, which are absolutely perilously difficult. And you're using those cubes the whole time. Right. So let's do a very simple example of what we're going to do. So at the very simplest level, we're going to choose one colour, one base colour. Choose a colour, Alex. Oh, I like the, OK, blue. I, I didn't blue. get a choice yet. So Alex, <laughs> so Alex has got the blue there. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these all over so that they are blue side up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually fill the base that we've got here so that it makes sense, which means that for the coloured lines, every time we have a coloured line, it's going to have a start and a finish and possibly a middle in there as well. Now I'm going to have to do this very, very quickly. And as you go through, the challenges get more and more difficult. This is another puzzle which is beautifully made out of wood and it's painted on top. And this is something which will sit on your coffee table and will be loved and passed on to generation after generation after generation. Mm. The easier puzzles, like the easier one mm. I'm showing you now, are very straightforward. But let me assure you that when you get 3D and really difficult, they start to become almost impossible. So very quickly, or as quickly as I can do it, I'm going to give you some examples as to how we can do this. And what you can see I'm doing here is simply putting them in so that everything is logical in this way so you can see they've got the start and the finish like that. Let's put this one in here like so. And obviously I've done these a few times, just a few times, um, so I do know uh, more or less what I'm doing. But if you're doing them for the first time, well, that is a whole different ball game completely. I'm just trying to get this done so that you can see exactly how it works. And as you go through, as I mentioned, the challenges get more and more and more complicated. And you really do need to have your absolute wits about you as you try and do 15 of one colour and 15 of another colour, but you don't know which 15 as you follow all sorts of rules uh, in order to be able to solve the puzzles. And even now, I have to say, I'm not exactly struggling at this easy stage, but uh, it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Uh, and am I going to get myself into trouble? here. Well, that would be quite useful if I did. Uh, that one goes in there, this one goes in here, this one goes in here, and then I have got left together that one in there, that one in there, and this one in here. And there is your example. And you can see there Amazing. that I've put that all together like that. We can do that with all six colours, and then the challenges get harder and harder and harder, and you've got 44. Five, I think it is, challenges that are in there. But this is going to last you for a lifetime. And the hard ones are really seriously, seriously, seriously tricky and difficult. Excellent. How are you doing, Alex? Oh, Oh, oh so, no, wait, no. Well, while, I, while Alex is finished, let me just say <laughs> to you, if you know somebody that likes Rubik's Cubes type things and Sudoku type things, yeah. and also the most punishingly difficult uh, of crossword puzzles. This is something for them. This is really going to give them something to get their teeth into. It's cool, actually. I'm really enjoying this one. I've just got a little bit stuck here, but still, it's another really great one to go for. Really enjoying that. Now, um, I just need to point out, so apologies, the, uh, the postage on screen is wrong. It's it will be three ninety five for you postage, but obviously if you're a Freedom member, uh, your postage is covered anyway. But apologies that that's wrong on screen. Three pounds and ninety five pence. This is a good one as well. <gasps> uh, right then, uh, we've got a fabulous video once more. Let's take a look.
showing you the website just so again so you can get ahead and see everything that we've got they're all fabulous games snakes and ladders with a difference then gavin now everybody in the entire universe ever plays yeah. snakes and ladders everybody loves snakes and ladders do you know by the way where snakes and ladders came from originally Say that again. Do you know originally where Snakes and Ladders came from? No, I don't actually. It originated as a slightly different game in India, right. going back into the 19th century, and in the early 20th century it came over to the UK okay. and got changed around to be the Snakes and Ladders, which we think we know and love yeah. today, yes. until now, because oh, really? this is normal Snakes and Ladders, but on multiple levels. Cool. And the beauty of that means that instead of just going across a flat board, yeah. you can actually go up the ladders and you can go down the snakes. And this is an ingenious <laughs> contraption which has been slapped around this studio this yeah. afternoon, so it's possible that Sonic's moved um, uh, out of position. You get it as a flat pack, which Alex has got in front of her, so Indeed, you can see yeah. it comes in this lovely, humongously sized box. Yes, so nice. And yeah, then as you the go tree. through and you play your pieces your balls actually sit in the little slots here like that as you play and then when you come to the point where you roll down a snake okay. you'll watch what happens it's quite difficult to do this from backwards by the way uh, but you should be able to see that they actually roll down oh, and like go this. to the place where they were yeah i hope nothing is of course something shifted down the side there uh, but it will go down and through and roll its way through to where it needs to go back to. I literally can't see what's going on here. Bless you. Uh, there you so go. there you go. There goes, that. So it goes through there like that okay. and through here and through here like that. And so you roll back down to where you want to be. And of course you can see the ladders as well. So you yeah. can actually climb up the ladders when you get there. Now this can be built and then taken apart and built again. Once you build it the first time, it takes about five minutes just to take apart and put together again. And children absolutely love this because it's got the physical nature to it and uh -huh. everybody in the family can play snakes and ladders and it adds the nicest, sweetest dimension to it. I'm going to be honest with you, when we built ours at home, yeah. it never got taken down yeah, because say. it was just being built the whole time. Um, so it just sort of sits on a, on a side shelf sometimes to be able to uh, be taken out again. So I'm destroying the set as I managed to do this. Apologies. Uh, they'll never have me back again. Uh, so this is multi-level snakes and ladders, and this is uh, the first time this has been on Hachanda. Great, wonderful. Uh, so it's absolutely lovely. It's a really huge game. You need to be aware that you're getting something in an enormous box. It's Which basically... makes me happy. Mm. I like this. You know, when it's under the Christmas yeah, tree, you're like, oh, absolutely. there's a big one. And it's really, really good value for money as well. Absolutely. How do they go up the ladders? How do you go up the ladders? Yeah. Well, the ladder is, you see, it's not electronic. You know? It's not like one of these things where you wind anything <laughs> up. So the ladders are there. So, you so what you do is you just go up the side. You see, probably... I don't know if I turn this around here, yeah, go for it. so you can see at the sides and at the back, yeah. the ladders are actually there. Okay. There you can see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you move your board up the ladder to the point where they're going to be, and then it sits in the uh, oh, in the position at the top where it's supposed to be. Yeah. At the top of the ladder. If I position this at the top of the ladder, you won't actually see it because it's hidden behind the ladder. Okay. But then if I turn it around, you'll see where it is. And it's just great fun. It is simply snakes and ladders on multiple levels where you're going down the snakes and climbing up the ladders and what more could anybody want i know i love this uh, right then 1999 all right 1999 item number is 066075 that's cool i've never seen like a 3d um snakes and ladders before that's because this is the first one that's multi-level. Actually, there are other um, snakes and ladders, flat boards yeah. which have got bits and stick on top, etc., etc. And now Ben's destroying the set as he well. <laughs> so you, if, you get, if nothing else, you get sound effects when I'm on. Oh, uh, nice. But apparently, we're going to have another go at the Genius Square as well. Lovely stuff. So we're, we're going to get our get big board up. in front, and that is yeah. partly because there are so many people out there that want to have another chance to play against me as well. Alex doesn't have a choice, but you. Oh, Okay, kind of viewer, you do choice. have a choice. Yep. So we've got a few minutes just to have a couple more goes of the Genius Square. If you okay. have just tuned in yep. and you don't know what on earth we're doing, this is the Genius Square. This is by far and away the best game ever invented in the entire history of the world. <laughs> it's won awards all over the world. <laughs> and as we mentioned before, on Friday we will find out whether it's going to win the toy of the year, the game of the year in the United States of America. And you can be sure that next time I'm on, in yep. the next few days, if it has won, I'll be telling you, yes. and if it hasn't, it'll never get mentioned. Uh, 
Uh, now, obviously, that I have to do the ASA, but that's Gavin's opinion. I mean, I, I quite like that opinion as well, but, uh, you know. Um, now, um, just to state as well, the um, phone lines have died down, which is great, so that means you can you get your order in 01733602000. Now, again, in front of both Gavin and I, this is the scaled-up version. Yours is going to be this size. It's scaled up for television purposes. Um, right then, so... Are um, you getting two of them? Yes, Don't forget. Yes. Two. Sorry, apologies. There yes, you are. yes, this is absolutely the best game ever invented. Remember, other games are available. Thank you, darling. <laughs> it's just that they're not as good. What can you do? Okay, <laughs> let's roll the dice. In case you didn't know, we've got these seven dice here. They've got the coordinates on, and we've got our little blocker pieces here. We're going to block those out as we go through. Uh, yet more Fs. I don't know what it is with the F today. Right, F1, F1. and F5. And A2, and A4, and C3, and A5, mm, definitely. Uh, and what's the last one I missed out? D1 is there. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to give everybody an instruction while we do this. Yeah, you you right. concentrate on trying to beat me. Okay. Okay, and here we go. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to give everyone instruction. Okay, if you haven't bought this game yet, just do me a favour. Just stop watching and pick up the phone or go on the website and buy it because, quite frankly, you're more or less the only people in the world now that haven't <laughs> got this game. Everybody else is sitting there playing against me and somehow you're still sitting trying to make this decision. Should I or shouldn't I? You've seen all the reviews on the website. You've seen how absolutely phenomenally brilliant you wonderful this is and when I'm talking like this I definitely can't win so what are you waiting for <laughs> just get on there and buy this, oh, this you will not regret it it will last you for a lifetime but there's absolutely no chance whatsoever of me being able to win when I'm talking uh, at this uh, rate and look is. at this I have messed this up oh, no, big time as well up. what are the public going to think of me what are my parents going to think I mean my mother and my father are sitting <laughs> there watching down. this utter family humiliation off the back oh. of my performance with this particular challenge of the genius square for goodness sake Gavin what are you doing I mean, I'm, I'm stuck again. No, I'm, I'm not. Stuck. I'm I've stuck. done it. This Hooray. Finally. Well, oh, well oh, done. Goodness That sake. was a hard one, that one. It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time for another, my dear? Of course. Good. OK, let's take the piece apart one more time. Uh, again, if you've got this at home, well, I don't need to tell you what to do because you've already taken your pieces out. And if you haven't got one at home, one question. Why? <laughs> Simple as that. Right. OK. Let's do this. Let's, have we still got more stock of these left today? Uh, yes, a little bit, though. Well, then do it. Bit. Right, here we go. We have got F1. F1. Another F. I What's know. with the F? February. Who knew? Uh, F for February, very nice. C1. And A2 and A4 and B4 uh, and F4. Uh, and what is the last one that I have not seen here? B6. There you go. Oh, this is a bit of an odd one. Oh, gosh. Ooh, look at that. That's locked in. You ready? All right. Here we go. People at home, I hope you're doing this as well. And if you do manage to beat me, then don't do anything. But if you manage to beat Alex, then do write in and let us know. <laughs> if you do beat me, I quite frankly, I just don't want to know because it's just utter humiliation for me. But what can you do? What have I done here now? For goodness sake, I'm making a... What a mess I'm making of this. I think we've actually picked one here, Done which it. is quite... Really? Boom! And that is something to be proud of. Thank you. That is awesome. But can she do it against Yanis? Mm. Probably not. That we'll never know. OK, <laughs> let's look at the clock. Has we got time for one more? Uh, I think so. Have we? Yeah, one more. Yeah, one, one more. more. Let's go for one more again. OK. Otherwise, these poor viewing public are going to be left starving for more of these games. <laughs> I mean, look, the viewing figures have only dropped slightly because they're all on the phone now. Yeah, that's it. I know. Absolutely. Here we go. Let's try and avoid these Fs just for a change. Yeah. Do you know, look at that. Bang on Q. That's it. Not an F in there anywhere. <laughs> right. I need to be careful the way I'm that, 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 was, that was an accident, <laughs> I've OK? Been, I, I've, been, I've been, like, worried for this whole hour. <laughs> right. Here right. we go. E5. E5. And, uh, uh, an A5. A5. I'm losing the plot here. <laughs> and A6. A6. That's nice. We've had an A6 for a while. Uh, and B5. Uh, did I have B? There's some fives here now. B2 and C3. Uh, and what's the last one? Mm. D2. There you go. D2. Oh, this one looks tasty. Oh, yeah. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Okay, right. there you go. Mm -hmm. Now, what are we doing here? We are trying to get, I think, again, we're picking some really difficult ones, but you never know what you're going to get. Life is like a box of chocolates. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I still need to take that evening out. So I know it's embarrassing. I've never watched Forrest Gump. I know. 
I know what you're thinking. What? As we said, other films are available. Other films, Meanwhile, yeah. I've won. Oh, wow, that was quick. Shall I you just did that sit really here well. Way? Absolutely. Marvellous. So. All right, then. Uh, uh, 16.99. I'm having so much fun. You will as well. Do give us a call. Let's do, do a check second out hour. Website. Whatever's on next, just cancel it. We'll just carry on. <laughs> It's like Karen Soz. <laughs> uh, 549652. Again, we've got a fabulous little video to show you. Here we go. Then we've got just enough time to finish off with the uh, Genius Star. So you were saying this is a little bit harder. It's more than a little bit harder. This is definitely a step up in terms of difficulty and definitely a step up in terms of the number of possible puzzles. You've got 165,000, let's start again, do it in English, 165,888 possible combinations. We're going to see how we do because we've literally got two minutes and nine seconds to try and finish this. We're going to block out our coordinates, which are number 40 and number 5 and number 29. Uh, and number 33. Uh, this will be quite something if we manage to if we manage to finish this. Tw uh, did I say 29? Yes. Did I say 10? No, I did not. No. Did I say 11? No. no, I did not. Go. Okay. Oh no, hang on. There's one more. What have I got to put in there? Help! 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 Uh, for nine, 11, uh, 33, 40. Five, 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 five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, this is all going horribly pear shaped at this stage, isn't it? 22. 20. Apparently. Bless you. 22. Thank you. I didn't sneeze. Here we go. On the marks, get set, go. Oh. Right. Let's see what we can do. How are we doing on the clock here? Oh my goodness me! Well, just over a minute and a half. Are we actually going to do it in this time? Ah, <laughs> I'm just concentrating on bringing this show to a conclusion. Bless you. And I think at that point I need to sleep for about a week. Uh, I concur. It's been such fun. <laughs> Do you know, Alex, because we're running out of time, yes. can I just say, it's been awesome. We haven't done a show for a few months Ages, together. Yeah. And it's been completely brilliant. I've loved every <laughs> second of it. And quite frankly, I don't ever want it to end. Oh. Bless I know, you. what can you do? Did you just sneeze? I never heard you sneeze. <laughs> right, hang on, are we going to do it? We've got to win to the last minute oh. now. Okay. Don't forget, everyone, you can go on the website. Even when we've finished here, you can still buy them. Yeah. And why wouldn't you? Because there's nothing else you want to ever do in your entire life. <laughs> nearly finished. Am oh. I nearly finished? Am I going to finish? I'm not going to finish. Am I possibly? Oh no, gosh. I'm not. I've completely oh. messed this up yet again. Oh, my goodness, what can you do? Oh, Am I going to finish you. this inside the next 25 seconds? Oh, I I'm highly doubt it. I think we need time. to wrap up. Oh, we do indeed. We need to wrap up. I need to say thank you for having me. I've loved it. You've watched the Happy Puzzle Company show on Hachanda. Tune in again soon for more fun. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Thank you so much, Gavin. Now, we do not know when Gavin is next going to be back here. I'm not leaving. No, it's not leaving. We'll get him a sleeping bag. But I do just want to say then, check out your, your baskets. We've had so much fun. It's been absolutely brilliant. I need, I need to go and have a lie down as well. So hopefully we will see you very soon, though. You Gavin. will. Yes. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> right, don't go anywhere. More coming up after this short break. Ah, uh, we've got the lovely Karen here with Yanis. We need to catch up, Yanis. I want to know about your lovely, lovely little boy. So, yeah, yeah, there you go. Uh, what are we talking about? Oh, yeah, Paper Rose. That's, that's what's coming up next. William Morris is best known as the 19th century's most celebrated designer and a key figure in the arts and crafts movement. Join me on Ho Chanda where I will be bringing you a wide selection of printed fabrics from the archives of William Morris at fantastic prices.
Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week, using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now, simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember, it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognize businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honored to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town and it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand-drawn. That makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers. We have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix. We have dyes and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dollar Dimple Shows on Achanda and have some fun. Well, hello everybody and a warm welcome. We've got a lovely hour with Paper Rose and the lovely Karen as well. Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> You're miles so, away. I, know, we, we, you, I can still hear you though, don't worry. <laughs> That's uh, okay. So we worked out that you share a birthday with a bit of a celebrity. A bit of a celebrity, definitely. Walt Disney. No, your son. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. We were, no, no, He's more there's celebrity there's a, now. We were, we were talking about, because um, Karen shares a birthday with, with uh, Archer, my little boy, and you asked, I didn't know this, but Walt Disney. It's Walt December Disney's as birthday well. as well, yeah. Oh. Yeah, definitely. Good company, you know. Good company. Yeah, yeah, good birth sign. Yeah, good birth good He's going to be creative when he grows up. Well, that's why we went Archer, because he's yeah. a Sagittarius. Archer, kind of yes, Archer. the Sagittarian. Um, how have you been? I'm fine, thank you very yeah. much. How are Good. you? Great. You're looking very well. That's what. That's great, thank you. I went to the dentist on Monday, <laughs> got in there at four o'clock, and by five o'clock I was snowed in. Oh, what? Dad, come and pick me up. Oh, no. 